Now we have to be quiet. No. Yeah, we For all have to be sake, quiet. Man. We have to take and. different potentials that it would have hurt them so deeply and profoundly they had to turn their backs on them. get the fuck get, get your shit together again i am going to be i'm out I'm, i'll be back in about 15 minutes okay yeah bye that's how sensitive that information from the for, of the families is to her you guys just think about that for a little while so can I ask a question since I missed like two hours? No. Okay. <laughs> I just, you know, it's so funny when you go to a restaurant and my daughter is really notorious for this. She's like, can I get a hamburger? And I just want the waitress to say no, no. No. What are you, yeah. What's a hamburger? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's the only thing you can't have. I mean, I always just say, I, I, oh, hello, thank you. Yeah, I would like the whatever, whatever, but I don't really ask them if I can have it because I'm assuming if it's on the menu, I can have it, right? That's, that's well, there's Anyways. your mistake. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, Nicole. Sorry, I just wanted to say that. No, no, it's fine. Um, So it, if this is like, you don't want to rehash it, it's totally fine. Is Did we ever figure out like what the end game was? Like why the lie? Why the the only why? Because she, she was she, you start lying, you have to keep lying, right? So, yeah. The only person that can answer that lying. is Claire, and she never fucking will. Yeah. No, you just don't lie. That was the you end know, game. I, she I, wanted I, something. I think we all have yeah. our own opinions on what it was, and um, but that's all they are. So it doesn't really need to be spoke about because you know how how that is. You say something, yeah. and then all of a sudden it turns in. It's a it's a fact. But right in my opinion this didn't start out nefarious or no i think she got anything yeah like i think it. she got I wrapped up in it something oh just, yeah just, yeah it started sure. out as a as a barbecue go, go. turned into a bonfire then it turned into a forest fire that's my opinion yeah yeah because if you if she, when she pulled up the not just the, the dashboard for the uh the legal or you know the lost the legal stuff and she was pulling up the studios and all this other stuff when i went back and looked it was saying info needed, info needed, info needed. And now in retrospect, you can look back and you can think, well, you know what? I don't think she had that plan. I think that she got in over her head. She's like, fuck. And she was trying, she was scrambling, trying to figure out what to do. I think she started telling Mr. Roos like drop strikes. That's why she was mentioning to us that he was thinking about, he was going to retract them. Uh, at the time I thought she was lying about that, but I think that she would have done that in order to, to end it because it was going to end and she knew it was going to end badly. <laughs> Uh, and again, I think, but, uh, and again, I say, if she fucking had any smartness about her, she would have just retracted the strikes, done it, said nothing, and just done it, and then spoke after, and she would have fucking probably gotten away with it. You know what? Honestly, I'll I'll just say it. If she had any any smarts about her, she would have shared with some of us. Some of us would have fucking went to the mat for her. We would have helped her. We would have figured That's what something I said. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would have been out there if she had to come out and admit something. We would have been there backing her up. Yeah, absolutely. That's and you saw that in my conversation. If y'all want to play again, all that was needed was I fucked up, and she couldn't even. Those three yeah, I mean, I, that, that's one of the things, one of the things, especially in, you know, uh, in that the five of us were doing that we talked about, it's like, we would do anything to help her. We, we, we were, I mean, it, it hurt us to think that we weren't going to be able to help her through this because this was going to be awful. And we were all really close friends. We would have done anything to help her. All she had to do was tell us what was happening and we would have fucking protected her. We're not, we wouldn't have lied for her, but we would have gone out there. We would have backed her up. We wouldn't let her get attacked or anything um, because she's owning up to what she did. That's all she had to do. And it just, yeah, I just don't understand <laughs> that. Yeah, and she talked to so many different people and saying so many different things. I think you might have gotten a little bit confused, Claire. Uh, that's why I said, do you remember the things that you said to us? You might have thought that you were saying it to other people. But she took that for granted. She knew that like, people like me, I, I don't speak to the Rusek family. I don't. I mean, I, uh, off the platform or anything like that. Um, she knows that I wouldn't be saying, hey, you know, uh, where's Claire? Have you all heard from her? I mean, I wouldn't, you know, be calling or emailing people saying this is what I found out about her. I mean, she knew that was the case, at least for me. So she knew I was going to have, if there was going to be any resolution, it would have to be basically just by looking at the truth, especially in retrospect. Um, her end game, who knows? I think it was there again, like I'll say. 
But I wanted I, to well, say something. You know, so so bedtime clown did make a point. What what basically what I described was the circumstances, but what was um I, I think Claire, and this wasn't just with this. This was, you know, as as a friend and as you know, somebody that had been in a large group chat with her for <clears> well <throat> over a year. I don't even know, Jen, how long it's been. It's been a long time, right? Um yeah. Sorry, what? I was kind of gazing in the chat. Just, just being in a large group chat with Claire. So uh, uh, stories as a friend and being in a chat. Claire likes to help people. She really does. She yeah. wants... She likes to you know, be can we play those videos again? I'm sorry, just for because like with Nicole coming in, but I would like to to show. Can you can you start with number one and two again for me? Uh, I would appreciate yeah, it if you can get this. Yeah, okay. Why is she getting that ready? Everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. finish answering bedtime clown. I think Claire wanted to help. I think Claire likes to be the go-to person. There's always one person like that. They want everybody to go to them. And they have the answers. Claire always had the answers for everything, even enough nuffs um yep. uh devil, yep thingy um she always had the answers to everything sometimes she wasn't right but she likes to be that person and i think um she she liked she liked having that she liked feeling that way that the family was relying on her and everybody else I think about the community the way everything came out at that point with copyright strikes and it was becoming public and all of us ah even like grumpy granny good to see you sweetheart you were making videos about it that's such a brilliant idea that you did this and it's so brilliant y'all are gonna get him this way i mean we were all invested we were all on this ride we were all of us together on those live streams, all of us in the comment sections, all of us talking about the the um, uh, legality of, of, of whatever, whatever y'all spoke about. The fact of the matter is, is that this community were here for a reason. And we all thought that this was, this was it. This was gonna be the result. Now, let's look at it this way. You're saying, hey, as long as the family doesn't care or, or they're okay with her, that's fine. Or it's okay, who's gonna be charged with something later on? Or don't forget the big picture here. Well, my big picture was, was, you know, make what getting up here and making videos or talking about a pervy bra. We tried, we failed. Our, our companion, my compadre lied to me. This is what happened. It's a, and now it's, 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 it's sad. It's sad because we were all in this for that. It's yeah. not personal. It's not about being friends and being bad friends because I say what happened. The reason why I'm not going to be talking about this shit oh, anymore. Shit. And this Guys, is why I got his channel back. I'm going to have to drop out for a second. I'll be right back. Cheryl, I'm going to send you, I, I, I really do. I'll be back like 10, 15 minutes. Cheryl, I'm going to send you those links that uh, Salty needs. I can't, I, just, I can't play them because I'm on my laptop. So you just okay. have to play them when you come back. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be back ladies. Okay. okay. So, so just to, to piggyback on what um, Sam was saying right there, uh, I don't know why everybody else was here. I can only say that my motivation for being here was to get this man off YouTube. Because once again, I will state that I I I was here before the Rusex came on. It wasn't just about the Rusex because I firmly believe if it wasn't them, he would be targeting another family. So for, my, for me, it was, I want this disgusting man to not be able to profit off of victims of of terrible crimes period period that's that was my goal so when all the crap came up and he got his blue channel back and the whole copyright thing didn't work out and everybody's running around saying you know well that's okay because we're still we still got the court thing and you know we're go the, the, the Frankie's going forward with this court thing and da, 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 da. but that has nothing to do with me I'm not a party to that I'm not a witness to it I'm not providing it that has nothing to do with me that's Frankie with AD and that's years down the road anyways so even if uh, AD's <clears throat> the family tomorrow he would pick up another family so for the next three or four years or however long it takes to get to litigation in a courtroom he's going to be doing this that was my point so everybody's saying it's okay that the, that the strikes didn't go it's okay that claire lied it's okay because they're working on the court case that's not okay with me because that's not why I, i'm not, not here to help uh, frankie, no. for frankie to take ad to court i'm not here to help him do that i was here to get this man off this platform because of the disgusting and immoral things that I think he's doing. That's why I'm here. And me too. Yeah, we, uh, and, and I, under, you know, Lizzie, uh, I love Lizzie. First of all, you know, I love you, Lizzie. No, yeah, I, love but, Lizzie. I think for, for me, I thought that it was again, it just, it, it became ridiculous. It's, it, it's, uh, after everything that happened, I thought this is just ridiculous that. I would be in the so-called truth community and I'm not supposed to tell the truth when they didn't tell me the truth. And, and uh, the whole idea that I should not have said anything 
is wrong because if I was here for that reason, yeah, and that's why I was here, I yeah, wouldn't tell you the truth. Think about that, you guys, that there are people within our own community that wanted us to not tell anybody what this person not was doing. Anything. I mean, I don't understand why that doesn't infuriate everybody. You know, people are saying this should have been handled behind the scenes. And again, I'm going to say, sorry, Lizzie, plug yours. Fuck you. We tried. <laughs> we tried for almost three months to handle it behind the fucking scenes. She wouldn't do anything. And people say she doesn't have to show. No, she doesn't have to show proof. But if people are accusing you of lying, even people who have caught you in hundreds of lies, that re not just regarding this, but just general things. Claire, I'm just going to say coyotes. Really? Coyotes? Come on. So hundreds of lies. I, she was something, something. And I, exactly. You know, and, and uh, she was willing to say and show anything. And, and we asked her and she started getting the stream yard with us. Now she can't find it, even though she pulled it up the other day. And all of a sudden, oh, my God, they hurt my feelings. They wanted to see my law degree. It's just oh, y'all have made it into things that it wasn't. It was never about uh, turning on a friend or making people feel bad or this or that. This is what I was here for. I told the truth. We all did. She didn't. But so y'all want to keep quiet. Quiet doesn't. Yeah. Silence doesn't mean support. Okay, it doesn't. I, I get that. Silence doesn't mean support, but sometimes silence does mean that it's okay. And you got to look the other way. I, I want to ask okay. everybody who, whether you believe Claire right off the bat or not, why doesn't it infuriate you that people, you can disagree. There, there are a few people and I'm, I'm going to name her. Um, I haven't particularly been fond of some of the things I've seen her say, but that's okay. Helen Schaefer, she believes Claire, but she didn't. She didn't come out and say, why are you guys doing this? You guys are liars. You shouldn't be doing this. But, I mean, maybe she has since the, the one live that I saw. I don't watch her that much, but um, she didn't do that. And that's okay. You don't, but why, I don't understand why anybody would try to condemn or belittle or shame someone in this community doing this specific thing. That's very, very, very right. Thank you. Yeah. Aware. They wanted to make people That was aware. the whole point. Right, right. And, and it's like, are you hearing yourself? That's like when you smack your kid and say, don't you hit your brother, don't you hit your sister while well, you're smacking them. Hitting's wrong, hitting's wrong, hitting's wrong as you're smacking them. Does yeah. anybody realize how yeah. stupid that is? I understand that you if you want to believe what other people are telling you, and that's why I put out some of the, the chats with me, because it was never OK that actually when you sit down and think about it, that you are listening to somebody say, well, I saw it from this person. They saw it from her. If they told me this. I trust them. So I believe what she said. Uh, I, yeah, this is the truth or whatever. Without ever having anybody never, ever, ever seeing anything. But Everybody thinks that they have seen it, you know? No, that's not OK either. And it was it, the, it, it, that's the same blind trust that we all had. Yes, yes, it, that's fine. It, Helen was what I told that night that when y'all go around, you're starting, you're saying these things publicly. <clears> that if that if people actually knew what went down and what they they could be seeing or what she has shown or I mean anything, y'all would look foolish. And it's the absolute truth. And don't again condemn me for for telling absolute the truth. Truth, one hundred percent truth. But, but people are never going to see a lie. Sorry, of and that doesn't it's not it's not personal. I don't take that shit. Oh. It's not about being a friend. So make up your mind. You either don't make friends on, on YouTube or you are friends and you shouldn't ask for credentials. Make up your fucking mind. What's and personal is the fact that we were here for that. and It, it ended the way it did for me, uh, at least in that regard with Claire. So y'all want to keep supporting her. Like I said, that's all y'all. Helen, I mean you and everybody else. Doesn't mean I don't like you or that you don't have to like me. We can't still be somewhat, you know, YouTube friends. Cordial. Um, Sorry, but Sorry. I wanted to say anybody that's, you know, saying, well, Claire's feelings were hurt or this or that, like, sure, is that possible? It could be. But that doesn't explain why at that moment she deleted her channel. She disappeared and responded to nobody. So instead of attacking. So, uh, Nicole, can I just tell you something? I don't know for a fact, but the few people that I know that have um, been in contact with her, she hasn't even asked about anything, about this, about any of us. I mean, before even before Sam and, and Jen did those first couple of lives, she didn't ask. Uh, so I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to do this. It sounds really terrible, but I'm calling bullshit. Claire's not fucking hurt. The only thing that's hurt is her fucking pride because she yeah. got called out. She's not oh, hurt. And I was oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I was kind of getting to so. that. It's like, don't make you guys the enemy get go, get go. out of her <laughs> actions. It. You were yep. saying something a bit earlier, Shirley, which uh, I was in the loo, I think. But you were saying about, <laughs> you know, I know, I was trying to Thank you for the videos if you can, sweetheart. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. You did. But you were, I think what we, what you were talking about was something to do with like the blind trust. And what we experienced, what I experienced anyway with Claire for, for the two years or, or year and a half or whatever, is that she did help with absolutely everything. When you had a question, Claire yeah. was there. She yeah. had an answer for it. Yep. There was no question that she was a tremendous help for me in lots of ways. And um, and and that's why I think we all <laughs> did have blind. Yeah, no, this is what pisses me off. I'm just thinking about this. I'm sorry. It's like, okay, I'll show you whatever you want. Okay, can you just pull up that email that shows the IPO number? Oh, I got to go to bed, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. 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 I mean, no, but, but the, simplest document, the simplest thing that she could have showed and she said and then she had to, well again this was after her trying to look for it and then she wouldn't find it and i'm like are you fucking kidding me this was after she disappeared for hours at a time because yeah but what so what hang on, hang on, hang saying on. hang on so when it came to it she's like well i can't find it that was fine and i was able to pull that out of her and i'm like what do you mean you can't find it it will be in your sense item it affects every strike that you sent ad it's going to be in the center of the email as an attachment it's not like it's one of 50 million possible documents you send to youtube there's only one document for all those strikes and you can't find it yeah so bedtime clown um my opinion of that question so bedtime clown says so my question is did this corner of youtube get trolled or scammed by claire my opinion is Again, I think Claire started out with completely honorable um, intentions, and, yeah. and she, all she wanted to do was help the family, just like the rest of us. Yeah, she was yeah. actually she was actually asked by um, some other people because of her supposed legal background to be the one to actually interact with the Rusex. This is what she told us. I'm just saying, if this part isn't true, then then I don't she know. She told us so much shit, God. Yeah, but so so that's why, and she just wanted to help. I, I firmly 100% believe that to this day, and I, I don't think, in my opinion, she did any of this on purpose. I do not believe that. Um, and I could So, be and you know what, yeah. Yeah, and ultimately, when if you were here for this reason and you saw what happened, the fact that you're so, okay, well, you know what? Uh, they still believe in her. They they trust her. They support her. Whatever. That's 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 on y'all. But um, don't say that we should turn our turn a blind eye on it and not say yeah. anything or just forget it. And then, but your silence again does speak volumes. And I understand that sometimes in the past mine has to like when y'all wanted me to come out and say something about I, you know, um, or or even saying anything about bam. I, it's not necessary for me to do that. But this was my experience here on YouTube while why I was here and this. Is, just what happened it doesn't have anything again to do with friendship uh but it it astounds me that the people like you said jen the people that you were not i don't want to say the people that you were doing this for or the people that supported you or did all of a sudden don't because they're telling the truth yeah. you know they, that's a that's a really shitty place to be in that was a really shitty place to be in um i'm sorry it's true. And again, that, that just pity. leads me back to anybody that thinks that we did this just because I, I, I've heard um, people say we were just jealous of Claire, which I don't understand. <laughs> oh, um, please. Uh, you know, because she was close to the family. I, I would like to say, I think the Rusex, at least what I know of them, which is very, very little, seem like a very lovely family. Do I have any desire to be best friends with them? Uh, no. I mean, if, if, if it happened organically and I became friends with them, cool. But do I want to seek them out like I'm some sort of fangirl or, you know, some, I think, I think it's disgusting how some people act. So to just even insinuate that anybody's jealous of somebody that has contact with the family is just asinine the last um, thing we are is groupies of a poor family that's been traumatized by the most horrific thing that could have ever right. yeah it, it wasn't oh you, they didn't talk to you you got your feelings hurt no it wasn't anything like that at all and that's but that's what y'all are making it into be and the same thing you're making it look like it's a personal thing and y'all are doing this because she dropped you or again, you got your feelings hurt. no I, I personally i mean and, and and sam as well i'm here yeah we were making videos long before there was any type of even video comment interaction with the family yeah, and, but and, and don't say that you want me to keep doing it or to keep talking about it, uh, telling the truth. 
Carry on. But then uh, yeah, yeah. give liars a pass. I'm not going to give. How about this? I'm not going to give one liar a pass and then uh, call out another one. Okay, it's not going to happen. Now, Biden is lying to the I, I know. I just. Uh, I, I it wasn't about that. I thought it was I, it upset me that y'all made it about that in the days after when when uh, Cheryl and everybody were talking about the more personal stuff with Van when it came out that day or we were on Dorothy's or on the live stream that we did about the copyrights and what happened, why he got his channel back. Y'all made it into a personal thing. Now, yeah. I asked yeah. you, you, you want to make it an emotional investment only with some people or you make it with everybody or you can't make friends on YouTube. So how can they hurt your feelings to. So what if she lied? Just keep calling him a liar what or keep supporting this and keep that? doing this. Y'all are the ones that are made it into that. Y'all are the ones that were out there saying that kind of stuff that because I told you, we told you what happened to copyright or anything else that we turned our back on our family. We didn't support them anymore. That wasn't trashing them either. So uh, again, really quick, um, one other thing is it, let's just, let's just play devil's advocate. We are a bunch of fucking hateful spiteful mean girls and we were trying to force Claire to show us private confidential court paperwork <clears throat> documentation which clearly was none of that was true but even if that was true somebody please explain to me why Claire would need to leave every fucking group she's in delete her channel and not have contact with anybody but a few people and it's in private it's she's she's not anywhere public what if that were that and those people that really have not been in much private conversation with her to do with any of this copyright strike in a really personal nature for a long period of well, time. Well, right, but what I'm saying is if we were if it was because of that, if she had to leave because of that, and I did hear somebody say, um, and I think I, I'm not gonna say who it was because I can't really remember exactly whose mouth it came out of, but we, we, us people that exposed her, put her life in danger. That that is ridiculous. Oh, Y'all need to fuck off with that. Y'all need to fuck off with that. So if we were bad people, we were terrible friends. We should be ashamed of ourselves. We're just a bunch of mean girls. Why the fuck would she stop talking to all of you guys, to the to the rest of the to the rest of the community? Exactly. Why wouldn't she still be out there? Why wouldn't she come out to the community, not to us, because we're terrible friends? Remember, right? Yeah. Explain to you why she got the channel back. There are so like um. You, so, oh, I don't know, Green Eyes, Suzanne, I'm just naming names, Monkey Man, Amanda, um, Devil what? Mike, Fern, all these people. They're why evil. Do- They're evil people. Is that what yeah, you're saying? why does she come to you guys and explain to you what happened? She can ignore oh. us <laughs> and if we're terrible friends, right? <laughs> well, but she didn't. She well, left the everybody. You, you know that I still send things to Claire for the, you know, to pass on. For the and that's thing. absolutely fine. Yeah. I don't and, and why wouldn't why, why, why wouldn't, wouldn't you? I? Because, why wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. If I've yeah. got something I never, to the, the, help them, then I send huh. it to her. You know, so yeah. um I, 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 I don't know where I'm at with it. I you know, as I said before, I think the thing that hurts me the most is to see everybody else hurt so much. But um Well it it is what it is. Well, and unfortunately, this, not, this you showed me yesterday. I thought this was funny. I'm sorry, and that's the only reason why I brought it up earlier because that was funny as hell to me that you, you're in danger. Your life is in danger. You're checking in everywhere on your fucking vacation or whatever. Yeah, well, uh, that's yeah. this week. This is yeah, how but it was it was it wasn't just Claire's that she was in, she's not in fear of her life. It was said by a specific person that we're the ones that put her life in danger. Now I don't Who? Think that, I don't think that the majority of the people believe that, but, but again. I just want to show that screenshot. This is as of this week, how much danger Claire's life is in that she can now, because she's apparently in Canada, she can pinpoint to the exact longitude and latitude to the exact degree and address where the fuck she is. Cause her life's all of a sudden not, not in danger anymore. Oh, 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 this is something y'all are going to hear me say. I just thought about this when I am, uh, in one of the, one of the things I had told everybody in the group, all of y'all, uh, Claire and everybody is that we said that before, <laughs> We were hoping that before the news broke that we'd all be able to get on the same page here. Uh, just to let y'all know that in the days following the fucking shit show, when we found out, I knew everybody, most of us knew that she was lying, that copyright strikes were going to be falling off. He was going to get his channel back, blah, 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 blah. I was very specific in saying uh, uh, the stuff about the copyright itself, stuff that she had already pulled up privately, uh, very personal, sensitive information, confidential information. Uh, it had been done. It had been said. So keep that in mind. It, it, that 
those that were making that excuse for her in the days following that, oh my gosh, you asked her for private personal uh, uh, information, please keep in mind uh, the things that she had been saying publicly to all of you, plus to us privately in these chats. Please keep that in mind because there's no reason why, again, anybody had to be quiet at all. And we all knew the shit was going to fly because we all knew it was going to come out. Well, you know, we were, um, we were all jealous of, of what is it I'm seeing here in the chat? We were all jealous of a pretend wannabe lawyer. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> Fuck, I was going to, I can't remember what I was supposed to be saying. Oh, well, show the thingy. Is it up? Well, it was. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Let me, I'll, I'll um, yeah and I, 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 I did this for uh, self-preservation. And again, it's my it's it's mine to share. Those are my voice clips, uh, things that that were that were uh, imperative to me as far as being in a quote unquote truth community with the copyright strikes. That um, ultimately, you, you know, when everything did come out, and you just want to turn your give him a pass. It's like all the people that support AD; they give him a pass every fucking day. That's the way I I look at y'all now. Some I really do. Y'all, y'all are giving everybody a pass to this over here, this behavior. But again, and, and even calling the people that are condoning or, con, uh, you know, condoning his behavior over here uh, and giving him a pass. It's the same fucking thing. All right. Everybody, please stop being a fucking hypocrite. Just stop. Don't condemn one person or condemn everybody. And I'll start doing the same thing if y'all ever see me up on here again or hear me. But just stop. Well, it's, it's just really st- it's just blatantly hypocritical to talk about AD and want to get him off this platform because of what he's done. And the main thing is, is lie. He's lied about yeah. everything. And, and, but. Oh, and, and if y'all don't care about we, that. Right. But because we, we want Claire, we, want, we don't want to accept that somebody fooled us. We don't want to accept that yeah. everything we thought was going to happen. Isn't going to happen. So we just want to ignore that and don't say anything because we don't want to upset the community and blah, blah, blah. But and carry on business as usual. That's what let's, when let's, people let's would say this get, look, makes the family look bad. Let's work really hard to get this liar, get this liar off YouTube, but let's not talk about the other show. Yeah. I mean, don't say anything. It's going to make them look bad or it's going to hurt these people's feelings or whatever. We're, no, that right. doesn't drive. No. Clean, clean your own house first before you decide to start cleaning yeah. someone else's. And that's what we're doing. When we found out. And every time y'all say if these people clean. trust her or whatever, or they are, they're okay with this, or y'all are, or you particularly, whoever is doing that, again, keep in mind that, that y'all are uh, giving her a pass, which is what they're doing. I didn't, I'm not going to give somebody a pass uh, for lying in this regard in this way. And again, it's not personal. It's about the copyright. Uh can we start yeah, that? But should I set the scene? This is just me. The weekend that all this shit started flying with Claire, okay? That we knew what was happening and and what was what was going on. And y'all are gonna see that this was we gave her opportunities. Oh, that's right. yeah, yeah. One of the things that we did. I'm sorry, arm hair. I just remembered this, Kim and Claire uh, and whoever else. When the shit. Before the shit flew. And then after this weekend, we could say, oh, we were coming up with things that we could tell people. If they were asking us where Claire is, what happened? Does anybody know what's going on? One of the things that we said is that, well, you know, he did dox her to hell and back. So we could say, you know, she was feeling a little a little scared or for, for her own best interest, she, you know, needed to go quiet. That was a fucking excuse that we came up with, assholes. And that's what you ran with. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm being totally honest right now. That was fucking ridiculous. That was a cover story that y'all came up, we talked about, and that y'all rolled with. See how preposterous I think the whole thing is now, guys? All of you listening to me, all of y'all on my panel, all the other people out here in the community? That's how preposterous it fucking was. It became a fucking shit show, ridiculous, uh, uh, just nonsensical fucking making me want to jump off this fucking rock once and for all. Y'all want to go along with it, fine. I'm sorry. Right, Coming so up with excuses right. why she could be hiding or why she went quiet. And that's what you're telling us. God damn. I'm sorry. Push play. I need to, I, I need, I need a drink or something. Oh. <sighs> no. Wait, so this, this starts out, this is the Friday, right? Yeah, that's Friday. I'm on the record here. 
it's time to put up or shut up as far as I'm concerned. If he's got something, show it, or you show it, okay? I'm tired of being dragged. I'm getting messages from people saying that you're not who you are, Claire, that you've never shown anything show, saying that you're a lawyer, never shown anything that I'm anything either. But I'm fucking tired of this shit. Waking up right now with everything else going on, people talking about cease and desist, going to court, doing that, doing this. I have no fucking clue what's happening. I asked you a question the other day, and you never even answered me, Claire. I know I'm sounding salty right now. I haven't even gotten up off of my fucking planner that I've been sleeping on for the past fucking year and a half, and I, I'm dealing with this shit. So either I'm fully invested, or this is just, you know, at the point where I'm just going to go right now, restream my fucking live last night, and tell him to fucking suck my cock, and I'll be back when he goes to court. Claire, this isn't funny. This isn't amusing, whether it's valid or not. I don't think people are grasping the, the full totality of the, uh, of the bullshit here. I don't think it's funny. I'm not putting any fucking laughing emojis down. Come on. Okay, I mean, I'm around. I haven't checked any other chats. It's Saturday. I haven't even looked at Facebook barely. I've been on YouTube yet. I have no idea what's being said or what's going around. When are we going to have this stream here again? We need to have it. And why is it taking this long? I don't get it. Our priority is we need to get this shit straightened out. Claire, has she, have you responded to anybody, Claire? I'll be standing by until we have the fucking stream yard and we get it going. Come on. And I'm going to tell you, I hate telling you this, Claire, but I'm really starting to feel a certain fucking way, all right? Yesterday, it's been 24 straight fucking hours with me having to deal with this shit, wondering if anything that you did um, has any uh, basis of validity. I'm not even thinking about that lawsuit. I'm talking about the fucking strikes. We need to know exactly what you've sent, what, you, what you've received. We need the attachments. There's no reason why you could not have given us that by now. You said you're going to sleep. You said you're freaking on a phone call. And now I'm mad. You can hear it. I'm trying to stay chill. I really fucking am. But there's no reason why none of us, even if you just send it with one fucking person. I mean, I'm not talking screenshots. I mean, the emails that you got. That's imperative. All right. That's what we need. I'm thinking right now, his strikes are about to drop off and everything will have been for nothing. And then people are going to find out some shit and it's going to make us look bad. Fucking send it. I don't know why I'm the only fucking one saying anything, but it's true. You could have sent that shit last night. I don't know why you said you were going to sleep or you just disappeared, Claire. That's really fucked up, I'll tell you. Because even though we were all hit with those cease and desist, we know they're all bullshit. You can, you, the fuck can you stop that really quick? Can you go back to that other screen? Oh, the, it's, uh, yeah, the screen right before it? Nope. Go forward. It was the blue one. It was the blue one. It went kind of fast. I just want to make sure people see it. Yeah, give me one sec. I actually wanted to come back to this one. So that's me and Sam. That's Claire responding to us. Let me know when you want the stream yard and we'll do it. I've got nothing to hide. Frank has the same emails as I do. So that's Claire offering to show us. And that was where. Yeah, I, I everything and saying whatever. All I want to see is the IPO document that you send to YouTube that she's never been able to produce because it doesn't fucking exist. Sorry. Now, where did you want me to go? I think, I think, it's, after, I think it's after that one. That one? No, it's a, it's a blue one. It was one of mine then, right? That one? What? When I said, yeah, oh, maybe when right I said there's no reason why she couldn't have, I'm not asking for anything that she didn't already say that no, she. No, no, it was it was where you said that that the pin's already been pulled and we're willing to jump on the grenade. Oh yeah, go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that was my, that, that was Friday night. I want people to see. Mm -hmm. How fucking hard we tried to help her. Keep go. Yeah, keep go back towards the beginning. Yeah, that was one of my I because uh, I'm not playing this through YouTube, so I can't I can't just skim like a yeah. do and see. So I have to actually like Why would you? It's not on YouTube. I'm trying That's what I you. just said. I can't do my normal process. <laughs> that, don't confirm there everything. Right there. Boom, All baby. right now. Right. Okay, Children. so I, I want to read this. It says the grenade has been thrown and we're willing to throw ourselves on it to minimize the damage that is imminent. This is, this was, 
all we all tried to do this you guys i mean you can choose to believe us or not but we did we really did we didn't want it's not that we wanted to continue to lie to the community what we wanted to do was we wanted to maybe fix the damage that we were suspecting was in the process which was the the community or was the um, yeah and i was very specific with my language here and my demands i don't want to make it look like i'm looking like an asshole i was very specific to things that she said that she had already had that she had already shown us that she had already told us about on the phone all these live streams mind you but she couldn't show anything and as more time passed that's why i keep saying that show us what you got show us show because she couldn't and she again, couldn't it would never show us your credentials of being yeah. an attorney it would nope. never ever ever no. about that ever so, well no now no. if you go forward you'll see her response to it it well, was now, it wait, wasn't, am i not going to just play this or it wasn't like about it. that specifically but that was the one thing that everybody was questioning um and we, and we told her we're starting to hear from even even some of you know uh, people on our side not just the yeah the that's what yeah i told her that, that, that didn't like her so we but we figured that's the easiest thing if we could just show proof of that because ad was harping on that too right we thought that's yeah. an easy thing to prove it's it's not anything you're giving her with, out Right, yeah. right. We thought just just show us something, and show even it. if you don't, even if you don't want to make it public, you show us, and then we can, in all good conscience, say we've seen it with our own eyes. We we didn't say Claire, you need to show the whole fucking internet. We said just show us, so we can say we've seen it, and we can go out there and defend you. Well, and at least with a with a, with an ounce of integrity, go up there and say we've seen it, not just blatantly bullshit lie. Right, right. Yeah. So what I what I'm saying is when when that became an issue because that was the one thing that we the five of us in the beginning were really asking her for because it was the one thing we thought that was the least intrusive we weren't asking her to give us mm -hmm. I, I wasn't asking for ipo numbers or anything like that yeah. just one thing to back up her credibility would it, would it appease every person no but would it appease some people who were starting to doubt her absolutely and that's what we wanted to do for her so that's why whether she was or wasn't a lawyer actually became an issue it really wasn't an issue and it has nothing to do with what she was doing with the rusex and we said that a thousand yeah. times we wanted just that because it was like i said should be the easiest friggin thing to i i even i even said do you have a business card just show us a friggin business card an old business card claire something so we can say we've seen it with our own eyes so when we talk about whether she was or wasn't an attorney that's the reason why it really wasn't important that that yeah and again uh, i'll say this in case people don't remember i told all uh, that the reason why that came up to, at all was because it became a very real possibility that she misrepresented herself in, in a certain way that the stuff that she had been compiling and collating and sending to the, uh, the legal team would have been dismissed null and void that's so that's why it's very specific. Why don't you at least tell people why they were asking you for your credentials? Because that would explain everything. Uh, no. Really, really quick. Also, Michael Shaw, and I really wish he would come up here because he explained it really well in. Um, sorry. Sorry. I'm going to bust you out, Mike. Um, in that group chat, that's so terrible and awful and hateful. Um, he explained it really well. He says, did anyone change who had the rights? Or did anyone check who had the rights to a Facebook account contents where the owner was deceased? He actually did a little bit of digging after the fact because, I mean, none of us, I, I know I didn't. I, I figured Claire knows what the hell she's doing, right? Yeah. Why, why yeah, do I need I'm to good. Good. I'm good at counterclaims. I've never struck anybody. So I just, I mean, again, full and blindly threw all my faith into the yeah. fact that Claire knew what she was doing. Well, okay, but I'll say this too. I, I blindly believed you. I mean, you've told me things and I, I, I don't, I have no reason to doubt you. You know, that's one of the things that people say, why are they running around asking their friends to, for their credentials? No, we, that's not what it was about. I believed a lot of people. And again, we've known Claire for a very long time and Claire is a good person. And I do feel like her heart was in the right place. So why wouldn't we fucking believe her? I mean, we had no reason not to, but um, and maybe we can get into it later, but Michael found some really interesting information about what happens to Facebook, the stuff on Facebook accounts once um, somebody passes away. And it isn't as cut and dried as it automatically becomes. Um, uh, what's the name of the person who takes care of somebody's stuff when they die? The executor of the will. executor. executor. Yeah, it doesn't automatically get turned over to the executor. Um, so anyways, I'll let you go on. But I just wanted to say that because I saw oh. my Yes. And, and this is, again, keep in mind, uh, 
people that think I was fooled or brainwashed or everybody else in in between uh, that, as you can see here in the conversations that we're all having in this chat, that I, I was calling her out and, and there were so many things that she'd already done and said, and you're seeing more here. Uh, this was not about putting her into a bad position as a friend or hurting her feelings or anything else. But the fact of the matter is that she did lie and you're seeing that and don't ever doubt my integrity again. All right. Ever. Sorry. You tell me. <laughs> Am I still here? You're here. We hear you. Play. <laughs> Good. Play. Should straightened out. Claire has. She I'm going to tell you, I hate telling you this, Claire, but I'm really starting to feel a certain fucking way, all right? Yesterday, it's been 24 straight fucking hours with me having to deal with this shit, wondering if anything that you did um, has any uh, basis of validity. I'm not even thinking about that lawsuit. I'm talking about. One thing that I do need to double check, even though I'm Canadian, I'm pretty sure thinking about it, but I would have to double check to confirm all Canadian immigration offices to do with visa and all that are either in Toronto or are in Ottawa. Mississauga is a suburb. That's of totally b b besides the point, but still, <laughs> right? Hang on. Hang on. Is Lizzie not here? But, I was just going to yes. say, yeah. Um, I've personally been down to the immigration in Mississauga. Okay, so there is one in Mississauga. That's why I said I hadn't fact checked yet, but I thought they were only in Toronto and Ottawa. So I apologize. I was wrong. I'm just no, going to tonight and shut my mouth. I've been there. Yeah, I, I put her feet to the fire here. And, and, and her response was what it was. And she couldn't deal with it. And I want y'all to remember that. I was not but the ugly matter, in, in, in a the malicious matter, way. I was. The fact huh? of the matter is, she was trying to say that her. All of her legal credential papers are sitting with Canadian immigration. Yeah. She doesn't have a copy of her own. She has no access to or that. She had them removed. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Or, or she has access to gain them electronically, but she can fucking email with Dorothy every fucking day. No problem. Give me a fucking break. What the hell? Okay. And, and so just strikes. to clarify. Exactly what you said. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. No, well, no, I've stopped it now, Nicole. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I just want to put part of that to rest. Dorothy may say that she's received information from Claire and has proof of this or that. She has said that about a few people numerous times. She may not have gotten anything from Claire. She's just flapping her gums. I just oh, wanted to make it. Oh, but also, think, she said, how many, y'all heard her and you're seeing her here again. What do you need? Up. I can bring up afterwards if you want, Dorothy yeah. uh, defending Claire. I've got, I've got that. Okay, and that's fine. I don't need to know any communication. I'll talk about what my communication was her with her with her was what she told me. All right, and it okay, has I'm nothing sorry. to do with an issue. No, I'm talking in general to Dorothy or whoever. She sent me stuff or she showed me something. Well, she couldn't show any of us. Right. And you're seeing this now, and it's not because she couldn't. Wouldn't. So keep saying that y'all saw something or that she sent you something. She Go ahead. She had nothing I have say. no doubt that you saw something. Maybe you don't know what the hell you saw, but it's not anything that she could show us. I'm glad she could show you. No, and all it was but. actually, in fact, if it really comes down to it, that whole stream had nothing to do with the copyright strikes, whether to do with whether Claire was or was not, maybe possibly a retired qualified solicitor, but it had to do with a screenshot coming out about her going after Bam. That's what she the first oh time she comes out. The first time she comes out publicly through Dorothy to speak about anything is about a goddamn fucking screenshot that has nothing to do with anything. That's what you want to come out. And you can do that. You can show her that. You couldn't show us shit because it doesn't exist. And you lie, Claire. You're a liar. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna press play. Everybody. Press play. Let's get through this. What, you, what you've received, we need the attachments. There's no reason why you could not have given us that by now. 
You said you're going to sleep. You said you're freaking on a phone call. And now I'm mad. You can hear it. I'm trying to stay chill. I really fucking am. But there's no reason why none of us, even if you just send it one fucking person, I mean, I'm not talking screenshots, I mean the emails that you got. That's imperative, all right? That's what we need. Because I'm thinking right now, his strikes are about to drop off and everything will have been for nothing. And then people are going to find out some shit and it's going to make us look bad. Fucking send it. I don't know why I can't make it any clearer saying anything, but it's true. You could have sent that shit last night. I don't know why you said you were going to sleep or you just disappeared. Claire, that's really fucked up. I'll tell you, because even though we were all hit with those cease and desist, we know they're all bullshit. You would think that the fucking lawyer would be there considering everything we've been doing for the last two years up to this fucking point. Give me a fucking break. Some are in preaching them are in a different fucking hemisphere. So they're, they're really going to come Monday morning be fucked. I have a feeling in that. that this is just fucked up, man. This is fucked up. Are you kidding me, Claire? Scrambling? Sorry, again, I just want to go back to that. To what? <clears throat> this, right here. So this is Claire. But regardless, the strikes, they're valid. And they will stand because YouTube is in a, a court of law. YouTube's never, the last thing YouTube wants to do is be a court of law. What you needed to provide, you know what you needed to provide that you didn't provide, is proof yeah, of you're... legal court pending action. And what you said it, you provided doesn't fucking exist. So you provided. Yeah, it, you're still saying this right here, but when we ask you for it, yeah, okay, well then show us. You can't. After you offer to show us. I hope y'all are, 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 are seeing that. After I'm God damn. You. After you offer, it was after this, you still offered to show, you, you show, you said, we all show you whatever you want to see. I want to see the IPO document that you sent to YouTube. That's exactly what I said verbatim. And you couldn't fucking produce shit because it doesn't exist. Sorry, I just wanted to point that, that, that again, right? So this was what Claire wanted to do. She was going to blame YouTube. This was what her, I think, end game was. It was going to be YouTube's fault for not taking them down. And, and, and get them to retract the price. And, yeah, and, and again, Claire, had you just gone ahead on your own and retracted the strikes, you wouldn't be. It doesn't able to... matter now. Well, it shouldn't have fucking. It doesn't lied. matter now. No, it doesn't matter now. But anyway, okay. I'm gonna... uh, but uh, you know what? And again, putting somebody and holding them accountable. You're goddamn right. I'm going to hold somebody accountable when I respected them and I trusted them, but not when they fucked over the entire community that we were supposed to be, you know, fighting together with. And then you expect us to Kiss take my all ass, the brunt for what you fuck done? you fuck that no uh. -uh. No, I'm not going to say anything. I, I'm very clear here. I'm concise. There's no reason why. Y'all see, I'm asking her for this. I'm saying these things to her. Others were there. My mods. All of them were my mods, mostly. Uh, very specific. Y'all remember these conversations. Y'all still have access to them. How did that become having my feelings hurt because the Rusex talked to Claire and not me? Fuck off with that bullshit. We must stay silent because you're lying. I have integrity. We have integrity. This is showing it that right there. She didn't. Again, she lied. Sorry. Let's push play and finish it. But then trying to pass off the notion that she had to be silent for legal reasons. She had to be silent because of her ex reasons, domestic violence. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the audacious sudden, thing. That's the incredible. All of a sudden, after, after Black she got to be quiet. Out, on panel after panel after panel. And then again, let's fast forward to this week where she's pinpointed herself self to the exact longitude and latitude of where she is in Canada. Her life's not in danger anymore, apparently. Fuck off. Okay. I'm let's uh, again, let's finish this one. This sucks, man. This really sucks. Are you kidding me, Claire? Scrambling? Anything? You don't know what I'm thinking? I'm making it clear. This is not a difficult thing for you to share when all the shit started flying yesterday and you said that you were going to sleep. I mean, you could have sent anything to any one of us. I've been waiting here for two hours and 24 minutes for you to, to be available. God damn, you've had this amount of time to get something, send it to somebody. There's no fucking way that Mr. Rusek is saying that he's just gonna retract them now anyway. Are you fucking kidding me with that shit, Claire? Let me tell you something. If they were valid, if there was anything to retract, why would he do it at this point? What has the last two and a half years been for? To get him off this fucking platform, to get his ass in court one way or another, right? Right now, he's really gonna fucking retract them. Are you kidding? Just on principle alone, I have to tell you to fuck off with that shit, Claire. Like I'm a fucking idiot. That's a slap in my fucking face. 
all of this and he's going to retract them if they're valid and there's something to retract there's no fucking way that he would do that none he's not gonna retract shit uh, and, and at that point, I, that, that was her thing. This is the, for her, she was pretending to look for something that she couldn't find. Uh, and then she said that he was going to be retracting them and all of this. At that time, I thought, well, that's it. I know. I know now everything is just it, it's that's it. That, I knew it, all of it was going to come crumbling down. She was she was lying about especially when she can't show us anything. All of a sudden, exactly. I thought she was lying about him retracting them. I think now she was trying to convince him to retract yeah. them because she needed an out. Because Claire told me that she had to talk Frank off a ledge to not yeah. retract those strikes. Those were Claire's specific words to me individually that she had to talk Frank off a ledge to not. You really, retract. you and you, she was trying to probably fucking convince him to retract yeah. that shit. I think you're right. But at that time, I did think she was lying. It was just an, an excuse and everything, you know. And I was like, oh my god, I can't. I, either way, I knew that she was lying. The whole thing was all crap, and that was her thing, trying to divert it to Rusak uh, uh, retracting the strikes. Uh, <laughs> y'all heard my response. Y'all saw my reaction. That was it. I, I put people, I, I will call you, hold you to account. And you're seeing it. I'm not saying anything that I didn't say to her already or to all the other people, whether you're quiet for right now or you've spoken out, it doesn't matter. Y'all know my position in the whole thing at the time as it was happening. So that actually does make it worse than I'm thinking about it because y'all were taking part in these conversations. You knew exactly what was going on. And now you're saying that they have, y'all have to be quiet for legal reasons. That is just stupid and tacky and bad form. Sorry. Let's play a second one. Can we really quick? Yeah, the follow up. It's ready to go. I've already said my shit to Claire. Y'all knew I was going to do it. It has nothing about being friends or not. Hell. Now, this was the Monday because uh, the, the, that stuff happened on the weekend. We got the season desist, right? And then Saturday is when she was waffling and scrambling and, you know, coming up with time. When I said send something to send. She's, she's never had a problem sending anybody anything, but now you do. While we're waiting for it and we're specific and asking for it, now you got you can't send anything to anybody. Come on, Show, showing us so, stuff that we never asked to see. On top of it, uh, showing yeah. Us so and this was uh, Monday morning after everything happened, where I was at. What happened? Because the only people that I hear say, "Oh no, this is what's happened. This is what happened." Didn't find out from her. They're hearing it from somebody else. Like you're hearing it from who? Who? Alex or whoever else, like y'all are hearing it from this one over here, and y'all are hearing it from that one over there. Who heard it from Summer? Who heard it from Mrs. Rusek? I am literally at the fucking point right now. I don't want to ever hear about a fucking copyright. I don't want to hear about strikes. I don't ever want to hear about investigations, criminal or otherwise, especially if there's several years in the future, you know? I'm tired of the cloak and dagger bullshit. I'm really tired at this point, right this second of thinking that anything I say or do is going to affect anybody's shit whatsoever. The families, y'all's, Claire's, everybody else's, okay? I'll just do my own thing, seriously, because this is just freaking ridiculous. This is where we're at. This is fucking ridiculous. Criminal, you have no idea the stuff that he's been doing. I don't want to hear that anymore. I don't. I'm sorry. Is this me finally losing it? Probably. Probably. Because... All this shit that I've taken on. And I can barely get up every fucking morning. I don't have a bed to fucking sleep in. Nothing. This whole fucking weekend. Wasted emotionally. On nothing. That makes any fucking difference. Because none of it matters. I fucking hell. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Mm -mm. I saw enough. I went in there because I saw all these emails and then I'm just seeing all this shit about Claire. <clears throat> I'm seeing all this fucking shit from Kim. I mean, oh my gosh, so there's so many things on him. It's going to be, I mean, just serious criminal charges. It might take several years for them to charge him. Yeah, she actually fucking said that. That and then in addition to everything that Jen and Amber were saying, I was like, this is it. I mean, this is literally it. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I can't do this anymore. I just, um, I can't believe that. Uh, 
and like it was nothing. And she's sitting here saying that about Claire every time I hear anything from anybody. It came from somebody else. I never saw it with my own eyes. No, I never saw it, but they told me they saw it. No, I don't know where it's at, but they saw it. And I trust them. This is what they told me because they heard it from this person who, you know, who saw it or maybe didn't see it. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck that. I just can't. And seriously, nothing I say or do on any channel is going to make a fucking difference at this point. And that goes for all of us. How am I going to do anything? I can't even help anybody. This is for nothing. It's not going to hurt them if we can't help them. Now. Uh, reactions, kids, questions, anything? But I'm making it very clear. Y'all, y'all, and it, it wasn't ever, you never heard me personally attack her or anything. I realized she was lying about everything. It was, it was done. It was over. Um, he was going to be getting his channel back. How is that going to look? Um, what's going to happen now? It, I was just, I was, I was so disgusted. Uh, and y'all heard me. I was, I, I, that hurt me so bad. I was so tired too. Yeah, it didn't you didn't After attack her, that. but go ahead. But no, all of it, all of us um, uh, they, that that were there, the people that I was speaking to here, you know, were there uh, that whole weekend, knowing what what it was that Claire was doing, what she had done. That for them to even tell me, hey, look at the look at the bigger bigger picture here. Who cares? Who cares? Okay, if the strikes don't stick, even you know he's going to be charged in a couple of years. That that did it for me. I just couldn't anymore. Um, that you're willing to overlook it. So yeah, you, you, you know, giving people a pass, that that was, oh God, yeah. what am I doing here? Why am I here? So that was it for me. And I was so, so hurt that all of that was for nothing at all. I spent, we spent 48 straight hours of shit with Claire, everything that happened. And then to be told that by somebody that 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 was part of this my community and I was part of hers say oh you know what look at the bigger picture here who cares you know uh, about any of that he's going to be charged in a couple of years Sam God damn that whole fucking weekend started what with the Friday I I know I didn't yeah, right. sleep for like a week straight oh. by the time Tuesday came and you and I did that first stream together Sam I mean fuck, mm -hmm. I haven't slept in what three four days straight and that was October I want to make sure everybody knows that was the weekend of October sixteenth. October 16th. So that 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 is when everything went down for me as far as uh, the strikes of uh, the not being valid. Uh, when I uh, said this very specific and I probably sounded very bossy, this is what we need. We needed this. This is the this is stuff that she had already shown us, really. But I was trying well, yeah, to put her into a position where, very, very specific to where if you're going to, this is what we want to see. If you can't produce that and there's nothing private about it. But and, the whole thing too, me everything. and don't forget, yeah. so stand up enough went up on Bam's panel on Halloween on October 30th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it was, it was two weeks before. This, wait a minute. Yeah. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, you're right. It started the other week of the 16th. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. I was my time. Never mind. I'm just stoned over here. Never mind me. Um, and even that night, that day, that Friday, when I saw, I'll just restrike, uh, replay my live stream that Friday, when we were talking, Claire was on the panel, uh, as were the other usual suspects. And she was talking about stuff that y'all saying now that she shouldn't be talking about, or that she has to be quiet because, you know, for legal reasons. And again, that stuff uh, now all of a sudden she's radio silent. She was on my panel talking. I just say I want to remind people again this was the stuff with that we never ever ever asked or wanted to see or expected to ever fucking see. Yeah. I wasn't also, asking for anything that, that she didn't have readily available that she was talking about. Send us an email from YouTube. That's it. Pull it up out of your sense items. Fuck. That's all you need. <laughs> okay, where's okay. the come on, if you have all this, just pull that up. No, 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 no. That one document would have covered every single fucking thing everything you had on them. That's all you needed. Yeah, it would have been an attachment in your fucking sent items. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to look at the chat really quick. I got you on my charger. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Is there anybody here that thinks that I was being fooled by anybody? That I was brainwashed? Is there anybody that actually thinks that I have an issue telling the truth or calling people out? At all. I, I don't mind if they think that we led you astray. I, like I said, I kind of think that's kind of cool, but.
No, I don't think anybody can think that you were actually led astray. You sounded pretty definitive on your own opinion at that point. Y'all saw, I mean, you listen to me. I'm talking to Claire at that time. I am talking to her. She is leaving me some responses, but then immediately, boom, she left when I when I said what I did, what I was saying. So don't don't insinuate or infer that I was brainwashed, fooled, or that I'm lying or that my feelings were hurt because my friend dropped. Okay. Or Anybody yourself. thinks that still? Or I'm yourself. serious. You need to come over here and check yourself with me. Come up here and I'll tell you. And you tell me why you think that I that that, that even is a possibility that it was a personal thing. I was part of this community. We wanted to have AD D platform. The exploitation to stop, right? This is what happened. His channel was going to be reinstated. All of it was just bullshit. And that's when she disappeared because she was lying. There's a question. So, okay, there's, read it to me. Please. Uh, from Devil Mike. I, I don't know if it's Devil Mike or Devil Mick. I've heard different people say mm. different things. Um, Devil Mike. By the way, um, he plays guitar really good. I, I love listening mm -hmm. to this. Mm -hmm. um, he says, should the lawyers have even done a background check on Claire? Is that their job? So for some people that really haven't been around for that long, do you want to explain about all of that? Well, yeah. They, in order for her to even be part of that legal team, quote unquote, they needed to make sure Well, she ain't no goddamn felon, I guess. Uh, so she provided them with her utility bill. Uh, she needed to prove her, it was proof of residency, basically. That's what it was. Proof, that's exactly yeah. what it was. Proof of residency. It, it, uh, they did a background check. So that was it. A passport photo, proof of residency, and a utility utility bill, all with the name Claire Morgan. Don't forget, everybody. Yeah. He told us that she was Wait. not a solicitor, didn't qualify under Morgan. <laughs> Jen's like, don't forget class. Yeah, but wait, so just to back up again, because like I said, there's some people that don't even know that. So we have been told time and time again that Claire is a lawyer and that the, the lawyers, Frankie's lawyers, have verified her. She wouldn't be able yeah. to do what she's doing for them if they weren't able to verify her, which is not true um, because she's not acting in the capacity of a lawyer. So yeah. uh, it, it went so far as saying she wouldn't have access to the information that she has helping him if she if she wasn't well, verified yeah. as being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So one of the videos that Jen and Sam have played on here is where um, Claire was showing um, what the attorneys verified. And basically what it was, was it was a background check because yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the lawyers aren't going to be working with somebody who maybe, you know, has a warrant out for their arrest or something. Which had to be, uh, uh yeah, don't forget yeah, the document. So, so they did a background check, which if I were to help, they would do a background check on me or you check or anybody everybody. else. So yeah. when yeah. they say that the lawyers verified her, that's what we believe they verified. I, I, they, I, they verified her fucking up. utility bill. She didn't show us anything where they verified that she was an attorney. Um, mm -mm. Or, you know, uh, remember, she's supposed to be a medically retired solicitor. And I keep using American attorney. So a solicitor. Um, she didn't show us that they verified that. But that's what we keep being told. But that's what she's that's saying. Why I, yeah, I, that's what she's pushing. That's why I was saying. You, is, is, is yeah, what everybody what says. says. Look, everybody, Sorry. they verified me. They verified me. That's what she's showing us. But it's happening so quickly that until you go back and look at it, you, we didn't realize that all she was showing us was her passport photo, a utility bill, and what the fuck was that? Proof of address under we, her name, Claire Morgan. That's you know, and, 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 and a the paper of, that Reese yeah. signed saying yeah. that she could be a, privy to this information. A permission slip from Frankie, basically. Yeah. Well, so, so devil, uh, devil Mike, she authorized them to, to do the background check so she could be um, part of helping them and have, have some, some level of privilege on uh, with the calls with the attorneys or something like that. This is what we were told. So I never even thought about this until just now. Uh, Claire, actually, all she had to do was say, no, the attorneys didn't need to verify I was I was an ex solicitor because I'm not doing anything as an attorney. They just verified my background. They I, because whether I'm an attorney has nothing to do with this, right? So no, yeah. nobody verified I was an attorney, you guys, because I'm not acting as an attorney. That's all she had to say. Yeah. But no, she did what she normally she doubled down. You know, again, there, we've heard so many excuses. First, it was nobody can find anything because it was under her maiden name. 
then people know her maiden name because she's never <clears throat> hidden her maiden name. She has said it plenty of times. So then she's like, no, it's been, um, uh, uh, what's it? Private sealed. Yes, yeah, sealed. It's been sealed because of domestic violence. Um, then she said, said that, that she had it removed. The RA number, if I'm saying that right, is it an RA number? That's I mean, over here. Number. SRA number. SRA number, which is basically like your 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 law number. Um, then she said that it's been wiped. I don't know what wiped means, but um, it was mm -hmm. wiped. So every well, time if it was wiped, that means yeah, it, it doesn't exist. Like so now there's no trace of her ever being a lawyer. Well, I know, I know. Well, like, she gave an excuse why you can't find it, not why you uh, why you wouldn't find it, but also it was so easy because in that minute when she sent us that message saying, "Well, what do you want me to show? I'll show you whatever you want." The only thing I have is this, and I guess it was equivalent to her, her high school, um, uh, fuck SAT scores. I told I was like, "Hello, just call and get a fucking transcript from the alumni." That's all you had to do, or they wouldn't need it. You couldn't even, you never even thought about that. It was about why you weren't going to be able to find her. Come on. Basically what the SRA and, number is, is it's the Solicitor's Regu Re Regulation Authority, which regulates all the solicitors in England and Wales. So basically if you're a verified, qualified solicitor, you're going to have an SRA number associated with you. It's like a address of a home or a VIN number to a vehicle. It's going to be specific to you and individual to you only. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have to say this, don't everybody, anybody, I'll keep repeating it, and I want y'all to repeat it too, don't anybody come at me telling me or telling us that we're not going to see that because the, the, it's confidential information, that information verifying her credentials, that she was a lawyer or anything else, uh, couldn't possibly be there because they're so sensitive. She was showing us the actual legal fucking case, it, as well as the crowdfunding receipts. She yep. was playing voicemails that 80 subs were leaving for these people, the lawyers over there. She's There's showing the every single fucking thing that they sent to be used in a possible uh, civil case against uh, uh, the pervy fraud. They would, if, if that stuff was ever communicated with, if anything, everything pertinent to, 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 to the case itself and to the people that are involved in it is in that fucking file that she pulled up. She pulled and the up first the things were in it was that. What it would have been showing, in there. What she was showing us was the Cohen Davis lawyer portal dashboard. She has because yeah, that was his, yes, it was That's the dashboard for the fucking case. It was her portal because she was verified as Claire Morgan, a person and someone that can be trusted. Yes, she, none of us asked her to. Was see it about a lawyer? Yeah, you're the one that made it into that, Claire. I'm so fucking mad at you right now. God, get some fucking balls and get on the phone at least. I mean, how could you turn that into something that it wasn't even so, I mean, it was, it's ridiculous. Don't you think the lawyers would have verified my credentials? I'm this, I'm that. Fuck. Here, here's, here's. This thing, this thing. <laughs> and it's all right there. That's why I said, do you remember what you showed? Do you remember the things that you said? The things that you were, you were flashing to people? Don't sit here and say, you're not going to find me for this reason or whatever. And yes. The lawyers verified my credentials. They did this. Well, obviously, they didn't fucking verify anything other than your utility bill. Yeah, and that she's you Claire know? Morgan and apparently doesn't have a... Stop telling people that. Stop. I don't want to hear that anymore. I'm actually... That, that's where I'm at in my head right now. Everybody needs to stop saying shit about her being a lawyer, not being a lawyer. We could have said this a long time ago, but we didn't. But I did. I did. I made that choice today because why the fuck not? I'm not involved in this shit anymore. It doesn't matter. It hurts my feelings that I ended this way with some people. With some people. I'm disappointed. But don't come at me saying anything about, oh, this person saw it. That person told her this. I trust what they said. Okay? So if I, if they said they saw what they did, even though I don't know what it is that they saw that they saw or said that they saw, blah, blah, blah. Fuck y'all with that. Fuck off with that. Don't say anybody verified shit. Anymore. Hopefully you're not. It's just gross. You didn't verify anything. You couldn't. And another reason why I'm putting that out, because I wanted everybody to see. I wanted y'all to see that I called her out. We put her to death. Those that were either friends with her or at least in this fucking community, call her about the co uh, copyright strikes. There was nothing personal about that. Y'all made it for, it was for some people, of course, but you heard me. This is something that we had been working toward. It wasn't about me being jealous or not getting any attention or anything. It was the fact, okay, everybody thinks this is what's happening. Can you at least show us what, what is it in the process? Okay, show us what you, 
show us the number, show us how to pay up, whatever. She couldn't. I'm, I have enough character to call anybody, anybody out and hold them responsible if they're lying to me. Or I find out that they're lying to me and the whole thing had been bullshit. It's not about having my feelings hurt because she fucking dropped me. Here, I have a question. And I don't know if this has been asked. I don't know if I'm on the wrong thought process. But the attorney thing or not. Like, yes, she lied about that. But that doesn't excuse oh, her fucking up the, no. the strike thing. If she's not that, attorney, that's exactly yeah. If she's not an attorney it's, it's, in this day and age of the damn internet, I don't believe on any level that she couldn't Google the shit. I'm sorry, I don't. Mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. Yes, you could go to school to become a solicitor and attorney and all that stuff. Are you but... talking about the copyright strikes, Nicole? Because when I finally buckled down and I'm like, okay, I gotta know because I totally implicitly trusted Claire and knew what she was thought she knew what she was doing. And when I finally buckled down and mm -hmm. looked into it, it took me all of about half an hour to figure out that she was fucking lying. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. talking about all that. What's that? Um, well, yeah, because at that point, she by by that Monday, I everything the way it happened, I knew that everything was just bullshit. I was done. I thought this was a waste of my time, and and I was thinking about the ramifications of it in the future when the community was going to find out. And that's the way I showed that I showed everything. I, I played y all of my stuff. Y'all know exactly my mindset, where it has, where, where it was, and where it has been, and where it's at now. I've never been anything less than honest. And and if any of y'all fucking lied like that. I would be calling any of y'all out, especially those that I did consider my little YouTube friends. Okay. There's no way that I would just let y'all lie or, and not tell anybody, especially when we're here about the platform and this fucking pervy ass fraud. And this is the, the, the thing that you've been floating around YouTube in the basket and you've been putting all your fucking eggs in that we all did and all which is shit. It went to shit. That's what the been... fuck are we doing here? Right. And but see, it I'm wasn't about being a lawyer. I'm sorry. She she did. It wasn't about being a lawyer. It was about fucking lying about the strikes. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nicole. No, 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 you're fine. I just what I'm thinking is and, I, and again, I could be th thinking about it wrong. It became about a lawyer because she got found out and all this stuff fell apart. But mm -hmm. she could have taken. And we were sticking up for her. What? At that time when Whiskey did it. Right. Is that what you mean? Because I don't. When did that happen? I don't remember. But what I'm saying is it fell apart because she let it fall apart. I believe yeah. that in the internet, within the internet, the answers on how to do the copyright strikes correctly, I believe that information is available on the World Wide Web. So when well, things started to fall apart, I think they fall apart because she well, was lazy. I found it. She needs. She she needed to go through the intellectual property enterprise court. That's what I'm saying. I finally, yeah. when I finally bunk hunkered down and actually looked into it because I couldn't. For me, I mean, having done probably 20 plus counterclaims over my tenure on YouTube, thanks to fucking AD and fake ass quack. I mean, I I know I know about the counterclaim process, but I've never struck anyone myself. When I finally hunkered down and looked into it, I'm like, I just can't yeah. figure out. Why he's still up? Why is he not down? I mean, we exhausted every possibility to, because he was striking Grim, he was striking me. Trying those counter those those copyright strikes of his were still open, therefore not allowing his channel to come down. And even after a point of that, it's like there's there's more to this. When I finally hunkered down and looked into, first of all, was Claire lying? The first thing I figured out within five ten minutes was that oh, the intellectual property office doesn't it's deal with anything copyright at all yeah. period never has and then within another 15 minutes i figured out and i had in my hand the fucking handbook of how to actually file through the intellectual property enterprise y'all y'all are in a community file. where you got somebody like martin and and, and stella and all y'all can pinpoint that pervy fucking fraud to the goddamn uh, little tiny google earth shit crazy ass stuff you didn't think that any of us would not, not kind of put two and two together eventually that well, we're gonna exactly. find see something Fucking see what the guy the playing poker through his fucking glasses. You didn't think I was right. Like, <laughs> you can fucking identify uh, the location by the, the sh fucking chandeliers <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and the art on the wall. And you didn't think anybody was going to find anything out. I've seen those curtains before. Yes. I'm sorry. I just, I just that just occurred to me. I thought, oh my god, this is so fucking ridiculous. Who did oh, you boot? Sorry. Jen, uh, yeah, I did. 
No. Yeah, I did. So, but that's kind of what I'm saying is instead of being mad at you guys for telling the truth, which keep in mind, it is a truth community. So instead yeah, no. of being upset with you guys, it never had to fall <sighs> apart. That's what I'm kind of, I want people to realize is it, it could have actually gone off without a hitch had she done it properly and done her research. That's I know. I, I said that in the follow-up, but I, I think, again, when she started the, the thing, her, you know, their intentions, and it, again, everybody please remember that, that we were approached and asked to help in certain ways, okay? We were the ones that were approached. It's not like I went and pitched my tent with anybody over here and inserted myself. Therefore, that argument of me being hurt because of a friendship is just, it's not an argument, fuck off with that. But it, it, it I don't know, I just... We were all involved, and the community was involved. This is what you happened. Did, you did the right thing. It makes you me guys, a little sick. You want to keep making videos? Go ahead. I'm sorry. You guys need needed to tell the truth. It, it, it yes, it's your character, and yes, it was the right thing to do. But what the fuck? I think that I don't know if anybody's thought of this. What bothers me the most about yes, it bothers me that you guys were hurt. But what bothers me even more is that she knew it was falling apart and she allowed an entire community to continue to make videos, yeah. to continue to yeah. do, do countdowns and say he was gone yeah. in seven days, five days, whatever. Yeah. And and these people put themselves on the line by, you know, online doing all this stuff and mentioning him to the point that they were getting cease and desist letters when she mm -hmm. knew that the yeah. stuff they were posting, some of it anyway, was inaccurate. And that is Yes, Nicole, she she did that with many things. When when YouTube um basically closed the investigation from when they went to Google, um she knew about that weeks before she mentioned it to everybody else because she told a select few of us. Yes, there's other did. things there's with other no things what? with no explanation about what? No, there's okay. things that are, there are sure personal talking. things. There are personal things that she told specific people that didn't come true. Now, one thing is, and Susie's oh. talked about this, you know, they were all supposed to go to New York. And as far as Claire knows, Susie was sitting there at the 1st of December waiting to go to New York because Claire never told her it's not happening. She when she just when she goes, her off. That's no, she, she you know, she she told somebody else that she was going to be able to meet up with them. She mm -hmm. never told that person she couldn't meet with them. Myself and someone else had to tell that person. And to this day that she's never mentioned to that person, I'm not going to be at the airport on that day. It's like when you tell so many people so many different things again, you can get sloppy. But then in, in, in looking back on it, there are so many things that if you do go back and you know what you're looking for, that are like, how did I fucking miss that? Yeah, but you're right. And I so thought, how the hell? Like, like she made it about her being a lawyer or not, whoever started that, whatever. I but I'll tell you this, when you say that you don't, what the one uh, copyright thing had nothing to do with the, with the legal case, right? And we're like, yeah, because why is that being perpetuated? If you could actually see what I redacted, at, because I'm a decent fucking honest person, you would see <laughs> that she sent them an email telling them about the fucking copyrights. What does that have anything to do with that? Why would you be sending them anything about copyrights when you're finding out about AD? in the copyright office. So the lines got blurred. You, you missed the picture. You missed the big picture overall, huh? Not me, not anybody else. She's the one that made it into something that it wasn't. And this is on you. You're accountable. You're responsible. Exactly, because it so, could have been a success. I can't. And again, I just, that was, I wanna, can I just address one thing again? Because um, there is actually oh, sorry, a comment man. in the chat. Um, I, I just see. want to address, again, for those just coming in. Wait, so you're saying that Frankie is lying or doesn't know? Because he specifically said recently that she was verified by Cohen Davis as a former lawyer under maiden name. Frankie said in comments. Actually, I don't know if you can pull up a screenshot. I know Frankie put out a community post saying that they stood by Claire. And he never, he did say that Claire was verified by Cohen Davis. However, the words that never have, that I've ever seen myself and in that community post that I'm specifically referencing did come out of Frankie's mouth that Claire was verified as a lawyer. 
by Cohen Davis. And that Correct. brings us to what we've been showing. Claire Morgan has been verified by Cohen Davis as Claire Morgan, the person. and But Dr. also verified as a lawyer. It floats different. People are saying different things. Yeah, so, so yeah. Yes, we see it. But we're not here to talk about the family or make any accusations. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No, no. No. And again, I said this, uh, okay, whatever it is that they think that they're seeing, it's not what they're saying that, that, that they think that they saw, if that makes any sense. And then ultimately for me, as I said, and I'm, you can hear it in my own words, I never want to hear anybody verify shit because you can't verify shit. You're saying that this person told you this because somebody else said that they saw it or that, you know, they thought that they, they saw it and you're just sitting here scratching back. Nobody verified anything that she was a lawyer, especially. Okay. Exactly. What they the verified is that she pays for her electricity at whatever address. That's well, what I'd like to know how, how these, these uh, so-called verified credentials that have been either wiped clean or nobody yeah. has been able to find actually are sitting in Canadian immigration in Mississauga. So they must exist. And you can't happen to find I, them I, I, even electronically in this day and age. Fuck off. But well, either way, I mean, she she said so many different things publicly, and, and that's why I did I I did say what I did to Helen. I said if, if you realize some of the things that people are saying, and you and you know exactly what the truth of, but you would realize how foolish you might end up looking. I'm not saying that they're foolish or they're dumb or that she they shouldn't believe her, but what I'm saying is that we knew that she was saying that she showed them stuff and they had this. It wasn't true. It didn't exist. But when you allow people to go around and lie for you, Claire, when they know they're lying, covering their ass, or they just think that they're telling the truth because you lied to them, shame on you. Shame on you for letting them do that. Whether they know what it is they're saying or not. Ultimately, God, of course, by omission, I lied for you too because I thought you were telling me the fucking truth. Yeah, we all did. They believed, y'all believed me when I told you these things. I was being honest. Don't not believe me now because you don't like what I'm fucking saying. You know, and then we have. I'm sorry. You know, I've said earlier, and I'll say it again. We had Summer and Preach who came to us because they had concerns yeah, they, about Claire. And they fucking have ghosted us now. They won't yeah. even say, haven't, haven't reached out or said anything to us. It, that, that. It, it, uh, I just think that, that that when when I see these comments, so I said they believe this or they said they saw this from whoever and whoever. This is the stuff that bases that is based on what what either she said or she said that uh, this person said or they verified whatever they verified her electric bill. They never it never was about her credentials. It became about her credentials for me. The only time I mentioned it to her, the only time was in the in in the. Uh, uh, context that if you told people, if you explained why anybody was asking you for your credentials in the first place, it explained the whole situation. Everybody would realize exactly, you know, why that even came up. So it wasn't ever about her with me, about her being a lawyer, but she made it that way. Y'all made it that way. And you're over yeah. there. I'm sure. Yeah. Double they Mike, verified. It's not that, they didn't verify. Sorry. I just want to say double Mike, this is not too much to figure out without all the parties present. The parties that are needed to be here have gone and been silent now, which would be Claire for how long now? They've chosen, yeah, and they've, actually, present. they've chosen not to be present. These ladies have invited Claire so many times to be a not part of the on panel, just to reach out to one of us, you know, independently. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's why I said you owed it to the community. It shouldn't have been me or anybody else coming out saying why AD got his fucking channel back, Claire. Three all right. Words, it should have been you. That's all we need to hear is three simple needed to hear is I fucked up. But as being in this community, we're not supposed to talk about the fact that his channel got reinstated and the real reason why it did. What the fuck are y'all doing here? The worst, yeah, we're supposed to have the rest of the community think that we fucked up and take that for you. Not a fucking chance in hell. No. And no. an entire no. community had to listen to him gloat and carry on like he does. And we knew, we knew. No wonder, I did. He, was so, did. he was so persistent in all of those lives about saying, Claire, Frank, retract the strike. He knew there was nothing fucking uh, uh, tangible for proof that Claire had submitted. He fucking knew it. He was giving them a chance. Again, oh, holy fuck. God. Mm -hmm. How about God, that for he irony? Wasn't, he wasn't actually... He, he he was in the right, but he was, fuck, pull them back. You guys are fucking, you got nothing. 
They had nothing. Claire submitted bullshit. She had something, but she, the whole thing was based on disingenuous. She was disingenuous from the very beginning about it. Yeah, Whether you wanted something. to do something alone or as a group and get help or whatever is besides the point. The point is that you started this process. You would think that you would have the process kind of worked out in your head before you started anything. If you knew that they were going to counter your fucking copyright strikes, at least know what the next step would have been. And her ass got put into the position where she couldn't do shit. But you were still telling everybody so many different things that you would. These are valid. Up until the very last second that you got into this private yard stream with us, you were saying that YouTube, he's going to be God. Those will stick. The only thing I asked any of y'all, and I'm specifically speaking to the to the people that no longer speak to me. One, it's incidental that you knew that she was lying then. I don't need you to tell me that you know that she's lying then and that she's lying. All right? I don't need that. I don't want that validation. It's not necessary. But the fact of the matter is, is that as even a member, let's just say a member of being, being in this community, not a creator or making videos, could you, in this one, how can how can you be okay with still considering this to be any kind of community whatsoever, whatsoever, when you, when you're not being open and honest with people? She you know, could have come out and told the truth, but she didn't. Well, and you know, if you really even think about it more in, in in these terms, all this time, what has been a huge wrench in all this, and probably the biggest hill we've all had to battle uh, going up is YouTube not following the, their mm -hmm. own terms of services and policies yeah, in the yeah, first place. Absolutely. So the yeah. one time, the one time, this is not YouTube's fault in any way, shape, or form. You didn't provide what they needed to see because what you said you provided doesn't fucking exist except in your fucking yeah. head. Yeah, and I think that was the issue when I I, I called said that that community post came first put out about being quiet for legal reasons was that was so so upsetting to me because I thought. There's no reason why she can't discuss why his channel came back and why it was reinstated, knowing that she knew everything because she was part of it. Everything went down, you know, about the copyright strikes and everything else. That 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 uh, you would still put something like that up or, or get upset because I am telling the truth. I was here to do this thing, right? We were here to do this. Now, you really think that it's not just a little bit preposterous or audacious that you continue to even talk out about that pervy fucking fraud? Or that you would say, hey, look at the bigger picture, man. He's going to be charged in a couple of years. Or he's going to be going to court. What the well, fuck are y'all doing here? Just shut right. it down. Go. What's, what is it? The one oh. even more ridiculous, preposterous thing is, is she has fucking Claire, which means, she, as I said, she's learned nothing. And she doesn't, she, doesn't give a, she doesn't give a shit about anybody but herself. She's offered to help Dorothy with her, with her strike on her channel. You let her We're here to take this dude down, right? Deplatform him. Spread, spread the message about him being a pervy fucking broad. Right. Okay. But then this stuff here, ignore your integrity, Salty. Ignore the fact that, you, that you're that you not an, that you're an honest person and just keep your mouth shut for the sake of peace and harmony so oh, yes, it doesn't make anybody sure. look bad. Go yeah, we don't, we don't want anybody to get upset. We don't want anybody to get upset. Are you kidding? What, what, how, how could you even look at yourself in the morning knowing that you're part of this community, whatever it was, what you were supposed to be doing here, what you were doing it for ultimately, but when you can't be honest enough, especially with yourself, that that that's that's a better feel. I think some of y'all have to follow. You probably won't again. I think y'all are put in a very bad position. I'm not asking y'all to say anything about anyone. Uh, I don't want y'all to to call her a liar. I don't want y'all to go out and attack her or anything else. I'm part of. I was part of a community. Y'all got the truth, uh, and it was only ever about the truth. And it's not me being hurt. Friend. Has nothing to do with friendship. So I couldn't, I could not. And that's where Jen was at. She couldn't, in all good faith and consciousness at that point, continue on even speaking out about AD after everything that just fell apart because of somebody's uh, uh, need to continue lying for whatever reason, for self gratification. That, oh, they know she's lying. It's okay. Look at the bigger picture here, JC. Okay, no, uh, that's not, that's not cool. It's not cool. And it's not so personal. I'm not rehashing shit. So what she huh? lied. So what she uh, lied. Uh, forget it. Who cares? I got a utility bill. Let's sue people. Stop harassing me, damn it. And a passport photo. <laughs> <laughs> my credentials don't oh, exist dear. anywhere. They've been wiped out. Nobody will ever Canadian immigration got my diploma, damn it. Canadian immigration. All at the same fucking time. <laughs> Wait, it's not the same. 
You see it? What? Oh, I'm telling Maddie you found the thing. She's looking for something. I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, you, I, uh, the people that were making it into a personal thing, it's because they didn't want to admit the fact that they were in here to the platform for every fucking fraud who's getting his channel back. The one, the people that were speaking out against him, trying to shut his ass down, and all of a, all of a sudden, you're not going to come out and say, why didn't he? Why did he get his channel back? What's up with that, guys? Let's just ignore it. Let's not say anything. That to me is fucking preposterous and so absurd. That you were here this entire time, and this happened, and you channel back, and you're not going to mention it. You're not going to even say anything about it. Fuck and, that fuck planet. And I just keep. I can't. I mean, I'm not a creator. I don't make videos. I don't do do that. But <clears throat> I can't help but feel bad for every creator that kept doing those countdowns. I went back and I looked. I had messaged her the first week of October. I was well. I arm, was arm hair was really a big key one in that countdown of the Google grannies going to. Uh, yeah, she wanted to put some stuff out, and again, I, I advised you, Kim, that the aesthetic was just kind of wouldn't look good, and you trusted me and trusted my advice. Then remember that. Okay. So when I messaged her, I was frustrated because I was still dealing dealing with the Amazon thing. Granted, it's all worked out now. His book was pulled, and you know he didn't get that money and you know I'm happy about all that but at the time they were really dragging their feet and I was in this mindset of like my god how does this one man get away with all this stuff and so I mm -hmm. messaged her and I said hey I just I, like I sent her a few voice clips and I was basically just venting and saying that like I'm like so what's the status with the the strikes because uh -huh. you know are you having any luck? Cause I'm, I'm, I felt like it was stagnant with Amazon. And she said to me, I went back and checked when one of you guys were talking. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll read to you exactly what she said. And I can send this to you guys too, but it says we're extremely frustrated too. None of us can understand how he's getting away with it. Saturday morning here. Yeah. The lawyers here have gotten involved with YouTube now because they just aren't taking him down. That was October 9th. Mm -hmm. October 9th. Yep. Yep. So, so I just, and, and again, you're in this community. Hello. See, we're right doing there, anything we can already, to get him shut down, and then he gets reinstated. Y'all know why. Right there, she's already planting. That was October 9th. I mean, the, she was planting those seeds yeah. long before that, but right yeah, there is proof was. that she's planting the seeds that she's going to blame YouTube for him not coming down. Have yeah. he not fucking said fuck yeah. all? Well, so and sorry, just, we ruined that plan for you. But you still yeah. got some friends. Oh, I don't care. You know, be friends with who you want. But uh, I ain't chill with no lying people to me, especially when they come up and lie on my panel, on my channel to all of us. What are you doing here? Fuck off. When we did nothing but support you 1,000%, and I think way and above what we even should have probably when you look back at it in hindsight. But to think that they were saying it was a personal thing, that's why we said anything? Come on. I yeah, never thought it was yeah. a personal thing. I could hear that you guys were hurt by the incredible lies that were told you for very long. Um, God. But this was an integrity thing. This was a character yeah. thing. This That's was about doing the right thing. That's, all it's ever done. That's why we're here because somebody doesn't lack, they lack integrity and they fucking pimp out uh, uh, grisly, awful details of murders, it, probably stupidly getting off on them. And we're here to expose him and tell the truth. But come on, how can you, how can you still make videos after that? How can well, you still get up here and talk about him like that? Whether you're exploiting, how do you do that? whether you're exploiting a family for monetary gain or you're exploiting a family, say maybe for self gratification, self satisfaction, bottom lines is not only is it the same family being exploited, it's still exploitation. It is. And it is. It is. You know, it's, it, that, that's why I think that it, it's just so ridiculous that the again everybody wants to spin different narratives. You didn't want to admit the fact. Oh God damn it, AD's back. Why did his channel come back? You know, like we shouldn't acknowledge it at all. But the person that was telling you everything and every step and every detail about what the process was, what they were doing, I'm answering your questions. I'll show you whatever you want. If right now 
your reaction to me even saying anything, whether it's a month or two later, I want to talk about it every goddamn day. Your re- your reaction is, oh my gosh, why do you want to rehash all this stuff? Why? Let go. It's not personal. Why are you here? Ask yourself that. It's about AD. It's about why his channel was reinstated. About what happened. It's not. Don't make it into something personal. Don't say. Don't. 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 You know, confuse people. The whole smoke and mirrors and everything else. Don't look at the man behind the curtain, kids. Let's just keep AD under our uh, microscope and keep calling him out. I couldn't do it. Blinders and on. I wouldn't. Blinders on. Come on. And look at look at what Green Eyes said. It's just more proof that the lie became more elaborate. But I just don't think the lie ever needed to exist had exactly. she just done it properly. <laughs> Yeah, or even, mm-hmm. you know, what I just said, even got to a point where she realized she was drowning and she got too far in deep. Guys, any one of us, guys, I fucked up. We would have been so, right there and helped her. So just to kind of piggyback off that and what Nicole said, Claire has seen what's happened to this community. There's no way she could. And she knows what's causing it. If we're wrong, come out and prove us wrong and help the community come back together again. Or if you are wrong, then just admit it. Um, she she has seen what this is doing. She has seen what her silence is doing, yep. whether right or wrong. And like I said, I have never wanted to be wrong more in my life than I do right now. But she she's letting this happen. So again, well, she's you're a fucking on, punk. You're a she's fucking punk. She's and continuing it's on in the selfish same thing to do. It's selfish <laughs> and it's self serving. But it her si- and the bullshit about the DV or she has to be quiet because of the legal stuff. She's not a lawyer. She can talk on YouTube. She had no problem going on panels for months and months and months. So that's bullshit. Didn't have nothing to do with it. Again, an excuse. Divert, 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 divert. Let's make it about her credentials and everything else. That wasn't what it was about. Y'all made it that way. Just like you made it into a personal thing. You made it into this. Yeah, I was pissed off. I was hurt at some people a little bit. But the big picture here, y'all, was why I was here originally. Why we were all here. And it, and to um to just uh, pretend like that not, didn't happen. The blinders and, and okay, let's out. So who cares if he got his channel back? Come on, let's make another video. Okay. No, here it doesn't work that way. Business is as usual. And what would have had, if you had done what was suggested to you, what would the community of the subs thought? What was suggested to us? Nothing was ever presented to us in any way, shape, or form. Well, I just meant in the terms of like, you know, let's not, let's not talk about the lie or whatever, whatever salty Mm -hmm. Mm intention. Well, that's Yeah, ignore it. Ignore it. Don't say anything. And then if you have to mention it. Uh, well, make it, it look back, really, really bad. But that goes back to that screenshot we were talking about earlier with the grenade. When we all knew the shit was hitting the fan and the grenade yeah. was going to blow up and it was imminent, she still, she fucking ghosted. And what? Let's, uh, you know what? If we can play that last conversation again or, or yeah. play that one now, because we, I, I said it, it, the people, when we, when we, that one weekend, when all the shit was flying and everything was happening, uh, People knew, of course, they were involved. They knew what was happening. They knew They were saying these things. They were doing this. They were feeling this way. And so we flash forward, okay, a couple of weeks. And then Bad had her live stream where the ladies were in chat and went up on panel. And then Dorothy had hers that Sunday. And I, I saw, again, if I know that what you're saying isn't true, and, I'm, and I want to tell you the truth, I'm doing it for your benefit and for my own, for your own self-preservation or your preservation as well as my own. Because you're, you, you're not educated enough, you don't know enough to know that you're not uh, being uh, truthful, even though she, she believed, I guess, you know, what, what we all did, what people are telling you. But don't, you know, I have to let you know this is what's going on. And that's why I contacted Dorothy and I went on to your live stream. So to later insinuate that the whole thing became personal or was a personal issue. It's just simply not the case. But right here, those people that were involved and the ones that are still involved, you can see where they were at. They, they knew she was lying then. They knew it was going to come out. They knew, oh, fuck, what are we going to do now? I mean, that, I think, keep that in mind. That's one of the reasons why I had to say so. I, I couldn't. I could not say anything at all. I couldn't about the, the, the big picture. There you have it. So, uh, oh God, Manette is calling me. What the hell? 
Wait, before we play whatever oh, yeah. video you wanted, can we just do a Lizzie check? Lizzie. Someone's fine, Quizzy. Lizzie. Ready. Lizzie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maddie's. I was nodding. <laughs> I started nodding off and realized I hadn't clicked mute. So I, I clicked mute and so I started oh. snoring. I just <laughs> wanted to make sure we didn't put you to sleep. I was for. nodding, but that's not nothing to do with you. So carry on. Ignore okay. Me here. <laughs> okay. <Lizzie's present. laughs> Eating me body parts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you know, and to insinuate that it was a personal thing when all of us were here for this reason, we were all on this road together and in this journey. And to, to, to make it seem like it all fell apart because our feelings were hurt. Well, we asked her for her credentials and, and uh, she was so, you know, she took it personal. It, you're, <sighs> it's a reach. It's foolish. It's foolish. It's more than foolish at this point. It's unfathomable. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to press play. So... Do you need to okay. put contact? Do you want to put context since you've been kind of labbing there for a while and everybody may have forgot what we were doing again here? Well, I'm sorry. What the fuck are we talking about anyway? This is the third, third video of yours. Okay, so I showed you the weekend. Uh, everything went. Everything went down, and I called Claire out. I was, you know, I hold. I will hold anybody fucking accountable, and responsible. Y'all know that about me, and that's proof that as everything was unfolding, we showed y'all that, and then I showed you the Monday after. You know, when it, everything happened and where I was at mentally. And, and just broken basically because it was just a farce and it was done this was the weekend of bam's live stream when the ladies went up on her panel and then dorothy's live stream on monday or a sunday i went up on her panel as did later on cheryl and genetic code and uh i knew then uh, at this point these are the chats with most of my uh, most of the people in the chat were my mods and the ones that are were involved in this so and the, there you have it uh, this is uh, as the shit was flying and coming out and what some people's reactions were. Uh, my feelings and in, in, in my my uh, process as it was happening. Oh, I don't know. No. I know my delivery was harsh yesterday and everything, but I am responsible for what I say and do. Nothing I say and do at this point is going to help anybody. It's not going to fucking hurt them. That's how I feel. Obviously, what I've done and what I'm doing hasn't fucking worked. And I don't want to hear, you know, information from like a third person, fourth or fifth. It's an exercise in futility and puts us all at cross purposes. And um, I don't want to you know, do this anymore. That's the only place it wasn't going to come out on, though. And you know that. I don't know what finally just let her fucking let loose. But we knew it was going to come out sooner or later. We were just lucky enough and uh, able to keep bam quiet on it for as long as she did well the truth will come out the truth has fucking come out why would anyone whether it's in bam's chat or mine or anybody else's be pissed off at the fact that we believed what she said just like they and everybody else did we believed her until we didn't anymore and it was going to end and it was going to end badly and it was going to be ugly and that's that's unfortunate but it's true, and that's where we're at. She lied, and if she didn't, then she should be able to at least let me know that none of it was dishonest, and that she was completely truthful, and that this is what's going on. Yeah, she yeah, yeah, and, and not she's because she has to be, right? She's perfectly capable of speaking for herself. Just the whole idea that she's not saying anything makes everything just a 100 times fucking worse. It really is. And she lied to everybody. The community, everybody. We've been quiet because we knew it was going to fucking fly. Now that it's flying, we don't have to be quiet. And I said, before anybody say anything, let's all make sure we're all on the same page here. That didn't happen. You know, Cheryl and them, Bill's in here, we can say the same thing, that we've been prepared to take the heat. That was the plan. No one shit was going to fly, and we were going to have to take the heat. She lied. She disappeared. The only person that should talk for herself or for her is her. Nobody else. Be clear. The reason why I'm saying this in here, I mean, all of y'all are mods except for Preach. She might as well be, right, Preach? You might as well fucking be one of them by now or at this point. Whoever wants to take part in whatever conversation is going to be going on later trying to figure out what the hell is happening with Claire, be my guest. I will not be included. I don't care anymore. I don't. 
because there isn't anything that anybody can say that can make me change my mind about anything. And I respect other people's feelings about her. I do. But please, for fuck's sake, y'all, stop saying the truth will come out soon. People will know then later. She should be saying that. If that's the case, she should be saying that. Not not anyone on her behalf. Now, if y'all want to kick me out of this fucking group or remove me, be my guest. I told y'all, I will do what's necessary right this fucking second to take the shit show up and divert it a little bit, which is what's needed. And I'll do it. I'll do what I have to. Because I have been here this fucking long fighting with y'all for the same goddamn thing. I will take that upon myself. I won't say it again, though. She's not going to come out and say anything. They'll expect us to. I'll do what I want. I'll say what I want. Pause that it there. For everybody. What I, and, and that's absolutely true. I will say what I want. I will do what I want. It's not about the greater good for me at that point. All right. Everything had come out. All the people knew that she was lying then, and that she was lying now. Or some of us, you know, don't say anything. Just ignore it. I will say what I want. I will do what I want. This is my channel. This is on me. My responsibility. Everything. And I told y'all that. I told y'all that. And fuck off I'm trying to make it into a personal thing. I was still willing to come up here and say what I had to, or maybe even take blame, divert attention for the greater fucking good. But now you want to come out and say that you have to be quiet and silent. And I need to be silent, but you have to do it for legal reasons. You weren't saying that shit two weeks prior to that, were you? You weren't saying that shit four weeks prior to that. Y'all weren't saying shit in the chats that I was in with y'all and that we spoke about. Again, I hope I'm making myself very fucking clear. And again, it was clear. I can't be any more fucking honest. It was Claire that initiated and turned this whole striking of AD into a gala show presentation. Oh, Her shit. Thing, that's never the direction I would have gone is to go on live panel after live panel. But oh, Claire knows what she's doing. Let's, that's what she wants to do. But she's the one that she went out. I mean, we asked the people to even trust us more. Just like Lizzie yeah. said. We still, yeah, we're on that live stream, standing shoulder to shoulder. If you trust one of us, trust all of us. Yeah. That's a fucking shame. It makes me sick, actually. That that yeah. part of it. That really does make me fucking sick. And it again, you know, it all for one, we're a community, right? We all went to Google. We all did this. We're all a fucking community. No, we're not. We're not all in this together. We're and again, not. And that's again, when I realized it. This was after myself, Claire, and Preach spending hours upon hours putting together a game plan of the best way to come at AD to strike his channel. And after spending all of the hours and hours and hours that we did planning and, and figuring out what we wanted to do we woke up one morning and claire had gone off on her own sent whatever the 20 25 strikes and none of it was in any way shape related it had nothing to do with the pictures of shit it was nothing to do with what we spent all that time working together to to do she went off and she mm -hmm. ran with it all on her own and then turned it into a big grand spectacle show for everybody and when the shit hit the fan she fucking dipped yeah. And expected all of yeah. us to take the fucking heat for her bullshit. Or at least come out and say why she can't say anything now for legal reasons. Well, that wasn't what you were saying four fucking weeks ago when you knew when you were trying to get her into that stream yard. She kept making excuses about why she couldn't come over here and talk to her friends. Right. Three words, Claire, is all it would have taken. I I'm glad. Or, you know, if you would have told me that she showed you something, ask her. To show it to me. See again how preposterous that is. Do you see how ridiculous that idea, the very idea of that is? I believe her. She told me. Okay. I don't because she couldn't show me <laughs> if it comes down to it. So, all right. I forgot. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all knew. Y'all knew. Y'all knew. And y'all are just like, oh, let's just not see anything still. Okay. I mean, what the fuck? We're supposed to tiptoe around Claire for the rest of our lives? Fuck off. What the That's fuck? What I'll say what I want. That goes for everybody. This isn't a question of having to be quiet for some reason. Other than the fact that we knew that the shit was going to fly. There's no reason for anybody not to say anything. 
She's not a fucking secret agent. She's not on some special international fucking cause that's got to be secret and it's just shh, shh, hush hush. Nobody's say saying anything <laughs> right now. If anybody it's true. wants to say anything, it should be her, not you, Kim, not me, not anyone else. Her. I don't, I don't give a fuck, fuck what she's, she's doing. doing. I don't give. A that's that secret FBI investigation done by a bunch of retired professionals. Fuck what she's oh done. There's a reason why <laughs> you're at this point. Lies are truth. It's not up to to you or anybody else to try to clean this shit up. If she wants to say something and clean it up, she should. If not, it's not my business. It's not my concern anymore. What my concern is is the integrity of the fucking <clears throat> community. Now it's gone. I yep. don't want this to be a reason for people to feel awkward around each other those people that were her very very good friends or those that were just kind of on the periphery those that loved her like her sister or those that respected her because they thought that she was being honest the only person that should come out and say anything about anything about who she is who she isn't what she's done what she's not doing what she said what she hasn't said the truth she's told and the lies she's told is clear my issue kim it's wrong to say that the solicitors will have checked out Claire. The police would have checked too. Well, I know this, and this is going to happen, and this is what was said, and I know this. We have to wait. They'll wait. <clears throat> Hold on a minute here. Hmm. Um, why the fuck would the police in London check out Claire and whether she was a solicitor or not? What the fuck would they need what? to do that for? This screenshot. You no, know, I don't. I haven't even read any of this shit. Wait. So it says the solicitors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Police in yeah, London yeah. too. Why the fuck would the police in London be checking out? Claire I think it's because of them when they went to Google. Perhaps I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> okay. My my. She was still saying, well, somebody would have checked her out. It's just common sense. It's not fucking common sense, okay? When you had been hearing people saying they verified it, this tenth person to the ninth degree fucking verified it with my uncle's cousin's grandma eighteen months ago. Yeah, she's a lawyer. When was when was it's like worked that way? When was the screenshot that's on on screen right now? When when was that comment made? That was the weekend when everything. That would have been that Sunday. That I went so outdoors the day after that, being live stream. Whoever said that, and I'm That's not going to ask you who said it, but whoever said that said thinks, it, okay. and when they say people are believing what Whiskey has said, they mean most likely um, us because we're the ones that outed her. So all that time, Whiskey, Whiskey and uh, claimed that she wasn't a lawyer months and months ago. Again, if anybody mm -hmm. was going to twist. Well, we stood up for her and said that she was. I forget. Well, right, but they're saying that people are believing what Whiskey has said over Claire and are twisting things. Wouldn't we have fucking done that months ago? Seriously? And again, that's... Yes, and also, thing. yeah. That's and how is it that... from a person that I, if it's who I think it is, I specifically told this person many, many, many times that there is so much more that this person doesn't know. They don't understand mm -hmm. why we came to our conclusion. And if this person would stop talking long enough to let me explain to her, but she didn't. <laughs> it's, 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 you know they're they're believing what they're saying okay but you, you don't want us to say anything you don't want us to say anything because you don't want them to know the truth again the absurdity of it all the absurdity of it oh they're they're twisting things there's no fucking twisting yeah, it was very yeah. clear we're, that's we're, what i could we've say we've all been in this truth See? community for years some of us for the entire three years but we're we're gonna just decide one day to start lying about our friend that's what we're gonna do <laughs> yeah yeah just because we knew it drama god damn brainwashing <laughs> bitches because there ain't enough drama on these <laughs> I, I do. I do want to hold on to that title, though. I really do. <laughs> what? Money, penny? But they're twisting no, things, that, and, and that, you know, safety reasons. I mean, whatever. That, that we just, were able to. That we were able to oh, lead you to astray. Yeah, we led you astray. I, I, I just think that's fucking awesome. Sorry, my brainwashing failed yeah. just momentarily. There, I'm back in line. <laughs> no, you're. It, 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 I'm going it, it came to, I'm The things that were being said. Essentially, it was the way they wanted to to view things. I mean, they wanted to put some blinders on and say whatever. I don't want to admit the truth. I don't want to go there. This is what I'm here. This is the bigger picture. Fuck it all. That is not my vibe. It's not like that. But it was some people, uh, unfortunately. So, um, sorry. Let's finish. Yeah, up. No, I stopped because I 
I just, yeah, I want to. <clears throat> All right, so I'll press play. Back to my brainwashing ways. <laughs> Would have checked hmm. too. Well, I know this, and this is going to happen, and this is what was said, and I know this. We have to wait. They'll wait and see. They'll know the truth pretty soon. Just stop. I said my piece on this two fucking weeks ago. Everything I do is for me. Nothing I say or do at this point is going to hurt or help anyone. I take that responsibility on myself. So again, this is the truth. She lied to a lot of people, us included. And there's a reason why she didn't hurt him. That's how I feel. Obviously What's what I've done and what I'm doing hasn't fucking worked. And Missy, and what happened? I hear, you know, information from like a third person, fourth or fifth. Sorry, did I skip ahead by accident? It's good. Uh, we were getting to the good part. Damn it. God damn I'm it. Sorry, it was I don't think I don't no wonder think Penny, Penny would have made that mistake. Job. No fucking wonder. <laughs> oh, I did. That's I why I was, you know, in this conversation, I said, this is the truth. She lied, though. She lied to everybody. She lied to everybody. And if she wasn't lying, she should have been, at least by that point, been able to tell me and show me that she wasn't lying. I couldn't have made it any clearer for, for y'all. It was that simple. Okay, she couldn't. Did we go this far? Where she were we? didn't. Damn it. Where the fuck were we? It doesn't we? matter. I, think uh, I was for uh, the Metropolitan shit. I don't know. It was for the end. Were we, were we near the end? What? I'm hungry. I'm really failing. I can't eat. Okay. I don't remember seeing that. I have no idea. You don't remember anything. You're hot. What the <laughs> hell? Are you high, damn it? No, because I'm trying to work. I haven't had time to smoke, god damn it. I really okay, don't so forget we, we lost our trolling jobs, damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm just She's had a lot of time to practice. And she still sucks. <laughs> I apologize, guys. So there's still four minutes left, but I know I know this screen played, so I'm just gonna fucking press play now before I spend another three hours trying to find where we were. Because there's okay, anything whatever. that anybody can say that can make me change my mind about anything. And I respect other people's feelings about her. I do. But please, for fuck's sake, y'all. Stop saying the truth will come out soon. People will know then later. She should be saying that. If that's the case, she should be saying that. Not not anyone on her behalf. Now, if y'all want to kick me out of this fucking group or remove me, be my guest. I told y'all, I will do what's necessary right this fucking second to take the shit show and divert it a little bit, which is what's needed. And I'll do it. I'll do what I have to because I have been here this fucking long fighting with y'all for the same goddamn thing. I will take that upon myself. I won't say it again, though. She's not going to come out and say anything. They'll expect us to. I'll do what I want. I'll say what I want. That goes for everybody. This isn't a question of having to be quiet for some reason. Other than the fact that we knew that the shit was going to fly. There's no reason for anybody not to say anything. She's not a fucking secret agent. She's not on some special international fucking cause that's got to be secret and it's just sh sh <laughs> nobody say anything right, right now. now. If anybody, anybody wants to say anything, anything, it should be her. Not you, Kim. Not me. Not anyone else. Her. I don't give a fuck what she's doing. I don't give a fuck what she's done. There's a reason why we are at this point. Lies are truth. It's not up to, to you or anybody else to try to clean this shit up. If she wants to say something and clean it up, she should. If not, it's not my business. It's not my concern anymore. What my concern is is the integrity of this fucking community. Now it's gone. I don't want this to be a reason for people to feel awkward around each other. Those people that were her very, very good friends or those that were just kind of on the periphery, those that loved her like her sister or those that respected her because they thought that she was being honest. The only person that should come out and say anything about anything, about who she is, who she isn't, what she's done, what she's not doing, what she said, what she hasn't said, the truth she's told and the lies she's told is clear. My issue, Kim, it's wrong to say that the solicitors will have checked out Claire 
the police would have checked too. Well, I know this, and this is going to happen, and this is what was said, and I know this. We have to wait. They'll wait and see. They'll know the truth pretty soon. Just stop. I said my piece on this two fucking weeks ago. Everything I do is for me. Nothing I say or do at this point is going to hurt or help anyone. I take that responsibility on myself. So again, this is the truth. She lied to a lot of people, us included. And there's a reason why she doesn't want to talk to her friends. But it's not because she has to be quiet. It's like each one of us is on her own at this point. It does. And that's a shame. Yeah. So now, you know, again, I told y'all in these conversations that we had, ladies and gents, there's no reason for us to be quiet at all. She should be saying anything. If you have to be quiet, okay, you can tell people you have to be quiet for legal reasons, whatever, Claire. But to come out and say that after we had these conversations was a slap in my fucking face. It really was. Damn. That, that part is personal. Well, I mean, you guys tried to... I agree. I have to agree with Sam on that. That, that, that particular aspect, definitely. What? Sorry? I mean, oh, the guys... fact that... that... Yeah. Yeah. No, go salty. No, I... I, I... <laughs> to have something that acknowledged is something that we were trying to compress and to keep quiet, essentially. And we even said, what can we tell people? They ask us why Claire shut her channel down, why this. Remember, at that, at that time, too, like, she had already bolted, okay? And I'm still sitting over here trying to figure out what we can do to minimize the fucking damage that was uh, we knew was going to happen. That's the kind of YouTuber true channel I was. Uh, we said, we, hey, we can tell her, you know, she's been dark fady. She had, to, she had to go and leave for a little while, get the hell out of town. It's getting a little hot. You know, people were trying, they were finding her something like that. Again, that's preposterous that y'all rolled with that fucking story. God well, damn. She was so concerned, too. And here's something else just for uh, for thought. She was so concerned about AD doxing her. That's why she forwarded emails from AD subs that they sent her laughing with more laughing emojis. That's how concerned she yep. was about that. She thought it was a fucking joke because she was getting emails from his subs. Yep. Yep. And that the lawyers were getting uh, phone calls for them. And the, they were getting these threats and oh my gosh this is hilarious look at this guys and you know that was her reaction too with that that morning when i woke up and she was saying about the season to she thought it was funny no there's nothing fucking funny about that and ultimately and remember this folks that when she's sitting here laughing and all that stuff was going down she was still supposedly being a retired lawyer you would think that she would be there during that discussion right instead of going and taking a nap but that's what she did didn't have anything happen asking her credentials and hurting her fucking feelings. On principle alone, again, let me tell you to fuck off with that shit. How dare y'all even think that I wouldn't be told some of y'all accountable for the reason why I think it's ridiculous that anybody would still continue on this path. You're getting like robotic. Calling out the pervy fraud for being a fucking pervy fraud. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. That would be what? you, Sam-O. You're sounding robotic. Mr. Oh, Roboto. <laughs> Sam-O sounds like Mrs. Roboto. I just have to say that it's disappointing that knowing that you guys did all that you, all that you could to try to step in, to try to help, to try to... You know, like, mitigate the damages, right? Exactly, and you know, jump on the grenade and everything. With all those efforts placed, it it is disappointing to me that anybody is trying to shed you guys in bad light because you did do all of that. Well, there's going to be the, the regardless. I mean, it's like, what is it? You can't please all the people all the time. You can please, you can please, you can please some of the people. What is that fucking saying? Yeah, yeah, but uh, to add to that, what um, other than people just blaming us, I, I'm I'm disheartened disheartened about the people who agreed with us and have since stayed silent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. In that regard, that's the personal. That, that was that's personal for me. 
Yeah, to me, that's even worse. Um, yeah, we knew people weren't going to believe us. We knew that. And that was that was one of the Don't. things. You know, what? Wait, that, no. I, you knew people weren't going to believe us. I'm sorry. That's what I just heard. Yes, that's what I said. Okay. Okay. We knew we knew there were going to be people that didn't believe us, and and that you know there's nothing we can do about that you know, but the people that did have their own because it, it was there were people that had their own interactions had their own um, uh, experiences. Yeah, and and had their own questions based on interactions with her. They had mm -hmm. their own. And they still have stayed silent, and that yeah, that, that yeah, mm -hmm. that's that, why I said if anybody, who, yeah, that bothers me too. Uh, and then again, you know, with the within the quote unquote community, when they still want to say uh, or or not even mention it all again, it just it just negates everything that you ever done here. Why you said you're here, what you're doing here, still that you could acknowledge, especially privately, and trying to cover up her ass and help her down from that fucking ledge and the shit shit that's about to go down because you are a member of the community but then what personally you want us to be quiet and don't want to say anything because you don't want to uh you don't want it all to come apart it's come apart you don't come together after that i'm sorry you don't, you don't. Have come apart exactly. how 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 are you supposed to continue at that point You tell me, because it wasn't about lying about being a lawyer or not. It was about the stuff that we all had been doing and trying to get done, and the reason why we're here. And she did what she did. I'm not going to ignore that. I'm not going to not tell you all what happened, because we were here for this reason. And not explain to you why he got his channel back. And the fact that y'all are okay with that, but at the that, end oh, well, day, look at the bigger picture. Fuck the, off. At the end Fuck of the day. Off. What at the end of the day, what really happened? We don't even fucking know. We really, we have no idea. We just know that Claire fucking lied. And I really Everything honestly, was a lie. She didn't leave because we hurt her feelings or she was scared. She left because she was lying. She got caught out. I played it for y'all. Shut the fuck up about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't acknowledge. Don't acknowledge anything. She'll never. She's Tell never people you have to be quiet for legal reasons. She was never she quiet before. Either. She was never quiet to you. Y'all know she doesn't have to be quiet now. And as members of the community <laughs> that I did support and that I did love, y'all fucking disappointed me. You really did. Damn. Everybody does. They're, they're giving the pass, right? Also, what if she lied? Who cares? Let's keep talking about AD's life. Okay, so what? Okay, yeah, she lied about everything. Everything fell apart. Let's still talk about his pervy broad house. Pretend like it didn't happen, or yeah. let's not say anything at all. Like uh, none of this ever occurred. Carry on. We're business. not here for this. Well, nothing to see here. Fucking hell, man! You wanted to make it personal. I'll make it personal. But that's what you want to do. I don't have that much, especially now. I don't have any of that invested in me anymore emotionally. With um, uh, what? How should I put this? I've called y'all out. I would call anybody out in the situation of the circumstances because of what I said it was here for and what we were doing and that we were doing together. Y'all want to continue? Go ahead. You don't want to say anything? Go ahead. Don't acknowledge anything privately with somebody that you said that you respected and cared about. That's on you, not me. And I'm not a bad person for coming up here and saying anything again. If I want to come up here and talk about this shit 24 fucking hours straight for the next two years, I will. And you can suck my dick because this is me. Again, that's what I say or do is going to help you. It's not going to hurt, right? Oh, don't say anything. It's going to make the resex look bad. Fuck, I couldn't help him. How is this going to hurt him? How? If nothing I did or said or any of y'all did or said is helping them and their cause, how is this going to fucking hurt them? Ultimately, that, that, that's what it was about. Well, too. Claire, took, How? Claire, Claire took care of that all on her own. It had nothing to do with me. I'm not a bad person because I came here calling out a pervy fucking fraud and that somebody said that she was doing this and we were all in this and we're this is the same cause that I'm not supposed to say anything. God damn. But no one here outed her lie or any of that. That was done by somebody else. So... And I could have come, we could have come up here crying for 24 hours straight too. 
want drama, create drama. They're just trying to stir up drama. Don't anybody ever fucking say that again, especially about me. And I am putting y'all on notice. Don't ever fucking insinuate that I'm just here causing drama because I could have started doing that shit a long fucking time ago. And you know, this has been about raked, everybody. Over, raked over the coals I, a thousand times. No, it fucking hasn't. No, it has not by me. Not by me. And if yeah. I want to do it a thousand times, I will do it a thousand fucking times because I will say what I want. I will do what I want. I told y'all that. I'm telling y'all that again now. This is the reason why. This is what happened. And you shouldn't be fucking sending people uh, twisted up goddamn screenshots, decontextualized, so that way they can have something to fucking talk about and make people look bad. Let's just tell the truth. How about that? That's bad enough, but you can't do that either. That's disappointing. Fucking hell. Three I words. Talk. I fucked up. That's all. I'm dead. It I'll be back in a minute, y'all. That's okay. all. Okay. All it would have taken, Claire, three words. I fucked up. I fucked up. All it would have taken. Not even to a bunch of people. He could have just reached out to any fucking one of us individually. And you know we would have been there to help fucking figure it out. Mm-hmm. I fucked up. Couldn't even okay. three simple words. <clears throat> I'm sorry that you guys had to go through that. Well, I mean, I think, I mean, it's at a point where it fucking is what it is. And I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing, I appreciate that, Nicole, but I mean, it's not about feeling sorry for us. It's about a very wrong, wrong that went very fucking wrong here. And it's not being addressed. It's all water under the, well, not even water under the bridge. It's just nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I don't think she's ever, she'll never come forward and address it in any way. Before and even those three words I fucked up, never. We'll never, ever know why she did what she did. That's that's what I believe. Um, oh, I think. One thing that I wanted to say also was that, you know, even if she doesn't come back, even if she doesn't have anything to say, none of us have been saying anything. We haven't. You know, we said what we needed to say a month ago. Um, I, I know Sam came on today because she's been gone for a while, so she had some stuff to say. But the people, especially the people that think that they know stuff, but they don't know the whole story, they need to stop talking because they are really, I mean, if they want to look like idiots, that's fine. But it, it's hurting the community. We need to stop talking about this. She's Claire's going to do or not do what she wants to do. We're all still, again, still, we're still supporting the family as much as we were the day before this happened. Um, as far as AD is concerned, don't know what else can be done. Lizzie has some ideas and, you know, that can be talked about, but it just needs stop trying to white knight for Claire because trust me, it's going to burn you in the ass. We all know, believe it. We know we, we have the scars to prove it. We've never turned our backs on the family, ever. In fact, that's why we've, we've this is, I don't want to say played out. Cause I mean, like that's why this has happened. And we came forward and spoke what, what little truth we know about that Claire lied about the copyright strikes. Well, she didn't lie about striking them. She certainly got that part down, down pat, but it was the follow through that she made up out of her fucking ass that never <clears> existed, that she, let us every single one of us to believe was what was needed to take his channel down and in the end it was all just can you hear me i'm just doing a sound check really quickly can yeah you I, we can hear you okay great thank you thank you okay i'm gonna meet again and then she dipped out what baby <laughs> it's that little salty that just said god damn it i don't know what she said <laughs> but she said something That's what god damn it is what i heard <laughs> I could hear you cursing. Then you said, God damn it. <laughs> you sound just like mama. <laughs> yeah, she did, right? She did. I think, you know, the sting has worn off for me a long time ago again that, that I can, um, I'm not even asking people to remember what kind of person I am, that if y'all ever watched me or listened to me or anything, that you know what kind of person I am. And, but I, I will emphasize that my whole reason for being here was what it was, at least to a certain extent. Um, I didn't see the point even before that of continuing with the videos because there's only so many times that you can say that he's a pretty fucking grown. 
Well, exactly. And you said, you said it a million times. There's only so many videos. Yeah, I mean, he does the same know. fucking merry-go-round bullshit. It, that, yeah, and it's the same. Even though the, the videos are out there for posterity, if y'all continue or not, it's besides the point. I mean, you what's going to happen? Happen. You, can, you right? can see he started his rolodex of conspiracy theories right back from the beginning again, and that comes from the experience well, of uh, him for three years and watching him play it out for three years. He's literally started it all right back at the beginning of the fucking rolodex. Again. Well, that's what he does anyway. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. But so go ahead and start at the beginning of your videos. <laughs> you know, when you start talking about all this stuff, just go through it again. Just dust it off. Take what it what off else? the shelf. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask for super chat and I'm going to monetize. I'm going to put them out all as new current fresh water. No. Oh, gosh. No, but that's my point. Is these videos, is all the shit that he's done, is all the video, everything is out there. Frankly, I don't really like beating a fucking dead horse. Well, that's what y'all were doing. That's what everybody was doing for quite some time. And then, of course, some people did stay quiet because they didn't want to hurt any people's education. They were being very di diplomatic. Um, they weren't going to say anything anyway. Uh, they didn't want to hurt anybody's cause. So that doesn't mean that you can't tell your truth, though, when that ends. OK, when 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 that came down to it and you stay quiet, you don't want to hurt the case or hurt the family or hurt the friends or hurt the community. You lost that whole um, reason why you're here. Ultimately, you lost that. So look at yourself. If you still consider yourself to be any part of a truth community, especially that you would ask people and urge people to be quiet about what why they're not. And then continue it's going to continue, continue or or this is what happened this is why he's getting his channel back and uh, you're you're continue. here for the wrong reasons or something i mean y'all need to get right you really do well yeah but and then expect us to continue with our he heads held high like they were in the beginning not not yeah, saying man. anything pretending we don't know anything <clears throat> yeah and so i think i kept emphasizing that nothing i say or do is going to help or hurt anybody at this point because it didn't, by then it, a long time ago it didn't seem like everybody was on their own anyway and, and when I say that we all get painted by the same brush again, like when Martin, whoever else wanted to come out, he said, just that man was a fucking pedophile, that he was running a sex trafficking ring, that we all accused him of that, that we all stalked him, we all told everybody which hotel he was at every weekend, that we all did this, we, we all did that. I called Martin out for that. I called Martin out for calling Amber a junkie because that's not a fucking arguing point. You don't use something like that in your fucking YouTube beat, all right? I called other people out. Y'all were okay with it? Was it? But now you, I, I'm not supposed to call anybody out. I was never a real truther, I guess, huh? Um, that's it. Well, you know, that's I it. used to say I never understood why the term truth community had a bad connotation to it to some people. It became people. bad because of people like yeah. shit like this. Y'all, that you want to say you're telling the truth, but you're a fucking liar. That would be you want to believe her, believe whatever she's saying, fine. But don't fucking disbelieve me and don't ever question my integrity. And don't ever tell me my fucking business. And don't ever suggest that I'm brainwashed or fooled by anybody. I stood up for some people. I wasn't be I wasn't foolish then, was I? But now I am. Fuck off. Well, and people need to remember or realize that you guys didn't out her for not being an attorney. That wasn't outed by you guys. What you guys came forward with was talking about the copyright strikes. But that was all it ever was. I don't know how, how many times we stressed over and over. It wasn't about the family. It was about Claire and the copyright strike issue only. Right. And it got all yeah. twist turned upside down into the whole, well, what does it matter if she lied? What does it matter if she's an attorney or she's not a fucking attorney? I'll okay. say this while I'm thinking about it. If so anybody out there says, well, she never said she was a lawyer, I can make my videos public again. I can send you real private screenshots. You want me to do that? Fuck, I'll just play that audio. Stop again. saying the earlier. foolish shit. Stop letting people lie for you, Claire. Stop. You want me to play that, play that audio again where she says it herself? Fucking hell, man. Well, I, I think that was the issue because it's like we were all kind of confused. Like, no, didn't she show us that on my live stream where, you know, she pulled up the stuff that she improved that she was a lawyer and she did this? No, I think it was your live stream. No, I think it was in this chat or in this group. So we're all thinking whatever, right? But she never showed anything. So that was kind of like the whole, you know, confused and conquered and divide. You know what I mean? <laughs> that when it comes down to it, the things that you thought you saw and things that you thought you heard, you did never hear and you never saw. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Are we there? Pass, you pulled up? A passport photo, a utility bill, and proof of address under the name Claire Morgan. That's how Cohen Davis verified it. And a police yeah. background check. Sorry. 
And she said they verified her credentials because why wouldn't they, damn it? Well, uh, obviously they didn't because it's not in the, in, in the case file over there where you put every single thing, including your fucking blood types, it seems like. So don't say it's confidential and sensitive fucking information either. That we never asked. We never asked you to show us either. I never asked. I, sh I asked you to show what, what you said that you had, Clay. That you were showing us before, even though it wasn't you. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a, it is a shame. It didn't have to be like this. No, it didn't. It didn't. But it is what it is. If y'all want to say, why are you rehashing it? Hey, I haven't been here for a while. I haven't said shit. I probably won't hear from you again for another season. None of us have. None of us have. I don't care. Well, I don't know. Well, apparently they rehashed it. And of all the things, you're gonna you're gonna send screenshots to somebody, decontextualize screenshots. Yeah, yeah. That is really fucking absurd. Point. It's okay for after a month of nothing being set up, that last stream <laughs> called the United so where we talked about uh, the OTO, all of a sudden, a month later, of not a word being said anywhere about it, Dorothy does her stream, decides that's, that's where Claire is going to first publicly speak about anything, and she chooses to send screenshots. That's okay for Dorothy to do, but if she couldn't we, come out, something. we yeah. come out and say something, we're dragging it uh, across the coals a thousand times. Fuck off. I can't see anything in my chat. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. Okay, I, I want to play that. Me. I just want to play that clip again from Claire saying she was a solicitor. So oh, go is, ahead. Let's yeah, go ahead this and keep beating this horse, okay? I don't know, what do you're going to hear is Claire talking about whiskey. Then I was like, oh, sir, I honestly, I don't know. Oh. She's just a fucking idiot. So, um, yeah. Oh. You know. That is very well, lady. I can't believe that you tried to yeah. play Legally, what did you think she was doing? I get punked. Eight, nine years I've been retired now. Why is no one saying anything? Why? Can you guys not hear it? Can you hear it? Fast talking. Did you guys hear the audio or no? I heard yeah. it. It was kind of quiet, but I heard it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I can turn it up. I just, I don't know if Sam is in I hear some over there. That's got to be you. It's not me. I heard the beat. I think it's Welsh. Oh, oh me. Yeah, do you mind just yeah. muting there for a second until I play this clip? Jen, that's not very nice when I haven't even said anything. I said please. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Sam's gone. Right on. All right, here we go. I'll start it again. You guys could hear it, and I've turned it off now. Ah. Like, uh, sir, I honestly, I don't know. She's just a Hello? fucking idiot. So, um, yeah, you know, I can't believe that she tried to play legal games with a solicitor. Jesus what did she think she was doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I've been, I've been retired for well, eight, eight, nine years. I've been retired now. But mm. why, why did she think she could play legal games with somebody who worked with a law? You know? Because she really, really thought that I wasn't, I wasn't what I was saying I was. But she had a big fucking shock, didn't she? A hell of a big shock. And now she's deleted the video she did that she done on me and mentioning my son. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> you know, hearing that laugh now just pisses me off. And we were laughing with her at the time. Yeah. Well, I mean, on that one stream of mine, she came and showed her son stuff and she had no problem showing anything. So yeah. that's a preposterous idea that she can't now or say anything because of privacy or legal concerns it, it that that point was never valid i it, it should never have been valid for anyone or fear for her safety if you've got fear for your or safety, for why, are you safety. Showing, why are you showing documents about your son all over youtube if you've got fear for your life hello hello Lizzie? Can you give me some sound checks please hello all right hello. hey hey Lizzie? Well, Lady. Lizzie. 
Well, Shelly's <laughs> muted. Do you know that you're muted? She might still be mad at me. Um, gentle mute. Don't mute. Don't mute. Don't mute. Don't mute. Hello, Don't lovely. Listen. How are you? Good me. evening. Well, morning. It's 20 past four here in the morning. I'm sorry. Ah, is, is, is that my short twin? Is that yeah. you? Yeah. Hey, how are hello. you? Hello. Hello. I'm, I'm fine, thank you. You, you, ready, you ready to go to space and get tall? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, oh, I went to the doctors last week and she said, yeah. said your balance isn't right. She, she said, you're leaning over. I said, because my balance isn't right. So she had me doing all these different things and I was nearly falling on the floor. She, she, she said... Your balance is not. I thought, God, how many times is she going to tell me that? And then somebody else told me that if you've got osteoarthritis in your back, which I have, you go shorter. What am I yeah. going to be? Three yeah. foot? Three and a half foot? <laughs> it could happen. It could. I mean, you're. <laughs> that's, that's true, though. We do change okay. sides. Can you kick Lizzie out? She's there, but she didn't. She didn't mean to come up, so she just sent me a message asking you to kick her out. Come on, Lizzie, you can kick yourself out. <laughs> you bully, kick her to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Didn't didn't she didn't? Isn't that the one that she just signed in with? Does she need the other one kicked out? How many Don't kick me out. Just got here. Scotty, uh, Oh, fuck, there's two of her up here. Yeah, there's two of them. <laughs> there was, but now the other one's done. Yeah, I think the other one was actually Lizzie. That This one is the one that was her old one. Lizzie, you realize that uh, you're you're still up here. Wow. I mean, <laughs> hello. Yeah, can't even kick of course you didn't mean to come up here. You're over on another stream listening to Salty's ass, and, and you're supposed to be over there. That's what she's thinking. Oh, yeah. Well, she was sleeping before, Oh, very likely. She hadn't quite hit the uh, REM stage yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, at least the other one of her that's here is muted, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she doesn't know she's up here. Can't hear anything, probably, and she's not saying anything, so we can't tell her. <laughs> so, what's mm -hmm. up, Welsh lady? How are you, darling? I'm fine, thank you. It's lovely to hear your voice. I'm, I'm going to Yorkshire on Thursday Yorkshire. to stay with my son for Christmas oh, and his wife and nice. my granddaughter. That's, so That's lovely. How far yeah. is that from where you are? Oh, it, it depends who's driving. It, it takes like one and a half to two hours. But, oh, okay. Um, the first time I went, it was six hours, then five. So I'm getting it done slowly. It was two last time. So I've gone from five hours to two hours. You guys don't really get a lot of snow there, do you? You guys just like rain all the time. Oh, I've got to go on the highest <clears throat> motorway in the UK, which is um, on the Yorkshire Moors. You guys have a lot of roundabouts. I'd be in a car crash in no time. I'd be <laughs> looking the wrong way to cross the street, actually. Let's be honest about it. <laughs> yeah, I think I would as well. Became here, I don't know. I have to say, I just read this. I love that. Would you vote for somebody to call themselves President Truth Teller? <laughs> Some people would. <laughs> Sorry. So, is everybody okay? As okay as can be. Uh, is anybody ever really okay, though? Yeah. No. Well, me, no, I'm not okay. Don't go mad, not but I said that before. I started choking the other night when I was asleep. I asked her because of the issues that I have. And I as far as I know, surgery. Chris. I am a private case. As far as I know, I don't think this has been canceled yet. Well, it has been canceled for me. It was canceled two years ago. I'm not what I'm not is that point. noise? Oh. Are y'all hearing me? Or? Oh, yeah. Hi, Hippie Love. It's Who's me. here? Hippie Love in chat. Ah! I didn't, recognize I, the, I, didn't, uh, I didn't recognize the avatar at all, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Where's my other tag gone? You didn't Jen, have what one. What have you done with that? You're just I a black square. No, I wasn't. I had that Welsh lady on it. Your name's still showing. Yeah. No. Your name is showing. But you, you didn't have another card. Actually, none of our there. names are showing. We are all nameless and brainwashed. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. <laughs> and I. That's the song. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> you you have got avatars. So I haven't even got one of them. I'm just she, black. <laughs> we see you. We know you're here. You're the best shade of black that ever, ever could be. I, I was scared to come up and kiss people thought I was clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. No. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> now, now, knowing your voice is, is the way I do now. Initially for me it's the accent, right? I've had a hard time for the longest time. And I can thank my my dear friend Leslie Day that I've known since I was five that got me hooked on British comedy shows to begin with. So I'd already started to be able to trans be able to um, um, translate the British accent into what they're actually saying but when the whole like welsh accent thing with you and claire that you had going i for the longest time didn't know what either one of you guys were saying and you both did sound the same but now i can very distinctly tell your voices apart this is this is why i want hold you on. to name and hold on hold on if y'all can hear me Sorry. uh hippie i don't know what the fuck rinsing is who said it or what it means or her sh me but me showing her go find me it was the principal because they said that Martin and her were committing fraud, just like I did with the one that he started for me. That's why I did it. And I said so. Do I feel bad about it? No, I don't. Because I don't think that somebody that's actually doing something good for somebody else, they just should use as a fucking argument in their YouTube beat. All right? And I don't know what's happened the last couple of weeks or however long it's been. To I don't even fair, know what rinsing is. What are you talking about? Uh, let me answer that. Just to be fair, only Van can answer that <laughs> question why she feels that the family has done that. I do not support that in any way, shape, or form. That's but it, what, what, is it? What, 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 what does rinsing mean? It's basically a you basically rinsing, you taking, basically using money and taking their money for. Yeah. Conning? You're conning? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. that's really oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Please yeah see, I didn't know what rinsing meant either. Yeah, it's all the same. Is Cassie thing. is still in here? And I know, at least I'll learn you can speak on my behalf, but I'm going to tell you the truth. That when everything, I, when I heard something, she started talking about the go, uh, not the go fund me, or uh, it was after the legal fund. I was going to leak some information. So that way she could, I could correct her. Yeah. Because I knew that she, what she was intimating, what she was saying wasn't true. We've seen Claire show I knew that. that. I wanted her to see it. We've seen we that. We saw the receipts ourselves for the legal yeah. fund. All right. Well, That's what I was doing at that time. Yeah. Circumstances are what they are. I haven't been around. So if that's what you're suggesting, I don't understand. I'm waiting. I'm but yeah, I wanted to, 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 to say something. We didn't, uh, we weren't going to put that out because we were, one, it, it wasn't really necessary. But motherfuck, we knew that the money was going to where it needed to go. And again, the whole purpose of this live is not about calling out all the perceived liars of the world or talking about what Bam has said for herself in on, on her channel. This is specifically talking about Claire and the goddamn copyright strike. You want me to call everybody out right now, y'all? Y'all want me to start doing that? I'm going to do it. I, have uh, a, I hope you're not fucking drinking and, or uh, making drunk fucking videos, racist videos, you freaking nasty homophobic wretch, especially about me. Bam, stop lying. Stop talking shit. How about that? Stop uh, raking people over the coals and, and saying it's okay to do, and unless you're only doing it gratuitously. Don't care who goes on other people's channels, right, Maureen Cook? Don't care. I'm not involved, but I'm going to stalk you and see which chats did you go into. You want me to keep going? What do y'all want me to do? Do y'all want me to do that? I should, huh? I've always told the truth before. You keep your mouth shut. Oh, that's so cute, Maddie. Can we just say that we all love? Um, we all actually love hippie love. Can we just yes. say that? Yes, yes I love like hippie. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. What the hell no, and asking? just and Sam, just so you know, she actually retracted that comment. I know it doesn't show retracted um, in Streamyard, but she did retract that comment. Just so you know. But again, and I said this too. Y'all know why? I said it that night. She needs whatever. And guess what? I need a lot of shit now, too. Do you think that I would tell anybody? After all of this? <laughs> I'm, 
I, I, I don't know if I'm just being sensitive or, or that really freaking just. I don't know. It, the, the, the expectation of some people is that they expect you to say things and they expect certain things from me. I understand that. I know I, I, I had a lot of flack for not coming out and saying anything about Ida. I, I was being judicious in my silence. My silence didn't mean that I was supporting that. And I don't need to come out and say I don't support child abuse. Nobody fucking does. Uh, I don't know if I should um, even continue. Like I said, it, uh, it's, it's a fuck. It really is. I'm sorry if I sound ugly, but God damn. It's a futile everybody fight. makes it about something else. I, I showed and I shared the GoFundMe. I told y'all why at that night. What has happened since then? I have no idea. I have no fucking clue. But I know that I have people still calling me a goddamn felon and a fraud from the GoFundMe that Martin Dehan started for me. And everything was really bad. He did something nice for me. He did That's something nice for her. That's right. what I saw it as. Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened. And he, he took a lot of flack for both of them. Or rinsing. I don't even know. What the fuck? It's just a newer term. For okay. what they like, conning. yeah, huh? Help you conning. Conning. Can you let conning? C O N N I N G conning. A D cost conning. people out of money. Salty, yeah. can you let Lizzie up? We we chucked the wrong one. Well, how many times does she need to be up here? God damn it! And then <laughs> can you, can you hear me? It. Yeah, we can hear you, Liz. Okay, because I'm not staying. I just want to. I forgot to leave. <laughs> and, and I to kick Who's me high out. maintenance? Lizzie is. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I had visions of me sitting there all night. <laughs> well, we realized there was two of you, and I said, well, at least at one point, the other one you had you had muted, so I didn't think too much damage could be done. You say so, you're going to bed. So could uh, yeah. So could could you check? Me out the other one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick. Oh, she left. Okay, I'll send her a message. Take the other one out. Oh my god, what a fucking brain, fucking brainwashed bunch we are. The other one, her beautiful mullet one, with Shirley, who's the Oprah Winfrey of Canada. She's right next to me. God damn it! On the fucking <laughs> it looks six. like there's only six of us. You got five, five chests. Wait, I heard my name. What are we talking about? The avatars, the pictures we have up. No, no, not you, honey. Not you, Cheryl. I said, Shirley, that, that host in, in Lizzie's avatar, the lady on the, oh. on the left with the microphone, she had a uh, the number one Canada daytime talk show in Canada at one point. This is like the late 80s. And her name, it went by Shirley. But because we're mm. Canada and we're not the U.S. and we really don't have a Hollywood she was our Oprah Winfrey of talk show host. She was the only one that ever really existed. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. yeah. Um, Welsh, lady doesn't, Welsh lady doesn't have an avatar. Or a name, no. apparently. No. I She's am. a secret agent. I am. <laughs> yeah. She's on undercover work here. She's on a Get in line. the dark. <laughs> and Are the, you? In the dark so you can see who I am. Are you did an MI5 agent? I was just going to ask. I was just going to ask that. I was going to say, are you an MI5? <laughs> I, I am. I'm with the YouTube police. <laughs> and, and I've come to sort of sort you all out. <clears throat> and, are you gonna, um, wait a minute. Are you going to call us out for being in this live and in the chat? Are you going to call yeah. us out for doing that? Yep. Get all going to YouTube prison. Get your bags packed. You've got an hour. Well, if I need legal advice, I ain't going to be calling Claire Morgan. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> so, no, she can take care of copyright strikes and counterclaims. Oh, well, you know what? Is this a retired Google prison we're going to with retired judges <laughs> and retired par personnel? We can have hire wardens. retired fucking attorneys and retired, retired detectives. Liz Lizzie <laughs> messaged me. Can you drop that other avatar of her? Like kick it out. Which one is it? I can't see. The one see. next it's to me. The one at the top. Resist. 
The one that's next to me. There's only six. There's only six. Somebody's six. wearing. Yeah, there you go. You got it. <laughs> I'm going to end up. Did I get it? The curve. I freaking feel it. No. Yeah, you got it. Especially not by Lizzie. She doesn't kick anybody's curve. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Including Maureen Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you I said, if you actually said something or did something to actually to make her feel a certain way, then you really are an asshole. <laughs> um, Just like if you come into my chat on this channel and you say something and Amber blocks you, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that's bad. Just one of the guinea pigs telling her to block somebody before Amber would oh, even do yeah, it. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, it, it's strange that people run around like they've never even been here before. Like, y'all have never, ever heard anything that I've ever said or what it stood for before. And I understand that people are disappointed. And I'm sorry if I if I disappointed you for being honest. But I couldn't be yeah. anything less. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I will admit, I have no idea what that fuck rinsing was until now. I have no idea if that was still going on. But I do I, know that when we very first started talking about that fund, we knew the truth. And we knew the facts. And that's why I wanted to talk to Cassius. I wanted him to leak that. At least I, leak that. So that way she knew it was it was a uh, it was um the truth essentially I mean this is facts it was going to where it was supposed to go we, we saw that and as I said because Claire showed us so and I knew that's where she was going with that I think that so, was around the time you know what? I'd rather have I every single person in this community or what was a community be disappointed and hate me at least i fucking told the truth i'd rather walk That's away true. with that okay. than having yeah, kept my mouth shut and just continue on business as usual nothing happened here swept under the rug mm -hmm. yeah and i mean it, that. it, it was day. much more personal for some people than it was for me and i think that's why i really wanted to show what i did because make it seem like it was a personal issue when it wasn't for me <laughs> or any of my things with are y'all laughing at me Okay? No, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm laughing at Amanda's comment. She says, what the fuck, Welsh lady? What happened to your little nameplate? You're just a black rectangle. Well, if you all are heading to the clinker, I know a cheap lawyer, as long as you don't need <laughs> <laughs> I, want ones. I, no, I want Cinnabons. I want Cinnabons. I'm a noodle. I'm, I want Cinnabons, baby. And she is actually <laughs> in America, so you know they. She hasn't got no a flyer or anything. That's like fucking Catchy bus. Call 1 800 need a lawyer, fuck. Oh, I think I, I had seen this and what Nicole had written about that with Bam in the chat. Whether it's Bam, Helen, uh, um, anybody, you know, uh, y'all know how we roll and um, you know what we stand for. And I've never had anybody coming into the chats just to talk shit to be shitty, except for that one night. Um, and my mods were really judicious and, and quick uh, because they were posting the porn links, right? But there's no uh, gratuitous hate here. There's no gratuitous drama. Uh, it's factual. And if y'all want to be, we can. That's the thing. Y'all know that we can. But I've never seen that in any of my chats until actually that first, the second live stream that we did about or the follow-up with Claire. I kept those two up. I think they're still up. Um, yeah, they are. Nothing. But yeah, don't be talking shit about anybody else. But if you if you want me to start talking shit about people, I'll start talking shit. Well, there has there has been a couple creators that we've talked about, but that was because they specifically targeted a lot yeah. of us for what we did. So that's why they've been talked about. But exactly. just the, the randomness of we don't like somebody because they're a liar or a cheater or they're nasty or they say terrible things. That that's not what the this is about right now. <laughs> why won't get one free injunctions anyone? <laughs> that's what I was just laughing. <laughs> Buy 12, get the 13th free. <laughs> Did you bring your punch card so I can punch out your purchase? <laughs> fucking coffee. Talking to my there. goddamn self when I was muted the entire fucking time. You have no idea how, how upset I am at that because I said some really good stuff. By the way, AD, I'm still waiting for a reply from your lawyers about that cease and desist. That came, uh, that reply was like, what, over a month and a half ago? I'm still waiting for that reply from your lawyers. That, that law firm is retired. Don't you know that? Yeah, so so SM, SM asked in the chat, y'all got any more of those buy one, get one free injunctions? I have not. Um, my, my cease and desist. <laughs> Are you on a delay, Cheryl? Just sitting, huh? Are you on a delay? 
I don't think so. Because we already joked and laughed about this. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, she on. doesn't listen to us all the time. <laughs> Ever. Oh, me name. Me name, so. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm coming. Everybody through. else's is too. Damn, I'm not just yours. You didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. You're not undercover anymore, though. Sure, oh. all, I didn't mean that. I was just pulling your cover. Oh. We did talk well, about that. Like, I can't I can't be on a delay since I'm in StreamYard. StreamYard doesn't go on delays, only YouTube does. So I don't know. I maybe know. I'm just lying. Maybe no, it was three I, hours ago we joked. Making yeah. cookies, I'm making icing, I'm decorating them, <laughs> I'm doing the live. I've got babies and dogs and kids running around. All so right, I'll, I'll, cut some some slack. Slack. I'll cut you some slack. I'll cut you some slack. Not always a gotcha oh, god damn it, many penny. Happy ho ho holidays. I'll cut you slack. Holiday slack for you. My Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Um oh, oh she's not even gonna tell her story now. Oh, Paul, thank you for the phone show. What? I'm trying to see. I'm, I'm speaking what the fuck is happening with the names? When you pull up a comment like I just Allah, did, the green, we you'll go, see how the names disappeared, right? I'm yeah. in the black. And now, when I remove again. it, you'll see the names. But yeah, I, see, I see the names. I see the names. In, no, I don't. I was going to say I see them in YouTube, but I don't. That's you don't weird. see it? I see them now. I see them now. Wow. No, this is another comment. Okay, so I wasn't wrong, Jen. So there. What? Wrong about what? I, I wasn't on delay. SM's comment was a different one than the one you guys talked about. The one y'all got more of those buy one, get one free injunctions that we just laughed about? <laughs> Shut that, up. Is so, that is funny, though. Let's go. You know what? I don't like you people. I don't like you at all right now. Oh. It's, me. it's me. She really Yeah, you know who got those for him? Claire Morgan. She filled those out for him. Yeah. That's sure, where they all came your brainwashing from. is wearing off. I know. Y'all bitches brainwashing <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah. You can't brainwash a salty brainwash bitch like person me. person should not be talking to you like you're familiar. You're right. Hippie, hippie's back in the chat, Salty. She was. She said her phone died. But she heard you were talking to her. Huh? She, she missed everything you said. A little bit ago when Hippie Love made the comment about the fundraiser. And then she kind of disappeared, but her phone what died. Is, back in chat I didn't know that she disappeared. I know that I saw the comment, and I, I very, well. Well, well yeah, she, she's saying she I didn't, didn't, didn't know what rinsing fucking was. I know that, but apparently I know what it is now. I know that when everything was yeah. happening, that when uh, around that time, uh, uh, because I have been gone, <clears throat> she started talking about the legal fund not being valid, that it, there was anything fraudulent about it. Uh, and I was going to leak to Cassius the information that we had to prove that it was, in fact, going to where it was supposed to go. That's what I was talking about as well. Uh, that didn't go further because I had issues and I haven't been around. Um, I was pissed off at uh, the fact that, but not really even pissed off, but I have no fucking idea what Rinsey was. So I was kind of confused about that. And her GoFundMe, that's what it was. Putting it up on my damn live stream. Y'all know why I did it, and I'll say it again. Because a long time ago, Martin Dehan did something nice for me, and he was doing it again for somebody else. It's not fraudulent. It wasn't fraudulent. I'm assuming it wasn't. I know mine wasn't. Uh, it was the principle of the matter. What else did I say? I don't... Oh, okay. Start condemning everybody in every action, every channel, every creator, every sub. Or just be judicious and not say shit. You want me to call out every liar or just one? I want me to do that. Do I have to come out and say I don't support child fucking abuse? I don't support pedophiles. I don't support fraud, obviously. Kiting checks around town. Uh, you know, defrauding the government for benefits. Uh, don't like liars. There's a lot of things that I don't condone. I can call out, you know, let's go ahead and say that. Uh, do I have to say I don't support what? What else? Or support this person? My point being that it, it's it's past time where I have to even make excuses for myself, or not even make excuses, but tell y'all for why I did what I did. And again, I have been gone. I have no fucking clue what Bam says or doesn't say. 
I don't go hang out on people's chats. And then get mad at people that are hanging out in people's chats. Stop being a fucking hypocrite, all of you. How about YouTube that? YouTube GPS inventory police. Give me a fucking break. I don't go into a lot of people's channels. I never have. I never did. That's not what I do. I don't call out other creators here. Or, or I don't even say hater creators. Those the, the ones that fucked with me, especially, the ones that I did talk about, were people like the goddamn toothless bastards. It's the same. I'm a fucking cyber terrorist for the last year and a half. Okay? I don't support cyber terrorism either, just to let y'all know. <laughs> uh, what else? I don't know. I have no idea. That's that's pretty much what I said. I'm against people kicking puppies. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah animal abuse mm. is off the... Uh, off yeah, the yeah. I'm against people saying... Keep calling out a pervy fraud fucking liar, but don't say anything about this chick that's lying over here because your feelings are hurt. Come on. Right here in our backyard. We're supposed to just <laughs> hurt you. I'm hurt that my friends, well, people that I did consider, some of them my friends off of this platform, again, my circle being very small, that could not have at least sent me even a message, anything, instead of just really go, those are the ones that dropped us. Those are the ones that dropped me. Whoever wants to say anything. It wasn't about Claire being personal or dropping me. I don't fucking care that she's not talking to me anymore. I'm caring that she's not fucking talking to y'all and telling y'all the truth. There's a big exactly. difference. Exactly. There's a big fucking difference. Yep. I was here to tell the truth about everything. Why wouldn't I still keep doing so? I'm disappointed that those people that I did support that were aware that she was lying at that time, they know she's lying now, have been quiet. And they couldn't have at least said something, acknowledged something, saying, look, I, I know... I, I've got. I'm not going to say anything on YouTube, Sam. You understand? Yeah, I understand. You're in a difficult position. I get it. No, you don't say anything at all. And you let people go around indicating that I am an awful person, and that I should have stayed quiet for legal reasons. What else? Uh, <clears throat> oh, can I just say on another note, there has been a lot of support, and there's been people who. I personally believe don't believe us or choose to believe Claire, but they're still polite. They yep. they don't attack, um, and, oh, and, and, that's sure. fine. and that's fine. And and but we we also we do have a lot of support from people who. I, I know, but that's the thing. I never asked anybody or indicated anyone needed to to believe my truth and not anybody else's. Right. I'm just I I'm just giving a shout out to all the people who have supported us, who have publicly okay. and even privately sent messages saying, you know, I'm really sorry you guys are going through this. Kind of what was what's been going on in chat. Some people have said, you know, it's really I feel really bad for what you guys had to go through, blah blah blah. So mm -hmm. I just want to give a shout out to all those people because yeah. you know mm -hmm. that has meant mm -hmm. a lot to us, you know, because mm -hmm. we really honestly I I personally expected like three people to like us after all this. I mean, because it, Claire's very well liked and she was doing a lot of hard work. And what we- Because we believe what she was saying. We believed her. We were very well liked and we worked hard too. And Don't again, we're not, that, sure. we're not trying to diminish the positive stuff that she did do. That's never been our goal. No, That's no, never no, happened. It's unfortunate that the one massive lie in all this is what overshadows everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has um who has reached out to us and and said nice things, even you know even things that didn't have to say hey I believe you guys it was just nice things, and and I really appreciate it. Oh oh I have to follow this up. I just remembered the thing with hippie okay the, um, the crowdfunding and the goat money and all of that. I we really and truly we knew that there were people that were going to hear anything that we said and they would be upset your feelings would be hurt we might have disappointed some people you don't think that i was telling the truth you know that i am telling the truth i don't i don't need you to come out and tell me that you know that i'm telling the truth okay i don't need that i need this though that um i need people to remember what kind of person i have always been that we have always been don't make it into something that it never was. It was never personal. It wasn't about being my having my feelings hurt. Yeah. Don't yeah. make it personal. Don't make it look like um, something that it wasn't. Considering what I am here for, what we were here for is to tell the truth about a pervy fraud. There's no way to sugarcoat this. There's no way to do that. And y'all know I'm a stand up person. Y'all know it. So that's why I think when I was told last night 
than anybody would say I was brainwashed or I was fooled. And that the person that was indicating that was getting that rationale from Claire, who's a fucking liar. I'll come out and tell you, don't ever say anything about my fucking business again. I can't stand that. I can't stand the idea that somebody has the audacity to come out here and tell me my fucking business. When y'all know that in the past, when somebody else has done that, I've called them to task. I fucking cleared up information. I put them straight. I said it right. Why wouldn't I now? And if I want to, I will. I'll say whatever the fuck I want. On my channel. It's very simple. I have no reason not to say anything. Especially when I was here to tell the goddamn truth. So if you want to continue, don't, don't continue the idea that my feelings are hurt. Don't say anything or indicate that y'all solve any verification of shit. Don't sit here and tell me it's okay that this person is lying as long as, uh, you know, you keep saying that person over there is a fucking liar. Don't. That's what this, that, that's what this place has become to me. It's, fucking, it's gross. It's gross that in the end, the same people that said that they would support you and that they still do, maybe even privately or, or silently, whatever, ever doubted you to begin with. That is fucking, the, the notion is just sad. It's sad. But I don't have anything, any reason not to say anything at all. I never did. Remember when Martin said that uh, he knew that it was, I guess it was supposed to be Norman that said that they dogs uh, salty. They were the ones that did this. I said him right on that. I did that. I said other people write on a lot of different things. Of course, I'm going to set people right about this. Brainwashed, fooled, fuck off. <sighs> this is why I'm never going to get another trolling job. I just get too mad too easy. I'm sorry. Yes, there was. You retracted a comment, Hippie. I saw it. That you, you mentioned why we were speaking out about why is Bam... Um, speaking out about the uh, family uh, fuck, rinsing. What the fuck was it she said? I saw it. What about Bam what? speaking out about Frankie rinsing people, which was where the See, whole I thing. thought we put that info out, too, but that and that was the week that, that we did the two lives. I mean, I was, I was, I've was been gone pretty much since, but I had wanted to get that out, and the reason why we wanted to leak it, quite honestly, was because we were still so close to the circumstances at that point. We didn't want people thinking that we're doing it out of spite and that we were doing it maliciously. That's why I wanted to leak it to, to Cassius to see if he could give it to BM and just show it to BM because yeah, I know that whoever, or even if it was enough, enough, anybody, anybody I knew that uh, at least maybe uh, knew that they, they have no reason to lie. I didn't want people thinking we were making up shit. Obviously, we're we warm. We don't put it out there and then get accused of breaking it over the coals a thousand times. Yeah, I know. But that was the thing. We were, we were so close to the, um, to the circumstances and the events itself. We didn't want people thinking that we were just being assholes about it. And then I thought, well, people will be upset at me if, or us if we put this out. Well, let's not do it. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't want anybody to be upset. We didn't no, want to have, have the knee jerk reaction and then, you know, realize, yeah, after, yeah maybe we shouldn't have fucked yeah. done that. And we were going to do it. Oh, that's right. We did that, that other live stream. We were going to do it that night. And that's the one that um, I had to shut down really quick because that stuff happened with Maddie. Yeah. And then we were just fucking yeah. around because yeah. we thought, yeah, you know, let's not go ahead and talk about that one right now. <laughs> the party um, all the time with the chin. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm sure a lot of people were upset at me. You probably don't. That's fine. Well, as I said, I'd rather have every single person in what I hate to say was once a community be disappointed in me and hate me for speaking out the truth instead of continuing along, not saying a word mm -hmm. and lying to y'all and you, you know, thinking everything's all hunky dory. Yeah. So, yeah. Align myself. I salute everybody who come forward and said what was happening because we've all put our trust in Claire, all mm -hmm. of us. Yep. Yep. And the thing is, at the end of the day, if he, she was in too much over her head, yep. why didn't she get in touch with the lawyers and ask them to take over? Or come to one of us and just say, I fucked up. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Keep in mind how we always said that everything was separate. Uh, Claire showed that dashboard. She was she was interjecting shit. I have a clip well, she, yeah, into she, that. 
she makes it clear that that what she's doing with the copyright strikes is completely separate. I'll fucking pull that. But why is she right sending now. them? She'll, she'll look at this. What I found today about the copyright. She was doing that as well. Hang on, I'm gonna find. Mm. I just want um, to say thank you, thank you, Welsh lady, for saying that. Thank you, about Welsh lady, for saying that. Baby, I only heard half of what you said. Michael. No, I th I think tonight um, you can tell how much it affected you, um, Salty and the others. And well, you, only in as much that people are, yeah. you want to send screenshots to others to have something to talk about and be upset on your behalf. Yeah. You have plenty of reason and opportunity to come up here and be, be upset with me. How about that? How about if you think that uh, I'm upset or saying these things because you hurt my feelings, why don't you come over here and talk to me? Why do you send other people shit? You can't send me nothing, but you can send other people stuff. That's how ridiculous it is. People that had never heard anything from Claire. Well, I spoke to Claire. I know she's a lawyer. She told me. I trust her. Okay. Yeah. Well, she didn't yeah, show me anybody else. We all but then on her own accord, show us stuff that we never even asked or expected. Ask to for. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a lawyer. It's, it's a, that, that, that's my debunk. That's how salty debunks. Okay. Well, you want to go ahead and talk about the ridiculousness of, of sharing screens? Let's go ahead and share some screenshots. I'll go ahead. Let's, mm. I'll do that over there. I'll, I'll have some fun with that. I have no issue with that. It's not personal. It was about the copyrights. That's why we were here, 80s channel. This is what fucked up. This is what happened. Yeah. I called her to task and I do it with any of y'all, which is what I'm doing right now, actually, with some of you, uh, whether I name you or not. I have no reason. I have no horse in this race anymore. I don't care. No. I don't no. care that everything that we did coll uh, collectively work towards, when it all came apart, if it wasn't personal, to a certain extent, it should have been to some because you call yourself an honest truth teller or a truth yeah. channel or whatever. It, that's obviously not the case. Sam, it's not. Can you, um, I've shared a screen. I just I'm sorry. I can't see anything. I just did it now. I want to play this for... Uh, Why does Lizzie right? keep coming up here? If somebody asks Lizzie if she means to be up here right now. She's not or is it because I kicked her out and she, she can't leave? She told me she was going to bed. Okay, then I'm not going to let you back here, Lizzie. Go to sleep. <laughs> she, stopped me. she stopped me, baby. So this is just a really quick clip. It's only 22 seconds. But again, this is right out of Claire's fucking mouth. The, 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 actual, the actual lawyers that are working on the case against AD have had nothing to do with they, they they obviously know they know what I'm doing. It's not interfering with with what they are doing. But they I've done this. They haven't done this. But she had to go silent. She had to go silent. to act upon proof of oh, of pending one. legal action with regards to the copyrights. Okay, this one. That will be highlighted in court when. The action oh sorry i want to stop that i just want to say so you heard it from this, is, this is just disgusting to me at this point i'm sorry no no i, can I play can't that, but i just want to I, i'll stop it i can play it whatever but i just wanted to, to reference that last clip i played so that was right out of claire's mouth that the lawyers have nothing to do with the copyright strikes they know what she's doing but she had to go silent for legal reasons all of a sudden after blasting it as a big performance fucking gala show all over youtube all right up to that point this is gross to me. I, I just, I, I forgot about this and then. No, I, actually, I did too. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to play this. Yeah, I'll just finish playing it. I'm going to go outside really quick and then um, I'll be back momentarily. Okay. I don't think I got around to actually playing this. Uh, the last stream that Salty and I did when I busted out all the IPO. And I was, you know, we're sitting up there asking people to believe your asses. Think about that. You have somebody like Lizzie saying, look, if you believe me and trust me, you need to believe and trust everybody. That's the position that y'all put her in, that you put me into. God damn. And if YouTube failed to act upon proof ah, fuck this. Of, fuck this. of pending legal action with regards to the copyrights, that will be highlighted in court when the other case comes to court because they'll say well did you try this did you try that did you and then the evidence will be brought forward with regards to going to google with trying the copyright oh, wait 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 kim but claire said at that point google dropped the case and dropped the investigation because y'all didn't yeah. give them enough information 
her connection well, that's to what she said to some people who, yeah was working with feels sick this, this is this is just gross that whole investigation God. is closed according to claire due to lack of evidence so this is all going to be highlighted youtube is going to have to answer to a non-existent ipo that claire made up and pulled out of her fucking ass all right claim and everything and if that will be highlighted in court yeah you did not youtube you did not act upon the evidence that was given to you why yeah neither that? did claire that that is the scenario she's not us storming google and trying to sue google no this will be brought up in a separate case if they do not act upon it now it's the ball is in their court so it's a win-win. They either bring him down now, or they if they fail to bring him down. They've got to answer to why they didn't bring him down. And pause, please. Yep. Why don't you answer, answer why they're they failing to admit the fact that Claire was lying <laughs> and that she was lying to everybody? <laughs> You're failing to act on that. God damn. The ball I'm so is in. Right yeah, now you hear. I have no reason not to say anything anymore. You know what, Kim? The ball, the ball wasn't in, in or the ball was in YouTube's court, except we were playing baseball and Claire launched in a, a fucking football. Yeah, yeah. Well, she probably doesn't even know what the fuck that. Yeah, I, I, whatever. Yeah, if she even you knew that. If she By even this point, the ball I think. When was that one? Because was that the week that the the season assist came out? Right, that, that was weekend? at the end of September. I think September twenty seventh or something seems to stick out to mind. That was on uh, Nuff Slide. One of Nuff Slide. Okay. Okay, sorry. No, I mean, I just, that one just uh, played on its own because I had initially just played the lawyer stuff. You, you know what? Go ahead and replay it. I'm sorry. I know I kept interrupting. I really this time will not if y'all want to listen to it again. It, well, it was uh, done, actually. But I can play another one. If you so what was the reason they weren't going to get on Dr. Oz to get their makeover again? <laughs> because Google dropped the case, essentially. That's what happened, huh? <laughs> you fucking Claire, asshole. Damn. This was after Claire told us that Google closed the case for lack of evidence. And I don't really recall her. You know, it was very selective if you think again, hindsight's twenty twenty. But if you think back about it, you know, she was really at times very generous again with the throwing out of information. She would throw out screenshots for stuff that we never asked to see. But then when she specifically says, What do you want to see? she can't produce it because it didn't ever fucking exist. Hey, can you do that again, Jen? Huh? Can you sing that again, please? Because it doesn't even fucking exist. There you go. <laughs> I was like, wait, what did I sing? <laughs> Stop, now I'm smoking. So that was pretty, that was a pretty quick uh, reflex. Did Sam uh, fuck off there? I think Cheryl's dealing with cookies and babies. What the doing? what? I'm sorry, I'm here. What? I'm here, I'm listening. What am I doing? So you tell me what am I doing? What am I not supposed oh, to be doing? Somebody needs to tell me what to do because I'm brainwashed. Yo. Play the fucking clip again, genetic code, because Which I one? interrupted too many times. Let's go ahead oh. and play it for more dramatic effect, and it'll make me more sick to my stomach. Let's okay, do you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna just start with the lawyers again here. The other ones I played already. Um, oh shit. Look, I'm clicking too fast. The other ones I actually played already in the other stream that's all the, 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 Oh, no, these are the ones that I was talking about, not mine. All right, I'm getting there. Two seconds. Because it didn't even fucking exist. The, 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 actual, the actual lawyers that are working on the case against AD have had nothing to do with they, they they obviously know they know what I'm doing. It's not interfering with with what they are doing. But they I've done this. They haven't done this. And if you wasn't interfering in in anything she was doing until she said it was because she fucking got called out. That's when it became an interference. Just throwing that out there, you know. And if YouTube fail to act upon proof of of pending legal action with regards to the copyrights, that will be highlighted in court when the other case pending legal action because against say, him because oh, of the did copyright. Did you try this? Did you?
Tell me that doesn't make you sick. I'm sorry. I said yeah. I wasn't going to do this. God damn it. Yeah, but they didn't. Go fail. on mute. Go they, on didn't, mute. they didn't fail to act on pending legal court action because Claire didn't fucking present them any pending legal court action. And that's what I mean. I've said this many times before. Yet, yeah, on a whole, in the grand scheme of everything, YouTube has failed horribly, miserably, beyond miserably at at, at adhering to their own policies, procedures, rules, regulations. They have failed. He should have been gone a long time ago. Yes, I have always vehemently said that. Always, always, always. But in this one particular instance, when it was the best chance we've ever, ever had that would have had his channel taken down. Like, oh. You tried that, did you? And then the evidence will be brought forward with regards to going to Google, with trying the copyright strike claim and everything. And if that will be highlighted in court, yeah, you did not, YouTube, you did not act upon the evidence that was given to you. Why was that? That that is the scenario. It's not us storming Google and trying to sue Google. No, this will be brought up in a separate case if they do not act upon it now. It's the ball is in their court. So it's a win-win. They either bring him down now, or they, if they fail to bring him down, they've got to answer to why they didn't bring him down. Yep, and after answer, they will. Now, one thing I do want to say, giving the benefit of the doubt here to Claire, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'll give her a pass on this one. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Google did close down that investigation for lack of evidence. That Google will, or yeah, Google will have to answer for. That they will. But in terms of them not taking him down for this strike bullshit, they don't have to answer shit because they didn't get the stuff that they needed. To yeah, but you know what? In retrospect, knowing now what we did, you sat there just a few days later in a goddamn stream yard sewing, telling, telling us, and she told all of us that her and the legal team met with Google's legal team that morning, and he was going to be gone on Monday. Now, looking now, you're listening to this and you're remembering this that that's what she said. You realize how fucking ridiculous that is now. Well, there was another instance too, and and again, it was one of no, those but I mean, this is the fact, this is the thing that you can't deny that. Well, yeah, they, but you cannot personally, these people that they know, you know who you are, you can't deny that. Oh, yeah, we met with the, the Google's legal team today. Are you well, oh my fucking hell? Well, yeah, and then there was another instance where it was one of AD's real bad hardcore going for dragging shows. It was either at Claire directly, Martin, or Grimm. And she said it was a Thursday night live, and we were all up on one panel. And she said she initially is not on the panel, but maybe we didn't even in because she was too scared at that point. But I know what she did say was the second that Frank or Frankie's name is mentioned out of AD's mouth, she's gonna call yep. Yar and he's got a direct line to Google, and they're gonna pull him down right away. Mm -hmm. We fucking yep. like, fell for that. You sit I'm here and say to... one has nothing to do with the other. No, it didn't. And it never had it. But why are you sitting here sending lawyers copyright shit about AD? Why were you trying to make it about that? You want to know why? You got some information that you found by accident in a freaking thing, the truth be told, at uh, Bubbles, that if you had been doing what you said you would have been doing and that you were doing, you would have had that paperwork yourself. But you're acting like you uncovered this great big information. This big juicy bit of gossip, and you're telling the lawyers about it. That 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 God, get your shit together. That's ridiculous as well. I mean, everything, all of it is ridiculous. You but you want me to keep making eight videos or not saying anything about this? But in all that time, fuck? Claire, you couldn't have taken. As I said, when I finally hunkered down and, and was like, something's not fucking right. This is the end of the fucking line, and I got to figure it out. And I looked into it and figured out what you needed to do. I did it in 20 minutes. I ain't no lawyer. You couldn't in yeah, 20 no. minutes out of all of this time done that or even said to one of us, I fucked up and we would have all figured it out in like 10. Are you fucking kidding me? Sitting up there for, for how long saying as soon as he says anything about this, we have to call them and they're going to do this and all of that. And then um, y'all just 
one of the issues I think that a lot of people really have is that you're blurring these lines and you're making things into something that they're not. They're absolutely not. And you're just completely missing the point or you're trying to confuse people. You're trying to make it look like things that it wasn't. It wasn't about her being a lawyer or not, even though I know she wasn't. And again, I'm going to say she's not. She's a fucking liar. We didn't come out. It, it wasn't it wasn't necessary for us to come out. I didn't drag her. I didn't roast her. I didn't say anything. But goddamn. I have people saying that I shouldn't have done it. Because it makes what them look bad. Sorry, I don't care. We're gonna get flat because because we I don't show fucking clear. care. We Just like clear. I need to keep my mouth shut because it might it, it would hurt future litigation. I did that for quite some time, didn't I? I did, but then I realized it's all fucking ridiculous. It's all bullshit. There's no reason for me to be quiet. So that's what happened. Big and 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 you're sitting here saying these things to us in private or or public, whatever. As you said, all these cloak and dagger covert underground FBI it's investigations. fucking ridiculous. Done by it's all ridiculous. Retired professionals. Forget about that. Look at the big picture. They'll go to jail in 18 fucking years. What the hell ever. <laughs> Whatever. And you want to go ahead Go ahead and do what you're doing, okay? Don't even acknowledge the fact that this Blue Channel came back. Well, I meanwhile. At all. Just go quiet on that. You know what? It's like nobody's going to notice. <laughs> nobody's going to notice that this channel came back. And that's it. Meanwhile, for the next 18 years till he does go to jail, he's going to be on YouTube continuing on in the exact same fashion. That look he forward to the future. Just look at the bigger picture, Jen. Look at the bigger picture, ladies. Oh, yeah, you're right. You It'll happen eventually. That. Let's go yeah. ahead and keep making videos. <laughs> for 18 years till he goes to jail. <laughs> <laughs> but we had it. It was right there. He could have been taken down. All you had to say was, I fucked up. Yep. Yes. And I'm, I'm sorry, but that's honestly what it fucking comes down to. Three fucking words. I fucked up. So, are the Ruzaks still taking him to court? I have no fucking clue. Oh no, I'm sure the the civil, the absolutely. I mean, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? Again, actually yeah. thinking about it, when she was sitting here saying how y'all storm Google and y'all were working with these people at Google, even no, meeting with the legal no, team no. was meeting with the legal team at Google, and you've been striking him and talking to Google about it. Do you realize that the collateral damage? That you that will that is going to be a um, scene from that. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be. I mean, it, y'all will be seeing a lot of damage, but I mean, don't all of a sudden say now we have to be quiet because it might hurt something. Mm. Uh, uh-uh, no, she already did it. You already did it. Actually, it looks a little crazy to me now. In retrospect. That here you were saying all this stuff about the people at Google, and Google called y'all, and they're going to take you to fly you to New York, New York for a Christmas makeover, the Google Fucking grannies, direct uh, and all that other shit. And now you're 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 filing all these strikes against this dude that apparently they already knew about because because why? Now that's the ridiculousness of it all. God. I would rather cut out my own fucking tongue than admit that anybody was right on one certain thing. And I said that like when AD, he, you know what? He, he has a point when he tells people that y'all dox him and you find out where he's at and you put the information out because that's what y'all fucking yeah. did. That's what you've done. I called you out for it. I would do that with anybody. Tell me, Google grannies, this, that, this, and that. We met with the legal team this morning. He's going to be gone on Monday. Come on. Yes, but if, if she's saying we met with the legal team, does she not mean the one that's on retainer? Oh, she said, and it was that Thursday, the week that uh, right before everything happened with the cease and desist, and she decided she had to go take a fucking nap. Um, she said they met with the Google team, the legal team at Google that morning. They had a nice big Zoom phone call, uh, and that he was going to be removed by Monday. So well, over the weekend, he was going to be gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you met with the legal team at Google, right? Sure, the legal team at Google of all things. That's how ridiculous this has fucking become and it became. Yeah. You think I'm not going to say anything? You shouldn't have. Oh. Yeah. 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 But to think that y'all couldn't even say anything to me privately. Sam, you know I can't say anything publicly about this, so. I get where you're feeling. I understand where you're coming from. Bye. Nothing? Fuck. I'm muting. Here, I want to show something. Don't go far, Sam.
Guys, shut up. Lizzie's back. She, yeah, she just messaged me too. Uh, uh, so give me just one second. Just uh, let me make that super close in a second. Uno momento, senorita, then senor. Because it doesn't fucking exist. So just as a little refresher for people that may have not listened to any of that screen. I went too big there. Well, all right. Actually, we can go like this. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So, contacting the intellectual property office. You can contact the intellectual property office. Whether you have a patent or supplementary protection certificate, blah, blah, blah. So, where do you see my arrow? to start legal proceedings over some types of intellectual property disputes. And in bold, this does not include copyright infringement. Now, four. Are you talking to me? Wait. No, you're the last one I'm talking to. So for claims below 10,000 pounds, now if you recall, Claire did say this wasn't about the money. It was just about getting the court action to prove that Frank had the ownership to Shanann's Facebook and the photos, et cetera, et cetera. So what Claire should have done was follow down through the intellectual property enterprise court small claims track process. So for or issues, I guess. Yeah. Situations. Dorothy, if she's helping you with your copyrights, make sure she's not doing all this shit. That's, that's what we're No, doing. this is the stuff she should have been doing. Oh, or should have been doing. There you go. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she's learned. Yeah. I'm sure she's, uh, you know, learned a couple of things, picked up a couple of things. She should be doing that. Well, if it's a community guideline strike, she's helping her with. She's fucking totally on her own because I never helped Claire with one of those. Anyways, so if the claim is below 10,000 pounds and, okay, claims below, use the intellectual property enterprise court if your claim is less than 10,000 pounds and for infringement of one of the following. There we have in bold copyright. So the copyright, or sorry, intellectual property enterprise court is not the intellectual property office. The intellectual property office does not deal with copyright infringement or copyright administration of any kind. But Claire submitted to YouTube the pending IPO number for, for or sorry, the IPO number, the intellectual property office number, and I'll fucking play those clips again of Claire saying it. She submitted to YouTube the intellectual property office number with that pending judgment she was going to get from her God's, godson that was expediting everything through. It's a goddamn full, full on court process. She needed to serve AD. AD would have had his chance to try to defend his pathetic pervy fraud ass in court. None of that happened. Do you not think Claire would have been all over YouTube? The way she created this whole gala premiere show of the copyright strikes in the first place, the day that AD got served to go to court for this pending copyright, nothing. She didn't fucking, I don't know what, if she did send YouTube anything, but whatever she sent to YouTube doesn't fucking exist. And that's what I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> so quiet. Wait, why is Lizzie up there? We we lost we lost salty. Yeah, that's and why Lizzie's, so I'm messaging with Lizzie. She said she's not she's not coming up. She doesn't understand. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> get your shit together, Lizzie. <laughs> yeah. So when when salty Hello. comes back, we'll have her. Hello. Hi, Lizzie. Hello. Hi, Lizzie. Thought thought you didn't want to be here. Hang on. You know where you are? <laughs> Give me, no, I don't. Give me a sec. <clears throat> she doesn't want to be here. Oh, no. Oh, so while, while Lizzie's taking a second, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I just want to let everybody know that Lizzie's going to do what she did last year. I don't know if everybody knows. She's She's got a story about it. But um, at 10 o'clock Eastern time, she's going to be doing a live 
where you can come and you can do a toast to anybody that you can't be with this year, whether it's somebody that's passed away or just isn't in a different country, or if you just want to come hang out. Like for me though, that's going to be six in the morning. So that tells you how much I love Lizzie because I'm going to set my alarm and get up early. This is on Christmas morning. So if anybody wants to join her on her channel, um, she's going to be doing that. Last year we did it and it was, it was very nice. It was very nice. I actually have absolutely no excuse. I said to poor Lizzie the other day, I said, because I haven't, my sleeping patterns have been like just right gone to shit and in, in the fucking toilet. And she, she asked, she asked if I was going to be there. I said, well, providing I don't nod off, fall asleep. And I said, because I haven't been sleeping well. Of course, I'm going to be there, Lizzie. I'm setting an alarm just in case. That's good. No, you know well, what? We're in the same time zone. There's no reason why I can't have my fucking pathetic <laughs> ass up. At, yeah, you know, yours, yours is at 10 in the morning. So, oh, you know. You know, I know you're well, good. just before so that we can have the drink at 10. It's oh, yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. a tradition, and uh, you know, it's one I've always had at home with my dad and up. my brother. But I, I think I want my dad people. picking me up all hammered at fucking one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Lizzie, just to let you know, I don't know if you remember, McKenna did it last year, but she was pregnant. She's so excited that this year she she can actually have a drink of champagne because she's not pregnant. So, oh, good. <laughs> willing to get up at six in the morning so she can drink some champagne because she's not oh, pregnant. That's, that's lovely. And drunk by oh. six oh five. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, you know it, it's remembering everybody, but also this year we've got more to remember, right? Yep. Hey, salty. So, before um, but, yeah. hippie love is leaving the chat, but she was having issues with her phone, and she hit send on that comment on accident, and what was sent wasn't necessarily what she was trying to to say. Sam is an on panel. Oh, okay. So, that might, maybe we'll let her know when she comes back. Well, maybe hmm. we'll let her know. Maybe we'll just tell Salty to listen to her own fucking replay. That's not against you, hippie. I'm just, I'm fucking busting Sam's balls. But we'll you talk. know what's really weird is I, without thinking, I just went downstairs to bed, right? And uh, left this on, which I tried to contact everybody to say, can you ask Salty to boot me out? which ultimately she did but it appeared back again just now i was downstairs i had nothing to do with with coming in so even if she boots you out you still appear back as a ghost <laughs> that is weird so i had to come back upstairs again <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's a ghost in your place yeah maybe but you know what i was asking uh Nicole, because I think it's pretty important to get it out. And if at some point during this uh, live, it's the right moment, is that Nicole has so much information on what happened about his book. Oh, and, yes. and, you know, ultimately, um, you know, if there's anything that was untoward, you know. The one removal of his pamphlet on amazon i believe is what you're talking about well yeah, yeah we haven't we haven't got an update on what, what what's been going on with the book for a while so if if you guys know about it i would love to hear well, about that yeah, nicole, nicole knows a lot i just want to say that i was starting a thread today but um there's so much and it was so funny because uh, sunray put up a, a, a post that now they have opening hours at wisconsin <laughs> It's only business hours, Monday to Friday, 9 to yeah, 6. Yeah, and closed on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. But uh, when I checked on uh, Amazon Canada, because I've got a book, but that book has disappeared. And Nicole will explain all about that. There's, well, only one, there's only one book left that has one review. And that is, I think, the very, very first book that um, came out. Was it? Am I right, Nicole? August the 23rd. It it is it does say the twenty third, so I do believe it was the first upload. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but I would have to check the product ID numbers to verify that. But yeah, that I've, I've got that. Yeah, he only had when he initially originally for the first 
first original time released the book, it was on August 23rd. That was his yeah. very first Well, that's, there's only one review on it. And uh, I can't, although I've got a book, I can't review because that's the wrong book. But um, Nicole was giving me some of the information. And would you mind telling them that all the stuff, Nicole? Because what I'd really love to do is, if it's okay with Salty, um, rather than is. have you do a thread, if I can just take a video clip of, uh, of what you've uh, told us. Yeah, I can do that too and fill up a video so people might have an idea. Because, because I, I, think, I think it's int really interesting what has happened with that book. It's disgusting actually but really interesting well you know what serves them fucking right With what? i had to reboot so i didn't mean to leave what happened lizzie was asking me to tell um everybody about the he had a, he, he's down to one book you know how they were doing so many uploads oh, gosh, so yeah. the other ones finally got removed and um she just wanted me to kind of fill everybody in on what happened so well, can, I don't know yeah. what happened. Can you tell me again the short and sweet version or no? She hasn't, she hasn't told us yet. So this goes back. Oh, okay, yeah, good. I got I got back to the good part. Cool. We okay. haven't talked about this. So a month ago when, when Nicole brought it to my attention, uh, I had just put up the community post. Um, and what it was was there was two instances of his pamphlet that showed up, but they, they had two different product IDs associated with them. And Amazon pulled. Because when if you do, would do, just do a generic search for the Shadow Man by Alan Buckingham Van Nicom, because he's an author, he's more than a YouTuber, you would get <laughs> two, two instances of the same fucking what looked like you thought was the same book coming up. But again, like addresses to houses, VIN numbers to vehicles, there's only one unique identifier to each one of those <laughs> instances that was coming up. And all of a sudden, a month ago, Amazon pulled one of those instances completely. And I'll let Nicole take over. <laughs> Okay, so a, a while back, I want to say it was late August, early September, when I first started talking to everybody about this, the issue was that they uploaded this book, and then they kept uploading, rather than, you know, how could there was all the spelling mistakes and all that? I'm sorry, Ed, I'm not laughing at you, Nicole, I'm laughing at Amanda's comments, so it's the cruddy first book that's for sale now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the cruddy yeah. 18th version, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The original well, I, cruddiest of the cruddy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, they could have kept the product information and ID the same and uploaded a new file, so I don't know if the misspellings are still in there, um, but mm -hmm. it's the original <clears throat> product ID. So, anyway, it's against Amazon's uh, policy to have the same book up more than once. Now, you can have the same book up if you are adding it to, like, say, like, for instance, with my books, I have, like, series. So yeah. if I was to take, like, three of my books in a series and put them in a bundle thing, then I could do that and okay. then still have the individual title up. But you cannot just take the same book and then upload another copy. That's kind of like a version of double dipping, isn't it? Is that, you know, or that's it, Well, that's exact both. Yeah, double dipping and circumventing. Because okay. what happens, mm -hmm. with, you have avid readers who go on Amazon and they one click. I don't know how many people are familiar with Amazon's one click function. Um, but you basically have what if you have an automatic page. Uh, payment type set up in your profile for you know this is my go-to this is what I want to pay for everything with if you have all that set up and you go through usually Tuesdays are release days and so that's when the most traffic hits Amazon so you let's say you're going through Amazon and you're looking at books you just one click and you've automatically bought it one one single press of a button so if you have a reader that tends to and this happens a lot people read a lot of books and so they will one click you know 20 books a day because they all look interesting with the idea in their mind that they're going to eventually read that one well if they like the cover and they like the, the blurb or the synopsis and mm -hmm. it interests them they might go to because when you one click something and you purchase it, it'll tell you that you already have that, like purchased uh -huh. on whatever. <laughs> so 
if Excuse you're me. going through like books the next week or the next month, whenever you're looking for another book, and you see that book and you're like, oh, that looks interesting. I thought I bought it. Well, the little yellow button tells you that you haven't because it says you can one click it. So that's partially why Amazon has the policy that you cannot double dip. You cannot have the same book up for up for sale because it is double dipping and it can trick customers into buying more than one copy of the book. People don't realize they're being double dipped. Exactly. They just think, oh, I thought I bought this last time and I didn't. Um, because obviously it says I have one clicked it because the, the button is still yellow. So, well, you oh, made a really like good my point. coffee, mate. But never mind. <laughs> that's another <laughs> you made a really good point. You made a really good point too to me, Nicole, that you said like especially I guess a lot of these people that do do the one click are really mm -hmm. avid readers. So they read God knows how many books. Or not even that you know what though? I remember my other mother doing that by accident on several things. She'd get duplicates and she's like, I don't know why I had two it, two ended up, but and sometimes you add something to a cart and you don't realize that you did. Or you so see you go back and you add it, right? Or you see a title and you'll see it again. You're yeah. like, well, I thought I got that. And you think you didn't, but you really did. And you don't realize you're being double dipped. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So when, as we know, or some of us may know, I reported this to Amazon when he had three versions up at, at what was it? The first week of September. I know Lizzie has, she's better at keeping notes and organizing things than I am. Um, yeah. So that's when I first talked to Amazon. That's when the whole story started with him and the whole like, oh, this publisher and that publisher and always self, you know. So their chaos, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish. The publisher but, has our money. We don't have a publisher. We have 10 publishers. We're a self-publisher. Right. We didn't pay anybody to publish it, but then, you know, AD said a couple. We're shopping it around to producers in the Middle East. Yeah, he said it, you know, in Afghanistan, his book, whatever was in Afghanistan, and, you know, just That's all. Right. The... I forgot about the Afghanistan publisher. Yeah, yeah, it's so, so stupid. Um, So. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, it's just insane. <laughs> Calm down, Jen. <laughs> that was the same weekend that he said that they sent it to the lawyers to proofread to make sure everything was in place before it came right, out. Right, yeah, everything that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I talked to Amazon and reported it, and then nothing kind of happened. And I followed up, what was it, like a week or two later. Um, this would be all in our your previous slides, Salty, because we would always talk about it um, in there. I kind what? of thought for I kind of thought because they told me for those that didn't know, Amazon told me they they had moved the information that I saw, they moved it to the fraud what department. Fuck? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was. Uh, I got turned off. I was. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. No worries. <clears throat> um. So I kind of, they said it was, they had moved it to the fraud department and I didn't even know, I've been in publishing for like 11, 12 years. I didn't even know Amazon had a fraud department. So after time went on and they weren't doing anything and they weren't doing anything, like I said, I, in frustration, reached out to Claire because I was like, God, their Amazon's not doing anything. And I'm like, YouTube's not doing anything. I'm like, what is this guy? So I just, I, I kind of gave up hope that anything was going to happen. So a couple, three weeks ago, maybe, whatever, whenever it was, I'm sure Lizzie knows, or Jen, whenever I sent you that screenshot, um, the other book was pulled down. So I that called the other side. That was a month ago, four weeks ago. Was it that long ago? Yeah, that, yeah no. that's what I said. I actually went to check my community post because I put that up the day after you sent that to me, and that was four weeks ago. Yeah, so they took the book down, and... Another reason, some I should backtrack a little. Another reason some authors try to get away with uploading a newer version of the book is because they have bad reviews. That's one of the most common reasons that no, authors no, do that. That wouldn't have been, that wouldn't have been AD. Like you were the first person to start doing that shit, AD. Come on. Yeah. So funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what happened was because it actually did go to Amazon's fraud department. And one of the, what they ended up telling me was something I, I, I guess I knew, but I, even though it was right in front of me, I hadn't thought of all of it. So when you, 
upload books to Amazon, your first one that you upload it always takes the longest for review to actually hit the site and go live. But because they were uploading multiple copies, they, you know, then it's counted as a second upload and a third. And then the, the system recognizes them as um, not a, I don't know what you call it. I don't want to say an established author, but they don't put you through a rigorous review like they normal would. Normally would. It's more of a, you know, run it's right through lot. the system type, type thing. Lax. Huh? It's a bit more lax. Exactly. Yeah. You're not getting, you know, after you've uploaded like four or five books, you're not getting a manual review anymore. And it's just going through the system. And that happens if nothing gets flagged. They have auto auto filters that they look for. The, the filters that would have flagged their other books, there were two remaining at that time. One is the one that had all of those reviews. Like, what was it? In the U.S., I want to say, it was like, I think it was up to like 50-something. It was a lot. Yeah, it was the one that Money had Penny. all the reviews. Give me that clip, Money Penny. Where are you? Sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, you're fine. So, hang on just one second. Okay. Um, so the filters that would normally kick a book so it got kicked back to the author and it wouldn't automatically publish, um, all of those filters didn't detect anything because, and I, I don't believe this is luck. I think they knew exactly what they were doing and Amazon thinks they knew exactly what they were doing. So you have, if you go to a book, like if you were to go look at his current book, um, that's on sale. There's the title Shadow Man. That's considered the title. Then you have a subtitle, and that is the words next to the title. It can be up to like, I think, 12 words or, or something like that. Those two, if those, if the subtitle match, if the title and subtitle match each other, then that's a filter that would be a kickback to the author. It would catch it right away. Right. They had a different subtitle on the two books. They were purposely manipulating the words in that title field so they could get away with making it look like it was two completely different books. Exactly. And then they went a step further. The two books that were up on sale had a page difference of about, I want to say, 20 pages approximately. And because I want to say one was like 130 some pages and the other one is like 150 some pages. Is memory it's about says. 194. Actually, you know what? I have, I have no memory. Yeah, if you have it, I'm just going off memory, but I think yeah, there was a 20, 20 page differential. So that's another thing. So if it had exactly the same number of pages with the same title, it would have been kicked back also. So after it finally got to the fraud department and they were able to look at everything, they gave them, they were lucky because other authors literally have lost their career by trying to manipulate the system. Yeah, I, that's purposely and deliberately manipulating data to make it look like it's something it's not. And I, it is, sorry. Yeah, and I personally believe sorry. that the, I don't think he, I don't think he did anything to help. I think Bubbles probably gave Amazon a sob story. Oh, this is our first time and we're learning. Like, I just we don't know, know what we're doing. We didn't mean to. Exactly. In that slow southern draw. Yeah. So that's what I think happened. I have no proof. But what I do, but what I do know for a fact is that they were, the book was pulled and the purpose, the reason behind pulling the one with all of the reviews is because that is one of the reasons, looking at all the bad reviews, that Amazon believed they did it. The second reason is believing that they're trying to manipulate royalties, royalties being the money that you earn from book sales. So not only did the book get pulled, he didn't get that money. So the copies that were sold on that book that had all those reviews. He lost all the royalties. He lost all the royalties. And what did he say the week after or a few days after? He said, because there's some people that still haven't gotten their book. Yep. Their signed copy. 
and they're shutting now they're shutting down the wisconsin whispers website they're not going to sell from there anymore and i'm going to tell you what the problem is the problem is well this is my opinion were they ever selling from there in the first place i don't think so well they were selling yes yeah, signed books and this and that for like what was the paperback signed like 29 dollars or something and that book cost him like five dollars to get at cost so you're selling a book at like 20, you're in a $25 profit. I don't want to do the math on that return on investment, but. Um, Greedy guts McGee is what it is. Yeah. So I think what happened was because Lizzie, wait, are you still? Yeah, you're still here. Yeah, I'm still Didn't here. Didn't he say like a couple of weeks ago when he was talking about having to, you know, take the website down and all that. He said something about having to pay a publisher $7,000 and he lost all this money. Yeah, he he actually said that it was Tim that he'd get he'd pay had to pay seven thousand even though he didn't use him, which I don't believe personally. But yeah, oh yeah, I definitely don't believe. So the gist of it is, he tried to cheat the system. Well, and he did for a short while, but he got caught. And even though he still has a book up, and that's in my opinion unjust, I feel like he shouldn't have been given that second chance. But he lost those that money. And so, that was just to confirm that was that product ID that they pulled of the book was the one that had a hundred plus reviews on it. Okay, yeah. So I knew it was getting up there in reviews, and yeah. I just didn't remember how much. What was the page count? Are you looking oh, at? Oh yeah, it right? the, uh, the page count on that first original instance was one hundred nine. One hundred nine. Well, the one okay. that's still up is one hundred and fifty-five pages. Okay. One hundred fifty-five. See, yeah. and I thought, I thought oh, what they, yeah. I think what they probably did to, because I'm not going to spend any more money buying any of his copies to answer this question, but I feel like Why what would they you probably, even buy one? what? Why would you even buy one? I got one. I know you did. I'm just, I'm just busting her chunk. Yeah, no, because I just wanted to like confirm some things because like this is my. Are y'all going to make a video burning it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um. Because I just feel like what they probably did to change the page count was either they took out the sponsor names on one of them or they did something with the font to make it bigger. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a manipulation of Amazon terms of service. And it was nice to see that um, he didn't get away with this one. Yeah. He did for a short time, but then the long in the long term, it didn't work out. Did you mention something about a probationary period or something? Yeah. So Amazon does give you like a 90-day a um, or three-month um, period where he basically can't break any of the rules or the terms of service. Um, otherwise, he'll be booted for life. And it's literally for life. That's partially why I got so upset when I saw he was doing all this stuff because, you know, I've seen authors who have made mistakes and they get booted from Amazon for life. And if you're an author, not being able to sell on Amazon really, it really messes with your bottom line. You have to be able to sell on them on their platform. So then all that on oh, top of just, the manipulation of um, just lost Nicole. Wisconsin whispers and what's happened there and the fact that they're still waiting for the books and are they receiving the hardback and it he claimed um that there was another publisher he had to pay or something but in actual fact on amazon you can see that the publisher is wisconsin whispers and i was starting a thread on that today and um but if that's the case, they were actually doing it themselves on Wisconsin Whispers. And what seemed to me might have happened is that um, he was getting a few at a time to autograph and send individually. Um, and uh, that was probably because he bought them off Amazon. <laughs> but also there's still people that have not received their book and as you say nicole are you still here no she uh, well she is she's backstage but she dropped but sam's not up here either right now to let her back in 
Okay. Well, as Nicole had mentioned, um, they uh, it was it was likely that apart from having to pay the royalties, um, that they'd run out of money, and he was probably just buying them individually to send out her order. Um, yeah. I mean, we don't know that, but it certainly seems like it because, oh, that's right. She said that they've never, she's never experienced any books go missing, which he is still claiming that it's getting lost in the post. Well, no, and this is the thing. Um, originally, the people not getting their signed copies was because of the trolls. Remember, we all shut down publication of the book and now he's lately blaming it on the goddamn fucking post or yeah. delivery. Which, Which one is it? Nothing. It can't be both. Everything has always been the troll's fault that doesn't go your way. Now yeah. it's the, you know? Yeah. And Which and I mean, wise? you know, so maybe um, Frank called um, Tim and also I think Bam and and, and um, Val. Um, they made a big thing about it being that he was at a funeral. That was unfortunate. But, but I don't even think, I, I think, I don't know how Frank talked to him. But from what I recall, Val and, and Bam, I think it was all done through email communication. So they certainly didn't call him at any goddamn funeral. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I've, I've that found was all the. Made uh, up. I'm going to call that out. That was all just made up, too. Absolutely. You know, and there was. Um, there is no way that any of those would have been disrespectful if he'd have if if it was a, a phone call and he'd have answered and said i'm sorry right now i'm at a funeral they would have apologized and and that's it there is none of this what he's well and, yeah to be honest let's doing. let's play devil's advocate and give it all the benefit of the doubt if that gentleman was at a funeral then it was on him and he chose to answer his phone in the middle of the funeral yeah yeah and i'm not trying to be disrespectful but Personally, I believe that whole story was fucking concocted right from the get-go. Uh, yeah, and then a short while ago, um, AD tries to tell us that um, he paid uh, Tim 7000 Now, that was never mentioned at the time, and um, he changes it all the time. So the next thing we hear is that uh, he had another publisher, <laughs> he wasn't going to say where it was from. from <laughs> and uh, I can't believe I forgot about the Afghanistan publisher. Yeah, uh, and and it's just always changed. But all of it is is oh. just. Sorry, Sam's back. There we go. She's got shit under control. I have oh. to just. I'm going to just get back. Sorry. Ten minutes. I'll be back in ten minutes. So everybody, fast because you're good to go. I'm going to another trolling job. I'll be back in 10. Okay. okay. Don't bump me okay. up here. They're so, losers, Jen. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> so, Lizzie, I just, when I was backstage listening, I just wanted to reiterate that, uh, that I, what you were saying about the, him buying a few books at a time, I want, I wholeheartedly believe that's what happened. I do not believe all, and this is my opinion, allegedly, whatever you want to call it. I think the money he took in from Wisconsin Whispers, the people that were, you know, sponsors, this and that, I think he took the money. I don't think there was any actual uh, proper accounting or anything. It was just get this money in. We're going to publish this book. And when it came time to fulfill those orders of books, I think he would buy five, ten at a time when he could afford it and have the money. But I don't mm. think he had the money to really buy all of them at once and sign them all and send them all. Here's and the, the thing. post didn't lose them. I have been I have been sending out signed copies of my books mm. since 2010. Never have I had one person ever tell me they didn't get a book. Ever. Mm. I promise I could do like a a poll in the author community and ask how many authors you know get complaints that you know they didn't get a book somebody didn't get a book mm -hmm. I pr I would guess that the that would only be maybe one percent it doesn't happen that often so for him to say that all these books are being you know lost by the post no they're not that's a lie it's not people are not, not it's, it's, it's the troll's fault it's male's fault it's everything else yeah, it's just it's never gonna be the truth. 
So exactly, exactly. And, and that's again, it, it, huh? No, carry on. Oh no, I just uh, hopped off. I did. Um, I had this issue. Maybe somebody can tell me in chat. Last night I was on a private stream with the ladies, and it. I inadvertently, I don't know how I did or what I did, but it said you're in incognito mode, right? And I'm like, what the hell is happening? And I'm not allowed, because of that, I cannot uh, maintain my regular connections or settings. So what the hell do I have to do to where I can take this evil off me, if that makes sense? <laughs> well, I, I was just saying, I'm not sure if you were there at the time, salty but um i was downstairs when apparently i kept coming online up here <laughs> ah and you you were saying oh liz is here and i'm thinking no i'm not i'm down here <laughs> <laughs> and then when it happened the second time i've come upstairs to to actually do it but i don't have that option though actually i tried to change my thing today for youtube my um my avatar actually on my channel uh which is different, obviously, than, than, than StreamYard. Is it only because I'm on the desktop site? Because right now I'm on the um, the mobile site. Yeah, I'm not familiar with I mean, that. I'm not completely clueless when it comes to technology. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you if I do uh, embellish a lot, making think, making y'all think that I'm a little dumb when it comes to certain things. But I don't know how the hell this happened, and I don't know how to take it off. Well, that's the black <laughs> one, right? I've been on it when I didn't want to go on it, but... I just had to exit out, and that was it. So, I have no and idea I what you're talking about. Huh? I said I have no idea what you're. I don't. I don't know about any of that stuff. I just click the link and enter. <laughs> well, I can build a computer, but I can't answer a phone half the time. <clears throat> but that's it. But you know, with <clears throat> with the Wisconsin whispers, yeah. What I'm wondering is is this an issue because of so many people putting so much money in it is he gonna be there was a, a, um, i don't know if you can even hear me right now we we is became he, aware that that was bought and it was used for from a third party that way they could dump it and nothing could be traced back to that site that's the actual truth it, it was it was never meant to be um valid and legitimate for very long does that make sense? I believe That's that. awful. Surely there's something that can be done because there I mean, was no ownership to it. Even though y'all claimed this, ownership, there wasn't really. It was a third party that owned technically the website. And and the documentary. I mean, and the money put in for the documentary and the sponsors and what what was it? It was something like four thousand, wasn't it? Something that um I think I think altogether they may have gotten four thousand. I Val, um, truth be told, did a video because um, she hasn't let go. She's kind of egging him on about the documentary that has yet to be established. And she said for the documentary, I believe she showed that it was $1,500 or pounds maybe in um, sponsor or donation towards that documentary. Well, they have they have a couple of websites, don't they? Because they have Wisconsin uh, Co UK as well as yeah. the USA one. Um, but wasn't there one live where Shirley um, had had the uh, um, the Excel sheet and was going through it, and then Bubbles responded to that afterwards? That was a uh, genetic code. When we were talking about the um, spreadsheets, or or about the um, I thought it was Shirley. Is Shirley I thought it was Cheryl. Oh, yeah. Shirley was up here too. But I I remember when I was talking to them specifically that my and I spoke to you about this actually too, Lizzie. That a woman like Bubbles and the way she handles things, the the, the spreadsheets, the graphs, and everything. There's no way a woman like that could have written a book as nasty. Oh, that's story. right, because she, she responded to it, didn't she? And she changed it. She did. Mm -hmm. She did. Yeah. I think I mean, I'm sorry. You, you have this big website. You're gonna have a. You're gonna make a Hollywood, you know, proper as I kept saying documentary. You're, you're, you know, all your books are gonna. You're a partner with Barnes and Noble, and the, I mean, all these big things. And then you have this website for this amazing, revolutionary book on Chris Watts, and you 
you what are, are you saying using, he hasn't solved the case you what are I using an excel spreadsheet to like it just seems like the most i don't know it reminds me of like in seventh grade when i learned how to you use sure powerpoint did. or whatever and you're trying to you know really impress people with this you know your techno technology skills but it's like bubbles come on an excel spreadsheet like that's your I don't know. It just that's why I said the ridiculousness of it all. I think well, that's some of the stuff that we were caught up in. It's that that this situation was normalized in any way, shape, or form, and that others in this community would expect to normalize their own behavior in the end. I hope it makes sense. Well, his uh, his comments it's not normal. His yeah. comments are all saved. His contradictions, his lies. And I'm going to try and put them all together, or as many as I can together, date-wise, um, so that uh, because it's you know every time he gets on, he says something different. He said, "I mean, and look how many times." Well, it's been held up again. It's been held up again, and that was from what July, right through to September or the end of August. I get. I think uh, it just it was just absolutely dreadful, and now. It's like it's too much hard work to have the uh, to have the websites. Like, what was that the saying? The more things stay, the, the more things change, the more things stay the same. Um, yeah. So did that? Did I touch on everything on the book, or did I? Leave, did you guys have questions or anything? The only question I have is: We need to do a Welsh lady check-in. Are you there? Oh, hello, hello. Oh, my God, Claire kidnapped her. Oh, no. The most lady come in, damn it. Come in. La last time she was quiet like that, it was because she said she put it on mute because she was breaking wind. So like Simon Lamb cheated over there and just made a skin suit with more Welsh lady. Ah. Got her tied to a radiator, too. I'm, I'm eating... Uh, um, Chocolate biscuits that are. Well, it's not my fault you have to eat cookies right now. You scared mm -hmm. me. Who's having cookies? I want cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I've got body parts. You have body what? parts? <laughs> what? what? Body parts. Hmm. <laughs> I saw that. That was hilarious, though. The dude from the other day, I said, look, you're wasting my time. I'm not going to give you anybody else's contact information so you can fuck around with them and waste their time. Fuck oh, off. Yeah. You nasty sex at bend and break. That's what happened. <laughs> that was that that was funny. That is, that was funny. I was hoping he was talking to AD. He was uh, No, no, no. And the thing, you know, when you create lies again, uh, create the stuff to create, keep making content. None of it was true. None of it was just entertainment. It was for your own financial benefit. This is the stuff that they did. It's no different. He would make shit up. He would actually go to those lengths. That way he can continue to have some, but something to talk about. Yeah. That's that's what it was. It, it, it's just, yeah. uh, it, it, he doesn't care because the day that he makes those comments is the day that he gets, or as it used to be, he's obviously not getting as much now, but that's the day that um, he would get the uh, money and the views and the subs. No follow-up, right? It's the same thing. Go to Patreon yeah, to see the letters. Yeah, so he didn't care about the day after. As long as that no. day, he, could, he, well, he still does it. As yeah. long as on the, any particular day, he can, you, say I, I something, he can say something to rile up, get his um, subs and everything all upset. And I mean, don't you just hate? Well, you know, when you send me money, trolls just hate it. Mm. And then they all start sending money. We'll show and put that in your. Oh, doesn't that aggravate you? Not oh, the money. Yeah. Yeah, not when you don't hear it anymore because you don't listen. That they've fallen for it, and the it's um, constant. He has new people falling for everything. No, this is what I told the ladies last night. They, um, I, I'm so behind on everything that has happened on YouTube. I have no idea what I should know, what's going on, what needs to take place. It's like when you are, I'm in season five of the Big Show, and y'all are already in season seven. And, and I, I just don't even want to catch up at this point. I don't know if AD is still on the show, if he's been removed well, or voted off. 
or anything well, like that. I don't want nobody to tell me. No spoiler alerts, damn it. No, no. So know. like what Devil Mike and Amanda were saying in the chat, it seems like he's, you know, since everybody kind of went quiet uh, for the past month or whatever it's been, he seems to be circling the drain, really. Um, mm -hmm. because he has been. He really has been because, you know, mm -hmm. he's got no haters to, to try to um, get the his subs to feel sorry for him about. Cause it was there, always there based on outrage. Remember that, kids. When you need people to be angry on your behalf so that they will go out and fight for you, right? Right. And there's not there's nothing, you know, so, you know, even even Martin's been, was gone for a while. And, you know, that's the one he used the most. So, you know, he, he's got nothing. He can't do that pity thing, you know. Well, he's 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 added um, videos equivalent to four million views to bring up mm -hmm. his view count, because mm -hmm. we all know that the more views there are, the more subs well, yeah. Oh, does, man, does, does, does the algorithm does the algorithm go off of that too? Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. so people it's, that he went up from from about 10, uh, eleven thousand, um, eleven million. Sorry, and then he was bragging that he was up to fifteen million, and hmm. um, it was because a few days before he'd added four thousand on two different occasions. Mm -hmm. uh, four million, sorry, <laughs> thinking thousands. Four I million. Think about this because when you're talking uh, with the account services, when people are making uh, creating accounts for you to bump up your numbers and stuff like that, when they're being caught, um, the numbers are constantly fluctuating. We're not going to see that um, reflective all the time on any of the, the the like social blade or anything like that. But it's a constant. Um, loss well, and gain, almost, it, right? It, it, it's contrived. He yeah. does. Uh, yeah. I, I can tell you exactly when he does it. And he usually does it after he's lost something or if, and mm -hmm. then that night he'll always brag. You know, yeah. he'll always brag about all this extra. But when I looked at it and I thought he was, okay, he was bragging about 15 million views and saying, so who else has got that? <laughs> well, excuse me, I do. Now, boom! You're such a savage, Lizzie. I love it. I love it. These are views that I got from 2011, 2012. Haven't done much lately, but um, then it, you know, when you think about it, he's got 15 million. I've got 15 and a half million, mm -hmm. um, and he's the big channel. Well, and I think what Cheryl said though, and people in chat is accurate. He he doesn't have any real content anymore. He's he's he really did. grasping at straws. I mean, did. he's having lives and reading the newspaper. Like he doesn't he he's lost. I mean, he, I don't I don't remember what his Patreon's back at, but I know it's low. Wait, it's not what it was once was, and I know he doesn't have the viewers that he used to have. He may still have those subs as far as the numbers go. They're technically subscribed, but I I, I don't think he has, you know, a bunch of people. Like, I remember his chats would be like 1,500 people. What is he getting now? Like 100? I never, 200? never saw any chats like that with 1,500. No, even back in the day. Was, the oh, no, he saw. did. Oh, yeah. He, he had Well, he might have in that, in that period of time when people didn't realize he was early. fucking lying yeah. piece of shit. Now, it's, it's about it was early in 2019 people. he did a thousand in chat. When the whole Tammy Lee is in chat time frame. That was early like January, February of 2019. That's when he was getting the thousands, the thousand in chat at times. Yeah. He, it, but he definitely has had them at some point. But um, now it's like 300, 250 if he's lucky. And that's only if he if he gets creative with the title of the of the live. Yeah. He has to try to clickbait people to well, show. Well, but he really the numbers the numbers speak for themselves. If you look at his actual and I mean not that I think he has any content or ever has, but his actual streams and going on about the watch in look at the number of views on those videos in comparison to his stupid ridiculous sing song bullshit butchering jobs that he puts out those those fucking videos only get like a couple hundred views oh, yeah, and who the fuck uh, what are the true crime creator does shit like that 
None. Because you're a fucking clown. No, he's entertainment. He's Kirby entertainment. Fraud. Kirby fucking fraud. Entertainment, remember? It all it all was very fluid what kind of channel he is depending on Are you a retired show. pervy fraud? <laughs> are you current? <laughs> <laughs> what I can't stand are the videos with him the music in the background and he's like talking in that voice. Why do we have to be, be discussing this at this second? I have actually very proudly I can say because I know what what those videos are gonna be. I've never I've never put my Dan, I can barely up. hear you. Oh really? Yeah. Sounds like you're in the cupboard. Are you in you the cupboard, Jen? No. Am I in the cupboard? Oh, don't get in cupboards. That's Lizzie's blow up doll. Let me jump out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, w- I was saying, actually, that, you know, regarding his, um, his songs and that. Now, is there is nothing it? wrong with somebody. Um, who wants to, for a joke, do it, you know, but he does it to impress. He does it as an ego thing. Oh, you God. know, <laughs> a lot of us can't God. sing, but don't care. But he, it's an ego thing for him, and it stands out a mile. Well, um, and the way he talks, and, like, I feel like, it, this is gross, but I feel like he's trying to be sexy. Yeah, I know. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Oh, don't. Don't even go there. I'm sorry. He wants to be what? I'm sorry? S-E-X-Y. I can't say it a second time. Yeah, I I totally agree on some of them. Like how he he says that people think he's funny. You know that's not true. Stop lying to people. Okay, you're not funny. You're not handsome. Nobody ever. No, just stop. Have you seen his picture, Salty? The one that's framed? The glamour shot from 1984. Oh, God. Hell yes, I've seen it. I got a copy over here signed from when I joined his Patreon last week. Do you yeah. know what was funny? Last week um, we had a, a power cut, and I've got absolutely nothing here upstairs of all my stuff, right? I've just got, you know, general stuff. I'm still moving. And so I get this power cut, which ended up lasting 10 hours. So I'm sat here. Um, my phone had nearly run out. I had nothing else, but I managed to find a torch and I managed to find a battery. So I thought, oh, I can do some reading. Do you know the only thing that I could have that I could find was his book? Oh, <laughs> I thought, no, I am not going to sit here in a power cut and read his book. But I did find a little uh, funny little chap on um, AM W A B C. And he was a 77-year-old DJ, so I enjoyed it. And people called in, and he was asking their weight. <laughs> I mean, what, do, what radio DJ asks your weight? But, yeah, so I had actually had a lot of fun on my own with, with, no, uh, with no light. And I don't know I what I just read. walked into, but all I heard is what, what radio DJ asks about your weight. No smart, professional, actually integrity credible dj radio dj would do that yeah but he's this little 77 year old man and uh it, it, it was very laid back and and he just kept uh, people would call in and he was asking wait how much do you <laughs> weigh <laughs> that was, you guys, it was you comical can you can hear me now okay yeah can you hear I can me hear you. can you hear me yeah. now <laughs> Laughing my ass this. off about the salty fucking comment I want to make to this to reply. It was just priceless, and I missed my moment because I was muted. Devil Mike, damn it. We we had a power cut for three days, and we ended up having to evacuate the building. So I'm going around the unit with a candle and like a lamp, like. I don't know. I think I just saw a little flash of it. I think I might have just seen a little flash of the candle. I don't know if it was a reflection or... I've covered the mic up and the camera. Maybe I'm just hallucinating then. I'm eating chips, sorry. Maybe. So... Right? Wind up torches. Oh my lord. I'm what? trying to wind up this torch and go down the stairs and I've got no balance 
I have to go back and say I can't go with this torch. So uh, she means um, flashlight, flashlight. Yeah, but it was yeah, just wind up one. Wind up one. I've never seen anything like that. Why are you having to use a flashlight in the first place? Because we had to free three day power cut. Oh shit. Jen, you're not listening again. I wasn't here. I haven't been here for the last 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> so I said to, to one of my co-workers, I'm going to buy a stove so at least I can have a water and have a drink. So she said, oh, I've got one, gas one, you can have. All oh, right, grand, camping one. So then I ended up buying a heater. I thought, yeah, I'm going to be hot. I'm going to have my coffee. She said, how many tons of gas have you bought? I said, 15. <laughs> so she said, 15? I said, yeah. Thank you, Polly. We <coughs> Enjoy yeah, your I evening. Have... Thanks for hanging out with me, babe. Have a good evening. Good night, Polly. <coughs> Sorry. We've never had a power cut for that long, but I'm sorted now. I've got my heater. I've got my little cooker. And if worse comes to worse, I'm going to buy a tent and I'm going to put it up in my living room and pretend I'm camping. It'll be better yeah, than that's oh, I lived for a year over. with no, with no Pardon? electric. Sorry? I lived for about a year with no electric, so I, I know all the ways to get around everything. <laughs> Hacking, mm. Lizzie. Uh, it, it, well, Jen, you remember when we had the power cut that time of, uh, back in the 2000 and something? For, yeah, we yeah, I was down right in the middle of fucking goddamn downtown Ottawa. But let me tell you, yeah, that was what, uh, three, three or four days straight that I didn't have power. Yeah. Wow. How long were you? Well, up? the thing was, I didn't notice. <laughs> no. I didn't notice. Wouldn't you notice the first time it got dark? No, because I, I didn't have power anyway. For about a year, I lived without electric. Get out of here. Yeah, so it was so funny because um, my friend, the one actually who lives in who lived in this house, um, she was panicking. So I, I, I got everything together to go down and, and help her out. Didn't realize that <laughs> once I got downtown, I realized it was all back on and I had no knowledge of it. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I, where I am, I'm like, I'm literally about eight blocks from the parliament buildings, but it's considered center town. And I'm literally half a block from a major intersection called Gladstone and Bank. And it's a four way, four way light. Well, obviously there was no power. So everybody seems to forget when there's no traffic lights and they don't work. Every single person forgets how to four way stop. All I heard for three days straight was horns honking every fucking second. <laughs> yeah, well, you let the right one first, right? Uh, no, yeah. And I actually, I'm surprised I didn't hear any actual car crashes. Sorry, I'm stuffing my face. I, I ran to the store to get some. Oh, see, so you get up in biscuits like me, and yeah. You know, it's not letting me. Uh, it's not posting my comments either. I see comments posted for me. In the chat? In the chat. Oh. No, your comments aren't there. Isn't that? I, it's saying uh, the settings. This is um, very odd. I thought you meant your pins. Uh, Never mind. I'll, I'll be back in a moment. I'll be back in a little. I'll be back in a moment. Hello. 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 Okay. Just making sure that y'all can hear me. If y'all can hear me, I'm going to be back momentarily. See if I can fix this. And hey Shirley, recognize look at this, it's 102, and I usually go to bed at midnight, right? Yeah. I have to go well, I had to go to bed at midnight because if I didn't, I couldn't function the next day. But I'm still here at 102, not that You're I planned still... it. Not that I planned it. It's, it's because salty, salty let me in and I had to come back upstairs. Did you turn but... down Dr. Phil for us? Yes. <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning here. Yeah, what are you doing up, Welsh lady? Because it's not like oh. you just woke up. You've been up for a while. Have you? Did you even go to bed? No. I got no work. I'm not in work, so yeah. I can have my end, so it doesn't matter. But, She's um, camping. She's camping. She doesn't have to. Yeah, go. and we tent. 
She just do does whatever the hell she wants. I get it. I get it. We gotta get her some marshmallows. Oh yeah. yeah. And I guess a twig too to keep them on. This is a little a little off topic, but they now have marshmallows with chocolate in them. Ooh, I'd be good if it was like vanilla Ooh. or uh, white chocolate. Oh, that would be good. Well, I don't know, but it, it makes the whole s'more thing supposedly a lot easier. But yeah, so the chocolate is in the marshmallow. I don't oh, know. Yeah. All you need is a graham cracker at that point. Right, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, that, I don't know. I don't know. It must be an American thing. I mean, oh, here camping in Canada, we do uh, the marshmallows, but it was never really a huge, huge, huge ordeal. It was more just the marshmallows. You guys like your sweets. Camping in Canada. We do. Well, I wouldn't mind some crisps right now. I'm, I'm plodding through these. Uh, somebody gave me a big bag of body parts, which are like gummies. What? And right now, I'm eating what? 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 Yeah, she said that one. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. I could have yeah. my own private little. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here and have one. One of them. <laughs> oh I, I, I'm going to back up to you got a bag of body parts. What the hell are you talking about, Lizzie? She's a serial killer. I Yes. Yeah, I, I knew it. It's always the nice ones. Lizzie, I knew it. Lizzie, well, I don't this... think you're aware. We have an MI5 agent in deep, deep undercover mode with us on the panel. <laughs> yeah, but you can't see her because she's wearing <laughs> camouflage right now. You can't oh, even see her avatar. Okay. She's well, so I've quiet. got half a thumb and I've got a foot. <laughs> and a brain, and a a nose, and an ear. I'll take the blue ones, please. Oh, that's the brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, are these gummies or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gummies. Oh, okay. I, uh, I mean, I knew they had to be mine, A friend of mine, her, she lives with her daughter, and her daughter is one of these people that if it's got um, best before date, she considers that's run out and she won't touch it. So every now and again, Lorna brings me up this big bag of, of stuff. And included in this um, are these body parts. And they're, they're just gummies. But, you know, I'm kind of eating a foot. You know, it's not that great. <laughs> you know, that's how that stuff starts. It starts with the gummies. And it's a gateway leads to other stuff. Be careful. It's a, it's a gateway thing. <laughs> gummies are a gateway. Watch out for the gateway gummies. They're going to get you. She's going to move on to marshmallows with chocolate in the middle. That'll be next. Well, I don't get to the store, so I've got no other goodies to eat. So that's why, Jen. Well, Lizzie, when yeah. you were growing up, when you did camping, was s'mores a big thing or was it more roasting of marshmallows? Or did no, you like I grew, up, I grew up in England. Oh, well, then why am I asking you? You can't help me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your insight, though. I appreciate your insight into it. Thank you. Oh, dear. And going camping, this is the funny thing, is, is Tam wrote to Oprah because we've been through some stuff, and she says her life has been like we've li – she's – She's lived her life like she's been camping a lot of the time. <laughs> now, when you say Oprah, you mean really Oprah Winfrey, or are you talking surely our Oprah Winfrey of Canada talk shows? <laughs> no, the real Oprah. The real Oprah. It's, uh, it, it's all to do with that kind of book that I've I've written. And um, uh, that's a real author. When she read it, it, and it goes through some of the ways that we coped with the tough times, right? Right. And. Um, when she read it, she was so impressed with it. She wrote to Oprah, and uh, but she was limited on the amount of words she what, could use. So what she was she doing? Her. Pimping your book to pimping your book to Oprah? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not really a book, but it's it's. I want it to be a book. I, I would have loved it to be a book, but anyway. That's... What was it? Just a little short, <laughs> short <laughs> no. stories, I guess. <laughs> If it's not a book, it'd be what short stories then, right? I, I'll send it to no, it's because we've been through so much, you know, and it's been you know a year or more with no electric, no water, all that kind of stuff, and how we coped. And I had that to, would be really kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I was, uh, I like it, it wasn't as major as it sounds, except well, no, but uh, just the perspective factor, I think, would be very cool. 
Well, it, it would be, except um, one winter we were living in a farmhouse and I paid the bill. I paid my electric, but because it was, um, they decided to put a deposit and I had to pay this deposit, which I couldn't pay. So they turned us off. They turned oh. me off because I hadn't paid the deposit. And in the winter, it was minus 15 in the house and all the fish froze and everything and uh, what year was that what year was that uh that was uh 2000 and uh was that mike harris times <laughs> um or, hang on it, it, or dalton which was the one with the whole no it wasn't thing. mike harris but no dalton. it was the the energy minister's assistant was trying to help me i can't john baird i think or something yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was Dalton McGinty was the premier then. Yeah, and and he was trying to help me get this electric on because I had two. I met John Baird. Yeah. He actually uh, he ended up at one of the bars that I DJ'd at one night. Just as a side note, sorry. Yeah. Well, anyway, they couldn't get me on. He couldn't and, even. Uh, the energy man, manager, man, manager, and assistant, en assistant energy minister. God, yeah, couldn't get me on, and it was minus fifteen in the house, and I. I remember I uh, I'd be under two two uh, Eider Downs and the kids went to Brampton and um, <coughs> it was it was tough going. Wasn't there a time period? But to, it uh, survived, and that's that's the point behind my book is all the things that happened and how I coped and the funny things because there was lots of funny things. So I'll have to send it to you, Jen. Yeah, for sure. Was that though? If if I recall at that time frame, like with hydro, what was it? Hydro one, hydro auto, whatever it was called back then. Wasn't there like sort of a thing that that they they couldn't or they weren't supposed to turn you off in the winter month? Like not you specifically, but it, like in general, blanket they couldn't turn your power off in the middle of friggin' winter. One and would it, think so. But yeah, they it did. Still happened to you. But they that did. Is crazy. And an assistant energy manager. Manager. I don't know why I yeah. keep saying that. Assistant energy minister. Yeah. Could not. Even and, and he help. was. I was in contact with him, and as I was talking to him, I could hear the hear the bells at Queens Park going on. And um, and he couldn't do a thing. He could Wouldn't not do a thing. Wouldn't he have been in you Ottawa? Know? Wouldn't he have been in Ottawa? Pardon? Wouldn't it have been the bells of Parliament? You heard? He would have been in Ottawa. It might have been. I don't know. I didn't. Yeah, know it would have been Parliament. Anyway, point is, yeah, he was a very nice gentleman too. Well, I didn't actually get to speak to the posh bloke, but um, yeah, it was. But we got through, and this is this was the whole point behind my book, and that's why I've stronger. got that. You know, it made you stronger, Lizzie. Oh, it's 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 fun. I had lots of fun. <laughs> I used to go in the. I remember with Tam going in the pharmacy, and buying up all the candles and. I'd be saying, oh, you know, Tam, we're going to have candlelight supper tonight. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'd bought about 20 candles. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh... Well, I mean, it's, I mean, considering it was, a, I mean, overall, it, it sounds like a very, it always sounds like a very dire situation, but it certainly sounds like you, just like you are, Lizzie, you made the most out of it and the best out of the battle. You're really quiet, Jen. Am I? Yeah. How about now? That's, yeah, better. that's better. You know what? It's sorry. It's because I I was walked away from my computer. I was just saying, Lizzie, that's just so like you to take what really overall to look at it was a really dire situation, but you turned it into the best possible situation and tried to make it positive. Well, I think you'll find, um, uh, the, as I say, it's online. It's, um, you know, it's a kind of a, I call it a book, but it's not really, mm. but it's. Um, at least you admit that, unlike other people. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm basing that happy channel on because I can't I promised my brother I'd I'd write it he even he really well he made me promise that I'd write it and then he passed away a couple of years ago wow. and um I'm I just I, I just can't get into books so I opened a channel life in the key of happy and um I'm kind of working on for the kids you know 
going through stuff for the kids and all, all kind of stuff. But we're salty. Nobody wants to hear about me and my things. I was actually rather enjoying it. Why did you stop? Who gives a shit where salty is? It was kind of an enjoyable break, actually. <laughs> well, I'll send you the book and you get a book. Uh, <laughs> and you, you, went and jinxed it. you went and jinxed it. She just came back. God damn it. Yeah. But there's so much. my dick, okay? It, keep, it keeps putting me in incognito mode, but only on Chrome. And that's apparently what happens. I and you have to girls. close each one. But the thing is that I don't turn it on. So I don't understand why it keeps okay. reverting to that. Tell you what, I'll suck your dick if it's of the gummy kind. That's the only dick I'll ever suck. <laughs> well, I've got a foot here. <laughs> I think <laughs> Bubbles is happy. You offered it for me to suck your dick, Lizzie? I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to second. speak like oh, wait, that around me. And Shirley, Shirley, when you're about to swear, you don't have to excuse yourself to me. <laughs> Gee. Oh, <no. laughs> is that what you were doing? You're you're just she's so polite. That's what that is, Liz. She's yeah, she's polite. she's busy. But you know, she was about to square square swear and she excused herself i mean i don't want to just because i don't swear it doesn't mean that i care if other people do she very highly regards you and has high respect for you yeah, but I, I don't want to make her feel well, i clearly <laughs> don't because i never apologize before my nose opens up and it spews out don't forget i'm a retired go-go dancer <laughs> oh did you do go-go dancing as well i did i did i tried it for a little oh, while yeah. like the troll thing it just didn't quite work out for me uh, i guess i'm a i'm a retired troll now is that where we are moonlight stripper am i a, a retired troll oh i used to go go dance back in the dave d dozy beaky mick and titch time <laughs> were you flying around on a pole is he pardon were you flying around on a pole oh no 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 i wasn't one of them <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with one of them. <laughs> no, I don't care about that, but not for me. Well, that's why I was just clarifying. But I guess, yeah, go-go <laughs> dancer, you're not stripping and doing upside down fucking rubbing your nonsense all over poles. You're there just to make, yeah. make the party look fun. Although I, uh, um, I pretend at karaoke, right? You saw that one where I did um, Good Girl's Gonna Go Bad. And I had to, uh, like, I had a big pair of plastic one? boobs. Was that Pardon? the two faces one? Was that the one where you had the two half different half faces? No, no. This was where um, good girl's going to go bad. And what I used to do was dress up all prim and proper, you know, with a little straw hat and stuff, and then strip off down to, you know, whatever. Not, I mean, mini skirt and stockings and stuff. And, um, but, I had this big pair of plastic boobs and in the video it looks like I'm not wearing anything but they were just plastic <laughs> and Jesse I know that the the girl who did the karaoke she she had them one day and she's wearing them and Jesse who was like I don't know 10 at the time he said he says they're my mum's boobs <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just, oh, no, I didn't have a poll, but I've been known to, you know, have fun. <laughs> yeah. Been on a poll. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. karaoke, nothing else. Didn't do well, we can, you gotta, we had that. We you, gotta, that. you gotta have something for your retirement, I guess, when you retire from something like that. You have to have, to have another retiree <laughs> occupation, um, something to fall back on. Because as a, as a retired troll, well, I didn't retire. Y'all know I got fired. I'm not going to lie. Can As I, a fire tool. I, just I wish I had more job retired. skills. I wish I had learned something different. That way I wouldn't be suffering the way I am right now. We're a retired fire troll. We're a yeah. retired fire troll. Oh, well, that makes sense, too. I have to laugh. Just step back for a second. Amanda's comment. AD is an author. Claire's a solicitor. Apparently, Amanda's That's why I said that. a billionaire uh, beauty queen astronaut. I'm a world-renowned DJ. What an interesting group, group of very important people we are. <laughs> just to think there's somebody right here going down the end, ended up like how do i end up in this fucking part of youtube who are all these people why am i here i'm stuck let me get out i just wanted to learn a little something about you know the or watch a 48 hours documentary damn it 
talks about fucking rabbit holes of all freaking goddamn rabbit holes. <laughs> <coughs> this is the queen poopa of rabbit holes, damn it. Oh, well. Once you get down that rabbit hole, you don't come back. You're fucking well, stuck forever. Do. Retired fire <laughs> trolls. <laughs> Tired well, go-go dancer. <laughs> I just had a thought. I could do different chapters of my book online with you. Actually, well, fuck it. AD can do it on Patreon. You can fucking do it better. Well, Look how Actually, pathetic that movie fucking fraud is, AD. You're over there asking, saying, come into my Patreon. We're going to read each page of my book. <laughs> Which takes 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> to the people that have already bought it 18 fucking times. <laughs> they have to buy it. This is their chance to get a little sneak peek. They're still waiting, damn it. Be my Patreon. You know, the only now. people that are in your Patreon are people you've been begging, well, you know, begging said, and pleading for. I've said this a couple of times, and I know I said it to uh, I said it to Lizzie earlier today. He really didn't, him and Bubbles really didn't plan out the whole trying to take as much money as they can from the subs. You forgot about your annual Christmas jackpot cash in, eh? Because by the time we've gotten around to Christmas this year, you've taken them for the book, the documentary, and the legal fund. They ain't got nothing left for you for Christmas. Fuck. Is that the truth, though? It is you can only get so much. That's why I said it's the same people. And that's bad form because that's, you, you that's really think that anybody true. else is going to come in there and get your... Join Patreon now just to hear you read anything from that piece of shit pamphlet. If anybody's oh, rinsed it's, anybody, it's terrible. It's fleeced horrible. Anybody, if anybody's rinsed and fleeced anybody out of money, it's AD of his subs. That's the very true meaning of rinsing. Yeah, I, I don't know how yeah. any of y'all subs, current, mods, or anything, bubbles I'm talking to yeah. as well. How could you go and think that's all right? I mean, y'all, he's been fleecing people, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to fall back on, let's come into my Patreon. I'm going to read y'all my book. Yeah, but that's that's fucking ridiculous. Good. Y'all are ridiculous. And what did one you call one what? night only, one night only five five or tonight only five dollars, no commitment. Yeah, and then it doesn't post a Patreon link. Yeah, that's right. That wasn't even a Patreon. It doesn't even, it doesn't even hold a Patreon after having the big sale blitz. <laughs> what did Nicole? I'm sorry. I know you said that in all. I just missed the number. How long have you been an author again, and you've never had one book lost dealing with Amazon? My first book was published in 20, 2009, and I started sending out paperbacks. Well, like, well, I started sending paperbacks out, I think, in 2010. So, okay, you need to stop making jokes. You're only saying this right now for Bubbles' benefit, okay? You know, you don't have to rub it in. You know what you're talking about with books and everything. And, uh, you know, you're making her feel bad, I'm sure. I'm sure. Don't rub it in too much, okay? Since you're like a real See, that's the other current author. Yeah, you know, does that make sense? Yeah, not, not the a other trash thing, romance like, novelist that you tried to fucking be an about. asshole. Now, yeah, remember, you never got anything lost because you're not a fucking liar con. But woman, remember, Nicole. as they pointed out, I only <laughs> write trashy novels. Trashy so. romance. Yeah, that sell and make money. Yeah. Yeah. A la Harlequin. Fuck off. A la Harlequin. Hello. Hello. You're sitting here talking about that, but you're okay uh, uh, sucking the dick. Of, of a con man pervy ass fucking fraud that's okay well let's talk about the stuff that she writes at least she wrote something ever much less well, more than someone and, and honestly if bubbles want to judge after she made an excuse for that guy sleeping with the underage girl oh, fuck. she she didn't look 13 <laughs> Oh, that. And she was consenting. That. Yeah, I just. That, that's, that's just a, consenti that's a consenting 13 year old. Way to yeah. go. Stand up job, Bubs. She, wasn't, it wasn't she vetted him. She vetted him. him. She fully vetted him. Well, you well, know, Amanda, we ain't made for that kind of life down here. You know that. Just like we're not made for any kind of life like up in Canada or Alaska. Or certain places like the Sahara, we could we could do well there. I think we could survive, but not not no. Hell, we might be able to get a little published there in the Sahara. That's why I went. Get. Yeah, I think the last live stream I did, you were saying, how can you not? Um, there's something about the the climate, and I, or oh yeah, you get a freeze and the entire stage shuts down. We never claim to be Canada or Alaska or anywhere else that gets that kind of shit. So. <laughs> It happens. No, we, it happens. we were too busy. We were following people to Afghanistan so we can stop the printers from making books. 
I thought they yeah. were doing the documentary in Afghanistan. Well, we're going to- I don't know anymore. Get- There's so we many get that. Oh, Yeah, they're producer. I'm sorry. We can get a book published in the Sahara Desert, you know, so no worries, R.A.D. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Afghanistan. So from Blair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Claire will look at all, all, all the legalities for Claire it. will look at that contract <laughs> that you had drawn up with your Afghanistan <laughs> publicly. <laughs> so yes. give it the go ahead, I'm sure. Yeah, he's waiting. Yeah. You're just waiting to hear back from him on, or her. I'm sure she'll get back to you. On her life is currently not in danger anymore by her own <laughs> admissions. Fuck that. E, e, through bubble. You know what? Can I say something now that I'm thinking about it? Can you when not you, you well, mentioned well, the please. whole the whole abusive abusive situation. Mm-hmm. No, in my situation, you should that you, that you make me a little sick right now thinking about that you actually did say that to me even me you said that to me i don't want people to know i don't want my abusive man to find me by coming out and telling people why you didn't want to tell them why uh 80s channel was back that was that was your that was your answer to me actually i didn't think about it until now so that that's quite fuck off explain yourself you're going to talk to me about abusive that's a bad relationship. That what happened? God damn. Y'all y'all see what I'm trying the point I'm trying to make here. And yeah, it took me a little while to get to this point to think about it, but damn. No uh, uh this the lack of self awareness that you would say that would be your excuse excuse as to why you can't come on and tell people You know, it's either lack situation. of it's either lack of or just complete disregard for anything that you've gone through. One or the other. Sad. Sad. Well, thinking Sad. about it, I um, I will say that uh, if there is any intermediate thing, she can always come to me. She knows that. <clears throat> well, she could have come to any of us at any point. She can still do that with me. Yeah. 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 Three words. I've I haven't. I haven't. I, I'm not like in this head space where she doesn't exist anymore or none of the other people exist anymore. I... I, I gave people an explanation about why everything went to shit. That that was my right to do as a member, let's just say, of this community. I owed it. At least that, I owed y'all that much. Yep. 1,000%. So, um, and she still came. And I told her. And in the still goes, you can come up here anytime. You can you can email me. You can call me. I'll know that. But if you just want to ignore me, uh, that um, you don't want to, want to admit anything. That's whatever. That's on you. Don't say that we're bad people or that we got our feelings hurt ever again, please. I will come back and I will say the same thing all over again and show you all the same things all over again if I want. (sighs) God! Oh, sorry. (laughs) What's that? (laughs) My cat jumped up and she knocked down my damn mom. I have a uh, portable, no, I don't want to say portable charger, but it's one of the things for Samsung. And there we go. It lasts up to so many hours, and she jumped up and knocked it down because she's blind and she can't see nothing. I guess so. Sushi cat, sushi cat. <clears throat> well, guys, I'm an old lady, so I'm gonna. You got a trashy romance novel to go right. Read. You know, I do, but I'm just, I'm getting She's tired. got it. She's got that. She's interviewing and looking for her next cover model right now. Can okay, I tell he's you? I'm, trying, I'm trying to land a pervy fraud for one of my next there you go. covers. Do you guys I know anybody that, that Patreon and start flashing Can something? I tell you guys how much, and it, it really, in the grand scheme of all the books, because I read a lot, like growing up as a kid, like, fuck, I was in the library every Saturday and I'd left with, leave with a stack full of books that were read within three days. And it really wasn't normally my forte of reading because I was right into like Nancy Drew, but I really got a fucking kick out of those Sweet Valley High goddamn collections. (laughs) 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 I really did. I don't fucking hell. How does, what does it have to do with any of the people saying she's an old lady and she needs to go? Let her go first. Let her go first and then talk about yourself, selfish. That would be preteen trashy romance novels, the Sweet Valley High collection. (laughs) (laughs) Well, 
Okay, to all the old ladies. You have to go to bed. Right now. Excuse me. Name Nicole. The old ladies <laughs> don't even read the trashy novels anymore. <laughs> it's, I got my little bloke in the closet, or one day I'll have my little bloke in the closet that I bring out for an hour. This is and just it. around the corner. Oh, nice. there. Well, I'm so glad that you guys came on today. Well, I'm glad you came up and, and explained uh, all that uh, stuff. Yeah, I'm pleased to be ID. Yeah, I can go back uh, if you want, Lizzie, and I can clip it and you can put it up. We can put it into a video, whatever. So people oh, that would be great. I mean, yeah. Is that okay, Salty, if we take out a clip? I'm fucking doing it. Of course. Oh, Jen, I like to ask. I like to be polite. <clears throat> well, I just I just steal everybody else's content and use it. Is that wrong? Is that, wrong? Is there, is that not sounds, a good thing to do? Sounds good to me, Jen. Come on. Thanks, Welsh. Go for I'm going camping with Welsh ladies. Screw y'all. Nobody ever yeah. said that you, we couldn't use these before. Since when? Have you had the proper training? to hang out with Welsh, Welsh lady. No, we haven't. Um, I have to go through some, yeah, pretty vigorous, intense boot camp, don't I? Yeah. Well, I've I got, can um, I, sorry. I've got a story today. I went shopping with my sister. Oh, my Lord. She said, I want to go to b and so I goes down the road, passes the turning for being cute. She said, that was the turning. I said, oh, blinking neck. Goes further down. She said, you've missed the other one. Oh, blinking neck. Anyway, we get there. <laughs> You're so, so cute. She says, what do, what do you want As to buy? I said, uh, an alarm for um, these gas bottles I bought. I bought, bought 10 of them, no, 12 of them, for this cooker and this heater. A uh, carbon monoxide alarm. Anyway, we're having a lock and they were 25 pounds. I said, I'm not paying that. So we goes from there now to the cafe and she said, I'll buy your coffee because I've been in your car shopping. So I'll buy your coffee. So I said, well, under that, that reasoning, you should have bought me the lamb, a lamb. So she went, what lamb? I said, no, the alarm. Yeah, but what lamb? I said, Gina, the alarm. She said, I don't know what you're on about. We haven't been anywhere near lambs. I said, no, <laughs> the carbon monoxide are lamb. She went, oh, I thought you meant a real lamb then. I said, oh, God. oh, don't start talking about sheep. <laughs> then we went in, in the shop and there was a game I wanted and it was on top shelf and I couldn't read. So I said to this woman, excuse me, can I lend you gentleman for a minute to get me that game? She said, yeah. She walked past me, walked past her, gets one off the middle shelf and gives it to me. So we both looked at him and I said, I've never seen him there. So she said, neither did I. So now my sister says to me, what have you got there? I said, this game. Where'd you get that from? I said, over there. So she goes, she said, how am I supposed to reach that? I said, ask that gentleman there. <laughs> so she said, excuse me, can you pass me that game? So he walks past her now, gets one off the middle shelf and gives it to her. She said, oh my God, I felt so stupid. I said, yeah, so did I. I said, that's why I told you to ask him. I said, I said to her. So uh, the woman was was laughing her head off. I said, sorry, there's only two of us. We won't ask you again. But, uh, oh, my sister's just crazy. She's crazy. Uh, and you're well, not. <laughs> you're so uh, cute. Lincoln heck. It's so cute. So... Oh, every time we go up, we start laughing. When when we, I said about the lamb, a lamb, she was laughing so much because she didn't know what I meant. And then 
I'm laughing because I knew what I meant, but I knew she didn't know what I meant. <laughs> and we're in the cafe, standing in the queue, laughing our heads off. And everybody was looking. And I said, no alarm. She said, well, what do you want an alarm for? Carbon <laughs> monoxide lamb. Yeah. What? Well, I could I could have put the sheep. I could have put the lamb next to the heater. If anything happens to the lamb, I know to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, you're you're in deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> when the I lamb had... keels over, you're next to keel over. Yeah, I know I run quick. <laughs> Man, well, funny. Me best anyway. Oh. Sounded like you have a good voice for bedtime stories. Hey, you do. It'd be like camping bedtime stories with Welsh lady. Yeah. Me? That's got, a, that's got a little oh. ring to it. Uh, what about me? Can you go the fuck to sleep? That's my bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the salty bitch. Once upon a time, fuck Get time. the fucking bed. <laughs> Once Don't time, open up your eyes until six in the morning. That's down Don't eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. No. I really am gonna go, but <clears throat> you did you guys go. see did you guys go. see Amanda's did you see Amanda's go. comment? Um saw an ad in the local paper the other day, sheep for sale, used. No. <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. What? She just said she Nothing. I, I, Y'all can hear me. You can't hear me. I mute myself. No. Or I don't. I I'm just coming and going right now. If you ever go. have 10 minutes, go on um, uh, what would it be? Gummy bears unsweetened um customer reviews oh my gummy lord gummy bears Ooh, that would just be oh th they've got to be the unsweetened i know there's another name what the for fuck it. is an unsweetened gummy bear then it's just man. gelatin it's just yeah. gelatin then tasteless. Just... Tasteless. yeah but if you go on the reviews and go through them all halfway through you will never stop laughing one oh, man yeah. said I couldn't stop going to the toilet. He said I was on, on, I was on the toilet five hours. Oh my god! He said, and another man said I bought the massive big bag of them, oh. and, and I went to work, and my wife phoned me and said, "Are you?" And he said, "Don't eat the gummy bears. Do not eat the gummy bears." She said, "Oh hell, I've already had them." <laughs> Oh he got home from work. She was sat on the toilet. <laughs> One man thought he was going to die. <laughs> he said Jellicent he was on nuggets. the Jellicent bathroom nuggets. floor. Plenty. Have you found it, Jen? No, I said gelatin nuggets are plenty. No, they're called gummy bear. No, 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 no never mind. <laughs> I'm not explaining that. They were oh. out gelatin nuggets. Oh, right. Oh, these are gummy bear, bear sugar free reviews. What a waste I, of I don't know whether they're still on there, but I laughed so much I was crying. So, the key to gummy oh. bears is the sugar that makes you not be stuck on the toilet. That's good to know. That's the takeaway from this. Yeah. But instead of going to the toilet like once you've been eating hours, gummy feet. Yeah, but they've been sweetened, I would imagine. Yeah. It's the unsweet one yeah. where you really end up in trouble apparently. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what they were saying, I was I was wetting myself laughing. <laughs> oh god, it was so funny. Oh all was, right, guys. Oh sorry. Oh no, I'm sorry. I was just gonna say goodnight. I didn't want to interrupt, but hopefully we'll do this again soon and chat. And um, yeah, I got nothing because I'm tired. <laughs> no, that's cool. I'm glad. I was so glad to hear you and and have you explain that stuff. 
to yeah, yeah. i miss you guys all those motherfucking royalties which you fucking deserve yeah but more importantly I, like, I think jen should start doing lives I've yeah never, i've never been a live creator i've only ever made videos hell it took me forever to even get up on a selfie cam i didn't yeah. do any of that that's really not my forte i'm in the no. background doing music and shit making videos i'm not alive no but but in between do you do what one week and salty do another week nobody wants to listen to me fucking talk that's well, right that's, that's, that's the only way i can get anybody to pay attention to me yeah. we've listened to you for eight hours and 22 minutes <laughs> Okay. Yeah, to, not to be um not yeah, give or take a minute or two. Okay, yeah. good night, Nicole. Good night. Good night, Nicole. Good night, Nicole. Good night, Nicole. Happy ho ho holidays. Yep, yeah, happy talk holidays. To talk to you soon. Night, Salty. Okay. Night. Bye. 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 Ho ho ho. Good night. I'm just I'm just <clears throat> sorry, I'm I'm just doing some thing. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Oh, she's I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. Are y'all there? Well, well, Shady gave me inspiration. Oh, are you going camping, Lizzie? <laughs> with gummy bears? <laughs> gummy bears? What's happening? Are we all going camping? I, I, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. What's she doing? What the that hell is, is that? Lizzie, what? Is what what is that? Is that a fucking blow up sheep? That that's a that's a sheep. With a that's a sheep. Christmas hat on. That's her blow up sheep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a real thing. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> well, who hasn't got a blow up sheep? I mean, tell me. I got my both hands up. Maureen Cook's <laughs> husband, because he's got a, he's got a different kind of blow up. The closest I can come to anything blow up that I've ever had or been close to in my life is a lot of times, like for uh, Gay Pride, they would have it along Bank Street and the streets would be all open. So, you know, you go to those car dealerships and those big blow up fucking uh, gumby things with the arms that fucking are right oh, down. Yeah. Like, yeah, those. Those things, those things. I actually had to fight one of those during one of my sets because it would blow with the wind and it would be stacking me in the head while I'm fucking mixing. <laughs> God damn thing. And I was playing vinyl at that time, so I was afraid it was gonna like come and fucking take the needle off the fucking record. Oh yeah, it was fucking hilarious afterwards, <laughs> but fucking not for me. <laughs> God damn blow up things with the arms all over the place. Amanda wants to know what kind of gummies you guys are eating, and she'll give you her address so you can send her some. <laughs> Well, Baby. I'm eating body parts. Baby. Oh. Did I um, not mute it? Did I not mute it fast enough? <laughs> I tried. No, hi, honey. <laughs> no, it, Walsh Lady's the one you talked to about the uh, sugarless gummies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Welsh, Welsh Lady's the lady that you need well, to Well, no, and Lizzie, Lizzie's got the gummy body parts. So I don't well, know which one you want, Amanda. But you got a couple options there. Gummy bears. And the sugar free, and it's um, people's opinions on them. I, I forgot the word for it. And um, I don't know we even know if it's still on there, but honestly, if you go on there, you won't stop laughing. You mean it's like their feedback, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Their reviews. Yeah. It and, sounds like um, it's not something I would recommend eating. Somebody, somebody said they should put a warning on this packet. They're dangerous. <laughs> keep your toilet <laughs> close. Eat, keep your gummy bears close and keep your toilet even closer. Yeah. Make sure you got toilet rolls. <laughs> and lots of them. <laughs> I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't got to tell you yet, Wesley. I absolutely love you. You crack me up every time. I love yeah. you. Oh, I love you. I, I wait for Salty's live, honestly. Every night I have a lock. Is Salty on tonight? Is Salty on tonight? Is she on tonight? Hmm. Is she on tonight? Aww. And then tonight I thought, oh my God, it says she's on in 30 minutes. I was so excited. It's me night time. Yeah, you and me too. This is oh, yeah, what we do. Like, 
you guys found out. I didn't even know until she was already on. She was going live. What? I, we talked. I was on. I was talking to you as I created the stream yesterday. I didn't talk to you last night. You're fucking lying. I never talked to you ever. <laughs> this is the first time. For a second, I thought I was hallucinating. No, what the I'm hell is she talking about? I'm fucking kidding. I've lost all sense of time anyway. You know, and in, in um, yeah, okay. <laughs> we all have, in in essence, oh. like it's just one yeah. big long fucking YouTube day that just blends. Well, I, I'm gonna um tell Vicky Scarlet when I'm bed. Uh, uh, I'm assuming that when you say Google or Turner, you mean Claire, and um, that you're not. No one fooled you for a second. I'm glad that they didn't fool you, and she didn't fool me. I believe what she said. I believed her until I didn't anymore. So there you have it. I'm, I, w I don't want to not address comments like this. So that's the reason why I wanted to say that because a lot of people were or not. Some people say we th that they, they think we are and we're being fooled by people like Cheryl that that you might know, brainwashed us to believe these things about Claire. You want to talk about but living I couldn't, in the past. We gave her a chance. Yeah, I can't come up with an informed decision uh, on my own. So what the fuck am I doing talking about anybody else making an important decision about somebody that's lying? If I'm talking about Andy, uh, the two are the same, very much the same. Thing, so, but yeah, I'm glad uh, y'all weren't fooled. Okay, well you weren't. You weren't. You know, yeah, and unfortunately, there's but there was quite a few people that weren't fooled by her. Um, that was a hard pill to swallow, but they were right, and you know. Yeah. Um, again, you know, it's not a defense, but I don't run around uh, contrary to what everybody thinks and what, you know, some people are trying to accuse us of trying to do. I We don't run around asking all our friends to show proof of anything. We have friends. We talk to them. We talk about things. We joke. We have fun. There was no reason for us to doubt her until push came to shove. Yeah. But, yeah. but for all those people that suspected from the beginning, you know. Uh, that's good. And and I tell you what, next time. Yeah, and remember that we went to Matt for her because we believed her. And unfor right. it's unfortunate in retrospect. And I'm not going to sit here and let anybody gloat saying, don't come at me or anybody else saying, I told you so, I told you so. Fuck off with that. Because well, we did believe her. Well, Just like me, some people are still believing. I'm not going to say like ADs, shit was believe him. They give him a pass. Like they're doing the play now. Y'all are giving her a fucking pass. Well, you know what? You want to talk about giving passes? I gave her, I gave her, she got a trust pass for me. I implicitly believe what she was yep. saying. I had no reason not yep. to. That's, you want to talk yep. about giving passes? I gave her a full on trust pass and took everything yep. she said for word, word for whatever, believed everything she said. Yep, a full-on trespass. I think you want, we all did. You want to call it being fooled? I was fucking fooled. That's then. why I, I, I had to say that because, like, when if you're going to sit here and say any of us are fooled, or it, we weren't fooled, y'all were mistaken. They people are lying to you in order to to think this. This is what I fucking hate. People are whispering in your ear. They're telling you what what, what you need to do, and they're they're um, you know leading you astray. I have no business being here trying to explain to anybody that this dude is a pervy fraud and needs to go to fucking jail. If I have such issues with being fooled so easily, if I make such bad decisions, judgment and character, I don't need to fucking be here, do I? If that's the case. Well, wouldn't that have also fooled. happened a long time ago? Way before. It wouldn't happen a long fucking time ago. I am a pretty good judge of character. That's why I didn't come out and rip her ass to shreds. Because I did respect the friendship that we used to have, even though it wasn't based on friendship. And the stuff that I spoke about, it wasn't personal. It was about her being a liar with copyright in 80 very specific so when you say being fooled perhaps she did fool people but she lied to me yeah there's a difference That's a good point. see i'm not again i'm not going to not address this this kind of stuff especially now i'm just there's no reason not to um i hope that nobody uh, is fooled into believing that I really am a fucking cyber terrorist. That Interpol is about to come get me because some toothless fucking p uh, punk bitch named Clarman is telling y'all that. Hopefully nobody's being fooled with that bullshit, huh? Yeah, but we know that's not true. Especially you when you're in there. Are you uh, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you weren't fooled by that. Are you being fooled by Norman? That I'm such an awful fucking person? That after a year and a half of him obsessing with me and some fucking dude from Norway, that 
you won't say, hey, look, I remember you making this video 18 times last January or, or last February or the March before that. That was the 20th. Are you fooled by that? I've never been salty like this at people before, but there's no reason for me not to even just question y'all about that. If you're going to come into the chat, regardless of what you say, and I always invite everybody, let's go ahead and say, well, y'all paint the same person with the same brush, right? They support this or they do that. Fuck. You want to talk about people lying or being fooled? Let's go ahead and talk about everybody. And that's what I said. I'll start doing that if y'all want me to. No, I'll say whatever the fuck I want. Don't be fooled by the toothless punk ass fucking bitch. <laughs> Who not one time of me calling his ass out too. Ever be a fucking have some self respect. Stand up for yourself. Especially if you're going to make videos that people are calling you out. Or if you're going to lie about being a lawyer. Or making people think that you were. Or be, making people think that you were going to be taking down 80s channel and all this shit is happening. Be accountable. And that goes for everybody. I fucked up. Three simple fucking words. But not even that anymore. Beyond that. It's fucking, it's, it's gross. The whole depth of it, that, that I was wrong. The only reason why I was, I was here, or we would be talking about this, is because of things that he's been doing and saying, and deplatforming and ex exploitation and all of that. And somebody in our circle that we trusted, that you, we all believed in, she fucking, it was all bullshit. And here I am even still. And you're a fucking punk. You can't even answer us. You can't even come over here and get a link. You can't call me. You can't, do, are you kidding? Come on. They have people saying that I was fooled. I can't make decisions on my own. Fuck off. Ran over. Well, I've only got a picture of a sheep because I want, I want, I didn't want to deceive people or think a, think i was deceiving people. tell me that was not the most crazy fucking change in in in, in discussion and in a history of changing the subject <laughs> it's the happy ho ho holiday sheep blow up sheep, actually i tell everybody fuck off, off after all of this and he's like okay that is not a real sheep i just want y'all to know that <laughs> and uh, I, I don't want to, i don't want to be thinking i'm being uh, i'm lying about no, having a sheep when i really don't that it's a, a very, fact. This is I my sheep. I'm not so weird. I thought yeah, it was a very tranquil was... balance segue. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, segue that's right, because you're talking about how people <laughs> say things and you just take them for granted. Well, the other day, I was telling some people that um, I had a blow up sheep. And of course, they were all laughing and they probably, and also I made some penises, but they were all laughing and, and, um, I thought, well, maybe they don't believe me, and I, I, I'd seen it out in the in the in the shed as I was uh, sorting some stuff. So I went back out, blew it up, cleaned it up, <laughs> took a picture to prove that when I tell a story, it's true. <laughs> Is that sheep on steroids? It looks really fucking hot. <laughs> well, the, the, the uh, and I don't, I, have I it, don't mean in a blow up kind of way. I mean like. It's like been to the gym a lot. <laughs> no, but Amanda was asking, I think she was referring to the sheep as to, um, well, Amanda, the, the reason I've got it is because um, we had a lot of dress up karaoke and my boyfriend at the time, he was Scottish and he, he used to sing Hello Dolly. So he did his kilt thing, commando style and um sent me down the sex shop to pick up this sheep so i while i'm there he calls me and then i said yeah i've got it and he yells out to the pub here liz is down the sex shop anybody want anything <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Going to the grocery store. Do you want nothing? Something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he um he he used it for karaoke, put it that way, while he was singing Hello Dolly in his kilt. <laughs> and I've still got it. <laughs> so what else, would you, what else would you do but stick it on your table at Christmas? <laughs>
Oh, no. That she's got on though that kills me. No, no, you don't put it on your table at Christmas. No, you don't. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on the table right now. <laughs> so, so I just, I just, I put this in chat because I was just, you know, because I've been back and forth and kind of listening and multitasking. But we went from gummy candy to blow up sheep and sex stores. Like, what is <laughs> happening with this chat? This is liars, to... don't forget, you left out. We did touch on the lion. Uh, you know, that, that, that <laughs> was, you know, and it's starting to look like a really bad Woody Allen movie. Can we still stop? Salty. Yeah. But sometimes there's yeah. times when you, you've got nothing else to do but go around the sex shop, right? Um, I mean, okay. tell us about it. No, because y'all know how I feel okay. about dildos. I can't you know deal with what? that. I can't handle that. So, no, I don't have to worry about just accidentally oh, ended up at a sex shop. Like, how the fuck did I get here? Well, I was just walking past. Well, Jen, like, come in with the star you know Tilsenberg, like. right? Huh? <laughs> You know Tilsenberg? No. Oh, well, what? it's it's. I'm Tilsenberg. scared to ask it's, what it is because oh. I have no idea what you're talking it's, about. It's it's where they do the tobacco and stuff. But anyway, um, what? my what? other my. What the hell are you talking about? Tilsenberg. It's down in. It's down a bit west of me. Anyway, no, I've only been to Peterborough. I'm so fucking confused right now. I'm going to go back the kids, and The kid's dad food. was an entertainer. So we're stuck in Tilsenburg for a week, and there's nothing there except a hospital and a few stores, and it's like a little old out of the – in the boondocks, right? And uh, <coughs> But it happened to have a sex shop. So <laughs> what else could we do? So we're wandering around this sex shop. <laughs> that was I mean, the whole entire town. But I, I picked up this thing and I said, oh, look at these edible panties. And he turned around to me and he says, oh, put them back, Liz. He says, I couldn't eat that much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> I'm laughing on mute. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't want the baby to be hearing this stuff. Sure. No, he, he he left. He left. He went he went downstairs to have to get something to eat. He needs so. some little ear uh, head dub. Head the ear <laughs> yeah, because like we're at a goddamn concert. Baby's at the sweet, concert. Sweet, sweet little Lizzie is really corrupting. She's corrupting. <laughs> I'm, so I I heard how do you feel? To be, that, Cheryl, how do you feel about apologizing now before you swear? Nah, yeah, I'm over that. You're not getting any more apologies from me, Lizzie. If you if you can handle that, you can handle some f bombs, right? <laughs> no, it was we were just innocently. We didn't buy anything, but we were just going around having a look. Yeah. What what more can you do in Tilsonburg? Ghost lady, what is your what is yours? My vault. Your I, I I found it. Oh, it's a Welsh dragon I made out of a book. Oh, okay, okay, you yeah. Because did you just yeah. put that on, or did it just decide to start working? Oh, well, I I pressed um turn camera off, and then it come on. Right, I've, I've got the gummy bears review with you. Can I just play one? I I, I won't play them all, this, this, but this is a sort, sort, sort of thing. Yeah, is, uh, Amanda, I'm, I'm reading what she's saying, and I, I can guarantee, I actually rem oh think I remember God. something vaguely about this, because the people in my dark nurse and humor group laughed about this shit for about a week. I have no fucking sympathy for Jenna. <laughs> What is clean. happening? <laughs> what is this on here? She's playing something. We're supposed to listen to it. Yesterday morning, and a bunch of the guys immediately downed a handful each with 
within half an hour that we're in the bathroom texting one of the others. If you think it's a fart, it's not. <laughs> How do you know when they text yeah. each other? OMG, everything previously written is true. It's all true. Don't eat more than 15 in a sitting unless you are trying to power wash your intestines. I'll go to try the what? The crap that started about an hour later, and soon enough, I was as bloated as a balloon in Macy's Thanksgiving Day break. People are creative. When the rumbling started, I sprinted down the hallway and made it to the bathroom just in time for the four horsemen of the apocalypse to stampede from my backside, laying waste to my home septic system and my will to live. After three hours of a pelvis shaking gum and bear salt, I was <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> <laughs> Add poop to that list of things we're talking about tonight. Oh, one mile from home on my walk, and it was a long one mile back. One mile walk, and I had a mess. Fortunately for compression shorts, it did run down my legs. Now I had to hold the gas for fear of blowing my entire intestines out into my shorts. I made it home, and what happened then was like something out of Dante's Inferno. My butt became an upside down volcano. I would no sooner get done than have to go again. When you get the urge to go, you best be in proximity of a toilet. I spent hours on that toilet. I was glued to the toilet seat. Streams of fire burst from my colon. When I wasn't experiencing Satan's fury exploded from my... I don't know if these are uh, established authors writing these reviews or people that just love watching movies. I was laying in the fetal position on my bathroom floor, sobbing and asking for forgiveness. I'm a 280-pound man. I was sobbing. Let me tell you, I'm going to tell you all this quick story before I finish this. But we all had those days where we prayed to change us that we are not going to eat what we did if you... That was funny, Bonnet. You got to admit... Those are the reviews. Well, yeah. They've got written ones and, and the I think that I think that gentleman, that queen, was being a little bit dramatic with his reviews. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was I can only just imagine people. visualizing what he looks like. Yeah, it, it was that was funny. I'm sorry, it was me to, I forgot. The site was Susie for fun. Her and her friend like to go to different places, you know, online and leave weird freaking reviews uh so that way the other one can follow it up with just you know some really crazy stuff it yeah <laughs> that's what they're well, this, this gentleman's put 10 on but then there's written reviews as well there's loads and loads yeah we used to do that with the reddit groups for um that oh, I, I don't i know i've never talked about this publicly but one of the things that uh that became i guess i, I don't want to say a big thing but was becoming more popular, which I found very disturbing, was something that people, uh, um, they call themselves urine therapists, okay? Urine therapists. What? Urine therapists? Urine therapists, because they believe that urine, their urine will cure anything. Um, it, I mean, they rinse with it, they bathe in it, they put it in their hair. I mean, just what? the stuff that they said they do. We, uh, it was so fun. The stuff that even they were writing in their groups, we would try to get into their private groups. Please don't tell me they so drank it. So we could get it. their shit. Huh? Please don't tell me they drank it. Of course they did. Ah! All the time. There's one dude that has a very large falling. He always takes people into his bathroom where he has his little mason jars of uh, aged urine. And you can see it going down the gamut. Oh, oh, my, God. God. oh my God. And yeah, they drink it. Of course they do. They put it on rashes. If you had a toothache, they put it on that. Make Gout, they put it on that. Dunk your bread and cookies in it. If you're dying of, <laughs> of cancer, they're going to give it to you. I mean, that's pretty much it, you know. <laughs> Inject so it into bathe you. Bathe in it. Huh? Oh. You could bathe in it. Yeah, you yeah. And there, I mean, there are people uh, where it came to the, like, the medicinal and the, you know, clinical stuff like that. Because what for a living, we, uh, not only, I, it's not about having a dark humor or anything, but it's kind of scary that there are people out there that actually believe this. And there was a woman asking in um, that group in particular, if memory serves correctly, because she had had a baby and um, the baby wasn't thriving. It wasn't doing well. So she was asking people what she should do. Now, you should call the fucking doctor and go to the hospitals. What you should do. You don't get on the Facebook and your urine therapy group and ask them what to do. 
to help your little baby that is not doing what well. What the hell? That's yeah. unfathomable. Oh my gosh, unfathomable. Y'all have never heard about the yeah. urine therapy? No, I, I'm apparently a very sheltered, brainwashed fucking person because that's I've never heard of that before. And that's the people that really believe that stuff. We're not talking about everybody giving AD a pass. The people that support him publicly or whatever, giving him a pass to say, keep lying. Or even Claire, keep lying, giving you a pass. No, no, that's a so what she They actually believe all of that. They actually really believe that. So, and there's, they, they would do, I think it was called black tar. Something about Morgans is what they call parasites. Every single one of them was putting pictures of their shit up there. Oh. And what was in it. Oh. Uh, these people exist in our world and they vote. And have kids. So I'll leave it at that. Well, on that really Okay, story time over. Yeah, the weird part of my life is done, hopefully. That route to a really dark place I never anticipated we would go. That, that there are people that believe things like that? That's disgusting, yeah. That we laugh at it? Or, or I mean, what is it that's disturbing? <laughs> I don't I want to clarify that for me. It's, huh? it's disgusting. There's nothing funny about that at all. Consequently, the lady ended up taking her baby to the hospital. It wasn't doing well. No, that's there was a person in that group. I'm not going to lie. She had a, um, they call them free births. So she had a home birth. And she she uh, recorded it. And she did it in her backyard. And um, her baby was not doing well. And they were telling her um, what to do with the urine. And, and then something called black tar. That woman, uh, the baby died. The baby black died. Black tar? Yeah, it's called black tar is what they call it. Um, but the baby died. And um, if memory serves correctly, oh again, the woman that was giving her, or acting as her midwife as well, you know, she's not a midwife. Or, um, told her, you know, she never even considered taking that child to the hospital or getting seeking any type of real oh, valid no. medical advice. So she was, they were both charged. They were charged with that. So, Good. Um, so they should, so they should be. Yeah. See, these are the dark That's parts so of the uh, internet that you know that don't that y'all didn't know existed until right now. And now you're really pissed off probably that I told you. Shit, I didn't want to know these people existed, damn it. Yeah, they do. God damn. <sighs> and we read well, their posts God. to them. My gummy's best stories were that's what my point was actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crazy people that talk about crazy stuff that they see on the internet reviews and, and what people talk about. Oh no. Talk about uh, that's where I was going with that. I'm sorry I got off on a little tangent. Ah, yeah, okay. no, I, I agree. Well say so your gummy bear stories were way happier than that one. Way happier. Mm. <coughs> you can write happy dark Martian stories too. We can always talk about what people put up their asses. But we did a lot. And you'd be surprised at what people put into their into the orifices of their body. You know, um, it's like a week from Christmas. You shouldn't talk like that a week from Christmas. Just, just I am not I'm not celebrating Christmas anymore. I can say whatever the fuck I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like it makes any difference. There's what no, day no. it is. Okay, you know what? Okay, it's good on Christmas, I won't say anything offensive on you. <laughs> She's also not going to be coming live probably either. But we'll take that. Uh, Scar Scarlet's email, I completely agree. When? And that, that's kind of what our what our point is tonight. <laughs> what? She says, this is um, canceled retired fire trolls. She says genetic code. No reason why you should we were talking about um how Scarlet's email um First caught on to Claire because she, of, of what Claire would say legally. And this person knew that she wasn't actually a solicitor because she didn't seem to understand the basic stuff, the laws. I had made a comment and Jen had made a comment that that's kind of where we were out of our element, basically, because we have no idea. Well, I have no idea about the laws over in the UK. Yeah, so I kind of really they, had no choice but so to believable. take it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I just... Want. Take her for a word because I don't know. <laughs> and so, I mean, for somebody so, that has no understanding or experience in copyrights whatsoever, would even stand, understand even less. I mean, I had no experience with, with with initiating copyrights, but I know how to fucking do a counterclaim and what's needed. But that wasn't my forte, so I would have never looked into it. I had no reason to. It wasn't my thing, and it seemed right. Like so what she, did, what she was doing? What Scarlett's email says, no reason why you should. She betrayed you as a fantasist and has grabbed the life belt from the not very bright. 
no one here should be held responsible for Morgan's sickness. And that's kind of the thing. Yeah. It's like, you know, we don't, that that's the, that's, that's it in a nutshell. I don't want to be held responsible. I mean, I I'm responsible that I believed her and, and that that's, that's my yeah. thing. Right. But I'm not responsible for what she did. I'm not responsible for the, the fallout from what she did. If, you know, people None of us are responsible for Claire's actions and Claire's behaviors in this whole ordeal. Only right, Claire's but that's not what. But, that's but not I what am I'm responsible saying. as the person who, who I am. I was responsible for telling y'all why Blue Channel come back because I yeah, I was here too. for a reason. And if no, I if what nobody I'm saying else is, do, I was. everything that was done was because of of her. We are not responsible for what came about because of her lies or her deception or anything like that. People don't mm -hmm. like the fact that we all came out and talked about it. That That's not our problem. Sorry, not our problem. But it's our we problem that have, we come out and talk about AD and the it, shit that we, he we does. We would have nothing to talk about if she hadn't have done those things. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Yeah. There's the rub because yeah, people, of course, they wanted to say she wasn't this or she wasn't that. Everybody was saying that another person wasn't what they were saying. It's all about fraud and trying to fool you. Somebody's sketchy. They want glory. Okay, put insert whatever fucking thing here. But um, when, well, we, again, we believed her and she was believable until she wasn't anymore because I knew she was lying. We found out. And there well, were people I mean, that knew she was lying and they want to be quiet about it. And as far oh, as the history dictated, we had no reason to not believe her. I'm not responsible because somebody lied. Somebody lied. I'm not responsible for AD's lie. Y'all set up on my panel saying, God damn him for saying it's gonna, we're going to have blood on our hands because somebody's going to get hurt for what y'all did. Damn it, don't say things like that. But you don't want me to say anything about this. That's some major hypocrisy that hopefully people will realize now, at least they know. Um, being responsible, I'm responsible for what I say, I'm responsible for what I fucking do. And so is she, and she lied. I don't want anybody saying that she, she fooled me or brainwashed us, whatever, that's just stupid at this point. Um, Y'all, y'all, y'all thought, oh, y'all said, oh, she's not a lawyer, she's not this, she's not that. We're in a community where we're calling people out for what they're doing. And we're supposed to be telling the goddamn truth. We believe what she said. So as far as I was concerned, y'all could have fucked off with that when y'all came out. And you, some of y'all did. But remember that she also had to come up here and set people straight. Or she said she did. Because she had principles. When her son was spoken about or questioned. She had no issue with that. Her son wasn't in danger. That's hopefully y'all are getting the point I'm making. I keep saying that. That's how strongly she felt about that, showing private information. And the same people don't want me to tell you that she's, she lied. They fooled me. How about that? The, the ones that, that, that just don't even fucking care, those are one that, the, the people that fooled me. I'm feeling that way, Ren. Y'all fooled me that y'all were here to do something. And that you were going to ignore it and didn't want to tell the truth about that. What the fuck? Don't even uh, can talk about, um, let's not say the pervy fraud, but anything. Okay? Because that's how tacky. That's how tacky. It's just, I got, uh -uh. nope, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to mute again. I'm sorry. The thing is, you made now of, um, my respect for you coming out and telling us all what was going on. Can you pull that was one thing. Sorry, can you pull the screen up? I'm trying to share. Sorry, I've been on mute. I just I didn't know that you were doing that. Oh, I, it doesn't pop up when I'm on the mobile side, so, or or on the other one. I can't see it, so I apologize. Well, that's why I mentioned it, darling. Sorry, I didn't mean Thank to you. interrupt, Well, lady. I realized. Okay, well, lady, go ahead. I think it's you've gained more people's respect by coming out and actually telling us what was going on. Because otherwise, would we have known now? Hmm. Would we have thought, oh, Claire just can't say anything? You know, we, we didn't know what was going on. Yeah, come on. And I mean, it's that's... only 
At the heart of it, we don't even still know what's going on. <laughs> right? But that's why we were here, to do something, to cause something to go on, yeah. essentially. So, um, what, so what was the point? Yes. Yeah, so, you well, saw, lady, my that point that being here. That what I meant good. was, what was the point of my being here? I'm sorry if y'all misunderstood me. I'm, I'm going to go quiet again. Sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry that, was, again. Well, lady, I, I, that was one of the things that we thought about. You know, we could have just said nothing and everybody would think, oh, exactly. Claire, Claire has to be quiet. But then when the Blue Channel came back and everything went to hell, which it did, people would accuse us of um, covering for her because we had heard that before from people. You guys are just covering for her. We're like, no, we're not. No, we actually believed what we were saying. So we knew if we didn't say anything, it was going to be way more detrimental. Um, it, yeah. Of course. And, and, yeah. And, and in reality, if it were any other situation, would would the rest of the community, would you do you want to be kept in the dark? Do you not want to know when something isn't right? Again, yeah, you, know, you, you can't be, got, you can't be, be gone throwing, yeah, you can't be throwing rocks at AD's house when your own fucking house is dirty, you know? You can't. Exactly. Well, I just and, again, that. and again, I just want to point out for people that weren't around and saw this earlier, this is how much in danger life's Claire is with it. This is how much in danger Claire's life is, according to her. It is so in danger that she has now, on her Facebook as of this week, pinpointed to the exact degree and longitude and latitude where exactly she is in the world. On Facebook. And this is the person, person, Claire, you told me what? And you told other people that you were in fear for your goddamn life from an, uh, an abusive partner. Forget about the fact that people that you were telling that stuff to. Some of them are, were actually, you know, did have abusive partners. Well, I, I thought too that you're was, sitting here saying that to me, but you're up here putting out a fucking thing like that, talking about where you're going on vacation, or you're staying with her, or whatever. Get the fuck out of here. She was also in fear of of her her life being in danger because of AD, and he was going after fuck. her right on those streams. Don't forget that. But now that she's work. moved, now that she's moved to another country, it's perfectly okay to pinpoint your exact location. Yeah, because it's nobody's in, nobody's in danger ever when they go to Canada. You know that, of course. <laughs> It's Canada, for Christ's sakes. Right, don't forget. It is, you know, well, it's the Canadian you. immigration that needs to verify your damn credentials. That's Who where knew? those, yeah, according Who to her, knew? that's where those, those uh, qualities. I think that's why we're not getting our trolling jobs, Jen, are. because I sent my credentials to, to the wrong immigration officials. Fucking right. Apparently. Everything happens in Canada. You are safe from everything. We might even have a publisher or two. Well, I was going to go to, on only day to Canada until I realized Jen lives there. <laughs> you can come stay with me, Welsh lady. Can I? Yeah. Shall I bring my stove and, and my heater and my We tent? can go camping. We can camp in my living room. We can I'll send you yeah. some I'll send you some marshmallows with chocolate in them. Oh my god. I will cooking. do that. Oh. I will s'mores it up for uh for a first camping trip. Oh, we could even we could camp down, we could do a road trip, Welsh lady, and we could camp along the way and go visit Lizzie. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. or you could be really adventurous and head head uh, west and come on up to Alaska. That'd be well, cool. We need to go a lot west and a lot north. You would have to go really, really west. Uh, yes, but I'm really, okay. really talking about stuff that make that confuses me. So stop it. <laughs> nothing that involves <laughs> what I am now. We um, time zones. Nothing that involves like you know anything like that. It, and it well, makes me okay, scared. We like, I don't like allowed, there's no geography allowed to be spoken. <laughs> What do you know fucking geology? Yeah. Remember that? So you're not, why are you you're not a geologist, but of course you know it's supposed to be geography. Sorry. Geology. I, I want to hear I want to hear Welsh lady burn Jen again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's you know what? She's she's burnt me better than Salty's ever fucking burnt me. I know. And she does it just with little wind liners. It's because you, you, voice. you don't expect it. So when no, somebody gives you a burn like that and you're like hurt, like, oh my god, <laughs> how She's just oh, strolling down you. the street and lobs the grenade and then just keeps going. <laughs> <It's just laughs> me. And nobody ever double like does the double take at her ever. The <laughs> I've lost my train of thought now. Me too. Um if we decide to go and see Salty, we well, could we could do that. That would be a whole other road trip. So. We'll be there two days ago. Because the time difference, she won't know. She's actually, no, she's yeah. a, well, actually, Salty's only an hour behind my time zone. So, yeah, but it's going to take more than an hour to get there. Yeah. 
She's well, doing math, Jen. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, Get your pen I'm, and paper I'm out. out. I'm tapping out now. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say. Dad, you don't come at me with calculators and shit like that. Okay. <laughs> don't ever do that. All right, have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> but the way I do it. Right. <laughs> The, the only thing I've ever brought with me is a pen and a notebook. I ain't bringing no fucking calculator. Fuck. No, it's we, we need a sat nav. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need pen and paper. We need a sat nav. <laughs> <laughs> It'll tell us when we when we're supposed to get there. I need one of them magic eight balls that you shake, and you can read tarot cards all of a sudden. All you got signs one of them. point to yes. That's what I need. <laughs> I'm a retired. A, I'm a retired gypsy go go demon. A, a plan now. I'm gonna visit Jen, <laughs> and then we're gonna go. Um, where are we going next, Jen? We, you know what? We could just. Yeah. Go <laughs> Both of you got no memories. Y'all did be one <laughs> forever. Right, we're gonna is. come to Alaska. You're gonna come to Alaska to see me. Then we're gonna head south, very, very as far south as you can go to see salt. <laughs> we might want to have that some notes. Be. We might want to have some notes pinned to us saying "if found" and put the address <laughs> down. <laughs> oh my God! I bought me wheels <laughs> because I fell over on the holiday. One of those key latch kids. You're one of those key latch YouTubers. By the way, I need a string in all of my gloves too. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> through, through the arms of your coat. <laughs> yep. Yep. Never yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you mm. see kids with that, you know, you're an untrustworthy kid. Your your mom doesn't trust you to be able to keep track of your gloves. That's what that I means. Always <laughs> even to this, you know what? Even as a fucking adult, I still always lose one glove right at the beginning of every fucking year. <laughs> every year. So I really even as an adult need to have goddamn string on my mittens through my coat. Oh my god! No joke. Oh, so so Amanda says she's gonna pick you up, Salty, and then we'll all meet in Vegas. That sounds like a good halfway point. Yes. There oh we go. yes. Now, now we got a plan. We got a plan. I'm a retired, I'm a retired gambler. gambler. That's it. perfect. I'm a retired gambler. This is gonna work out. <laughs> I could fly straight to to Vegas. <laughs> well, wait, you're supposed to do s'mores and camping with Jen with the marshmallows with the chocolate. And there's wow, I just got dumped for Vegas real fucking fast. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just flying I have straight never to been Vegas. Dumped so fast yeah, in my goddamn life, well, sweetie, you just got me good I, again. I haven't fini finished my itinerary yet. We're going to all meet in Vegas I'm and then we can all camping go camping. <laughs> Yeah, don't, I don't forget know. To, to catch your pee for a week beforehand, so you have plenty of your own pee. What? Stop it. It's I better stop getting bottles ready now. Bring your own mason jar kind of deal. <laughs> There's this one guy, I'm just remembering this now. He's like, what do y'all think about the color? I was like, we just all this shit. I'm going to tell him, dude, you are fucking in kidney failing. <laughs> you are the fucking doctor right now. What, I mean, what, these people are what crazy. What? I couldn't hear. I said, your kidneys are failing. That's what's happening. You please go to the hospital. Oh, he go. said with the color of it. The color of the urine. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Like fucking blood red? Uh, fuck. <laughs> it was, a, no, it was really, really dark. But there was light <laughs> stuff at the bottom. But that's because he's storing it for like, I don't know how long. They oh. aged their urine. Uh, it was, so and then it became like the second picture was like getting darker because it was the sequence of pictures that he was sharing, asking people in the group. Help <laughs> him. So there was a visual record of it. <laughs> he pulled it out of his fine age collection. Oh god, I forgot about all that. I was like, dude, you you need to go get some dialysis or something. Please get your shit together. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> If you oh, want to I've got the social media. Freaking go over to the hospital at the same time. <laughs> People are crazy, though. Y'all can say that. And we're telling well, the truth. You know I ain't lying about that. One thing I will say that social media certainly brought out all new levels of crazy I never fucking even knew existed. And that's a perfect example right now, tonight. But just in general, I mean, <clears throat> be serious for a second. Like, there is this. I mean, I knew fucking crazy. There's fucking insane fucking crazy cakes. People left and right everywhere in real life. But 
ever since really honestly being on YouTube, there is so many levels of crazy that I never even knew. Existed. But that's a, no, you're just that's a generalization though. You can't just say everybody is crazier. That of no, course no, people no, 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 are no, saying more things. People find it easier to lie now and be dishonest when you're online, and you don't have to face people and 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 you know be accountable for it. There are people that are generally disturbed. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they're using <laughs> social media for the negative as opposed to the yeah. positive that it wasn't. Like the people that want to go in and drop the, the bombs, like, you know, the conspiracies or that, the lies, the politics, everything. Everything goes. Make money off much. of grieving family for three years, exploiting them. Yeah. Really. Yep. Well, you know, these, these really disturbed people, they're out there in the real world, and they always have been. We're just being exposed to them more because of social media. Yeah. Um, and, and they they don't necessarily hide their craziness as much. But to counter what you said, there's also a that shit. That was more what I was trying to actually say. Thank you, Cheryl. You, you put it in a much better context than I just did. Okay. You're what? welcome. Um, what, the other thing is, is there are such a shit ton of good people that you may not have met, not just because of geographically, but because a lot of, you know, some people, they don't get out much. They don't go anywhere. Um you know, actually, not just because of the pandemic, but I'm kind of like that now. I work from home, so I wouldn't, I, there's not a lot of people I would actually meet. And I got, you know, you meet a lot of really good people too that you mm -hmm. may not have come across, but it is, it, the, the crazy is definitely certainly outweighs the good, unfortunately. But again, I think I, you know what? I was, just, I was, I did, I was just thinking about how when we asked people, we told people, or we said something about trust and about honesty and about being forthright and calling it ID and I mean, just everything um, that uh, we, we were just what met with all the crazy people in this community. No, no, of course not. But there are people good, bad, indifferent, more suspicious than others, people that are honest than they are in this community. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, it kind of makes sense. You have, you get, you get 100, 200, 500 people in real life in a room or, you know, wherever there's a good chance there's going to be a couple, one or two or five or 10, you know, crazy people. And by crazy, I mean something as far as, you know, like a narcissist or a compulsive liar or things mm. like that. So why would we think that this community, just because they decided that they wanted to help the family, which, or help a family. Or, I, I want to stop saying pissed off at, Yeah. What brought y'all here? Are we, I guess right. we're all a little that, bit that crazy. Doesn't, that doesn't negate, yeah, it doesn't negate why they came here, but uh, you know, I because I, I personally don't believe that anybody that I've met that things have kind of gone and Claire included. I again, I don't think anything was nefarious. I don't think it was planned. I don't think it was malicious. Not but, in the beginning, no, not at well, all. Well, right, right. So you know, there there are people that came for the good reason, but uh, just like in real life, when you meet someone and they they seem really cool at first, and then after you know a couple months, you're like, there's something off about this one. You know, well, and, yeah. And, and, and one thing I say. I just wanted to really quickly say, you know, we uh, are here and we were doing what we were doing, whether we're still doing it or not is, is not the point. But we, we we were speaking out against behavior that was not normal and that people were normalizing. Keep that in mind, please. There was nothing normal about any of this. And I guess a touch crazy, perhaps. But it has been so saturated with uh, passes and, and drama and bullshit and fuckery that you're ending up giving a pass to somebody that's lying to you and you're not going to say anything. That is not normal. You're normalizing. They are normalizing behavior like ADs and y'all are no normalizing shit that people do and lie about and, and say, there's well, nothing yeah. normal about that either. In the real world, yeah. if, if you knew somebody that was purposely lying to a group of people, people that, you know, you were friends with, that you, that they trusted you and you trusted them and they were taking advantage of a family that was already, would you be okay with that? I mean, in real no. life, would you be able to no, like, no. sure, let, let's go have coffee. I know what you're doing and it, it, that's cool. I like I go in there into, let's just say the nurse's station. I see the head charge nurse for the night shooting up fucking heroin. I'm not supposed to say it. Let's just say, you know, that's that's a stupid rational or comparison, but it's still the comparison. We're here for this reason. You can't uh, say condemn these people, but support these people. You, th that was never 
even a possibility. I never thought it would play out like that, that that people in this community would act like that and say that and and say and suggest and then making it a drama saying we, we, we did it because we're jealous. That's jealous. not normal. Jealous of what? It's not. Well, jealous exactly. is a word that is thrown around all, all the time. time. But it's, that's it's, what they do. It, it, anytime somebody doesn't normal. like somebody, it's because they're jealous. Anytime somebody talks shit about somebody, it's because they're jealous. jealous. Nobody's fucking jealous of anybody, for Christ's sake. Oh, oh my God, gosh, they're awful people for saying these things. Being a <laughs> this, is, attorney? this is the, the, the truth community. Come on. I'm people, so they're... I, I, I was just going to say, I was just going to say, I'm certainly not jealous of a fake retired attorney. And I just for a second, I, I, it, it's, it, I just want to point out, cause I think it's funny. Speaking of retired people, um, and our Vegas trip, um, Cher, I would love to see Cher. Cher's a goddamn bucket list singer. I've always wanted to see, but That's Cher nice. has been a retired singer. How many times over? I want to go, I, I want to go. I want to go sing, sing. I want to go see Cher, and I want to hear her sing. If Claire could turn back time, <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, the normalizing of the behavior within our own ranks is the fucking shit that I could, I can't believe in retrospect. And I'm really thinking about this now that that we were speaking out even against normal and not normal behavior. That you can look back in twenty, in 20 years from now. People couldn't look back and say, oh, my gosh, that was just crazy, all the shit that happened with that dumb, nasty, pervy fraud on YouTube was doing. Uh, like it was some distant memory that, that when time and space got between you and that event, that, that you would say it was normal. When it's not, it never was and never will be. But I don't so don't be here now in normalizing the behavior. It's normal. I don't think anybody huh? thinks it's normal. I don't. I too. I do not believe anybody thinks that it's normal. There are either people that choose to believe Claire, which is fine. That's okay because we did it. Too. I'm specifically putting that towards it. Let's just say AD. Well, that looking back, right, oh my right. God, yeah. But but Sorry. there's that, and then there's the people who want it to stay quiet because they feel, and we've seen this a hundred times. People say you're just giving AD what he wants. No, we're not. No, we're not. We I didn't lie oh, to yeah, anybody. Yeah, that pissed me off. I now didn't fucking them. lie to anybody. AD and Bubbles are loving this. I didn't, so again, I don't live my life, or and my morals are not dictated by what the fuck AD is gonna think about something. Right. So, <laughs> That's the last fucking thing. Right. So there's a lot of people, in my opinion, who were fooled by this person who wasn't being honest. And I should not tell anybody because we don't want to give AD that. Come on. What the fuck? We I, don't I, want anybody I, to I look still, bad. We don't want to do this. See that. I still see that people say and that. That's no, yeah, that y'all are still saying that. That, that people are saying that. Y'all. <laughs> They're yeah. loving this. We're here to speak out against things like this. You don't want us to because you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to make other people look bad. You're afraid. Perhaps you're overwhelmed. Maybe you felt threatened. I have no fucking clue. But I had no business being here. If y'all wanted me to be telling the truth or coming out and calling pervy fraud a pervy fucking fraud and uh, keep keep quiet about all that. Yeah. Let's make sure his shit gets out, whether it's real or not. Let's keep pushing that out. But don't yeah. say anything about this, kids. Yeah, carry on. That's business. sad. Business That's fucking business. sad. Business as usual, nothing to see here. Business as usual. I'm sitting here making 80, 80 videos, and AD gets his channel back. And you don't even, just for the sake of being a member of this community, say, why did he get his channel back? You don't even fucking acknowledge it. That's sad, too. Well, that's, that's what I want to know is, you know. That's why I said normalizing not, behavior. I'm not Come in on. contact with Claire, but I know that there are certain people. I, I did. Did she tell any of them? Did anybody? And I know that there are some creators that are still in contact with her. Did she? Why did nobody say anything? Even if she doesn't talk to me, doesn't talk to us. Guys, fine, but couldn't she have explained to somebody else? Because I know. But I don't understand. Had your, your, your point being here is putting shit out about AD and saying that, but you you don't want us to say anything about what what the real consequence consequence was. Of why, what, she, what happened, how it went down with the strikes, and she disappeared. And as a member of this community, especially when you say you support the other ones, how the fuck could you not even ask why? What happened? Where'd you go? So you know, blase. 
And to be you honest, I don't, I don't think if you guys hadn't had done that, that live whenever you did it a while ago, and if you guys hadn't explained it to me, I would still be wondering what the hell happened. I mean, you guys, of course, you guys that's why we're not bad people. Y'all have been here for this long for this fucking reason. And all of a sudden, it's radio silent from from the big leaguers and the All Star game. And y'all don't want to fucking know what happened. Yeah. No, nope, they didn't owe you that. You you haven't been watching these people here for however long, months, maybe a year and a half, maybe fucking three. Seriously. But <laughs> that's how at this point it was it was it was darkly and sickly comical. And actually just flat out wrong for me morally to continue anything at all. I couldn't look at myself if I said, yeah, I'm not going to say nothing about that. We're going to keep it quiet. And we tried because of the, we, we knew what was going to happen. We knew. It. Um, that's wrong. Yep. Fucking wrong, man. The reason why we're here. Y'all don't want to talk about the real reason. You don't want to talk about the real issue. You want to talk about how you say, or y'all are pretend y'all are putting out the idea that any of us, are doing this out of jealousy, spite. Right. They hurt our feelings. That okay. you know, all of us. Y'all okay. respected us up to a certain point, right? You just didn't like what we were saying. I was just gonna say, and then you hear what the last thing you probably wanted to fucking hear, and then all of a sudden, that's when everything trade changes. We're not, we're not in this for the family. We've turned our back on the family. This is gonna, oh, and again, it's gonna hurt their image. It's, it's not gonna help their case. It's gonna do this. It's gonna do that. If you really believe that. You would never have even been here to begin with. You would never have been speaking out against this fucking pervy fraud. The if only, you really the believed only person, that. The only person that put any potential possibilities of that case being in jeopardy is Claire. And I'm not taking responsibility for her horrible. I can't even fucking find the word right at this moment. Actions no, but, and that's, behavior. but that's just it. I think that's what's so outrageous to me is the fact that we were here because of that to do those things. And when it all fell apart and people just disappeared, y'all don't want to say anything. You're not going to ask anything. It's going to be go about your business and keep calling the pervy fraud a bastard. Yeah. Why are we here? Why were you? Why were we? I should say, why was I here? Why were we here? How could I even think about even outwardly supporting people that are that are still doing that. Forget about the the personal aspect about it, or you know, talking to them or not off the platform, whatever. The fact that you're here for this reason, <laughs> holy fucking shit! You know, how are you supposed to go on? How well, how could you still continue with not? Let's just say making videos or posts well, or whatever. Continue on, but then also trying to paint us in the bad light, right? We've turned on the family. We flip flopped. People are taking fucking GPS. Ooh, it has somebody location. said that I flip flopped? People, people are taking GPS location inventory. Has somebody said that I flip flopped? What the fuck? What? They, I said people are taking that are in other chats themselves fucking lurking because they're not in the chat actively typing. They're taking everybody else's GPS location coordinates and tattletailing pretty much where everybody is. So because you're in someone else's chat, you must support every fucking thing you say. Why don't you fucking explain yourself? Fuck off with that bullshit. Mm -mm. Who said that I flip-flopped? Can anybody answer that? Flip-flopped on what? On who? We've How dare y'all ever even pretending to have ever respected me say shit like that? We've continuously, you know, in the what? In total three lives we've had about this in two fucking months, not raked over the coals a thousand times, have steadily, steadfast said that this was not anything about the family directly. This was about Claire lying about what she submitted for those copyright strikes. And it's not, it was it ultimately bought us the reason why we are here. And yeah. the whole thing that, that happened in, in, in just keeping quiet at, about it. it. It Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Okay. Just that only could last for so long until we knew happened. we couldn't be quiet anymore. Let's just pretend it never happened. Yeah. Can I just, just remind thing? everybody, just remind everybody that the five of us, we didn't say anything for months. 
for months. And and Jen and Salty, they didn't say anything for two weeks. So it's not like, you know, when people- and The are others saying, didn't say anything up to that point when, when it came out as a, a, a shame. I was the last one that threw in the towel and said, yeah, it, it, it's not adding up. It doesn't. And I finally, I couldn't, I couldn't support Claire anymore. It wasn't adding up. There was little things here and there that kind of stood out, but I never even then, I'm like, no, she's lying about everything. Everything's a big fucking lie. That's why, I mean, again, it's so believable when you look at it in, re in, in hindsight, because you're like, holy shit, I didn't I see the these things, or I didn't hear that. that. I couldn't. Fuck. Yeah. I, I was the last one that finally, yeah, I mean, I can't deny this anymore. There's no fucking yeah. denying the undeniable. Yep. None. And y'all really didn't think that I wasn't going to end up uh, How can I be saying anything about Fuck. that. Come on, man. Oh it is God. offensive to me that that uh, I was just supposed to be quiet about Claire and then um, keep making, keep talking about the purge rod, make videos, uh, just calling all of them out, whatever. Y'all wanted me to do that. For the next 18 years. Y'all really. For the huh? next 18, I said for the next yeah. 18 years, we'll do this until something actually happens. It's ridiculous. To and that's why I said ridiculous in that one, when I'm that Monday morning that y'all are literally after everything we've been through in the last 48 hours, that, that she would have said that at that point in time. That's when I realized this is fucking ridiculous. If y'all are not going to, you know, not even openly or just privately admit to your friends about the shit that not just happened, but. Ultimately, let's look forward to the future. Forget about it. We'll deal with it when it comes to that. If anything happens, we'll deal with it when when it gets here. All that would have been is three it words. got I here. Fucked up. I fucked up was all she had to it say. It got here, and, and and to still to still project the idea that we are lying, that we weren't truthful, or we were doing something out of spite, or we were brainwashed, or whatever it is. Revenge. And, uh -huh. Yeah, that's why I said I have yeah. no business. If, if I'm that incapable and inept and I can't make my own decisions and choices, I have no business being here. Calling a pervy fucking fraud a pervy fraud. We're calling any of y'all true chimps, too. Keep Again, that in mind. Just want to say, we tried to get Claire to talk to us. We tried to get, get her to engage in a conversation with us. Um, and and I'm Salty and... Y'all watch the playback. And, I, I put yeah, up the, the information. They, they did separately on their own also, and we yeah. got nothing. You guys all saw how quickly she disappeared. That was how quickly she disappeared to us, too. It's like one day we look in the chats, and it says, Clara's left the chat. Then somebody said, her channel's gone. It's like, no way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we were just as in shock with you as you guys were that she did all that. Then it was like, oh, well, shit. Now people are really going to start asking, where's Claire? And I said right off the get go, I'm not gonna fucking lie. I'm not. So the and best. May I, I remind? But may I sorry, just interject for a minute. May I, may I remind everyone too that when she pulled herself out of all the chats, that was what the day after she got. It was that that day that the private stream yard, whatever. Yeah, the day and she so we've been waiting for her after hours. That's when that, that, that was. It was the day after she got the cease and desist that she laughed about with ten laughing emojis. And oh yeah. Bed. Just want to throw that back in there. Right, right. So when people ask me, where's Claire? I literally just said, I don't know. Because I didn't know. But it wasn't going to lie. Some people came up with their own scenario saying, well, maybe she just can't say anything because of the legal case. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe maybe she can't say anything. Maybe she, you know, AD's threatening her. I don't know. Maybe. I, and people came up with their own conclusions. But it got to a point, honestly, it, it was, it was, horrible to watch people coming up with these scenarios and believing them when we knew that that wasn't the case we knew I she know. wasn't yeah. hiding yeah. because ad was after yeah. her we knew she wasn't yeah. quiet because she was part of that legal team we knew yeah. that and i felt terror because there were people who were still going man i feel so bad for claire it's such a shame she had to leave youtube 80s of the yeah uh, and it, I felt terrible because I, I, even though I wasn't lying, I felt like I was lying because I was just letting them say what they wanted to, or what they, the conclusion that they could come up with. Um, it, it was, it was but an keep awful. going on with it. Don't say anything, awful. kids. That way we can, you know, keep, keep pushing for our goal. Keep your eyes on the main prize here. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, yeah, again, um, everybody's eye on the prize. I mean, I get Frankie's taking him to court. That's his eye on the prize. I don't give a shit about the court. That has nothing to do with me. So I, there's no prize for me to keep my eye on when it comes to the court. That's between Frankie and his lawyers. That has nothing to do with me. So what she did, 
it affected what I've been doing, what most people in this community have but been again, doing. And again, though, even in Claire's words, and I'll fucking pull that one up again, Claire's, Claire herself in her own words says they're two separate issues. The lawyers have nothing to do with the copyright strikes. They know what I'm but doing. But she, she certainly uh, did otherwise to, to make you believe that, you know, to be true. That's what's sad, too. I mean, you, she was sending emails to these people about the fucking copyright bullshit on YouTube. But nothing had one had nothing to do with the other. It's like when they said, oh, I guess somebody said that whoever, whatever, the family member or Claire or whoever can help you with that cease and desist. First, I'm an American citizen. Two, all Counter this other claim. shit. Three, why the fuck would they be taking care of that for me? Or anybody? How did that even, why did anybody say that? That was just stupid. That was really stupid. And again, just to be clear, Claire couldn't even take care of her own fucking counterclaim. For Knowing the whole thing years. is bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm the one that got, that got that strike removed from AD when he tried to take down her live. It was me that did it. And Claire, funny again in hindsight, and I, you know, this story is so ridiculously preposterous and, and in hindsight thinking about it, but Claire, the so-called retire, retired attorney, didn't even realize that where she had to, where in her counterclaim, where you have to put your legal name, because it's a legal document you're basically filling out, where you had to put legal names, she was putting in Celtic investigators and actually brought it up with me because it took a couple attempts for the counterclaim to go through. And I couldn't fucking figure out why, because I'm, I've got experience thanks to AD and bubbles and fake ass so, black over two years. So my point is, is Claire made a mention to me. She's like, where, well, where it says legal name, should I be putting my name or my my channel name i'm like you've been putting your channel name and she said well yeah i'm like you put claire goddamn morgan she forwarded are you serious that, that's yeah. so and as soon as she submitted it that was that counterclaim got forwarded so yeah she'll help you with that dorothy she's got that she's got she's got your back there buddy you're good mm. yeah yeah that's why uh nobody had any reason to be quiet about the copyrights especially when you even... were talking plenty about them in public or private or whatever you have to be quiet fuck off amanda yeah. it had nothing to amanda. do with that we we don't know. I mean, the only ones that can answer that are them. What? We, we have no don't idea. Know what? What? Um, she says, how how was she able to keep the family's loyalty and trust? They know the truth and what she did to all of us and their cause, removing AD. It was a big Again, loss. Again, I'm not here to convince any. Well, I was at one time. Well, I'm not here done, to lady. Oh, she I'm said, sorry. She says, it was a big loss for us. Why didn't they stand and support us? And my, Why my you answer is, I don't have to. Know. They don't they don't have to support us, but it would have been nice just to acknowledge. So I, I, there was a fuck up. It fucking didn't work. Yeah, we fucked. Not we fucked up because Claire fucked up. Well, again, in my only, mind, only the family, only Outback Summer and Preach can answer those questions, and probably Helen Chafer as well. But they're not what? talking to us either. Why the family's not said anything? It's been the one big. I know. The, the thing is, is that if if um, on quiet, that doesn't bother anybody at all. But, but yeah, I don't think that's, that's 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 just a little tad. Let's not even say it's extremely bad form, but they just want quiet on the fact of all this other stuff. But that's that's what they were here to do to begin with. That but now remember, all of a sudden it's about something else. Look at the big prize down the road. We were told. We were told there's nothing to worry about. The family isn't mad at any of us. Several times, and no one was thrown that under was the bus. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about yeah, it. No one was thrown under the bus. Don't throw. The, nobody's mad at you guys. And, and this was at the time where we're like, well, why the fuck would they be mad at us? And who would throw? What's this throwing under the bus? What's that got to do with anything? This was before it became public, but when a lot of other people knew it, now. The family. And this is what we were told. That well, this was no. Let's call a fucking spade a spade. This was the day after. Claire got her cease and desist that she thought was the most hysterical. It was the weekend the of the 16th, the, the part that finished. I showed you. You see how it played out privately, right? This was the very next day. The very next day. So Claire's gone to bed laughing about her cease and desist from AD. She's gone to bed because she's tired. We had Summer come to us because there was concerns about Claire. They came to us about concerns about Claire. We didn't. They came to us and then we get ghosted because we come out with the fucking truth. Ghosted by Claire, ghosted by fuck. Come on. Now we're not supposed to talk about it because you don't like what you heard when you came to us with questions and concerns. Now we're supposed to shut up because you don't like what you're hearing. I think what it is is that they want to keep up appearances. It's not necessary, kids. It's not. And I'm not keeping up appearances when it comes to being a true channel, that true community, it. truth or whatever, and allowing this woman to lie. And she lied to all of y'all. Why? If y'all want to trust her, trust her. I don't care. 
Yeah. I don't care. I don't care if uh, y'all want to keep giving her a pass. Okay, let's not talk about how, yeah, 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 she lied about everything. But, you know, she never said this or she never did that. Y'all need to stop that. That's just, it's it's a bad look on y'all. It really is. And I'm telling you that as somebody that cared about you and respected the fuck out of you. This is, where do you go from here? Where do you go from here? I just put up a screen. I just want to play that clip with her. I can't see it. Hold on. I'll get right back to it. I'm telling you. Money. Thank you. She yells at me more than you. Huh? Okay. I'm not seeing. Okay. Wait. Yeah. (laughs) Who's the fucking stoner here? (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm over here thinking about how much time I have left in the world. I'm serious. It's, <laughs> this probably, is like the it's shit probably Welsh lady. She's sitting there with those special gummy bears <clears throat> well, or the gummy candies. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the sugarless ones. Okay, so this is, uh, excuse me, this is only a uh, 22 second clip, but uh, basically you can see it is, this is Claire's again, very Claire's very own words. And it's the same thing I've done all along with my videos with AD. All I do is use AD's only very own words. So here we have Claire's very own words about Cohen Davis having having nothing to do with the strikes. Was it the one you played earlier? No. The, the, the actual the actual lawyers that are working on the case against AD have had nothing to do with. They, they they obviously know they know what I'm doing. It's not interfering with with what they are doing. But they I've done this. They haven't done this. I mean that just makes me my stomach hurt. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yep. But in and she did. I mean she was injecting that uh, that 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 idea. And perception that one had nothing to do with the other and absolutely didn't. But Claire, you're sending them that copyright bullshit. Acting like you found all this uncovered information. You didn't even get that yourself. You got it from somebody else. You sniped them. That's how ridiculous you are, Claire. God damn. Yeah. And again, I, I just want to also reiterate. Not trying to take away, going back. I don't believe Claire's intentions from the start were malicious or nefarious or she had she she was out to purposely unless she's unless she's a fucking wolf or AD I never thought she had any uh, um, um, deliberate intentions on on making this turn out the way it did no ever no, no. I don't think so either I never we never indicated that of course, again, I'm, I, I'm I, no, but I think well, yeah, never, hang, on, hang on, but but the other the other persona that she's also been throwing out there, and I just want to also kind of make sure is made clear. I'm not trying to either take away from the fact that Clara has helped them out in regards of you know using the portal to give information to them. Let it just also be known, Claire did help look for videos and so forth. She wasn't the only one. There was a mass group of us that spent hours upon hours, Lizzie being probably the one that spent the majority of the time, myself, not enough, Cheryl, Carrie. There was a shitload of us that also spent hours getting those videos that were needed. Yeah. Right. Capable of doing certain things that now we're incapable of. All of this great work that Claire did was not all done. She did all this great work. Let's give her a pass. Okay, y'all don't want to speak out against AD now, or you do? After everything that happened, you look, it's just a foolish notion to think that um, we would, oh, yeah, that's right. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. Don't worry. Yeah. Meanwhile, so don't, you, it, don't say anything. Be quiet. Yeah. You know, it, it'll, it's a bad look for the family, or it'll give AD and Bubbles something to laugh about. One of my questions would be if it were anybody that wasn't directly working with the Rusex, if it was Jen or you, and, you know, it came out that you weren't who you said you were and you had been lying about some shit or, you know, whatever, would would people be so up in arms about it? Probably I mean, I, I do, I do want to me. say that That's there was one person that was outed, what, a year ago? Um, Helen Schaefer, I'm not even going to say that person's name because it doesn't even matter, but Helen Schaefer had, had an, um, interaction with somebody and this person was added as basically what Helen said. She had been lying yeah. and leading, mm-hmm. leading, um, the Rusex on. And that person was not 
that, that person is still in this community. And that, I mean, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad yeah. thing. What I'm saying is that's she, there was no witch hunt. There was no witch hunt about it to that person necessarily, or even to Helen Schaefer. Helen got a little bit of flack, but to the extent that we're getting, are you kidding? No, it's only because this is Claire. And because people have been led to believe, and none of us came out and said any differently, but people have been led to believe Claire is doing all this work. Claire is do Claire was doing a lot of work, yes, but that doesn't negate the lot of work that everybody else was doing. Claire was it does not negate all the fucking videos though that y'all made, huh? Doesn't it? That 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 is just not a rational argument. You can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Fuck. Well, yeah, I, you know, you know, a lot of those, those things that Claire was, was uploading, was giving to the attorneys were given to her by somebody else. And like you said, primarily Lizzie. So yeah, Claire did a lot of work and, and she's, you know, they claim that she's a really good friend of theirs and that's cool. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But nobody, when, when everybody would go on lives and be like, oh my God, Claire, how do you do it? I don't know how you do it. You, you know, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, well, I just do. Nobody said, um, excuse me. Uh, we're kind of here doing shit too, because that's not what it was about. We didn't exactly. care. Claire, Claire, you want to take the credit? Fine. Take the fucking credit. Don't give a shit. Let's just get this shit taken care of. But because of that, people don't want to let go of that feeling that she was the one leading this charge. And trust me, you guys, she wasn't. She no, I think they want to believe that the, everything is going to be a hunky dory and at the end of the road. It, oh, we're going to get over the, the rainbow find our pot of gold. Uh, we're going to be taking him to court or we're, he's going to be charged with this eventually, whatever. You shouldn't be here. Actually, to even say that this is Jewish community, anything whatsoever uh, ever is just tacky. Yeah, but they, but they're, 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 like I said, they're acting like Claire was the one to, to lead the charge. And for anybody to speak out against her is basically like mutiny. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, it's like, come on, you guys. Like the fucking Messiah people. We're doing it because we're jealous or something like that. Like I said, she wasn't doing anything in the capacity of an attorney. She wasn't doing anything. She, she described to us several times exactly what she was doing. She wasn't doing anything anybody else couldn't have done. It had nothing to do with her maybe nope. kind of sort of law degree. Who knows? Nothing. You know, she she became a friend of theirs. That's great. Cool. Yeah. But she's not the only one that could be doing this stuff. Like I said, Lizzie. That was essentially uploading time stamped videos. That other people gave her. Period. Mostly Lizzie. You heard yeah, Lizzie tonight. I think, Lizzie, I, I, just, I think Lizzie, overall says still, Lizzie says she still sends her stuff. She still sends her stuff to this day, you know? So she's still doing Lizzie and not just Lizzie. Cause I don't want to sit here and just keep praising Lizzie because there were, there were a lot of people. There were people that were sending Claire stuff, people that not even in our little friend group, you know, Claire, Claire was get Cause I would get, sometimes I would get messages saying something like, you know, Hey, can you ask Claire if she got my message? And I didn't even know somebody was messaging her, but there was a lot of people sending her information a lot. Yeah, she was just she was the the conduit to the lawyers. That's all. That's all yep. she was, you guys. That's a perfect word. That's it's that's like a saying. Oh, everybody is it, it's a collective. It's a community. It's it's a you know we're all for one and one for all. Again, I'm going to use that uh, that term. That uh, it's a one stop fix shop. You know, uh, we all think the same thing. We all feel the same way. We all are here for the same reasons. Uh, we're all on one page. We're here for the bigger, the greater good. Uh, obviously, we weren't. We weren't. We weren't um, at all. You know, like if uh, Fuck, somebody, somebody said that he was a fucking pedophile. Right? I never said he was a pedophile. I never said any of the shit that's, up, you know, whatever. That's just an example. No. Um, why would I come out and say that she was a liar? Or I wouldn't say that. We're painted with the same brush. But now we're not, are we? It's very much divided and separated. So the fact that anybody would even think about the fact, uh, you know, that we were a community, that we were working together, and now just saying it was all Claire, or saying it was all of us being jealous, same principle. Just, it's all of us. All of us did not agree to stay silent when we're here to do this. When push came to shove. Yeah, 
Uh-uh, no. Mm-mm. No. No. That's, oh, that's... Fucking... Yeah, and, and y'all, it looks like y'all are giving her a pass, whatever. You know, just stop saying that he had to be quiet, or she had to be quiet all of a sudden. I showed you that she was never quiet. She went quiet when I asked her the questions. I showed y'all what she was showing us. She has no problem talking about and showing other people sensitive fucking information. It was about a copyright strike. Yeah. I don't care if she was a lawyer or not, but I showed you that she's not, or at least I showed you, we showed you that the law firm, what they verified. They verified Claire Morgan as being Claire yeah. Morgan with no, no criminal background. Thanks they couldn't her, verify shit that doesn't thanks exist. Thanks to her showing her utility bill, a picture of her passport, and something with her address on it is Claire Morgan. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cohen Davis verified her. They verified her as Claire Morgan, the person. That's it. That's fucking all. Oh, and a permission yep. letter from Frankie that she could have access to this lawyer's mm -hmm. portal that she was showing what? us this information through that we never even asked her to show us. And we, I never, it, we hadn't said anything when everything happened when we did the yeah. last lives talking about this. We we knew we still didn't say that we still didn't say how we knew. Claire, how could you story. have no regard for that fucking family's confidentiality by showing people the fucking lawyer's portal dashboard? How is that helping the family? Can you answer me that? No, because you won't. You'll never answer anything about it. But again, if they whoever trusts her doesn't, I don't. It's, it doesn't concern me at all. No, I don't give I don't, a fuck. I'm done. I'm done. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. And and that's why I think that if anybody does want to say it was jealousy or I was fooled or we were brainwashed, um, uh, flip floppers. Whoever said that? If you call me a fucking flip flopper, I swear to God, I'm gonna find out who you are. You come over here. You you say that to me. I'm up Come on, y'all never knew me at all, or you know me completely, and you're feeling a little ashamed of yourself right now. Either way. Turn around and try yeah. and say fucking salty and I are brainwashed. Fuck off. Fuck. Well, if, I, if we were brainwashed, then I was the last one to be fucking brainwashed. Because I was the last one that finally had, yeah, guys, you're fucking Yeah, I was, I was brainwashed at the Clara Morgan School of fucking law. It, you know, YouTube law, <laughs> whatever. I flunked out of that class. Fuck. I guess we shouldn't have ever skipped so much, eh? Smoking weed in the forest during class. That's why we lost our tolling job. Damn it. Oh, retired so fire again. trolls. We are retired fire trolls. Uh, are you still there, Welsh so, lady? Are you camping? What's going on? She's asleep. Shh, stop it. It's like listening to campfire stories for her, maybe. That's why I thought even even when everything was shit, uh, the shit was hitting fan, I was still trying to, to, to get to the uh, uh, part that I could help you with, Claire. And so was everybody else. We all were. And you lied to us. You lied to the people that are saying that you're right now saying that you had to be quiet for legal reasons. You lied to them. They know that you're lying, that you lied back then. You're lying now. If you showed anything verifying shit, you never showed me. And that's all you had to do. That's it. You verified that, that I was misjudged some people's character. You verified that. And you verified that you're not here and it's not a community and, and we're all fighting in this together. No, we're not. You verified that. <sighs> Fuck me. And again, if I want to come up here and say this shit for 12 hours straight, I'm going to fucking say it for 12 hours straight. Fuck anybody for saying that I'm doing it because I'm jealous. I did it because my feelings were hurt. I was brainwashed. I was, uh, you know, just what? Well, we've already, we've already raised it over the coals a thousand times, right? Oh, damn. Instead of talking about the real issue, y'all are out there saying that you're, make, you're making it to look like into something else, right? Let's forget about the fact that she lied and that this is how you know the channel got reinstated and everything. Let's say that you know the salty bitch is over there talking shit and she's turned her back on her family and she's trashing everybody. And that's not the truth. It's not the case. Y'all are doing that. Y'all are leaving those comments and saying those things. And that's fucking sad you don't and again that, don't want to talk about the real issue yeah and that that is what this live is about first off just for people that may not have known you know salty salty's been gone for a while so she hasn't really seen what's been going on um and and you know we have no problem staying quiet about this and just going about our business the fact is is that other people don't and 
you know, we're not going to, we're not going to fight every comment somebody makes, but when it builds up and builds up and we see so many times this and this and this, it, it, it's our right to address it. Well, and, and not this every week. Hell no. I, I don't want to talk about this ever fucking again. No, really. I don't either. But on top of that, Claire finally decides to come out of her secret. I'm in danger fucking bunker because she hasn't spoken. She comes out publicly for the first time since any of this shit hit the fan. And what does she come out publicly to address? A fucking screenshot that she fucking typed, that she put in an asylum group that has nothing to do with the copyright strikes, nothing to do with her lies, nothing to do with her being not being a retired solicitor. That's what you choose to go public with. That should say any everything right there for people that are fucking still, well, Claire fucking Claire, poor Claire. That says it all right there. That was what she first came forward to publicly address. A screenshot of her feeding bits and pieces to ban and using her as her bit as her pit bull. That's what she chooses to address, and that's the only thing that was addressed. Through Dorothy. And how does that make me brainwashed anyway? That's just a stupid fucking notion. <laughs> how does that have anything to do with me being brainwashed? God damn. Do you know what? Actually, do you want do you want me to pull up those clips that she uh, of her from Dorothy's stream? It's just the stuff with Claire. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want okay. to. No. Sorry. Right. Sorry, I don't want to. But um yeah, yeah. Every y'all stop being so fucking hypocritical as well. Yeah. So that's that you have to be quiet when you admitted the fact that you didn't have to be quiet. And the only reason why you were quiet is because you knew the shit was going to hit the fan. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do now? Well, hello. Yeah, that conversation never took place. This is personal. Come on. I never. For, for me, it, when I did those live streams, just like in the things that I said to Claire. It was it was not personal. It wasn't about friendship. It was about the the, the strikes, about the validity of what she said that she had been doing this entire the time. The deception of it all. And we're here because of this. That's that's again. I can't make that. I can't say that often enough and strongly enough. The utter deception. We're here for this reason. And now you're telling. Don't ever say, "Oh my God, this is between friends." They should have. They should have never made it public. What the fuck are we doing here for? What was I here for? Well, who, this is who, what happened. We who, tried to get his channel taken down. It was supposed to happen. Again, she lied to everybody. The, who made the whole copyright strike? Who in, again? So again, for people that I just want to say quickly for people that were not here and don't know, we shouldn't have said anything. Initially, no. Initially, myself, Claire, and Preach spoke for hours together, trying to trying to uh, formate a plan <clears throat> of how to best go after AD. After spending all these, we probably spent maybe a good two, three days, couple hours, maybe six, six, seven hours in total discussing this. Well, we woke up one morning, Preach and I woke up one morning and Claire had gone off on her fucking own, already struck his channel. And the way that she struck his channel had absolutely nothing in any way, shape or form of what we had discussed that we wanted, we were planning to put in place. Claire ran with it all on her own. She then took it, made it a public grand freaking gala spectacle all over YouTube. Yeah. We didn't fucking yeah. initiate. She did. My shit with her in personal, you, I should keep it quiet. Fuck that. What, what, why are you here? She Everybody that said this should have been handled privately from my perspective, for me especially. And I'm only speaking for my fucking self from now on. Y'all know. How the hell could you say that this was done out of spite, jealousy, whatever? They should have kept it quiet. Well, you know what? Then AD really has a good fucking point. Benny. You keep talking, you keep talking, and the more you talk, it doesn't look good. But then you go silent. I'm doing it because I'm jealous. You want to stay, stay here and still say that you are supporting this community and this is why you're here, but I'm doing what I did because I was jealous or I was fooled. I've always told the truth to you damn people. Why would I not do that now? Especially when there's no, it's not about being loyal. Y'all make it into something else. You're, y'all are, everybody here is the same. Everybody gets a pass. Doesn't well, matter how again, bad the lie is, everybody again, gets a pass. And, again, and when an issue comes up, let's make it about something else. I'm done. So, so the only way we're loyal and, and stand by the family is by lying and saying absolutely nothing of the deception that's going on right fucking in front of us in our own fucking backyard. That that means then we're standing. Then we've got the we've got the family's back. We've we we've, we've got them. We're there. We stand behind them. That's the only way we do. Because apparently, telling the truth 
some people think that we've turned our back on the family, even though we have said it time and time and time and stated it continuously from the, from the first of the only three lives we've done about this in two fucking months is that we have not turned our back on the family and it was not about the family at all in any specific way. It was about Claire and the fucking copyright strikes. And again, what would be our motivation to lie? Why would so many people come out knowing that it's going to hurt people, knowing that it could very well damage the community, which it did do? What would be our motivation for that? Seriously. And we're saying all this. If all of us are wrong, why hasn't anybody that does support her prove us wrong? That's that's what we've asked. Yeah. Prove us fucking wrong. And then we'll sh everything will go away. If she, we're proved wrong, poof, we're done. There's nothing left to fucking talk about. We were wrong. Prove us wrong. I'll be the but, first one to fucking say I was fucking wrong. I fucking admit it. But where, where, where? Come on. But yeah, but the thing is, is, you know, like I said, when where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Exactly. Um, it, this isn't just two people three people it's not just people that are a group of friends there are some other people but they're not speaking out but they did to us privately there are other people who have told us you know and, and they're not part of our friend group but they're people that we see in chats all the time that have told us certain things like you know claire told me this one thing one time oh, which wow. totally contradicts what we know as what we were told so it's not just us you well, know no, what i've said how many times have i said cheryl it's only it's all of us that are lying only claire is telling the truth we are all wrong only claire is telling the truth right we're right wrong. and if people if people think about it that way we're not saying oh you know oh you guys are right you guys are right i believe you now okay it but just stop trying to make us look like the bad person we didn't fucking do anything wrong in fact we did what we felt was right somebody else doing something wrong if you don't like it i'm sorry then you need to have a serious talk with yourself about your morals and your convictions. But we didn't do anything wrong. And to constantly keep coming at us, blaming us, calling yeah, us, you did. Shit, it's wrong. Well, and again, I said this earlier, whether, whether you take AD exploiting the family monetarily or Claire exploiting the family for self-gratification or self-satisfaction or whatever the fuck she was doing it for, it still boils down to exploitation and it's not fucking right. And I'm going to fucking call it out. And well, unfortunately, right. the fact, the fact of the matter is this is the same friggin' family that's being exploited by the both of them. Well, right. That's the thing is that's a, that's the whole thing with how the, how the truth, how the truth channel started is that's the exact way. I just I can't reconcile people, with that. Yeah. yeah. Making yeah. people aware of this deception that this man is doing in the name of the, of these victims. Right. It wasn't about in the beginning, at least for me necessarily getting him down. It was just making people aware yeah, this guy is fucking lying to you guys over there. You guys are pouring money in. You guys are doing. You're giving him all this shit. It's He's lying fake. to you. It's all fake. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's all that we did with this too. And people, you know, and I get people don't want to believe it. I didn't fucking want to believe it either. Hell, I was the last one that fucking threw the towel in and believing. And you know what? Though I'm not here. I was never here at that point. By that point, we I wasn't here to change y'all's mind about anybody. But y'all are sitting here saying the same thing. Like um. They're whispering in their ears. People are telling lies about me, and they're going to believe them. They're twisting my words around. Okay? That, no. Mm -mm, no. No. You cannot make excuses like that for the reason that you were here originally. You cannot do that, twist things around that way. Well, it's Especially like when, when yeah, you're saying it's a personal goal. thing. It's a personal thing. It's not a fucking personal thing. This has to do with AD and why his channel is reinstated. That's why I was here, why we were here. Some people were very good friends with her. Come on. That, it, it's, it, it, it's a farce. To me, it's like a fucking tragedy, a great fucking tragedy that Well, it, as I, it, well, yeah, it, it came out like that. It, it, you made it about being friends. Oh, they asked me. They, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Can you believe they asked her for her credentials? Who would do such a thing? Fuck off. It was never about credentials. No real friends would ask for credentials. None of her real friends should have done this in private. What am I here for? I should still make videos and talk about AD in private? You want me to do that? <laughs> Keep it quiet. It's going to well, make people wait, look wait, bad. Wait, wait. Fuck up, off. We did try to handle this privately. We tried. We weren't going to lie, but we tried to get to the bottom of it 
privately. It's only after she left. We didn't make this public. She left before it went public. You guys, that's the other thing you need to remember. She shut her channel down. She left every fucking group. She ghosted everybody before we told the community a fucking thing. So yeah. we didn't start this. She didn't, following leave. When people she didn't say, leave oh, because she didn't leave because we brought this out because she had already left. She left because um, Sam and and Jen were the last two to confront her, wanting to see the stuff about the IPO. And after and, she uh, offered to show wait, us wait, anything, yeah, we that was still there. We were waiting for her to do the stream yard, and she was giving us excuses about why she couldn't do it. I'll show yeah, you anything again, you want to see. I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, it, that open. wasn't done in a confrontational, pissed off, angry way. You're lying, lying, lying. It was you. You've showed us. You've shown us so many different things, and we're just asking you for a very simple thing. She that you've shown everybody else on YouTube. She offered to open up the stream and show us anything we wanted. <laughs> Come on. And 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 we uh, her credentials really. You want to make it about that or jealousy or spite or hurt feelings because somebody trapped me. One of my YouTube friends turned their backs on me now. <laughs> some of them did sting. I ain't gonna lie. I felt that sting from some of you. That sounds but, so utterly ridiculous when you say it. Like, I know. Why Why am I going to... Yeah, but I'll go over there and keep supporting and liking your videos, anti-AD videos. Yeah, I'll go ahead and keep doing that. <laughs> My YouTube friend dumped me. <laughs> And, and and the accusation that if you were a true friend, you would back that person up no matter what. If you saw those videos that or those screenshots that Jen showed where Sam was talking to her and Sam was speaking for all of us, we did. We were willing to fucking back her up. We yeah. were willing to, like you said, we were willing to jump on the grenade. But we need yeah. to know what's what's where gonna we stand. Happen. Yeah, exactly. I I mean, I can't just blindly jump on it. You that, know? that was pretty great. You're good. That's what I had felt like I'd been doing for a few years because I believed her. Now, okay, you need to show me something. You need to you need to help me believe you because I have 50 reasons, Claire, that I don't believe you. Give me one reason to believe you. And yes, like you said, Salty, we'll jump on the fucking grenade. We'll go out there in mass and we'll for the greater good, absolutely. No we did. We offered that. But we're the bad people here. We're the bad ones. Or, or continue with the truth, but only the truth that you believe to be truthful yeah. or you want to be truthful. That's so if that. People, if people want, you know, uh, you know, um, there was Mr. Shannon Knight earlier who got um, upset. And, and I, I understand that. I do understand that because it does. Right. From the outside, maybe it does look like that we're we're dragging her or this. And that, but. Please, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not going to prove it to everybody, but I'm just going <laughs> to tell you to please believe it's not. It's not like nothing has happened this entire time. There's been stuff happening. There's been a well, lot of fucking yeah, dragging. Dragging people is when you call them fucking fat and you call them fucking ugly. I mean, that's dragging somebody. We're fucking putting out the shit that Claire did on her own, her own actions and her own behavior. If people want to call that dragging, then so be it. Well, I, I would I would like to point out, especially under your description of that what has happened to Suzanne which has nothing to do with this it has yep. nothing to do with this but yep. she's gotten lumped into this and she has been dragged and dragged and that I've seen so many people in that person's chat which is fine you can be in that chat but then don't come over here and have a problem because we're telling the truth don't because I've seen people sit in that person's chat while she fucking tears people people that was is part of this community people you cared about she's tearing people apart personally she's not what? slamming her with facts she's tearing her apart personally yeah and that's, you guys that's sitting there but then, but then you come over here and you have a problem with us stating our facts and again we're only stating them because a lot of shit maybe you guys haven't noticed but trust me we have We've all noticed the shit. We've all heard the shit. We've all seen the shit. First off, nobody, a lot of us that don't have channels, we don't have a place to, to have our voice. We don't. Um, I, I would love to go on a person's panel and, and debate with that person, but I'm blocked. So wh what am I supposed to do? What am, how, how am I supposed to get my truth out there? This is how we do. <laughs> Your truth, our truth, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, and y'all truth. We're not supposed to. We're it's all it, that's ad's truth. truth. How about that? See how ridiculous that sounds, and how stupid that is. It's hard truth. 
Uh, it's your perception. Let's not say anything. Uh, let's keep telling AD truth. When y'all make excuses like that, you that you 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 look to me like AD shit wise. Let's just ignore it, <laughs> like it never happened. We never saw that Google search AD. Let's go to the horse races. I mean, come on, man. You can Let's go on a family vacation to Thailand, baby. Thailand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm seeing people saying, well, I, I, I talked to Claire. Now I know exactly what happened. And they yeah. really shouldn't have started talking about this. Well, I'm glad she told you something. Because she wouldn't tell us. You, you know, obviously, I'm being a smart ass. She didn't tell us shit because she couldn't. Well, and ultimately, I mean, whatever she told you was a fucking bunch of crock of fucking shit. God damn. Probably the same yeah, I'm the bad person here. Us. <laughs> I was same told. She said to us months ago, months and months She's ago. She's jealous. You should have kept it quiet. That's a private matter. If I'm here calling it AD, I'm going to tell you why it failed and, and uh, miserably and um, why I might feel a little jaded. But that's it. You can't hurt anybody, can you? You, you tell the truth. You hope to hurt somebody, but, you know, let's say AD. You and I what? mean that metaphorically. You're, you're out to hurt somebody. You're, you're you know speaking what? out against it. I want to huh? say this before I lose it. Larnie has fucking hit the nail on the head. So this is Larnie's comment. If you really care about the family, you care if they're being lied to. Bing fucking go. Bingo. Oh, damn, yeah. Fuck. That fucking sums it all up right there in a fucking nutshell. Thank you, Arnie. I knew I loved you. Yes. It's not personal with AD. Right? It's only personal when it's this? Come on. Y'all are outraged when he said that we're going to have blood on our hands if anything happens to you. We're the ones that are responsible. Damn you for saying that and doing those things. But then when some real, something really happens, actually, in this part of YouTube, and you're a little tiny community, and you're yeah. going to just urge everybody to look away, not say anything at all. AD accusing us of inciting violence in the fucking state. Or that it's, it, it's personal with her, but not personal with AD. Or it is personal with both of them for me. Tell me how I'm supposed to feel about that. Tell what me how I'm supposed how to think. I need to be brainwashed better. This I'm is gonna make on everybody I'm look at it. I, well, I, yeah. I bought I bought a session online, um, a, a series of, of videos online on how to do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you brainwashed better, just so you know. It's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to do it. You know what the you only don't use any of that sex witch got voodoo shit on <laughs> you. No, no, that's Lizzie. That's Lizzie only thing, that does that. <laughs> with her fucking goddamn blow up fucking sheep on steroids. And don't forget, she's got that dildo out in her shed, right? So it's oh god, you know how I feel. Oh god. <laughs> I just want to suggest, uh, Cheryl, maybe one possible takeaway with the uh, honing up on your uh, brainwashing skills is if you get too good at doing it, and you brainwash me too well. People are going to think that it's you that's brainwashed, more so than me. <laughs> You're going to be. You might be perceived as the brainwashee instead of the brainwasher. No. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get really good at it, and then I'm going to infiltrate AD's team, and you're going to see a big change. Wait a minute. That's what Wait I'm a minute. Speaking of being the brainwasher, does that mean you brainwashed our leader, Martin, too? I did. I did. Fucking Don't tell him. Hell. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. You know, keep that secret. But I did. Where's our fucking patient? Don't say that. You're gonna I, make him look I, told, I told him a long time ago that I was going to try to knock him off that top tier. And guess what? I <laughs> well, did. God damn it. Where is my last pay now that I'm a retired fired troll? Because well, he's, still, he's, he's still in charge for paying everybody. That's oh, not he's, still, he's still fucking yeah. the treasurer. And, and yeah, that's, that's not my that. thing. <laughs> what? Are you the brainwasher or are you the brainwashee? <laughs> so whether... Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Yeah, personal. Come on, I'm here to to tell the truth, right? I you told the truth. Personal. What are you, what are you talking? No, about? I'm saying she's saying how some people were saying it was personal. Oh, come on, yeah. it wasn't. And and I that's you know again refer back to this live stream earlier. Watch the replay and you'll see exactly what I said at that time, yeah. after, and right now. I I stayed pretty true to form. You know what I mean? It's not about flip flopping on your friends. Well, I mean, we're here to take him down. Is, in, 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 apparently, no, we're not. We're, we're not owed. Y'all are not owed an explanation about what happened and why AD's channel was reinstated. Y'all were not supposed to know why. Then why the fuck are you here? 
Well, we're going to take you. Claire's going to take us on the very public gala showcase of the whole process of it. Right up until the very end when his channel comes back and can't fucking explain shit. Yeah. Then it's none of your business anymore. And I'm not, and again, and, and even speaking about it now, it's it's personal. Or I, why are you bringing this all up again? It's it's water under the bridge. It's old news. Fuck off. Because no, no, it's been not even water under the things. bridge. It was supposed to be swept under the rug. Yeah, and well, I'm just saying. Water under that, the that bridge. That means it's been yeah. acknowledged. This hasn't yeah. even been acknowledged. And in, in, in being in this community, if, if y'all trust one, gotta trust everybody. We're here. It's for the greater good. You Don't know, say I, nothing, kid. I really hate to give off the effect of what I'm about to say. Sounds like I'm giving Claire all the power. But for just for a second, you had said earlier, Cheryl, that it fractured our community. It fucking obliterated that fucking yeah. fracturing community. Yeah. It didn't fracture yeah. it. It fucking obliterated it. Yep. It did. You no, know? and did. I don't know. Call it, call it. I'm giving Claire all that power. But that's what she did because she took us on the whole community on that very, very publicly available ride. And can and I can I just say that you know there's been quite a few moments that yes we're I'm saying this tonight I sound very you know determined in what I'm saying but there's been so many moments where you know I have felt and we've talked about like it, it, we're the messenger right um, and we know we know that we didn't do this we didn't do this it's not our fault but you can't you there were times where. You know, like I said, I look at things and I look at how things were and it's like, you know, we were the ones that said this. And so we basically we handed the grenade that blew up and, you know, it it felt crappy. It felt really crappy. Um, I know that we're not at fault, but that doesn't mean that we I didn't feel at fault sometimes because we spoke out. Um, it feels really shitty. And like I said, I was kind of hoping that after some time, the community would come back together <laughs> That didn't happen, and um, yeah, and, and the argument it should have stayed private. My li my friends, I don't, I don't, I don't hang out with liars, just like I don't hang out with sex offenders and pedophiles and arsonists and people that abuse children, uh, that kick dogs, any of that shit. I'm not chill with that. Okay, I don't like lying, especially when I'm here to tell the truth. And y'all are upset because you didn't want to hear that, or you wanted to ignore it, or you like this person more than this person. If you felt any of those ways, or you still feel that way, there's no reason. How can you even be here? Why are you here? What, or what, we, what, the place we were at, because it doesn't exist anymore and it hasn't for a very long time. Yep. You cannot say that you are here for the greater good when it, it really does affect the greater good. Oh, I'll be quiet. I'll just keep making videos. Keep it personal. It's not personal. Come on. It makes my head hurt thinking about it. Or to say it's a, what are you doing talking about that still? Why are we still talking about his fucking Google searches? Yeah. Why are we still talking about the, the fraud and the lies that we've seen him commit? Why are y'all still talking about that? What about good old Alpine Stroll? This has been talked about before, y'all. Why are we going back over this again? Stop. What's wrong with you? That's how fucking ridiculous some of y'all sound and, and look like. And y'all respected me and believed me at one time. Why wouldn't you now? You know, and in all fairness, too, a lot of people were on your, uh, or, and I mean, I'm talking in general, subs, period. people were in your chat in your life before Claire was ever even really a active participant in the way that she became. What, what do you, I, I don't. I'm just saying, what? basically, I mean, I'm, in, in a way, what I'm saying, I mean, the whole loyalty thing, right? You've been here for, say, three years. I mean, Claire may have been around, but she never became as in not invested but active as, uh, until really the google granny's stuff yeah. happened, which was in july that was just this past july so what what we were told was there there are friends of the rusex who are creators who um suggested to the rusex that claire could be a good person to help them this was before they had attorneys or anything like that because of her legal background so Claire asked us, this is what she told us, and she asked us if 
um, we'd be willing to help her. And we said, sure, just let us know what you need. Cause at the time we didn't even know what she needed help with, but we're like, sure, whatever. Um, and she said, there's, it's just a small group of people that she wants to help her. She, you know, specifically, um, people that she felt she could trust, which I find really ironic. Um, and, and that's how it went was that's what we were told how she got involved with them. And so basically in my mind, once all of this came together, it, it all started because of a lie. And it started because of something that maybe I'm just guessing that maybe she just said, you know, two years ago, I don't know, you know, people say stuff. They, they, I, I, I don't, but I don't make myself sound anything better than what I am, but people, you know, kind of exaggerate things. And maybe she said it and she didn't really realize it was going to come back in this form, but she kind of just went with it. I don't know, but that's how it started. That's how she got in there. Until then, she was like everybody else, you guys. She was like, every, she was doing everything. You know, she was making videos. She was helping people. She was sending screenshots and yep. stuff about AD to different, to like Jen, to different creators Absolutely. that made videos. She was just like the rest of us. It was only been recently that this change happened. And, and honestly, if she had done the, the strikes right, or she had done some other things correctly, or we felt like she had been telling at least the Rusex the truth, um, then we wouldn't have had to say anything. Well, no, we she wouldn't. got the strike. She got the actual striking part taken care of. It was the follow -through. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're being more specific. I'm being really general. I'm just saying, you know, and that's the other thing. That's the other thing. If you want to lie to me all day long, that's per, I don't care. Fine. Do lie to me all day long, but don't be lying to the people that you're claiming that you're trying to help. And that's what bothered, like what, what Larnie said, that's what's so bothering. Not just that she's lying to the community, but I, still to this day, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she didn't lie to the Rusex. Maybe she told them the truth. I don't know. What the fuck? Believe it or not, <laughs> that wasn't actually me. Welsh lady got a phone call. <laughs> She's got a fucking party going on. Believe it or not, that really was not me. She's got a camp and fucking... Do you need a DJ over there, Welsh lady? I'm on my way. <laughs> she can't talk to you. She's on the phone. So anyways, you know, like Larnie said, you know, that was also a major concern was this family being hurt again we we've all yeah. seen the things that have happened to them and you well, know how, yeah, how but having that responsibility put on anybody's shoulder at this point is so nasty and tacky to me that anything well, i could say or do would hurt or again, help anybody at all that's that why i keep back, saying that that goes back to what cheryl had mentioned earlier you know when helen Schaefer called out another so-called advocate for the fucking family hmm. you know what we, we're selectively yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, you know you, that's you, just coming. That's, that's my coming can pass over here, and that it just goes coming, away. That was coming fresh off those heels, and here we have it. What appears to be happening the exact well, not the exact same thing because it's it's not, but hmm. in terms of the family being lied to, and we're supposed to shut up about that, so we only selectively call out people that are actually lying to the family, and we're supposed to stand by and 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 if if we don't call it out then we're we're not turning our backs on the family but when we do call it out we turned our backs on the family what the fuck kind of sense does that make none no and and, and um uh, again when you it just got to the point where i think that in over your head you didn't want to well, even acknowledge the fact you know that and lily rose just, i'm just looking at a comment lily rose made right so again just touching back to what cheryl just said who knows, for all we know, maybe she has come clean with the family and the family have forgiven her because we've seen, we've seen instances. I can, right now, I'll even specifically point out uh, Snow Bunny, Country Cowgirl. You know, she had, she was torn and devastated when she finally left AD and she went to the mm -hmm. family begging for forgiveness and they've totally forgiven her. So yeah. that's, you know, if Claire, if you've come clean with the family, that's great. But do you not Fine. just think you could put out those three words, you fucked up and, you know, kind of, let the rest of the community you took this public ride on, Frankie, maybe somebody, Audi, preach, Summer, one of you guys. What? I'm breaking up. Hello. I can hear you, Sam. I hear you. Anyways, the comment mm -hmm. Lily Rose just made was the the Ruzik family are kind-hearted, forgiving people. That's fine. I I I don't I don't like people that are that lie to me at all. That's just me, and I'm here to tell the truth. 
and the person that was supposedly telling the truth lied about everything. Well, and that's, that's, and that's it. it. I don't, I don't, I don't roll with that. And if the family does know, because let's say Claire for, you know, has been only right. honest with them about right. everything, it's still, that's a lie of omission. It's it still doesn't, a lie. It, it's still a lie. Well, I'm, ju I'm just going to say this. If, if she has come clean to them, I think that's great for them. But that actually pisses me off a little bit more that, th that there are people that know the truth, but they're letting yeah. this, this tear everybody apart, which it is still doing. I know yeah. people, they, like I, I said, I just got a message from somebody and I just replied back to her. She said, I didn't realize that this was, you guys were still getting flack for this or something like that. It's like, people don't know because we're not out there confronting it. And, and not all of it's public. We get it privately too, you guys. Um, so we're not out there publicly making comments everywhere we go. Uh, so I can see why people would think that nothing's being said or nothing's happening, but trust me, it is. So if there are people that know, yeah, know. That's, you know what? Ultimately, I think that's what's sitting the, 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 the worst with me is yes. that's what I sense is that people know exactly what's going on. And they're, again, as I said, just said lies of omission. They're saying nothing is making it fucking worse when they know. Well, it's, it's the, the feeling that feeling with me has been, I don't know. I felt that way for a while now. And a lot of time has happened between, you know, finding that shit out and those conversations. And then even the last time we did a live stream, uh, I think what I, 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 I will not allow anyone to sit here and say that this is a personal issue or I should have shut up or she's lying or she, anything. Okay. Y'all didn't know me at all. Y'all know that I didn't come up here to drag anybody. Y'all know how I drag people. I can drag people all fucking day long. If I want a drama, I can come up and cause drama. Imagine if other people went through this. Some people here. They would be talking about it for a fucking year. Y'all would be talking about it for a fucking year. Well, I guess in YouTube time, three lives in two months is raking well, over the polls a thousand times. And sit here and say, Claire told me this. Claire said this. I believe her. Okay, great. Why couldn't you? She showed you something, honey. Why couldn't she show us? You want to talk about dragging over the coals a thousand times? How about another creator that drags Cooper over the coals for 12 hours at a time every fucking day? Let's talk about that dragging of a, a thousand times over, raking them over the coals. That's okay. dragging somebody a thousand what times. Was, over I, I, um, I don't want to. Um... Anyways, even yeah, sorry, talk about any any other bullshit than that because this is this is me and I can I can say whatever I want and I can do whatever I want. Um, but you can trust whoever you want. Be friends with whoever you want. If she showed you something, why couldn't she show it to me? If you had this to the lawyer, what did you give to the lawyers? If you couldn't even give it to us or to immigration and fucking check the well, and, and again, that right there negates the whole having to be silent thing. If you're showing other y'all made excuses saying, about why, yeah, y'all made excuses about why we could nobody could find her in the system, right? That's because you had an, we all family. have a reason to stand up for her. In, 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 her, her, papers, her certifications are with Canadian Immigration in Mississauga. Oh, that's they, true. Sorry, the only, but, only physical copy in the whole wide fucking world. I stand no corrected. Oh, I didn't know what was going on. I was a little confused, but I talked to Claire now. Now I understand everything. It's just so sad. What the fuck? Can you tell me what happened? What'd she say? What? She she didn't even give us that. That's uh, you know what what we see. What I'm seeing. Some of the comments last time I was here. It's been weeks. Uh, making well, it. Awesome. Turning turning this bullshit about Claire. Like, oh my god, I can't fucking believe this. Let's go ahead and say that they're jealous. <laughs> or they want attention. They want attention. That's all it is. Well, Just you know, it seems, yeah, I know we're on YouTube, but I'm really fucking sick and tired, sick and tired of the whole process of excuses. It's because you're jealous. It's because you want attention. It's because you want subs. It's because you want likes. It must be for the money. Fucking Christ Almighty! Not fucking how can they still believe Ad? He's such a liar. This <laughs> man. How can they do that? But don't but worry let's about uh, what Claire said. Don't worry about what Claire yeah, said. Yeah. Don't say anything. Don't no say anything. No big deal. No big deal. Nope. Sweeping hmm. I was brainwashed. Me too. Just like uh, what? Uh, they always say they're whispering in your ear. They're only saying this and believing this because she's lying to them. He's lying to them. Oh my gosh. And again, this is, <laughs> again, I just want to stress we're all the lies. It's only Claire telling the truth here. 
So I was lying before and I'm telling the truth now. Yeah. Or I was telling the truth before and I'm lying now. Which is it? For the, I was for my, fooled for, then or I'm being fooled now. Which is myself, it? I've been around since what, January 2019. Like that's when I was watching AD. I didn't really start commenting till June. I started making videos in November 2020. I've never lied and I just started now a month a month ago. Just out of the blue, I decided I'm going to just fucking lay out the biggest waffle yeah. of the lie of all fucking lies. Yep. It's good, Salty. You get up there and call them out for, for tearing them down during that live stream for going on Bam's chat. You go. That's right. It's time for us to just speak up and tell us, you know, to stop it and get your shit together. Salty, how the fuck did you come out here and tell us the truth? Damn it. You're supposed to be quiet. You're jealous. It's going to make them look bad. That brainwashing didn't work. Brainwashed. Well, then I, I was brainwashed by the people that were saying that I'm brainwashed. Pretty fucking broke oh, brainwashers or brainwashies we are. <laughs> I'm a rogue brainwashie. That's, um, and again, when it, now well, I've been saying it for quite some time, it, it did get to a point where it, um, and I stayed quiet for quite some time for weeks. And when it came out, it came out. I I knew this was going to happen weeks before. I y'all hear that in conversations that I had contemporaneously as events were unfolding. Um, for the greater good. Lily y'all Rose, trusted me then? yeah, yeah. Lily Rose said a comment for you, Salty. She says your channel has always been a safe place for us subs to come together. It's been difficult for everyone. I agree. Yes, it has. It has been, and and even though. Things have happened to us personally because we were the ones that came out. Trust me, trust me, trust me. We have not forgot that all, all of everybody else in the community and oh, what yeah, they've been yeah. dealing with and how they've been handling it. And the few people, some of them that have publicly tried to defend us, and I, and we've watched them get attacked for it. Um, yeah. and, and we have not for a second forgot about what everybody else is going through. We're not trying to say this is all about us because we know that this is not. That's why we came out. That's it's why not we said about. something in the first place. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I just I just wanted to make it clear to everybody. We're not trying to make this about us or look what everybody's doing to us because there's a lot of people that are struggling with this and and we know that. We really do. And that, yeah, that is the difficult thing to 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 digest everything that you were here for this reason. This is what we stood for. I'm speaking for myself. This is what I stood for. This is what she was telling us this entire time. This is why I listened to her. This is why I liked her. This is why I did, you know, any of those things. But now, all of a sudden, just like that, boom. What? I changed? No. No. And you cannot call yourself a truther or truth anything when you know that somebody is lying and you're okay. Let's just make it personal and keep talking shit about AD. That's just so tacky. It's distasteful. To me, it, it nullifies oh. the whole fucking place. It does. It, it, why the fuck even continue at this point? That's why I said, why, wh where, do, where do I go from here? You, you want me to keep, to keep quiet, to continue not to say anything. Just While we've been waiting for the last two weeks, knowing that it was going to come out eventually. And now that it is. We're supposed to just keep banging the same drum and keep singing the same fucking mm -hmm. song. It's farce. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's sad. And in a perfect world. We will never talk about this again. All we want is for people, if you want to believe Claire, you don't want to believe us, you want to think that we're lying and all this, you know, but just stop. Just stop talking about it. Stop trying to belittle people um, because of what we did. You know, we're not out there. We haven't been out there. You haven't seen a whole lot of comments from us talking shit about Claire, even no, we've seen comments. I haven't seen. Well, I haven't been we here. The fuck yeah, anybody that said that I would, I would even. I don't even go on into people's fucking channels and leave comments. Right. So I keep so it on if, if everybody stops, just stop. You can trust Claire. You can believe Claire. You can talk to whatever. Claire. Yeah. Fine, but stop talking shit about those of us that decided to come out. And if you want don't, to, don't. that's fine. If you want to, that's fine. But just know that you it. 
we will address it because we have that right. I, I it's getting very, very tiring, very tiring watching people talk shit about us. And we've, we've been doing it for well over a month without saying anything. It's yeah. very tiring. I mean, it's, you can have your opinion, but everybody can only take so much. So if, if people want to still keep talking shit about what terrible friends we are or whatever the fuck they want to say, that's fine. We'll take it until we can't anymore. And then we'll have another come to Jesus thing. And and I have noticed, by the way, that none of those people, which yes, we know we've seen you just because you haven't seen us doesn't mean we haven't been watching. We know who you are. None of you, none of you have come over to this fucking over here. Come over here. You you want to stand up for Claire and defend Claire? Fine. Come over here and do it. You're nobody's blocked on this channel. Well, there's a few people blocked, but they're they're not the people that I'm talking about. But I know for a fact some of us are blocked on some of those other channels. Come over here and defend Claire and let's get this out. Let's hash it out. Nobody's come over here. Why is that? No, they're gonna wait till this live is over and then they're gonna go say shit somewhere else. That's what they're yep. gonna do. Yep. And if they don't, that's the standard, I, that's like the standard YouTube operating procedure that yes. you can call. Well, we already, a and we already just, know, we already know from whatever. experience that this whole, and I hate to bring it back up again, but the, the screenshot thing with Claire, when it happened, Claire was recording and taking fucking screen recording and taking snap or screenshots of every fucking comment in that asylum chat, which means she's whatever i don't give a fuck she's taking screen recordings and 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 screenshots mm -hmm. of every well, fucking thing. care i ain't got nothing so to why, hide. why would you need to do that if you've got nothing to hide claire why would you need to take because she removed herself from that group she shouldn't have been able to get access to those screenshots when she removed herself yet she's producing these screenshots so i think that the point you're trying to make is that she was disingenuous in order in, in even sharing that information or or what i don't i don't get it i'm just what i'm saying is she was being disingenuous all along why would you need feel the need to oh, record right. everything from the get-go when there was never even a problem unless you had plans on doing something using it as a weapon whatever it just i don't know the whole thing just stupid right because she removed herself from those groups so in order for her to have been able to share those screenshots with that other creator she would have she had taken them previously which meant she's screen recording everything and every chat she's ever been in yeah yeah, I've and I, you know what? That. Again, I you can refer back to my clips and, and and what I was saying to the people as it was happening, and, and knowing you know where we are now, and, and seeing all of that. That oh gosh, she was telling, she was saying, "I'll show you whatever you want." What's happening? What's going on? You know, seeing all of that as it unfolded, Pretty and now strong, the idea that that um, it's personal or anything. I ever ever talked about those strikes. And I did say it. I said, I'm starting to feel a certain fucking way because why all of a sudden now you can't show us what you just pulled up the other day. Why can't you do this? Not about being a lawyer again. Not about that. You you made it about that. You made it into something that it wasn't to, 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 to come up with an excuse to make us look like idiots, assholes or bad friends. You didn't want to you don't want to face the fact that this is what happened. It was it was it was calculated and plotted because plotted because you went to the extent to tell us you would open up a stream yard and you would show us anything we wanted to see. I want to see the IPO document you sent to YouTube, Claire. That's the only thing that came out of my mouth. Yet you knew the whole time you didn't have it and you couldn't show us. So you went to the calculated pl place of planning to show us, to offer, to make us look like you were trying to help us and do everything and show us anything we wanted to see. When you knew damn well from the beginning, there was nothing that you could bring up to show us that we wanted yeah. to see. Yeah, telling everybody, hey, I'm an open book. Ask me whatever questions you want on this live stream. Absolutely. I have nothing to hide. Well, why are you fucking hiding? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Thank you, Nuff Nuff. That's true, too. This thing with the whole screenshots that, that Claire took, if for those that don't remember, as a small... I have no idea what... I, I literally have no idea what, what... I know. Just let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. So as a small piece of nugget of, of a reminder of information, AD took out my Facebook account and reached it on the same day on October 18th. So that's why Claire thinks my messages were deleted. I didn't fucking delete shit from that asylum group at all. I never deleted any of my messages unless it was a typo. The only time I delete messages and then I put in the message right after properly spelled because it mostly do. My point is, is when my account got taken out, 
all of my shit would have been automatically removed from the asylum group. So she took all those screenshots and screen recordings way before I was ever fucking picked up. Off Facebook, my account. I don't know what you're doing, boss lady. Oh my god, I thought it was still on me. <laughs> but it's so complicated. Are you making breakfast? Because I'm hungry. If you're making breakfast, I'm, I'm making a coffee. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Right I'll put myself back on you now. <laughs> Can I have a coffee with like three quarters Bailey's? I'll put some meat bags in your wrist. What's that? I put so many bears in your coffee. Only the sugar kind, please. No, what? no, 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 no. I need. I don't want no sugar-free goddamn gelatin nuggets in my coffee. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Let's not go back there. <laughs> well, let, let her finish making her coffee. It's early there. She needs her coffee. I'll be back now. Okay. Um, Jen. So, um. <laughs> Arm hair is, or arm hair, arm, uh, Jenny's asking if you could explain that again because she didn't hear some of oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I'll just say again, <clears throat> for those that probably would, would not remember, again, for those that, as a small nugget of information, <clears throat> AD took out, in a mass group report, took out my, my Facebook account on October 18th, claiming I wasn't using my real name. So my Facebook account was gone, which means any communication that I would have had in any chats of any kind also would have gone out the door with my account. So with Claire sending screenshots to that other creator who went to bat for her, she was showing screenshots of mine, which means Claire was taking her own screen recordings and screenshots long before I was ever kicked off Facebook on October 18th, way before, way, way before. And she specifically said that you were <laughs> deleting your comments. She yeah. told that person. What? She she said in that email, because again, this person <laughs> is really terrible at screen sharing. Um, she said to her that she was deleting the, um, that genetic code was deleting her comments. Uh -huh. She was accusing me of deleting my comments. Yeah. I didn't yeah. really care. What like, like, like genetic code was hiding something. Yeah, she was trying to make it make it appear that I was being a. How are you going to hide people? something with twenty eight people in the same goddamn group talking about the same shit? As like I said, said, I'll be straight. Right. Up. The right. only right. time, the only time I ever delete comments because I'm so fucking OCD is when well. I make a fucking typo. I <laughs> she does. She de deletes comments a lot. And, but what and I do is I delete the comment with the typo, and then I immediately yeah. put back the same comment but properly spelled. That's the only deleting of comments I've ever done. So, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So that was another big. That, that was a big fat that. lie, Claire. I didn't delete shit unless and, you're talking and, about my mistypoed comments that came back in the same form, just properly spelled after. Nice try, though. I really appreciate that. I guess you didn't like me calling you out on the IPO bullshit, eh? Was that your revenge? Were you jealous of that? Did you not like that? Fucking crap. Oh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Give me a break. That's. I had a flashback of the fucking. The uh, bunny boiler. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? Come on. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Are you jealous of me? Come. Oh my God, I can see Glenn Close's fucking face. Oh. Y'all were yeah. th thinking that was hilarious at the time, but now y'all are saying that about us? Come on. Fuck. Wasn't fucking hilarious at the time in the theaters when I watched that movie for the first time for real. Fuck. What scary as shit. I was like maybe 13, 14 when that came out. Mother, you're oh. talking what about. Movie? I can hear you, babe. She's talking about Fatal Attraction, isn't she? Well, no, oh, she was... oh, the bunny boy. That's, that's Fatal no, Attraction. No, she wasn't. Was... She was talking oh. about a uh, bunny boy. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I still saw Glenn Close's face in my head. <laughs> <laughs> totally off topic, but whatever. <laughs> I'm back. You're back! Yay! Yay! You got my Bailey's baby. Phone call was to let me know I'm having um, Christmas Eve dinner with Father Christmas. Mmm. The did proper say, Father Christmas. Did you just say Father Christmas called you? 
<laughs> no, me, me daughter-in-law's phoned me to say we're having Christmas dinner with Father Christmas, Christmas Eve. <coughs> can you bring oh. a plus, can you bring a plus one? <laughs> of course. We're but going. not you, Jen. Um, but not you. She doesn't like you. You can't go. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm warming up to her now. I've, I've got my gas heater. I'm, I'm warming up to her. Okay. That's good. <laughs> it's a new year. You get a new start, Jen. There you go. No. Yeah. I really, oh, we, that's really sweet. I, th I think we're going to be besties. Yeah? You're not doing <laughs> it out of pity? It's not out of pity? Pure pity? Well, a bit, a bit but <laughs> not much. It's a lot of it, I'm yeah. sure. Damn, stop encouraging her, Cheryl. I love it. I love it. Um, this is off topic really um really quick. I just want to say this again. I said this earlier, but there might be people that are listening that weren't here earlier. Again, want to make it perfectly clear. Jenny is not in the the chat asylum. Not never has been. Jenny is not in there. Jenny, Jenny is not, not, not. I am um, only ever Jen. I hate Su being called Susie. Jenny. Susie is not in there. Um, I'm in there. I'm in there. And I can tell you guys, you can trust me or not, but I can tell you that those screenshots that Claire sent to that person and how she described that they, that is not true. And again, there's, there's 15, 20 people in there that can go back and see exactly what the conversation was. And they can see that how Claire described that those screenshots came out was not accurate at all. About cherry picking at its fucking device. right, right. But again, just want to make it perfectly clear because for some reason somebody's got a fucking stick up their ass about Jenny, and it makes no sense because Jenny had nothing to do with asylum. So I don't know what the problem is with Jenny, but Jenny wasn't the only one that came out and talked. In fact, she wasn't even the first one. There, it was her and Susie did it together originally. They were the first ones to get on Bam's life. Jenny's not the one that has spearheaded anything. She's not the one out there saying shit all by herself. So I don't understand what the problem is with her, but people need to get that straight in their head. The only that Jen that was in asylum was me before I fucking lost my fucking facebook account that's the only gen that was ever in asylum was me genetic code how yes. does that not surprise me <laughs> that i got kicked out i didn't get kicked out i got kicked off facebook thanks to ad twice. because i twice. did anything well damn oh twice. my god you've got you, me. you had to you've left oh asylum twice because your facebook got yes. got reported twice yes. no she, we're not letting back in a third time we're done we're done no more you know what no guys more. i've been i've been lying to you all this time i didn't really get kicked off facebook for not using my real name i got kicked off for being i guess a big bad bully i was really bad you, you yeah and you're a real shit fucking troll okay she escaped from the asylum damn it somebody get her back get right. her back now i'm a rogue <laughs> brainwashy Rogue brainwashing. Oh, Benoni girl. Okay, so I'm I want I'm I'm personally not gonna name anybody. It's not a super secret group, but I'm not naming anybody in the private chat because first off, it's nobody's fucking business. But Benoni girl said I can attest to exactly what Cheryl is saying because she is in that group also. There's a lot of people. They're not just this core group of friends, right? That that are talking about Claire. In fact, I've never seen Benoni girl say anything one way or another because it wasn't discussed in the silence. I mean, it, because it, that's a group of friends or people, uh, you know, that have been doing this for a long time. And we mostly we talk about AD. We talk about bullshit stuff, but mostly it's about AD, that kind of stuff, making fun of him. But um, it's almost really more, I'd say, a, 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 I, I don't, a group um, of colleagues. I'd almost say it's yeah. a group of colleagues. Yeah. And don't yeah. equate uh, uh, what I put out and what I showed and has I've been showing during this live that it was a personal uh, you know, chat that you share things with your friends, you do all that. Obviously, you can see it wasn't personal. It was about the copyright strikes and her lies. And so Stop perpetuating that lie. idea. If I hear that you do it again, I'll come up here and fucking call you out again. Don't ever tech, don't ever do that again. It, and it, and it, to be clear, what, too, none of those screenshots that Sam showed earlier when she was talking that because sam wasn't part of asylum either she wasn't in asylum oh yeah i forgot to say that sam sam jenny and susie not a part of asylum never have been don't they don't have anything to do with that so anything that sam has shown those are hers 
Those are hers. And, and those were with almost everybody, or everybody in those chats were part of my channel. They still are. They were at one point. Those are my mods and those yeah. that, that um, are really f just, yeah. Yeah. And again, and then there was, I don't give a shit. There was a couple of those screenshots that Sam was showing when she was speaking. I know were my screenshots. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Because I did say whatever, whatever ones that were mine. That's not private. Even though the group was private or some of us in the chat, we were all truthers, right? True channels, true supporters, this, that, this, and that. Oh, fuck. How, how did it get so bad? I thought that, you know, we got away with it. Everything has been cool the last two weeks. Why is this coming out now? Yeah, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck off. That's awful. And you know it. You have the audacity to think that I, I'm hurt or I'm talking shit or I'm just being dramatic or jealous. You never knew me. You never should have come and watched any of my videos or listened to this live talking about AD and all of that. But want me to ignore the fact the person that I was helping was lying to me and it was a failure. We knew it failed, why it failed. Don't say anything. Keep going. You y'all that's what y'all did. That's what y'all did. That's what y'all are doing. That to me is so distasteful. Sur surely that I mean you, you I, I can't I can't uh, no words. I just what the fuck? Knowing what happened, why we were quiet, and then coming out and saying you had to be quiet for legal reasons? Fuck off with that. I told you that that day. I told you back in October. After coming your, out of your own mouth that the copyright strikes had nothing to do with the lawyers. They had nothing to do with it. You were doing that on your own. Which one is They it? asked her for her credentials. Oh, no. But let's go ahead and pull up the whole, entire genetic profile of some dude in the UK. I mean, pretty much. You know, let's show all of that shit. That's okay. That's okay. But don't ask her to show you anything in an email that she might have gotten from YouTube. Yeah. But That's not okay. On her own initiation and show us the goddamn fucking lawyer through the portal, the lawyer dashboard. That's why I said, if you if you have the audacity to think that you're going to come and say those things about me at least, why the fuck did you ever even think about coming onto my channel or supporting me as a truth channel or truther? How ridiculous is that to you? That you would even think that the truth shouldn't be told in any aspect when you know it's not the truth. Don't say anything. Oh, you're saying something. It's because you're upset or you're brainwashed. Stop making excuses and stop no. giving people passes. And you don't ever, ever it. think that I have to give somebody a pass because you don't want it to look bad on people. You might just, just be jealous. And that's, I, I am angry at that. Yeah. That I was here for so long. And that it all went to shit. And what was going to happen? Why even, where do I go from here? Know where to go. I mean, it's like, what you are you serious? You've been waiting out here. Y'all have been saying this about the coffee arts. It's going to happen. This, that, countdowns, whatever excuses. I got up and st sp stood up for you people. I stood up for Claire. Saying she was telling the truth. She was who she said she was. But you don't want me to tell the come out and say I was wrong. She wasn't this. In the entire damn y'all, damn entire, anybody for thinking that you could put that shit on me. In the entire three years I've been here. That bullshit we just went through was honestly the most I believed ever in three years that he was coming down. Yeah, yeah. they know it. Y'all yeah. were there. Y'all played in the, that, that yeah. crazy fucking sand pit with us. Y'all saw all the same things we did. We said all this, you know, we're calling out the liars. We're putting out the truth. We can't get them down. It's good. Yeah, that's right. Call them out. We can't get them down because we can't get YouTube to fucking follow their own policies, procedures, rules, and regulations. Yeah, but in the stuff. meantime, let's go ahead and keep lying about, uh, you know, essentially why everything didn't work. Yeah. Don't tell the truth channels uh, uh, or, or the people in the truth communi community why the channel is back or he's still here. When that we was just, the whole fucking point to begin with. just try to pass that off that it's YouTube not, not doing their job. They're doing don't say, it's, don't say, oh gosh, you know, they're jealous or whatever. They didn't get the attention. They didn't do this. When you know that I don't even get up here, but what now? Every two months now? Don't say <laughs> we have to be quiet for legal reasons. Copyright had nothing to do with that shit. You know it. Now, yeah, everybody knows it. That is.
done. It, it, for me, it, I mean, it's done. But if I do want to come up here and talk about it and say that Claire's a liar, guess what? I can say that. I can say that. And I can prove it. And I did. So say something now. Tell me my business again. Prove me wrong, Claire. Prove me wrong about this IPO. You've got that magical IPO number with a fucking coming up judgment that you pulled out of your fucking, you're going to pull out of your ass. Prove me wrong, Claire. I would love for you to do that. Please. If anything, to make all of this better, fucking prove me wrong. Yeah. Prove you know what the too. sad thing is? The sad what? thing is, even if it came out and we were wrong, or even if she came out and admitted she fucked up, I, 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 I think the damage has been done. I mean, that that's the sad part for me. Yeah. I think the damage has been done. Yeah, and, and that doesn't and, mean that I have to keep my mouth shut, though. And why am I bringing this no, up again? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. And, and, and I don't think we should. I mean, like no. I said, there's only so much we can take before we have a right to defend ourselves, which we shouldn't have to. You can believe Claire. You can believe us. We shouldn't have to defend ourselves. We're, we didn't talk shit about her. We didn't call her names. We didn't say she was a terrible friend. We didn't call her fucking pathetic which we've been called time and time and time again. We didn't call her a mean girl. We didn't say any of that shit. All we said was the truth as far as we knew it because we couldn't get any confirmation one way or the other. That's all. That's all we want. That's it. Um, we didn't do any of that shit, but that shit has happened to us. And so when it happens, of course, we're going to react and send because you've been gone, especially that's why you came out fucking like a mm -hmm. bull in a China shop because, yeah. you know, we, we've, we've, you know, um, discussed when we see shit, when we hear shit, we vent to each other and, da, 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 and, you know, we, we get past it. You come back and you got hit with like, what have I missed? Well, sit down, get a yeah, drink. And let's be clear. Sam, Sam hasn't been around since we did that last live stream, November 6th. Like literally hasn't been right, there right, and and it's not like we were telling her every stupid little thing that everybody has said because that's just dumb. But we gave her the highlights and not just about this stuff about you know AD and you know blah 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 blah. But the more she heard, the more angry she got because she like like Jen said that she left after that last live, so she hasn't been on YouTube, she hasn't seen what's been happening, um, and she felt the same way we all did. When, no, when I, I again, you know, when you when you have the audacity to try to tell somebody their truth and their own reality, that fuck off, okay? Yeah. Don't tell me or anybody else my business, my thoughts, my concern when you claimed ever to have known me at all. Don't come at me with anything like that when you obviously know that you're wrong. I could have said okay, I could have been talking for the last eight months straight. I can still I can come up here and talk about this for the next eight months if I want to. It's not gonna change the fact of what happened that she lied. It's not gonna change anything. And just because you don't say anything doesn't mean that I know that silence doesn't mean support. But if ever anybody was respected or actually cared for in any way, you you owed people something. At least that. At least, I mean, just something. Fuck, three words. I fucked up. No, her three words are, she's just jealous. No. Jealous, jealous, jealous. No, but a favorite of her two words was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I okay, know. all this shit. It's the, the, the climax comes. Everything's gone. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Let me go check my email. Oh, my fucking God. But I have to go to sleep. And Claire, if you're telling people, if you were telling people that I, I, it was personal or I'm jealous, if you were telling people anything, especially the people that knew that you were lying then and know that you're lying now, You are lower than I thought. Seriously, don't go and tell anybody anything about me or why I'm doing anything at all. When I came here to tell the truth and I told the truth about you and I'd do it with anybody else, held you to account and you're a fucking punk for not coming up here and telling the truth to the people. You owed it to this community. You want me to keep and ignore the fact that she was lying about all of this? You shouldn't be here. This, this, this idea about the truth doesn't ever fucking exist. It never did. It's a joke. Anybody that said they do support whatever, fine. 
You supported me at one point. You're asking me to be quiet. You were asking me to be quiet. You were asking me to, to stay quiet, see ya? God, I, that, that's why I said, you need to refer back to the chats that we had. Do you remember all the things that you said, that you did, that you show? You're a fucking hypocrite and a liar too. That's shameful. That's why I said I was offended. Because that whole idea, the whole idea, the whole, the whole thing about this entire community, this is what happened. And we're not going to say anything. Yeah. And people think that's okay. And it's normal. Let's make excuses for why they're doing this. God damn. That sucks. That sucks. Can I ask a question? No. Yes. Don't you be mean to her. We're not fucking coming down to fucking see you in camp. Fuck that. You just no suck right on. What? Ask, ask your question, Welsh lady. Don't pay attention to her. Nobody, nobody else does. Who's ask her? Am I her? Yes, Who you're her. Who invited fucking? Or Kelly? is Jen her? I'm, I'm, no. I'm confused. You're her. Be quiet. Welsh lady has a question. <sighs> Fine. Oh, this is anticlimax now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the whole copyright strike in '80s channel being shut down, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> We peaked way too fucking early. That's what happened. I should have just asked it and, and got it over with. Did God Frank damn. Sr. have the copyright to the photos? Oh, was Legal, that well, anything on the legacy line? page, yes. It, it, yeah. 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 Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, right. absolutely. That's that's kind of even, you know, that's another part, sort of kicker to all of it. That. Oh, that yeah. portion yeah. of it was uh, is absolutely 100. Yes, he owns all that stuff. He absolutely does. And it can be proven. Claire just didn't. She made up a process that doesn't fucking exist and tried to pass it off to the entire community. And it was going to end eventually. And that's when she started freaking out and being less apparent in, in appearance, yeah. basically, and in, in distancing herself. And it didn't have anything to do with uh, legal shit or being in danger. Damn you for saying that y'all actually scared. You 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 knew that was the excuse that you were gonna give people if they said what happened to Claire. What's going on? And then mm. you're telling us that? You're telling the whole what fuck God, this is just crazy to me. So in a nutshell, really quick, when he countered the strikes for the copyright, what YouTube wants, because YouTube is not a court of law, they want nothing to do with a court of law. What they needed to follow through with those strikes is they needed to see, and it says specifically, th there's proof of, of a pending court action. Claire... Yeah claimed when she was getting those IPO numbers, which me, the stupid American, I asked her several times on many, many panels and privately. So I explained to me the IPO and she kind of explained it. And I was still confused. And I said, okay, we all know what, what YouTube wants. They want proof of pending court action. So are you telling me that what you're getting and you're having your nephew or your cousin or whoever um, push it through quicker than what it would normally, that's basically you're, you're getting a number and it's going to be a court case number. She said every single time, yes. Okay. Then that that's what YouTube wants. Turns out that's not what was happening. At all. And all I needed, and I said it to those ladies and to uh, other people that by the end of that weekend, how, can you assure me right now that the, the strikes are going to stick? How do I know that? Well, because she said that she told me that she showed something to Mrs. Rusak or this person or that person. Get your shit together. That's why I, that's all I wanted to know. That's it. Y'all told me, you assured me, and you still promised me up until the very end. They're going to stick. They're going to stick. They're going to stick. Okay, so this might be actually a really good time. Uh, give me one second. Oh, oh God. God. I don't want to see your book. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right. in it like, like. I need you to babies. take a look there, Sam. I'm sharing the screen. So what, here. What? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What, Welsh lady? What'd you say? If she's going to show a book, we're going to burn it like 80s. 
Get ready to record that shit. So I just I shared one screen for right now, Sam. So I want to just show everybody. This is what when you when you forward a counter notification. So this is what I did when I got struck by oh bubbles ad. So here, fuck. So this was uh, this was actually my armchair detective releases his first book that he didn't write video that ad struck me on wait hold on hold on before you go any further is this um have anything to do with what we talked about last night mm, we talked about a lot of things last night all i'm pointing oh, about out, how huh? all i'm pointing out is this is the wording that youtube has in their in their notification that you get back when Trying to make it bigger because I want people to fucking see. Oh, okay. I thought remember well, I was I was explaining to you how she was showing that stuff and and all this other, you know, the crap with the um oh yeah, uh, no, the no, copyright no, no, no. stuff to them. No, it's okay, not okay. No, 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 not 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 bubbles uh, okay. showing trying to show people okay. Alan's copyright. No. So here you are set here. Uh do, do, do. now it's maybe too big. You guys can't see all of it. All right, so here we go. So, oops. God damn. Get your shit together. What the hell is happening right now? I'm a fucking mess, obviously. So no, as, you, as you can see, so this was this was me sending my counterclaim to Alan Train while Bubbles doing all the fucking goddamn legwork to my video. So, dear Genetico, thank you for your counter notification. It's been forwarded to the party. So basically my counter notification was forwarded on to AD and Bubbles. Now, what I'm trying to point out right here, so keep in mind that by submitting this counter notification, you've initiated a formal legal dispute process. As such, YouTube will handle this process in accordance with the law. This process takes some time. We kindly ask for your assistance. This is the key sentence right here, what I've highlighted. Upon forwarding your counter notification to the claimant, we will allow them 10 to 14 business days from this date to respond with evidence that they have taken court action against you to prevent the reinstatement of your video in question. YouTube wants to, wants to have Alan and Bubbles respond with evidence that they've taken court action against me, which in over the two years I've been making videos, this is why every single time AD and or Bubbles now have struck me, every fucking video has come back because they've never provided the evidence that YouTube wants that they have taken court action. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's what YouTube wanted. Now I'm going to close that. This is again, I want to quickly, well, quickly, I want to play. Hang on. This makes me sick. I don't even talk about that. The, 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 the whole thing that, you know, so now I want to play what, for, again, Claire's very fucking own words, what she's trying to feed to us that we didn't didn't know any different, fuck, what was needed. Uh. I just shared it. I'm going to tell you what, what I what I feel is like this all was for nothing. And to hear this stuff right now and see those little comments, whatever, this, this, this makes me so sad. What the hell? I don't even want to even think about the fact that y'all said you respected me once and the truth that I told, but now you're, you, you just do all that. My coffee is wearing off. So I'm like, man, I'm not making any sense, but I keep taking that numbing spray and now I, 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 it's really hurting, so I'm gonna have to end in, in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so is it again, up there? Yeah, I sh yeah. Give me one sec. I'm gonna press play. So again, I just rem want to remind everyone from YouTube's mouth themselves. Upon forwarding your counter notification to the claimant, we allow them 10 to 14 days to respond with evidence that they have taken court action against you. Now I'm gonna press fucking play. Mm. Martin had made a comment on his video and I was confused. So he pointed me to Outback's live and then 
um, or a video of Outback's Live that you were on, Claire. And I'm just going to say this now. I usually miss Outback's Lives because they are literally upside down from me. In the yeah, the times, yeah. Yeah, so I didn't hear what was said. So then when I saw it, it was kind of confusing. Sorry. So I, you know, I'm messaging Claire and she's, you know, she's getting it all straightened out. And, but then, you know, we're all seeing people questioning things and, and it is, it's frustrating. And it's frustrating um, for everybody because you hear things from second, third, fourth hand, you know? Um, yeah. So we just thought maybe it would just be better if you explain it instead of, you know, Hey, you told, you explained to me what everything meant. Okay, cool. I can go out and tell everybody, but why can't you just do it yourself? So yeah. Um, so I can just ask you, well, my question was because of what was said on Outbacks that, um, there was the, the court, um, you, you had made a comment and Hold on. Martin, but remember folks, it's okay. It's okay because that, she, uh, be she showed that. her cousin's dental records, uh, to the lawyers and they verified everything. So don't, don't, she knows exactly what she's talking about. Boom. Salty bitch. Her dental records. It was a fucking utility bill. <laughs> I was being and, even more suspicious than you and our dinner records and, and the fucking so, God and damn, you know with what? Her address, something with her address. You and I are not not vibing as hot as we used to be. I think that <laughs> this is just not going to work out. It really is. <laughs> I'm going to press play. <laughs> That's okay. I've been lying this whole time. I never liked you anyway. Press play. Come on. <laughs> This is so stupid. Judgment. I think it was yeah. judgment or something. The judgment, yeah. So can you explain exactly what's going on with that to everybody? Right. Well, I I I explained a bit on on Outbacks what I was doing, why I was going through the intellectual property office because it's quicker. I explained that process on there. If anybody wants me to go through it again, I can just ask. Um God, can, you, can, you, can, you, really can you can you give I'm, a I'm, rough I'm, overview of that really quick right now? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. People may be like me; they may not have saw his his live. Yeah. Okay. Um. So for it's it's the same with um small claims, but the intellectual property office specifically deals with trademarks and copyrights in this country. So, so big fat lie number one. They only deal with that, and they there's a three tier system of how to go to court and get. Get get a judgment. You can go through, which is the small claims track, which is what I'm doing. That would be the uh, enterprise court for anything that's val valued under five hundred pound. And then it, the net, the second tier, which the IPO does, but also files, also files in the court is for up to ten, either ten or fifteen thousand, and then the 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 top tier which you've got to file directly into the court you can't go through the intellectual property office is for to to get for more monet, monetary to receive more money from so again to be clear the intellectual property office does not deal with anything copyright at all what she said about the small track she obviously looked a little bit into this because that mentioning of the small track, she needed to go through the intellectual property enterprise small track. That's not the intellectual property office at all. And in order to do that, it was for claims um, under 10,000 pounds, not under 500 pounds. Oh, but that's why I've done this one because it's not about money. It's about getting, it's about getting a, a piece of paper that says this man can't use these photos so that's why i've gone through the ipo and they use the court they use still use the court but they use the court and tribunal system which just makes it quicker if it if i if i worked out the estimated damages of how much money he'd made with the photos over the period of time it would have taken us into the top top category and then you're looking at anything at you're looking at least six months before to file something properly so that's the so reason this, go on this has the same effect as as the other route but you're not asking for damages yeah that's right yeah i'm not asking right. for any money that's that's why that's what because it's not about money it's about just having that piece of paper that says you can't do this Right. 
So that's why I've done it this way. And, and again, I just want to remind people that's not what YouTube was looking for. YouTube was looking for evidence that Claire had taken action. Sorry. What YouTube was looking for was evidence that Claire had taken court action. That's all they needed. Not a piece of paper saying that he can't use those pictures. She just needed something showing that she was taking a Sorry, I was action. muted. That was a very or that um or that she was in danger talking about that IPO when all of a sudden when we asked even to see the IPO again a few days after that she couldn't do it because you know she was in fear for her life and uh, lawyers told her to shut up. Uh, okay, we took a personal IPO number. God damn it! And obviously it's a lot quicker because if you got a file into court, you know you're looking at at least six months. Okay. So I did that, filed with the intellectual property office with the for the copyright. Um, they, it gets processed with them then in their offices, and then they pass it to a judge for a decision. Now, when I spoke to them at the uh, end of last week, Friday, they'd hoped to have the decision by Tuesday at the latest. So this is a magical court case that apparently happens with, in this case, AD not being served. Claire doesn't need to be there. Claire's godson is just going to get some magical judge to just randomly and arbitrarily give them, give them the win. AD doesn't get to defend himself. Nobody's got to be there. And y'all forget that, that y'all participated in those live streams and that y'all were invested in this and that you were an AD, anti-AD, whatever. That, that y'all didn't say this shit openly and publicly. And you 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 want nobody to say anything at all? Or it was personal to ask for a fucking IPO number? That. Uh, I still haven't had it yet. I still haven't heard. So yeah, um, I got. I... Making direct phone calls. So not only did she have a direct line to Yar Cohen who had a direct line. To Google, to Google. To AD down the moment he brings Frank or Frankie's name out of his mouth. She's now also got a direct phone line directly to the IPO. I guess her godson that's going to get that judgment. She called. It wasn't there on. Uh, it wasn't there on Friday, but she's hoping to have that judgment where nobody has to go to court and gets to defend themselves whatsoever. Claire doesn't even have to go to court. AD doesn't have to go to court. Hell, he doesn't even have to be fucking served. Fuck off. That's why I thought, you know, people want to make it into a personal thing because they like the drama of this place. That have nothing to do with telling the truth in AD. You need to admit that to yourselves. If what you are hearing and seeing right now upsets you or you pretend to be so outraged that we come out and tell you the truth and, and prove it. You do not need to be here at all. Or let's just say you shouldn't have been here in the first place. It wasn't about telling the truth, was it? Or about supporting anybody. If this does not make you angry just a little bit that you sat in those live streams and those chats and you were waiting, you were asking her questions. Y'all know that she said that she's an open book. She would show you anything, right? You know all of these things that she, you said to her even privately. But as a supporter, watching all these goddamn live streams, having her up on mine, sticking up for her, calling people out for saying that she was a liar. Y'all know this happened. You watched it. Still sticking. You up commented. So don't, uh, don't don't say these things now. That's and why I'm thinking you really are. You are here just for the drama and the bullshit. Because if that doesn't upset you, or you want to deny the fact that you watched her and you asked her questions and you said, "Oh my God, how dare they ask her about her credentials? She is who she says she is. Damn it! Y'all know what happened. You're part of this community. You were there. You were part of it. You rolled with it. You vibed with it." This is not personal. It was about something that was very public, and she made even more public. But she, you she want to explain why? She yes, did it all from the striking fucking angle, right from the get-go. She took that and ran and struck him all on her own. And that's whatever, whatever. The, 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 my, uh, this isn't about the channels that aren't making videos now, or they are talking to me, or they're not. It's about people out here in the community that have been here for any length of time. If you are okay 
saying, yeah, that's right. She did go on that live stream. I did ask her about this, and now she said she would say, hey, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to admit that. I like my friends here, just like AD subs. They don't want to leave. They like it too much. They like the drama too much. What the fuck else would they have to talk about? Okay, I'm going to press play. Got on to YouTube, and when I went through the emails, it said in there that as long as they had the case number and there was intended litigation, then that was enough for them. So uh, just close the business at what time yesterday. Um, I can't what time, can you remember what time it was, Cheryl? Because I was talking to you uh, just as I'd done it. I honestly, I don't remember what time. I can't remember. It was, it was, it was around the afternoon. I, I forwarded that to YouTube yesterday, the case number. And um, so they can now check with the with the IPO that the case is going through. So she's sent to YouTube a case number that she got from the intellectual property office that doesn't exist because it was the intellectual property. And she office. couldn't find it when asked about it late, late day, uh, days later. Yeah, yeah. So Not this, oh, geez, again, it's sickening because you support her so much we all did we believed it now looking at this just listening to it is just so fucking but she, sad but just listening to this again even now obviously all this time later much kind of calmer and again even more in hindsight through the rear view mirror she just contradicted herself right there it was about getting the judgment so which one was it claire was it about getting the judgment that he can't use his photos that you were getting or where you actually said the second time that all YouTube needs is a case number for intended litigation because that one was actually true what you said. But just before that, you said that you were getting right. You were on the phone calling the IPO office that doesn't even deal with copyright anything to begin with to get that judgment that he can't use the photos when they don't even deal with it in the first place. And knowing that she said all these things and you're hearing it again, knowing it was all bullshit, that you would still believe that we were wrong for saying anything at all. Okay, I'm gonna press play. Because y'all agreed with it. Yeah. Okay, and for those of us that are not creators that don't know all the rules, if I understand it correctly, um, when somebody counterclaims, so you you struck him, he countered yeah. saying you don't have the right basically to do that. <laughs> yeah. And so then YouTube gives the creator um, 10 business days to yeah. submit something that they are actually, the next step is to go to litigation, some sort of yeah. um, legal route. And so yeah. it doesn't say you have to win the legal route. You don't no. have to show proof that you've got a court judgment. You just have to show proof that you are going that next step. And if you don't within those 10 days, then that strike goes away. But you've now provided them with the court case, which I have. We're hoping if YouTube follows their own rules, that would be good enough, right? Yep. According to their terms of service, if if the case number is there and there's intended litigation, that is enough for the strikes to stand. Okay, so just really quick, I just I'm going to pose this to everybody that you know is still on the fence about these strikes and that something was done or not done right or it's all YouTube's fault. So she had said I can't remember exactly at one point she said there were seven or eight um strikes on that one channel and I think there were, she said there were some more that were still being looked into. So um, if what she said is right. Uh, and and it is that's what YouTube wants. If what she submitted to them was exactly what she said she submitted, why did all those strikes go away? Yep. Why did Alan and I'll fucking say it? Why did he in fucking ridiculous streams of his? Why was he so insistent on asking Claire and Frank to retract them? Because he knew nothing had been sent. He knew. He fucking knew that Claire hadn't submitted shit. Or whatever she said. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. Submit, was That's how elaborate it was. Come on. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 But again, I just, I'm posing this to people who, who still are questioning it. Even if YouTube what? didn't oh. follow their own rules and guidelines and all that, there were over 10 strikes. More than that. Well, I know. I'm just going, I'm just being 
based on, I think the last time that she said anything, I thought she said something like seven or eight with a few more pending, blah, blah, blah. So there were over 10. YouTube, uh, it, YouTube's fucked up a lot, but you can't tell me that if she submitted, quote unquote, a court case number for pending court action, like she, you heard her just say that that's what she did, not all those strikes would have went away. They wouldn't have. So yeah. they were dropping yeah. off one by one yeah. as time one was passing. One by one, and he weeks. was doing a fucking countdown. They, he, yeah. when he was saying, uh, "We're gonna have the blue channel back by next week," we were all going, "Why does he think that? Why? Why does he even think that?" And and Claire was saying, "I don't know. I, he's yeah. he's an idiot. He's stupid. Not, he's bluffing. He's bluffing. He's bluffing. He's a fucking poker player. He's fucking so, bluffing." Right. So my other question is because I'm not a creator. Is once. If he's getting the strikes back or strikes removed one by one, since she submitted those strikes, wouldn't she be getting notification? Hey, that strike that you put on him, we've removed that. You you don't would do yes do they notify yeah. you of that? Yeah. So yes. she knew that those strikes were being dropped one by one. Yes. And again, I firmly believe they were because that's and she how she should know that when she pulled up that stuff on the private stream yard, it showed it. How you weren't sending them any information. Info needed. Info more needed. Info, info needed. Info. Oh, more what? Info, more info. Wait, say, yes. say that again. What? In one of the streams, she she pulled up the creator studio that basically shows that whole list of all the strikes. Showed and everything. Yeah. One column. One column where literally at one point it was every single one. It was YouTube looking for more info needed, more info needed, more info needed. Why would more what? info be needed when if she submitted the proper? Yeah. Yeah. The, all the strikes were submitted. She struck him on the same basis for every strike. So, so other so, in addition to the fact that she would be getting emails as the strikes were were being removed, yeah. but before or, or that, issued, yeah. But before that, she was getting emails saying, "Okay, what we need more info than what you submitted." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, are you serious? Basically, yeah, basically, I think probably at that point, the more info they wanted is whatever. If she did submit anything, and at that point, she probably not submitted anything. But what she may have tried to submit, that wasn't it. But again, let's not forget the intellectual. She property. didn't admit shit. She yeah. didn't submit shit. I'm sorry. She needed to go through the intellectual property enterprise small court process not the intellectual so, property office where her godson yeah. works that was going to expedite a magical judgment where ad doesn't have to go to court claire doesn't have to go to court and speak on behalf of frank it's just all magically going to be a winning judgment for claire and on so, Frank's behalf. to answer mm -hmm. your question welsh lady yes um frank does own own the copyright to those it's just basically the way that it was handled was incorrect and again, I think I said this on another live. Even, you know, a lawyer, you know, copyright, we've talked about this before, that copyright litigation is really complex, especially now. With it's very tricky. Stuff. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't in a million years expect even a practicing attorney in any other field part of, uh, I don't want to say field. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's really late and I'm tired, but um, unless they worked with copyright, they wouldn't actually know those laws. But uh, as an ex attorney, as a retired attorney, I would think that the due diligence to look into stuff would, would just come natural because I mean, that comes natural for a lot of people in general, but um, a, a, a retired attorney. Don't ask me for the IPO number. I got to go get my wisdom to pull and I'll be gone for a couple of days. Well, uh, and again, when, when it finally came push to shove for me and my, okay. fucking, my, my, my going over the fucking ed, edge of the fucking cliff moment was when I went to look for my, my self finally to find out what the fuck was going on. It took me fucking 20 minutes to 30 minutes to find out the process she should have actually um, have gone through and what she should have been doing and what she said that she was doing is all fucking made up bullshit. And I've never tried to say that I'm a retired lawyer, a lawyer, a solicitor of any kind. I've got no law background whatsoever. So me as a fucking simpleton that can pull it up. You're like, she oh, okay. Have, she could have taken half an hour, 20 minutes of her time off one of those lives and all those days that she was at home doing whatever and looked yeah. online it, and again again there was a couple points where it she says a couple things that almost sound like she sort of looked into it but again the follow-through it didn't happen and, there was and if we're wrong about this 
uh, why wouldn't she have showed? Why wouldn't she have showed you? And even if she didn't want to show you, then even if she shows somebody else, and it's not even us, because at this point she can't stand us, which I wouldn't blame her. Um, show somebody else that could come out and talk about it. Just again, I'm I'm actually I'm kind of almost begging. Please prove us wrong. I mean, yeah. Prove like, wrong. Prove, prove us that that the that you sent somebody to anybody to get anything verified. And that the 18th person over here, cousin, you know, far removed or whatever, saw it last weekend at the go-go bar. But you can't show it to to the people that you were talking to publicly right here. Just an IPO number. Hey, uh, what's up with that? I'm scared. They're threatening me. Bye. So I Come just on. want to show this one last clip, Sam, that I've yeah. attempted to share. It's only two minutes. But this is a second explanation of Claire's mind explaining her IPO nonsense. Oh, do I need to put some up? Well, I sh yeah, I've shared it. You gotta con or to prove it. Sorry, I'm trying to be money penny. You're making me fail. You're setting me up for failure, damn it. Shut up! I'm mad and jealous right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna press play. And brainwashed. Don't forget, you're brainwashed. You're mad, jealous, and, and brainwashed. Yeah. I'm oh. a pathetic brainwashy. That's me. Apparently, I found out that you were a sex voodoo witch. You don't want me to tell people, and that's why I'm brainwashed. I'm, I'm pressing play. <laughs> right. So the IPO, I <sighs> court, instead of going through court to get a copyright, to get a judgment on the copyright, I've used the IPO, which is the intellectual property office. Basically, it's like um, like it is with with claims, a small claims court. If you only if you only want to get money back, that's under five hundred pound. Which is I've done it that way because it's not about the money; it's about getting the judgment. Then you can you can go through the through the IPO, the Intellectual Property Office, and they use the uh, Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Service. Judges, the IPO. I. Sorry, I didn't mean to pull that back. I meant to pause it for a second. I just want to say, and again, I want to just stress again, the intellectual property office, they just offer advice. They're not a court for anything, patents, copyrights, anything at all. They are not a court of any kind. So there's that about the intellectual property office. Not only they, do they not deal with copyright administration, anything to do with copyright they're not even a court of any kind so there was that now i'll try and go back where we were which is the intellectual property office basically it's like um like it is with with claims a small claims court if you only if you only want to get money back that's under 500 pound which is I've done it that way because it's not about the money, it's about getting the judgment. Then you can you can go through the through the IPO, the intellectual property office, and they use the uh Her Majesty's Courts and Tribunal Service judges to get the to see see the cases so it hasn't got a wait in the system for like six months. So I've done it that way. Friday, I spoke to the IPO and they said that they were hoping for a judgment no later than Tuesday. But as of yes, as of this morning, there is there is no judgment yet. So yesterday, um, I spoke to the Intellectual Property Office again. <coughs> and they said that YouTube normally only needs proof that there is litigation, that there is going to be litigation. So when I went back and checked the emails, it was right. So I sent YouTube the actual court case number and um, the email I had from the from the intellectual property office that have gone to them. So now it's down to YouTube. The ball is in YouTube's court. Well, is that it? Is that everything? Did I explain that right? Sorry, I've taken my tab my nighttime tablet, so I might be a bit spotty. What the fuck ever? Yep. So she sent to you. Did she ever give you? Did y'all get to see the IPO number, Kim? 
and all that. Did y'all see that? Did y'all get to see the emails from YouTube? It's pretty standard. She was talking about publicly. If so, can you forward them to me, maybe? Huh? That's all can I ever wanted to see this IPO number that she sent to YouTube. That's all I've ever asked. said they gave it. Did any of you see it? Is my point. You can't verify shit. That's why I said I never want to hear that word again. Because ultimately it comes down to, oh, well, yeah, I, I saw it. No, you saw it. No, she wait. Got the IPO. Didn't she you got see the it then? No. For a judgment or pending litigation from the intellectual property office that doesn't even deal with anything court. They're not a court of any kind. She said these things. You heard it then. You're hearing it again now. Did she give y'all the IPO number? Did she ever show that to y'all? Yes, I, obviously it doesn't fucking exist. So the answer is going to be no. My point being that I asked, can you at least show us something that you said that you had? It took you this long. You're constantly putting shit out and talking. Why is it so difficult to fucking send an email, forward it to somebody? Because she couldn't. That's an undeniable fact that y'all are listening to this again. You want to keep saying how this is a personal issue or that we should just pretend like it didn't happen? Did she show y'all the IPL? Did she forge y'all the emails that, that you know, from YouTube? Helen, I see She was sending paper. emails from Bubble. Bubble's uh, in, in using Helen, have you seen the IPO number? Why don't you come on up? And we can seriously, I mean, we can talk about this. I'd like to know if you've seen the IPO number. I'm not being facetious either. I'm telling you. The things that she is saying now, if anybody wants to say that I'm being fooled or brainwashed again, you're going to fucking hear this shit. And that's why I told you privately, Helen, that night after your life. If people really knew what she was saying, what was happening, you wouldn't be over here saying these things. I don't need to tell you not to believe somebody or to believe somebody or disbelieve them. The fact of the matter is that she said right here publicly, this is the situation. This is what we got. I asked her to see it. She couldn't provide it. She lied. She dumped. She just took off. That's not being hurt or ghosted. That's not impersonal and hurt my feelings because my friend talks to people that, that won't talk to me. I asked for the IPO number. We wanted the IPO number. She couldn't provide it. Never happened. Helen, nobody has bad mouth never. or called anything you've done a farce or a joke. So let's just let's clear that up right now. Everything I've said to you publicly or privately, I would say publicly now. Don't allow people to keep perpetuating bullshit when you know that it's bullshit or don't let people lie for you anymore or, or admit things because they think that you're being honest, Claire. That does not sit well with me and it became a fucking farce and a joke as far as I'm concerned. How in the hell could I continue this bullshit knowing that the whole thing was crap? The whole thing was shit. The whole thing was ridiculous because y'all wanted me to be here. Keep telling the truth about AD. But this woman over here did this shit in, in whatever. Go ahead. Trust her. Don't trust her. Like her. Don't like her. Whatever. She's not being honest. I asked for this. Very simple. It's not personal. I've shown proof of that. It's a joke to even think that anybody can continue to make AD videos or talk out about liars. When you know that she's lying. It's that simple. I don't have any fucking loyalty to anybody at any point that I can't say anything I don't want to keep quiet or keep quiet or say shout to the fucking rooftops. Just because I'm finally saying something doesn't mean that I'm wrong. How about that? How about that? You know why I've always told the truth before. Why am I all of a sudden now jealous or making it personal when it wasn't? Up until the very minute that I went into that fucking stream yard with her, she was promising and saying all this shit. And she diverted attention. She was trying to make excuses. That's when I knew everything went to shit. I was done. And y'all didn't hear anything from me until I had to say something, you know, eventually. My point being, it's a fucking joke to even think that you can be part of a true community when, when confronted right here. Sorry. These are lies. Y'all know that these are lies. You didn't know it at the time, but you know now, especially. Don't continue and perpetuate the idea that this is about getting justice for anybody or telling the truth or just, we got to inform people that these people are lying. It's all just bullshit. 
And say that you ever supported me at all in what I did in telling the truth or not. Helen, you know exactly what kind of person I am. We've had plenty in the past. You know that. All of a sudden now I'm a bad person because you don't like what I'm saying about anybody or you want to make it into a personal thing. I do got a fucking problem. If you ever, ever, ever suggest anything about if it, did you, no, don't ever, ever tell anybody my fucking business again, because, you know, I have no problem coming out and saying something. And if I do, it's the truth. Helen, you know that more than anybody. Telling people my business. When he said the so-and-so docs me, I had to put him straight, right? Well, she said that she had the IPO numbers and everything, but she couldn't prove it. And then she took off because she was lying. How about that? Well, Helen, the only reason we're here is because of the actions and behavior of Claire. So maybe you should pose that I question. Because I can her. say whatever I want. Get the fuck. Oh, no, I'm done with that. This isn't drama. This isn't anything. I told the truth. If I want to come up here and keep saying it for 18 hours straight, I will. I'm sorry if you don't like hearing it, Helen, but as far as I'm concerned, it helps the family because the fucking truth is being told. Sorry if hey, you don't Hey, you know like what? I, my, my, my truth. How about, oh, yeah, it's okay. Again, y'all want to give her a pass? Fine. Don't fucking get mad at me or call me out or say anything about me because I'm telling the goddamn truth. And that you're, you want to give her a pass, just like AD subs and everybody else gives everybody a pass. You can come up here and say whatever the fuck you want, guys. Put out whatever you want. Say whatever you want. It's okay. Just remember in the end, he'll get charged eventually with something. Hopefully he'll get sued. Yeah. I Come on, that's a fucking joke. Had absolutely zero fucking enjoyment out of having to do this. This no. is the last fucking thing we wanted to do. But what? And I'm Ellie, not fucking. We're not drama Ellie, secrets. We you know that. Just, we were. It's going to help the family by just continuing to, to stay silent and let the let a liar that's very close with the family continue lying to the family. We're just supposed to shut up about that, and that's helping the family. That that's my question, and I'm not coming at you, Helen. And I'm sorry, is, Helen. I don't is, mean to make it sound like I'm coming if, hard at you. I'm just very obviously, and it, like now I'm being emotional about it. I don't mean that to come directly at you. That's just in general how I'm feeling right now. How I said that. Sorry. So my so my feeling I, is I, what I, I want to ask is, Helen, if we are correct, if we are, I know you don't believe that, and that's okay. But if we are correct, how how is the family being helped? What yeah. if we're right? What if, you know? I know that you believe differently, but what if we're right? Are they being helped right now? Which, you know, if they like her as a friend and all that, that's fine. But uh, take this my emotional friendship aspect out of it, for God's sakes. Again, can we take the emotional friendship aspects out of it as an angle? We've only ever spoken up here with me. It's only ever been about the copyrights and why he got his channel reinstated. If y'all want to continue with the idea that I'm it's jealous or it's personal, get the fuck off this channel. You never knew me at all. It's not personal. It's about the copyright strikes. We're here because we, we want to spread the knowledge about this perfect fucking fraud. Right? But when it comes down to it, you only want us to share certain things. Just certain things. God and yeah, damn. Helen, maybe maybe he will eventually go to court. I want nothing more for them to be for than for him to be taken to court. This is about the copyright. In the meantime, in the meantime, the copyright. The time that copyright. Gonna, the time that it was going to take to get him to court, those copyright strikes would have had him down off YouTube, not being able to continue exploiting other families and or the Ruzik family. But no, Claire ruined that for us to make sure that he's going to continue to be on the platform. Every one of you is still saying, court. why is he still here? Why can't, why does he just keep getting lucky or whatever? Why, how, why does this keep, keep happening? You know why, at least in this instance, you know why he came back. You know why the channel is reinstated. And Helen, she didn't come out and tell nobody. We and did. Please stop because she took off. Bam up, Helen. This is not about BAM. This she, is specifically about Claire and who? the copyright strikes. Why does everybody keep bringing that woman up? God's sakes. It wasn't what about the at all. None of these three streams have been about BAM. Everybody needs to just stop. It's not been about roasting anybody, dragging anybody, or nothing. Making shit up because my feelings were hurt. These are conversations that y'all took part of in this community. She lied. Stop making it about something else. God damn. That's 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 how y'all are gonna 
again, the, you're really going to be so, so fucking audacious thinking that you can come in here and still make it about something else that it's not as an excuse for why we're saying anything at all. Helen, again, I ask you, I, can you not answer my question? Have you seen anything that's IPO believable? Anything? Can you not just answer that question? Instead of trying to divert the attention to him going to court. And Don't worry, I'm sure the lawyers saw it and verified that shit, right? I'm muting. I'll be back. I never, who said, this isn't about giving Bam a pass. This isn't about Bam at all, Helen. Stop. Can you, can you not answer my question? Have you seen anything with your very own eyes? IPO number? Oh, no, doesn't exist. <laughs> and Helen, no, I've never seen you say any of those things, but they have been said by a lot of people. And and I, I I've seen. Okay, I'm not even going to say that. They, they, they have been what, said. What, what by, I'm not saying what? that you. I'm not. I don't. I've never seen you say anything. Like I've never that. seen you say that. anything about us being jealous or other motives, Helen. I've never seen you say that. No, and we're not claiming that you did no. at all. No, no, no. In fact, in fact, like I said, what like I typed out, a lot of the stuff that what we're saying tonight, I specifically said that I used you as the example of how you didn't agree with us, that you believed Claire, but you were always respectful about it. You didn't call us all the names well, and, and, and accuse us of the crap that everybody else did. You just exactly. stated your name. Exactly. And, exactly. And, and that's all that we, we ask for people. Stop talking about us like we're these awful people and being called mean girls, being called terrible friends, how we should be ashamed or of flip it. Flopper, especially or when y'all know me, Helen, and we've gone to the mat. Part, Helen, you have to agree. that ha You know us. You know how involved all of us have been. Can you imagine how infuriating it is to hear that? Because nobody has been able to explain to us that us not believing and supporting Claire, how that relates to not supporting the family. Totally fucking separate things. I can I can never talk to Salty or Jen again. Doesn't change it, what I'm doing here. But these are the things that we've been hearing. And and maybe you, you haven't seen it. And I, I respect that. But trust me, we've been getting a lot of crap. A lot of crap. Not from you, it's though. It's like Helen yeah. and again, we keep, you keep quiet. We keep silent. There's stuff that happened a long time ago. We don't have to come out and say everything to everybody. We're not dramatic. You know that. That's why I keep saying, y'all fucking know me. All of a sudden, I'm going to start turning into a jealous heifer that can't stand that, uh, you know, somebody's getting what clicks, views, attention. It was only ever about this. Telling the truth. Thank you for And the fact of the matter is that y'all know that we've always told the truth. That's what we're here to do. Now, y'all want me to ignore this and keep continue on? And just think of the bigger prize at the end of the uh, end of the road. Thank you for answering my question, Helen. I appreciate that. Um, that no, mm -mm. you know, but y'all are making excuses as to why we're awful people for coming out and telling y'all the truth. That's essentially, you know, again, the a, a point that I'm trying to get across. That rather than face the the possible the the reality that this woman lied and this is what happened, y'all were make make up excuses about why we would come out here. What? Talk shit, or we would lie when you know we're telling the truth. That's not cool. That's just that's a shit thing to do. That's like you know y'all all give passes to AD. Don't get up here and say anything about anybody anymore if you can't make sure that it's at least honest. And again, Sam hasn't been here since we did that last live at the beginning of fucking November. <clears throat> Seemed to go pretty quiet for a good month there. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, the other creator, Claire, decides to become public and speak out publicly for the first time and sends fucking the other one a whole bunch of screenshots. And that's what Claire publicly decides that she's going to address for the first time in all of this since the shit hit the fan. Damn, I, I. Don't, don't ever anybody ever, 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 ever think that it's okay that 
what? And we're, we're, we were we're friends we're, once. All of a sudden, we're, we're, yeah. we're bad people. We're bad we're people. people. So we're calling it out a couple weeks later. Again, we're supposed to just continue on and say nothing and stay silent. My, yeah, again, y'all, uh, my seriously, still going to come over to me now and say anything about what I do talk about? You don't stand for what I thought you stood for. You don't represent the stuff that I did. You don't. That's offensive. Y'all know drama, you know roasting, you know dragon, you know truth, and you know lies. And you've seen it right here tonight with me. This is mine, my experience. Everything I said, right, I said to her. I confronted her with all the people that are saying that we have to be quiet right now or that we needed to keep it quiet. Why the fuck did this come out? Oh my God, what happened? You want to just pretend like none of that ever happened. Then you should pretend that nobody, you never came to this party, YouTube. You never heard about this pervy fucking fraud. And you don't care if people lie or tell the truth. You don't care. That's the way I see it. And if I want to say anything, I will. And I told y'all that. If anything I'm doing is, is, is not going to help them, how is it going to hurt them? How is it going to hurt you, Helen, or other people in this community? I don't know who the fuck Granny is, but fucking a fucking men. What? So Granny just made a comment. Sorry, Helen, but I've watched all these guys slog daily for three years without asking for anything in return. Can you not see why they are angry? Are you talking about us? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So for three years, you know that we have integrity. We always told the truth. You know, but now we're bad people. Now we're lying. Now we're jealous. Now we're bitter. Yeah. All of a sudden, out of the blue, out of nowhere, after all this time, we've just. I was here. We were here. We flipped the, word the script, and guys. Here. We flipped the fucking script on y'all. That's exactly what we did. You caught us. We're busted, man. God damn. Fucking busted. The people that you, uh, you know, when you, when you know there are others in this community, let's just say this true community, that go around, they just cause shit and they're just here for shit. Y'all know that we've never just been here for the bullshit and the drama. And, and then when I do want to come out and say something, because somebody said that I was fucking flip flop or backstabber, I was fooled or brainwashed into thinking certain things. Fuck. So, um, Helen, I don't know if you were listening earlier. I, I actually used your story also as an example that, you know, I don't remember oh. what it was a year ago that, you know, there was somebody that you knew. Vicky gave everybody a pass. Remember that? How she gave the girl a pass. She gave her a pass. Y'all are giving her a pass now, too. Well, well, Keep but what I'm saying yep. is that she, she, um, uh, somebody you felt was taking advantage of the family and, and hurt them and, all, all this other stuff and you came out and you spoke about it. That's no different than what we're doing. That's no different. I know you disagree with what it is, but we're, that's all that we're doing. We, we see somebody that's been taking advantage of some things. And if we're wrong again, we've said it a hundred times. Salty has invited her to come on these panels or even just talk privately, not even with us. If she wants to talk with somebody else privately, um, the, you know, and, and show her proof, then fine. We've said a hundred times on here, we would love to be uh -huh. proved wrong. But again, you did what you felt you needed to do in good conscience, your morals, your, you know, all of that, because you saw what you thought somebody doing something hurtful to the family now in in that case you felt it was willfully hurt i personally don't feel how this started with claire was willful whatsoever she had no bad intentions at all it just got out of control but the thing that oh but i did, did ask what we're doing is no different than what you did helen with it's just it's claire's more likable claire's more known that's the difference that's the only difference All of a sudden, making it a personal issue when it was only always about the copyrights. If you again, if you're if you're telling anybody, Claire, that I was jealous or I got upset or whatever, you need to pull your end of that fucking chat and the end of everybody else in there because that's simply not the case. It was about the copyright strikes. I was holding you accountable, and you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. Whiskey, you absolutely uh, can come in here and, and say your piece, and thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> 
What? Oh, uh, Whiskey Tourette. She just said, I don't know. I'm probably not welcome here, but I just want to say that these ladies have the rights to feel betrayed. And I do want to say really quick, it's not just we're just letting people in that um, agree with us. If there's anybody like Helen, if anybody wants to come in and discuss this, whether they feel like they would normally be welcomed here this or not, thing, please though. feel free to come do on, it. Man. Like this is a new thing. Like all of a sudden we, we're not going to we're not going to um, say the hard things, the difficult things and tell you the truth. We're going to start we're going to start lying or or if we don't continue talking shit about this person that means we don't support this one my issue and i did say this helen and kim i said this to all of y'all do not allow people to come on your pages and your channels and leave comments saying that me or any of the people that were on my live stream when we came out and talked about the copyright and what what happened and why it failed that that was hurting or betrayal of, of any family of any victims that that was trashing them that was you know Ah, that made me very upset because y'all were allowing those kinds of comments. You were allowing that and you knew that simply was not the fucking case. That was not the case and y'all knew it. And so I said, please don't do that. And I was so surprised by, by seeing some of the reactions. Oh, God, I, 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 I really didn't think that people would be that okay with somebody in our ranks lying. Well, and again, I oh, well. I just want to say again, another comment of Whiskey's. Claire's derailed the whole thing because of her lies and ego. She exploited the family and it disgusts me. And that's kind of along, that's exactly what I said earlier, was we're supposed to stay silent and say nothing when all this time it's been about AD exploiting, lying, taking fucking people yeah. for money. And all of a sudden now, what's the difference between AD exploiting monetarily and Claire exploiting the same family, mind you, the very same family, and Claire exploiting for self satisfaction, self satisfaction, or self self gratification. At the end of the day, it's fucking exploiting. And at the end of the day, when you can uh, uh, let something like that give them a pass, and still think that you are doing something noble and good, and you're here for the truth and honesty, you're not. And the worst part is it, it's the same family that's been exploited. Come on. Yeah. What do we, that's why I said, where do we go from here? On. We're not supposed to say anything. Are you kidding me? But I, I you know, they, this is, it's just nothing but drama. It was never about anything else other than that. And apparently glory is seeking a lot of people liking that attention. Oh. But you will not, uh, you, you will concede the point to me that I was never about that. I've never been about that and never will be. You will concede to me that you know me well enough that I've always told the truth. You know I'm telling the truth now. Sorry you don't want to admit that. I'm not asking you to come out and tell everybody. But I'll be damned if I'm going to let you say anything along the lines of, I heard, she asked me so many personal things. Oh my God. This is what she did. This is what she did. I only ever talked to her about the copyright. That's not going to happen. So I don't care if you believe whatever she says. I don't fucking care. I don't even know what she's saying. What's not being said. What I do care about is that people are starting to think, what, all of a sudden now I'm fucking brainwashed? Me? Fuck. I'm being fooled? Y'all are coming and you're, you're making excuses for <laughs> something that is inexcusable, especially when you say that you tell the truth. It can't be done. You're not, you're not supposed to say anything. Are you kidding me? Whoa! I have to go. I'm gonna go. I heard myself. <clears throat> I'll be listening. Me. I have to. I have to go into the other room, but I'm listening. On the committee, I'll be. Right back. Somebody's got it playing in the background. Can they turn you it will off? Not, uh, you, you will concede the point to me that I was never about that. I've never been about that. I know. You will concede to me. And it's know. not about exposing anything. I thought, again, you know what? Or you don't want to admit that. I'm we not. believed her. Hang That's on, it. Whiskey. We believed her. Hang on. Whiskey, whiskey. can you turn whatever you've got playing there? Off it's echoing. Like I heard it. She has me so many personal things. Oh, my God. No. This is what she did. What did you get it from? I only ever talked to her about. <clears throat> That's not going to happen. All right. So, 
Parity believe whatever she is, said. Is, I is this muted her. or no? I, this is, I don't um, know. I'm not sure if it's you whispered. Know. Know. No, I'm on mute. I think it's really unfair. Are you you're, no, in. You're, you're making excuses. It's really unfair that you're uh, being accused of something being brainwashed. No. So whiskey, whiskey, hang on just for a Me second. Too. Somebody no. started playing in the yeah. background. Oh, there we go. Almost. <laughs> I keep hearing that in a loop. Are you able to pick up this time from here or not? <laughs> Yeah, I think it, I think it is you, Whiskey. Yeah. Do, Whiskey, do you have YouTube open and StreamYard? No, I've got no no tabs, no tabs open. Let me see. I'm gonna hit mute on everybody and see which one. And it's not about exposing. It might be it might be Walsh girl, and she doesn't realize. It's Whiskey. I just muted her. Come on, Whiskey, get your shit together. <laughs> None of us have ever got um, our shit together up here, but we can say it like we try to. Yeah. Uh, mm. I, uh, get out of my face, oh, kitty. Um, Damn it. Is this muted or no? I, this is, um, oh, this is weird. Uh, uh, we need it again. Maybe, maybe if you just close everything out, whiskey, and come back in and try it again. And as I said earlier, to and I will keep saying it, we believed her. We believed her. It's not about being right or wrong at this point. It's about who who was telling the truth and who's not, or asking me to be quiet about the truth that I have. It's not going to happen. It's not going to fucking happen. Nobody should be put in that position either. It doesn't mean I, I, I feel bad. I don't want again. I don't equate silence with support. I've always said that. I'm not saying that you can't support her. Obviously, I don't I don't need y'all to say, yeah, she's lying. Oh, you poor girls. It's a it's a personal issue. No. I woke up. This happened. You want to call yourself a true channel? keep doing so but i'm not gonna be around to watch it and see it because it's gross and it's sad that y'all do that it's sad that this happens mm -hmm. but was i fooled i believe i believed her we all did but i'm not being fooled now into thinking that she's a liar when it was me that she was lying to I'm, I'm gonna. I'm waiting for other people to say something. Hello, Maddie. Can I don't you even, give me the thing water? Can you even hear us? I don't even think she. Can you can give me hear a thing of water? Yeah, I don't think she. Oh can shit! Hear what us. happened? Well, I don't maybe, even... maybe she, because I suggested and, I, and she was behind, so maybe she just got caught up to oh, close everything out and try to come back. Okay, she's not muted, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, I think, I think you're good to go, whiskey. You can't hear us? Why are you shaking your head if you can't hear us? Thank you, babe. I appreciate it. This is, the, what's happening now? I don't know. I don't think she can hear us. Is there anybody out there? Who is being honest and not honest? Again, I will not allow anybody to say that I'm I'm doing this because I was jealous or because I didn't get attention. I'm not gonna allow you to come out and, and indicate that you know exactly what was going on when you didn't and that you have the audacity to think that you're gonna tell people the stuff that you thought or you think is going on. That's just so, it's silly, it's, it's stupid. You're an idiot for thinking that was gonna happen. Don't ever do it again, ever. And don't call yourself a truther and then still not even have the fucking balls to admit to somebody that you said that you respected that you cared about and that you were friends, you couldn't even tell them the fucking truth. 
Am I obligated now to say anything or not say anything? No, 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 no. I can say whatever I want. It's always been that way. I stood up for people that I believed in. I went to bat for y'all. Y'all went to bat for me. Why did all that stop? Why? You know why. Hello? 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 I'm wondering if everybody is just ignoring me or you can't hear me. No, or, I can hear you. I can hear you. This is a sign from God that I need to, need to stop and just leave this place forever. So, Whiskey asked, how is the audio? And I can't hear you. I, we can't hear you. Can you hear us? Okay, we can't hear you, though. Say something. Oh, she can hear us. Okay, no. Um, Sam, can you try muting her and then unmuting her? <clears throat> I'm oh, going to jump off, ladies, and I will see you next time. Oh, I love you, you all, lady. I love you. Love you all. Bye-bye. Don't be mad all, at me for telling the truth, David. <laughs> we love you. Me. I'm going to uh, listen. I'm going to mute, and I'm, I'm going to listen. So I'm not going to say anything. I think we're going to Bye, Wells, lady. Happy ho-ho holidays. Bye. Bye. Oh, I... Bye. Have you got any audio from me yet? Being on. Yes. 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 Do we have sound? Again, I will not allow. Yes. Morning, ladies. Uh, I don't go. mean to intrude. Hot but... dog. We finally got it. Sorry, whiskey. Yeah. We're um. We're upset watching what's happening to you guys because what you're going through, speaking your truth and revealing things that aren't right that are going on is what we went through earlier on this year. And it's not fair to say you were brainwashed into believing bullshit. Uh, I think that's massively insulting. Um, well, it was only specifically Salty and I that were, were brainwashed. No, well, you see, that's wrong. It's yeah. not that, that's a, that, a terrible thing to say because yeah, having trust in a friend, in a group of people that you've become close with, is not being dumb, it's not being brainwashed, it's it's what normal people do. You you meet people with your energy and you expect them to meet you back with that so if you're giving out truth and friendship and honesty you expect that in return you're not looking for the lies and the deceit because you're part of a team you're part of a group and you've meshed together then when you find out that that somebody that you have got to know and become friends with and trusted has betrayed you and it's not just you that this is about. What enraged me and the people that visit my channel was we could see a person with an ego exploiting a family who had gone through a horrific trauma for their own personal gain. You not called the lawyer shit out way months back. I had played that clip a couple times earlier tonight, Whiskey. Did you? Yeah, um, I did. Where she's None dragging of you. She's dragging you. But you called that shit out about her months before any of us did. You were the, I think, the first one. Yeah, uh, you know it. It. It was the reason why I felt I had to leave what what's now known as the truth community because I had issues with certain things that Martin was doing, and I had issues with what Claire was doing. And when I tried to voice it, I was silenced. And that was why I ended up creating the channel and just coming out and spilling my fucking guts. And yeah, I probably did it the wrong way. Um, I rubbed people up the wrong way, but it was with the best intention. I, I could see a, a family who'd gone through a horrific trauma being exploited by individuals who've done this before on other campaigns on social media. They do it for their jollies. And I didn't like it. And I didn't like the way you guys were being 
treated and the way people were reacting. But you, to you her. will, you will admit that because we did respect her, we thought she was telling the truth. That, that no. we reacted in the way they did. It was never about I, I told you so. I told you. No. It was about um, yes, we stood up for her. We stood up for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, I will I admit. I, I went full barrel, per, you know, defending her because that's what I do for my friends. Yeah. I thought yeah. that she was being yes. unfairly, unjustly, and incorrectly accused. Yes. We of thought something. she was being honest. Why wouldn't we yeah. continue to yeah. stand up for her? So you know, exactly. again, we went out there. That's we what did what, do. Right. Yeah. Right. This, and, 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 and y'all that thought that she was dishonest or didn't like her or anything else, it it it's almost the same thing. You know, why wouldn't I tell y'all that I think she's lying? And I see well, it that and, way to a certain extent. And I from really my, do. From my perspective, you know, whiskey, you and you guys were more entitled to feel that to feel that way. That wasn't the way I felt. But I've I've never gone anywhere with you guys in terms of calling you out about the clear shit and that you were lying. I've never gone that way. No. There was no. you're allowed to agree. We never. No. And I never would. So, well, I did. I did. I mean, the only I, thing I, I called I them out on. The only thing I called them out on was the Zoom meeting. That's yeah, the no. only thing I've ever called you guys out. Yes, on. I'd like to talk to you. About that, I, there's not a lot I can say for legal reasons, but we were just asked to be witnesses. We were, um, I think he thought that if he had two people who were outsiders, so to speak, neither in one camp or the other, witnessing what was happening on the, um, I think it was um, Microsoft Teams they did it on. Um, we had no input, uh, we weren't spoken to at all, we were there literally just to witness that he was indeed sitting with a legit law firm doing what he was doing. Um, used, if you like, as, as uh, well, this is evidence, if, if they accuse me of, of lying about seeing a solicitor, we've got two people who have been known to like a witness signing a a, a a document, like a legal document. There's a witness there to sign. No, no, no. It, I think he wanted witnesses inside YouTube land to say, well, actually, it, it's it's legit. He did. We know the law firm he went to. We we witnessed. We heard everything. He but wouldn't. Have, he wouldn't have seen it as a conflict of interest to have Maureen, his former mod, vote. I think that would be a huge conflict of interest. That, I think was the that, point, you know, that, that if they had that fallout and that, that issue, that she would be interest. Interest. You know, we've, we've, we've said a lot of pretty awful things about AD. You know? <laughs> um, we don't like what he does. And we the only thing we said that we um, didn't approve of was the when the, the poker stocking happened. And, and that was because... It had gone into a realm outside of YouTube land, outside of the crime community, and our concern was that there's all these random people in that poker thread probably staying in the same hotel. What if one of them was sexually abused as a kid? And I was something- upset watching y'all live streaming, talking badly to, about Mr. Rusek because he was on Bam's channel talking to Bubbles. Yeah, I mean, that, you know- I, I, I hated that. I talked about that. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. But this isn't about that. It's about... It's not yeah. about any of that. And I, yeah. they, much like they used IVA as the... We'll, we'll, we'll send our accounts via IVA. IVA has <laughs> oh, yeah. Receipts, yeah, you can say, receipts. I'm going to have yeah. a bank robber watch my money because he's not stupid enough <laughs> to steal it if I'm watching you know, it. That's, just, that's exactly what, the, what, what yeah. would happen. But yes. he was trying to prove that mm-hmm. he was being legit. Well, what we do know is... The leopard doesn't change its spots. Maureen and I came away from that meeting, and um, <laughs> let's just well, let's just say that you know your eyes were open. And again, for me, I mean, when I say call you out, I was I was completely shocked when I said it was doubles trying to throw you guys under the bus that you guys were all being sneaky shady about it. Like it was just a bunch of bullshit, and that yeah. was ultimately what I was calling out. Basically. But it just, Basically, it involved the shock of, of the calling out. Is it, it involved you and Maureen? That yeah. was when I say I called you out. That was only your part in that. I wasn't doing it because I was trying to call you guys out specifically. It was about again showing how Bubbles is lying and basically AD is lying. Yeah, that's all we ever did. 
we, we, that's all we, we ever did was tell the we, truth. That was all, that was all about video we was about from that legal meeting, having witnessed everything that they wanted done, and, and we witnessed what their lawyers have agreed to do. And we came away from that meeting and we just said, Leopard hasn't changed its spots. Shit hasn't changed. All yeah. we know is, is he's legitimately gone to a law firm and that's it. I mean, I had some fun. I poked at Maureen about Spidey screenshot that. You know, okay. I had fun with that, Maureen. I can't. I can't. Oh, we have a joke about it here as well. Absolutely. We, we, you know, there's an account out there by the name of Spidey Screenshotter now. It's my new favorite sub. Yeah. <laughs> it's not me. So, anyways, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying yeah, to. No, I'm never it, about it, trying it, to call you guys, drag you guys. It was about showing. The thing is, is you were right. You witnessed Bubbles turn on me and Maureen. And the reason she turned on me and Maureen is because she thought we would side with him, and we didn't. We said, thank you, we're quite happy where we are, just observing from the Badlands. Looking or, you, yeah, you didn't respond in the way they wanted you to, so they no. fucking chucked you right under the bus. Yeah. Just like AD does in that fashion. Yeah. And just like he's done with Ivor, you know, suddenly the receipts have stopped landing at Ivor's. What? The receipts? It was, what, one, two months ago? Yeah. When, when was the last time Ivor was provided some receipts? Not surprised by that. Fucking mm. money hasn't gone up in like a month. So, you know, the, the leopard hasn't changed its spots. Um, and we haven't changed where we stand. Where we stand is we don't like seeing liars, scammers, e-beggars, um, bullies. We just want... If you're going to get involved in, in something like this, we want you to be honest. And, and we we don't like AD for the lies he tells. I mean, God, he's recycling his shit from the get-go. We were joking earlier. that catalog all over again. From all the over again. Fucking page one. We were joking yeah. earlier about who hasn't he accused of murder? Dieter. Because at one point, they were all in that fucking garage, weren't they? Dieter. Dieter's the outside. only one. Yeah. So... He's recycling his shit because he's got nothing else. He's a one-trick pony. We're not interested. We've come to the conclusion Bubbles is as evil as AD is, if not more so. She's yeah. a, not a pleasant character at all. That that little soft top, mm -mm. no. The, the, there's something very unpleasant in there. And what we've also been watching is what's been going on in your community with the, the Claire thing. What and community? There's no community left. Exactly. It's been blown apart. And I don't understand it because she's betrayed everybody. But the, the most important people that she has betrayed are the Rusek family. And in my opinion, Claire is entirely responsible for everything blowing up the way it has. For the, the money to stop coming into the crowd justice because her actions have made people go, whoa, what the frick is going on? You so know, you, it's you, a good point. You can you see know that. she's a con woman, you know she's lied, but you keep her in, and the people who've been most vocal about fighting for you, you push out to the outside. And, and I only decided to come into this stream because I saw Nuff Nuff was in there. And I, I, I said to, to my gang, I said, I want to go in there and have her back because it's not bloody fair. This isn't personal. This isn't about jealousy. This isn't about one-upmanship. This is about you guys not being allowed to have the feelings that you feel. It's shut up, say nothing, pretend it hasn't happened, and crack on. Well, how can you when you're being betrayed? How can you? Yeah. You have every right to have all the feelings that you're having. And well, apparently some, some right people are some people are good at carrying on even though they're betrayed. Some people are good at keeping their mouth shut even though they've been betrayed. We're just not we're not those people. Exactly. But we did yeah. keep our mouths shut for a long fucking time. Some of us a lot more than us. Well, a lot well we weren't time. just just to make it clear, we weren't keeping our mouth shut. We were doing what we've always preached try to deal with it privately we were trying mm -hmm. to deal with it privately yeah, we sorry, were trying no. to get claire to to as as her friend help us help you 
That's what we were trying yeah. to do. Help we weren't keeping it quiet. I and, apologize. And, that was yeah, a and another thing I just want to point out is um, there's a lot of people in the chat that have conflicts with other people. And I don't think it's a secret. Um, uh, who, who has what? So really, and Whiskey, Maureen, Bam, quite a few other people, Scarlett's email, called Claire out a long time ago. Again, we didn't we didn't believe her. We believed our friend and we defended our friend very, Hardcore. very viciously. <clears throat> really think about it. Why would, what would we gain by coming out and saying, you know what, all those people that we've been fighting with this whole time, they were right. What what would we have to gain by that? Come on. Yeah. Nothing. You know, it, it, you know, it, it is, it's, it's a, it's a horrible feeling that, you know what? It wasn't those- ever really oh, saying oh, right. we have to admit that they're right or wrong or anything like that. That the idea that you wanted me to, to not say anything at all negated oh. and undermined everything that I did here. In this I'll community. tell you what we had to gain. Apparently justification of jealousy. Fuck off. Come on. No, then again, no, y'all know no, me. Right, I've right, always said, right. if you got issues, you want to say something, come up on my panel. You know that's how we roll. Yeah. You know what well, we do. I'm not going to change now. I'm glad that y'all finally came over because I've been inviting you for eight damn months. Shit. <laughs> but, I've been busy. I, I do. But um, I do want to say something else really quick. Is that um, we have noticed? We have noticed there. There's a lot of people because the animosity was very, very high, high level. There was a lot of people that could have kicked us and said the whole "I told you so." I told you. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people, and honestly. I couldn't have blamed them if they did. But for the most part, those people that tried to tell us and we fought against you, they they haven't done that for the most part. Um, and I yeah. and I appreciate that. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't have blamed anybody that did because, yeah. you know, I can't say necessarily if I would have I wouldn't have done it. I don't know. But You're 100% I do appreciate right, that. I totally do we remembered that. how sickened we felt. So we we knew how you were feeling. Because we had those feelings too. We felt lied to and betrayed when we were trying to to put something right and it was misconstrued. Um, I wanted to get Claire away from the Rusex and I made no no qualms about that. Because I, in my opinion, she's abused them. This is emotional abuse. What she's done. Yep. Mental abuse, and manipulation. And manipulation. And you've all been emotionally abused because as loyal friends, you stood up for someone you believed in. And she let you do that. And she didn't care about the consequences. And when the consequences yeah. started to happen, from what I can understand, she just ghosted you. Rather than own your shit and say, "Oh fuck, I, you know, I took something too far," and you know, he, he is only, the deal. How can we sort this? Not only the ghosting, but she's still continuing down her same path of offering to help people with copyright stuff. Are you oh. kidding? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah. yeah. I I can't even believe I'm saying that. And now she's hanging around with Dorothy. That, yeah. The uneducated buffoon who sits there spouting her opinions on subjects she knows absolutely nothing about. What does that say? What's the message here for people who are trying to support the Rusex? If they're still supporting- One thing I have to say is that when one, you you, um, pretend to know things that you don't know or that you're open with some people you're saying some things to some people, you know that there's nothing personal about this. Y'all know me. I'm not going to be very brainwashed and fooled. Come on. No. And that goes to Dorothy and them because that's, that's what happened. That's apparently what y'all did. So. Fuck. No, you were led astray. You were led astray by by the mean girls who were shameful, terrible, disgusting, pathetic. Don't forget pathetic, pathetic every third word, pathetic friends who did this. Pathetic friend called her to task because I expected more from people. Yeah, that's what this friend did. So 
and this friend will say whatever the fuck she wants. Mm-hmm. You're not going to keep me quiet. You're not going to make me say anything. Okay. And That's done. Always, it's over with. I don't care. We've always been you... the kind of people in our channel where it's, it's what right, what's right is right, regardless of who's saying it. And if someone's being wronged, it's wrong. It does. We, it's not about picking sides and, and picking a team. It's about supporting what's right and pointing out what's wrong. Mm-hmm. And nobody should be abused for that. Nobody. And Dorothy's inserting herself into something. It's none of her fucking business. This. None of this involves Dorothy at all. How did that come up? I mean, how did how did it end up over there with you, Dot? Yeah. That's why I. How did it get there? Why she got herself involved? She doesn't have a, a dog in this fight, does she? Did Claire reach out to you, or did you reach out to Claire? Did you guys reach out together? I mean, obviously that you know uh, Claire's utilizing Dorothy so she can try and slither her way back into whatever yeah. does not left of the community that you've already obliterated, Claire. And Dorothy's using Claire because that's going to be her end of the family, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what this is all about. Call a fucking spade a spade. That's exactly what it is. It is. Dorothy wants to be the new BAM. Dorothy aspires to that. She wants to be all involved. She wants to have blind followers. And she wants to be able to, to stand up there and preach two, three times a week, a load of nonsense, and have them all lap it up. And what will give her credibility is getting closer to the family. And this is what Claire's giving her. Yeah, and that's something the family wants. And we're this being is- accused of, gla- of dragging Claire for having three lives about this in two fucking months. Yeah. Yeah. Thousands of lives being raked over the coals. Can't well, I mean, the, the, the lies start with Claire when she started to tell you that um, her credentials and education had been bleached off the internet due to a horrific DV situation she was in. Well, except for that one copy that's sitting with Canada Immigration in Mississauga, which is only a few hours from me. Don't forget that. Exactly. So um, you're escaping this horrific DV. You've had your education (laughs) and your qualifications bleached off the Internet, but you are all over every social media platform that you can use. You're using the married name of the man who did the DV, um, on some of the platforms and you're using your maiden name in the others. But some um, of them, Whiskey, let's just even bring it even better to perspective. As current as this week on her Facebook, she is so scared for her life that once you come to Canada, she can pinpoint her exact location of where she is to the ultimate degree of latitude and longitude. That's how scared she is for her life. She yeah. can location check in on Facebook. Yeah. Because once you come to Canada, AD can't get at you. No exes. Can, nobody can get at you. You're safe here in Canada, baby. Give me a Did break. Did you give the immigration over there the IPO numbers? Is that who we have to ask? <laughs> Is that where they've been this whole time? Shit. <laughs> why did I? You know? I could have just run down. It's only a few hours drive and picked them up for everybody. Why didn't you just say so, Claire? They've been sitting with Canada immigration all this time. What were we thinking? No. Uh, and, and she's lied about, you know, yes, she was a solicitor, that she's retired because of ill health. Um, there is no record of her obtaining an LLB anywhere. Um, uh, we went through all the law faculties looking for her in her maiden name and her married name and variations of. We even checked in her mother's maiden name and, you know, just in case she really was hiding for domestic violence reasons. So... You know, she perpetuated it, even though we were letting her know, look, no, we've checked this. It's not right now. Can I ask you a question, uh, Whiskey, because I know you'll be able to answer this. And this is the one thing where between Canadian American and UK, I I don't understand. What is the difference between, because she's, again, she's said a couple different stories. She is a solicitor. She qualified as a solicitor. What is the difference between those two? Qualifying... and no, the, the, there really is no difference. When you when you do your Bachelor of Law degree in the UK, as soon as you pass, as long as you've got more than a 2-2, that's you qualified to be a solicitor in your field. So okay. um, then it's a case of getting employed by a law firm. 
and that's when you become a assistant solicitor. So you're at the bottom of the ladder and you're assisting the, the higher up solicitors and you slowly work your way up the ladder until you get to partnership. So there, you as soon as you get that degree, you're qualified. Okay. You're up and running. You just need to find a job. Then you become an employed solicitor. <laughs> as, as opposed to a fake retired unemployed one. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm sorry, but the, the, the Google thing, that, that, that was laughable. First of all, um, anybody who, who has worked in law firms knows that a big company like Google will not have people just turn up at the door. Look what happened at YouTube with the, the, the spree shooter. You know, obviously, that's not welcome, that kind of behavior. It's not a smart thing to do. Law firms use an internal courier service. It's called DX, and they send it from their law firm to the law agents that they're trying to communicate with. That's the proper way to do things. Had they wanted to transmit information to the Google UK legal department, that would have been the correct method to do. And it would have got through the post room and into the offices of the legal department. Turning up, looking like you've just walked the dogs around Battersea Park with your foot in the door, um, claiming to be a solicitor and demanding that you get to speak to someone is the most unprofessional thing I've ever seen in all my born days. And yet, People glorified them and said, oh, this is amazing. Google stormers. We all knew the truth. It I was thought amazing. it was kind of a cool thing, to be perfectly honest. I thought it was a very, like, where, who else? And I get now that you say from the perspective, you know, they they never know who, who might sh show up on a shooting spree. But, I mean, that that's not what this is about. The overall, what they were trying to achieve, maybe it shouldn't have been put out that way. But, the again, the intentions were good. And it's something... You know, who has ever gone to Google to actually hand deliver evidence? So Google can't come back and say they didn't fucking get shit. And that's really ultimately what I think that trip boiled down to. It can't come down, right? The police body cam have clear. Yeah, it was proactive. It was, it, was a, it was a precursor for things that were supposed to happen. Yeah, it, it, uh, was, you know, it was. Google that's, not that's being what able it was. to come back it and say, we never yeah. got this. Right. We never got this. Yeah, you did because it's on police body cam that it was hand delivered to your door. That but if, they, if they'd sent it by DX, it, it would have it would have been recorded as having arrived and, and whose hands it went into. There's a, a correct way of doing things. If you're going to do anything legal, you have to do it in the correct manner. Right. Um, and obviously not being from there, it, it, yeah. yeah, we wouldn't know anything about that. No, no. Um, we're British, you know. We like things we like things done the old way. I'm just way. a stoned Canadian, so <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was stoned, but no. Big old um, Canadian. It's um it is a it, it was a huge tell that this was um yes, the intent was good, I understand the emotion behind it, but it was a very silly thing to do based on what other nutters have turned up at Google and YouTube. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It could have gone badly wrong for them. Um, so that, that, that to me, the, the fact that she didn't present herself as a professional, I would have expected her representing the family, handing over some file to the legal department, I would expect her to dress accordingly because that, you know, you're, you're showing respect for Fair the action that you're taking and that didn't happen. So again, I'm like, well, there's no law school training here. Um, That's a then, fair point. That's a very fair point. When she turned up on my channel that night, um, as soon as I started asking her questions, she, she got all flustered and bamboozled and started talking about her health issues. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm done with this shit. I'm done with the pretending. And the reason I was done was because my first year in my law degree we had to learn to do moots, which is practicing being in a courtroom and, and arguing for your side. And there are skills involved in it. And she displayed absolutely none of them. And she was an embarrassment. And I asked her to stop lying and she kept reinforcing the lie. And I was like, I'm fuck off, I'm done. Um, because if nobody can see what I'm seeing now, then there's no point in us carrying on. And that's when we decided to just go private. We're like, well, clearly they're okay with this 
shit show. So yeah. we're just going to go off and do our true crime and chit chats privately and leave them all to it because eventually it will all come to light. And it did come to light, but what I, I didn't like the way it came to light and I didn't like the way it impacted people like yourselves, enough, not um genuinely hurt genuinely betrayed and um nobody allowing you to have those feelings and nobody was saying hang on a minute if she's been betraying everybody giving them false hope and false information all this time then she needs to be removed from the the, the orbit of the family because she's doing damage here and that didn't happen either no and again i just wanted to quickly point out just to add, add to that just a perspective point again let's even give claire the benefit of the doubt that she's come clean with the family and she's professed everything that whatever whatever she didn't do she's she's owned up to that with them so again now the family is okay with claire lying to an entire fucking community that she obliterated that's not right either no. That's why I said being here or still considering this to be any kind of a community is a joke. It's, and it became a farce. Hard. And it, it, it became so, it upset me so that, um, it, again, it, it was about the strikes. It was about knowing that his channel was going to be reinstated and knowing that there were other people in this community that didn't want me to tell the truth about why the channel was back. Why wouldn't I? Y'all should have, ordinarily, uh, y'all would have been making videos about it. Can I, tell you you go the, can I tell you about the Green Channel story? The truth. His uh, what? Titanic his Island, Island uh, bad flute to us, uh, island there, Juju Island. It, his Green Channel went, didn't it? Um, it didn't go did. anywhere. He hid it. No, he didn't hide it. Do you know what the idiot did? He accidentally deleted it. And he didn't know how to get it back. Maureen told him how to get his channel back. But when well, he, he came back, it. he accidentally hit it. He, he, yeah, so when he came back, he lied and said, um, well, this is, it. This, is, this is YouTube giving me my channel back yeah. because you're wrong and I'm right. No. He but he also tried to play that up, up too. Again. It he tried to play that gone. up that all, all his Patreon videos were gone. Well, they were gone because your channel was hidden and that broke the tie. To the Lincoln mm -hmm. Patreon, but that was the trolls taking them down, right? Yeah. He spun that in a in a absolutely he spins way. everything. Yeah, and so, as many ways as he can. Yeah, and Google wasn't on his side. They didn't give him his, you know, they didn't review it and give him his channel back. He just brought it back up. Yep, was it? Spun it into a story that made it made absolutely. Pity party. He's a poker player. That's yep. what they do. All of this is a big game to him. Oh, it's a piss the whole contest for him, and he's never going to stop. He's never going to stop. If he deleted his Juju Island channel, he would have had to re-upload all those fucking videos he had. When you, because the reason I say he hit it is because when you would go to his channel, the message you would get was not a 404 error. It was, it didn't, it wasn't hidden. It wasn't a 404 page error, which would you, you yeah, would get. Yeah, Martin, Ma Martin's, I think, said the same thing, not on, if memory serves correctly. When he that, had well, the point is basically he's an idiot. He fucked yes. something up, and then exactly. he, tried, he tried to use his fuck up to his advantage of saying. Yeah, I have a genetic code story that I could tell right now that would be very appropriate. Go ahead. I don't even know what she's gonna say. A certain okay. YouTuber was having a certain live stream, and people were in there lurking. And oh my gosh, lo and behold, they saw genetic code. <laughs> What happened? She was cleaning on her keyboard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, that's why y'all found yeah. saw her do that. That's yeah. that's you know literally what, what happened. I'll totally address that too. That was yeah. that live of Bam where she finally went off on Frankie for the first time about the arrest record. Yeah. I was listening it? to Bam's fucking stuff. I was listening to it. I was mm -hmm. fucking cleaning around. Everybody y'all were too. Apparently they saw you. <laughs> yeah, well, this is where we're going. This is where we're going with this. So while I'm cleaning and listening going, oh my God, what the fuck is she going to come out with today? And then I realized it was going to be the arrest record. I'm cleaning my keyboard and I've got my laptop attached to my 42 inch flat screen. Well, all of a sudden as I'm blowing and I've got my little keyboard brush, 
I fucking just stop. And it was all in like slow-mo. And I look to the right at my black <laughs> screen and there's a shitload of symbols, letters, and jumbled fucking up bullshit in her live chat. Well, and they're saying, hi, genetic code. Yeah, so I retracted <laughs> that because it looked ridiculous. I don't know what, but it made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but I wasn't retracting. There was a the lot of people that were trying to do code cracking with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Zodiac. Like but I wasn't trying to, you know, retract it because, oh, my God, nobody will see that I've done that. Nobody will know that I was here. Right? Me Nobody's not. Bam's up there, hi, genetic code. So, yeah, I was cleaning my keyboard, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And ended up in chat. And then we had somebody in the chat themselves lurking, doing GPS inventory on every other creator, calling me out that I'm supporting Bam. And I must be supporting Bam because I was seen in her chat. Exactly. See, that, this, that see, is this comical is a, to me. We've, we've been misunderstood massively because yeah. we, we, we never flip-flopped. We never went to the other side. We, we never said... Oh right, the Rusex are bad. AD is good. That was never the case. We were always just trying to point out that there were some bad people orbiting around. Well, I'm never fucking place. cleaning my keyboard again. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was y'all have no idea how hard we we laughed about that. Hey, God, well, we, we had one sub who accidentally went into bams. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, she thought she was typing a comment in our live stream, but she wasn't. She was actually in bams and said something yeah. that she shouldn't have said. Mm. Yeah, let's say she went on bams naughty list. So it happens, you know. There's but, but the fact of the matter is, just because you're fucking in somebody else's chat doesn't mean that you agree with every fucking no. thing that creator says. I'll exactly. be honest. There's a shitload of stuff that Bam has spewed out that I am in complete 1,000% against mm. and do not support in any way, shape, or fucking form. But mm. there's a lot of stuff, too, that Bam has said that I do agree with. Yeah. But again, that doesn't mean because I'm seen in her chat by GPS inventory, creator inventory, fucking self-appointed YouTube police... Don't speak for me and say that I support Bam in every single... Or I mm. support whoever in whatever chat you see me in, why is it okay for you to be in that chat lurking, taking everybody else's inventory and calling them out? What the fuck? Yeah. Ask me. That's what I've always said. Ask yeah. any of us in our channel. Do you want to know where we stand on this? Ask us and we'll give you the answer. I'll tell you, we'll tell you exactly what I agree with. Thing. What I agree with and what I don't disagree with. Yeah. And I've always people. said that everybody, if y'all want to say anything, come over to my channel. There's never been any ugliness and gratuitous, but I'm not going to not let somebody speak no. for whatever reason. It's not going to end now. Why would I not do that now? I've, I've yeah. always said this. So if anybody is going to even put me in the term flip flopper, fence sitter, any anything, I will I'll be back. <laughs> but yeah. You're not going to do that. I've no. always invited people here. I've always said, y'all can go to which channels you want. I was sitting there watching that live stream, calling them out when they were condemning the Rusex for being in that chat because they wouldn't talk to Bubbles. It's, 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 it's a fact. This is, this, y'all know me at least. You I'm can hate me. I don't care. I was that, that the Rusex went into to Bam's channel. I was furious. I'm like, well, any credibility that they had is now gone. But that was the Rusex choice to do, and you can't exactly. take that away from them. And that was that was the only chance they had to talk to Bubbles. So why would they, they, they take it? Yeah. Right. They took yeah, advantage yeah. of an opportunity. Yeah. Bubbles it didn't matter never if, been in any on what? anybody else's panel other than ADs. They took that as an opportunity to say to her face to face what they needed to say. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter whose panel it was. I was yeah, I was just gonna say take yes. that same atmosphere, remove Bam and put any other creator in and that position yeah. and the same thing would have happened. Yeah. I would have been okay with it had it been any other creator. But I felt very uncomfortable that they were, oh God bless you, Bam, and did it. And I'm thinking, oh God, do they know some of what she's done? Some of the people that she's really gone for hard, it's not going to look good them teaming up, appearing to team up with her. To me, I was thinking about the optics of the campaign. I wasn't thinking this is their one opportunity to speak to Bubbles directly. I was thinking, oh, God, this is going to look bad. 
Well, I, that that's how I saw it. And I was actually, I was really happy for them to have that opportunity. And yeah. I think Bam handled it very well. She was very yeah. respectful and very yeah. polite. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I'm just glad that they got that opportunity. And you have, you've noticed like she hasn't really showed up anywhere else since then. Right. No. You know, so well, th was, that was their was one. And only I've invited her, all, all, all of his mods or anybody to come up and, and, and talk to me over the months and the years that we've been here. Yeah. I've, so, I'm proving again, I'm capable of being polite. I'm capable of being decent. I'm capable yeah. of certain things just like, uh, you know, um, I think it was Dorothy's. Hmm. Wasn't Dorothy's live stream? Oh, wow. and people came in and they were, you know, saying, oh my gosh, you started saying certain things about people that came in. And I said it very clearly. I'm a guest here. I'm not going to say anything that would put or make me look like an asshole, essentially. I'm capable of being that person. Yeah. I've always been that way. It's not going to change now. No. But what you do on your own channel with your, your you know, your own subs that you're comfortable with, you, you can you can have a different delivery, can't you? But when you're a guest on someone else's channel, in my opinion, you act like you are sitting across the dinner table from each other. That's the mm -hmm. amount of respect you should give each other. And, and I've always thought that way. I, that, I, I agree. You know, you tonight, tonight this morning, um, I... I came in and wanted to take the link because uh, I could see how emotional Nuff Nuff was getting and it's not Aww. fair. And, you know, it, it's okay for Helen to have a completely different uh, perspective on, on the situation. She's Everybody's entitled to different perspectives, but mm -hmm. it should be acknowledged. These people have been betrayed and hurt and lied to and then ghosted and then sort of pushed out to the side but you either shut up and pretend it didn't happen and we just crack on or we're just going to slowly squeeze you to the outside and i don't want to see that happen it's not fair um you know you, you were a tight group of ladies uh you know you were all ride or die girls and um just as as the ladies are in my channel we we're all ride or die and we're not that different. We're actually just people who like the truth. That's it. Of course, and that's true. I agree with that. Um, so, um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I can't see your chat. Um, but if Nuff Nuff's still in, I hope she's okay. Um, I did reach out to her by email um, after, after Mo and I did that stream about Claire. Um, to, to, to try and sort of say, look, I, I, we know how you feel. We're not, we we were not gloating. We were not rubbing our hands with glee, saying, oh, look at this shit show. That is not how it went down at all. We watched what was happening that day, and Mo and I weren't scheduled to do a live because it was a Tuesday, and I said to Mo, this isn't right. We need to speak up. We need to support these ladies. They're going through what we went through all the months before. And Mo said, right, hit the link. Let's do it. And that's what we did. And we tried to be as, you know, welcoming to everybody that came in. Um, and we tried to, to just say, look, you need to listen to these ladies. You need to understand the impact that Claire's actions have had and are going to have on the campaign that they've worked so hard on for three years. It's well, not right that she's getting away with throwing that grenade and blowing your community apart and walking away like a shit don't stink. But if, and here's my question too, and another part of why I felt the need to speak out. You can't tell me that these actions of Claire's have not hurt their case in the long run. And that's really fucking painful to say, but nobody, how can anybody fucking deny that? How can they stand there and say Google did, or YouTube, Google, whatever, it's all one and the same, that Google did everything, you know, didn't do everything that they should have done. And again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. 99% of the times YouTube has not ad adhered to their own policies and procedures mm -hmm. and rules and regulations, which is why we were in the situation in the first place. Yeah. But this one time, this one time that could have had his channel taken down while the civil 
litigation is pending in 18 years mm -hmm. when it finally does go to court. How has that helped their how has that helped them? Well, Jen, you need to you need to remember what happens on YouTube in the legal case, two totally separate things. It is so, two separate things. What Claire was doing was nothing to do with the legal case that the right, was right. doing. However, but we've had people saying however, that. from the legal aspect, what you do have is your defendant, A D, now able to throw up you that's, had somebody pretending to that, be a lawyer saying they were dragging me. You were targeting me. That's my yeah. point. I, I know very well yeah. that the two it, issues are very separate. And, and sorry, I didn't. But it, but it doesn't mesh it into any future case because no. that's where he's going to go with it. He's going to say, they they, targeted me. this legal representative that falsely said. Falsely targeted me. Falsely said, targeted me. Who falsely targeted me who made allegations that um, she'd taken me to court and there was an injunction and a, and a court order was being handed to YouTube and it affected my income and my business, my credibility, my book, my documentary, my film, my again, lifestyle magazine, whatever. All the people say. that haven't received their signed or responses. Yeah. It's, all, it's, all, it's all going to be because of that. That's going to be where his defense team will go. Yeah. And that's that's, that's why in what I meant. Thank you for nobody's seeing the bigger picture here. Yeah, thank you. And you were much better at explaining it than I, than I was. And that's exactly what I meant by hurting their case in the future. I didn't mean as them uh, accumulating and combining together because they're not in no. any way. No, but he can use her actions as evidence yeah. of it being more or less a tit for tat. But where it becomes serious is, unfortunately. At some point, Mrs. Rusek believed Claire to be a solicitor and said as much on her channel. She did. So now it looks like the Ruseks were in on it when they they probably weren't. Yeah. They and again, didn't. and again, let's let's just confirm for people that haven't been here. Cohen Davis verified Claire Morgan is Claire Morgan, and by Claire Morgan's very own admission. Show not that we asked her, she on her own accord brought up the lawyer portal and showed us. Look, Cohen Davis has verified me. She was verified as Claire Morgan through a utility bill, something with her address on it, and her there is a, portfolio. And there, is Claire a, Morgan. there is a Claire Morgan, a qualified solicitor with a law firm, but she's a beautiful blonde businesswoman, and she has an E at the end of her Claire name. Here. Yes. Yes. So what um, Cohen Davis failed to do was say, this person I'm looking at in this photograph is not the person I'm looking at who's I don't even think the law Cohen society Davis. is the SRA and is all over. They never looked at that because that's not what, that what they, they needed. She they told us they looked into that. She said they, it was a background check. All that's all they wanted to do was basically had they had a permission form from Frankie saying, "Listen, we mm -hmm. want to give permission to this lady," and all they did was a security background check to make yeah. sure she didn't have a criminal record. As exactly. That's exactly. and everything that would have been looked at or that had any involvement in that regard, it would have been in that patient or patient. Sorry, the 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 client portal, and yeah. also yeah. shows you that she has no problem showing other people sensitive information. The family Much less offering hers, but she can't to, give it to her Be friends. She couldn't yeah. even show nope. you where she was at with the court case. Yeah, the that show. was it. The As a community, department. when you're sitting here talking yeah. about how you're waiting to hear back from the court and you're about to get this judgment and everything is this, that is the delusion that I will not sign up on. Okay, you were sitting here telling everybody you got these numbers. Why couldn't yeah. you show us? Because they didn't exist. But you want to simple. show us you want to show us the stuff in a lawyer portal dashboard that we have no we didn't ask to see we didn't ever want to see but you showed us on your own code that you shouldn't be showing a fucking single person yeah well i mean she's on the electoral roll so you know what she's what mean? what does that mean the electoral roll uh the, we hold a census every 10 years in the United Kingdom and we log where everybody lives and works and how many live in the house, yada, yada. And it gives you your address and your postcode and your electoral roll is where 
um, your name is at that address. So when it comes to time to, to vote on elections, they send your ah. electoral card to that address. So Thank she you. she is publicly on an electoral roll and she's publicly on the 192.com. That's not a person hiding because they're in fear of their life. If you're in fear of your life, you can apply to be not on the electoral roll, not publicly searched. She's not. The reason why I why I put out what I did tonight, again, being a part of a true community, um, I'm not going to not have my morals and principles. And they were the same last week as they are right now. When she said... They verified her. She said, remember this, they verified her credentials. She allowed people like me to come up and, and, and defend her, that yep. she was telling the truth, that she was who she was. Of course, they checked her out. My gosh, whatever. You, When you allow people to continue that lie, mm. and that they're out there fighting for you because they, they believe that you're telling the truth, mm. which is what we did. And when we, when she was showing us but that, she scrolled now, through it. No. She scrolled huh? through it so fast. When she showed yeah. us that mm -hmm. stuff, she was like, "Look, look, they verified me, Cohen Davis. They mm -hmm. verified me. They verified my credentials." She spun through that stuff so fast. We didn't catch it until well after the fact when the ship blew up. Yeah, and I wasn't in there. That's that's just, this is what they did. Of course, they're not going to let me in here if I'm this or that. Yeah, she's not a felon. They did a background check. All I ever asked was, okay, maybe they whatever they verified. Why can't they verify it for us? If you saw something, what was it that you saw? People are telling me this one saw it. This one got it from her. They saw it. When it came down to it, nobody saw shit. Nobody saw um, shit. Yeah. And I showed you. It wasn't in there. And what she yeah. did show. That's yeah. what they call, uh, you know, she they checked her out. It was a background check. That's all it was, a background check. Yes. Yeah. This is who she says she is. That's where she lives. And no, she doesn't have an arrest record. And, and now just to, I'm going to put this right here when she said of course they they checked me out they did this they did that well of course she did of course we saw that do any of y'all have the ipo number no nope. anybody else in this community have the ipo number could she give y'all that when no, she was anybody? looking and pulling up Kate, uh his uh Rusek jr's case file mm -hmm. with his legal team just so you know um G genetic code asked uh Helen several times if she's seen the IPO number and Helen said in chat that she has not seen it either. My, my point being that what she, we asked her within days, just can you verify that for us? No, she couldn't because it didn't exist. After, it didn't she, people, that she, would, after she said she would show us anything we wanted to see. We wanted she, her pulling up this, this, this stuff right here and showing us these things and being okay with it. Then don't say, me asking for her credentials or anybody asking her for her credentials was so personal and such a personal slight as a Listen, friend. You know, it, it would take me a while to find mine, but I can fling mine up on a screenshot anytime you like. You know, it's 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 not deeply personal to say. Well, you know, when, you know, when people are, I, I think, you know, when you're talking about numbers, SR number, yeah. whatever. She, Everybody knows she told seven or eight different reasons why you weren't going to find it. Not why you, how she could give it to you and provide it by making a phone call. So again, the numbers, the magic numbers, the magic IPO numbers. What were her excuses? That what is she telling y'all behind the scenes over Helen? What did she tell you why she didn't have the IP number? Why y'all couldn't see it? Why did she tell you that Google dropped the case? That's where I'm at. She's offering up stuff that we don't even need to see. That's got nothing we shouldn't be seeing in the first place. But it's nothing that we want to see that has anything to do with it. But she can't show a fucking IPO number. So that dog doesn't hunt anymore. Don't, don't say it's because of privacy or anything yeah. else or that it was confidential. Yeah. When she's up here yeah. telling everybody so many different things that yeah. would push it came to shove. Well, she's minute, a fucking punk. The minute we found her on the public electoral roll, we knew the whole story was bullshit. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, even here, fuck, if you're going to be on a public electoral roll, you're not really hiding from anybody, are you? It makes nope. it pretty easy for you to be found. And if you are protected, you... You have a document that you can take to to have your name expunged, right? So that you can't be found. So she wouldn't have no. been found. Exactly. That was the case. Yeah, I get exactly. it. Exactly. Fucking hell. So, 
you know, the, the, the lies were piling one on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. And we were sitting watching all of this going, how is she getting away with all of this? You know, how long ago? Be... How long ago was it, Whiskey, that you started calling her out on that shit? May. Oh, my God. Was it that long ago? May. September, October, November, December. That was seven freaking months ago. Holy yeah. crap. I didn't realize it had been that long. Yeah. And, and you know, that that's why we, we just had to go private because wow. you can, you know, the old saying, you can take a horse to water, you can't make it drink. We tried to expose it and nobody wanted to hear it. Well, so, yeah. No, you're right. Nobody did want to hear it because we all, yeah. well, I can't say we all because I can't speak for we all. I myself gave a try. You want to talk about giving passes? I gave Claire a trust pass. Listen, she's done this before in other things on the internet. This isn't her first rodeo, so oh, you know, is it she, not? No, she's well practiced at this. You know, she has a history of doing this, getting involved in campaigns and wiggling her way into the the center of it to be important. And um, you know the, the bullshit story that she said about being, you know, the, the person that took down Anisian didn't happen. Yeah, I've heard references to that a couple of times. It didn't I, happen. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. So she, we'll give, she, she's wanna... done this before in other internet campaigns. This is how, you know, someone with a boring life with not a lot else to do gets the jollies, apparently. Well, yeah, because as I said, she's continuing on in the same formation by offering to help friggin' Dorothy with her fucking... There you go. Whatever strikes. Whatever. So, the, uh, yeah, it's, what's going to happen is, is Claire's going to help Dorothy destroy any channels that question Claire. Yeah. At least have the decency, Claire, to set up your own fucking channel and strike and do it. Yeah, I don't, don't <laughs> tell people that life. you're in danger or, or that you, I hurt your feelings by asking for your credentials. It's just simply not the case. No. Um, uh, and then continue this fuckery behind the scenes. I always yeah. said, be honest about your fuckery if that's what you're going to be doing. Don't yeah. expect a person like me not to follow up that you're actually saying something foolish that I'm being fooled or I'm brainwashed. And again, I, mean, I, I said this earlier, her, her lengths of deception went as far as her, guys, I'm going to start a stream yard. I'll show you whatever you want to see. And again, all that came out of my mouth. So we get up on the stream yard. This was the day after the cease and desist that she laughed about and then went to bed. Uh, the day after, after we waited all day, we finally get on the stream yard. And she's like, so what are we here for? She almost had that lackadaisical mm -hmm. attitude. Like, why yeah. are we here? She did. And I'm like, what? That's yeah. not okay. And y'all know that. At least now you know it. So if you want to continue yeah, that, to say yeah, any and bullshit I, and fuckery, I'm going to follow up with it. I'm not yeah. obligated not to say anything, especially now. And I told you that a long time ago. And when she had that, I was like, it was her actions that triggered him to do the cease and desist. The what? It was her actions that triggered him into doing the cease and desist. Well, I mean, she, we were all. I mean, well, we were wait, all wait, wait. Do, do you, uh, Whiskey, are, is, that, is that your assumption or do you know that for a fact? I, I would say, yes, it's a fact, because what was happening was he was seeing his um, yeah, you guys were numbers going down, um, that he was getting attacked from every angle. And, of course, it had been said that, you know, she she had this thing going on legally and he would be down by the end of the week. He was panic-stricken. He was beside himself. Good. <laughs> he had to think. How am I going to solve this? How am I going to stop this? And so he lashed out. It's like, you know, you corner a fucking badger. What do you expect? It's going to come out and rip your face off. And, and that was what happened. And again, I forgot you guys were on that Zoom fucking call with them. You know? You don't corner a wild animal and then not expect it. A backlash, yeah. Fucking come out striking. And, and, and what I mean happened? As, as a side note, it did it didn't fucking work. I mean, we still haven't seen. <laughs> well, yeah. I said earlier, I'm not saying yeah. I, I, I said I'm earlier, I'm still waiting not. for Bubbles to to give me my injunction that she, she's supposed to be coming after the Americans, and I haven't seen anything. Hey, still I'm waiting. still I'm still waiting for my reply to the cease and desist that I sent to the friggin' solicitors from a month and well, I sent it October 18th. 
I'm still waiting for that reply. Oh, yeah. to, be involved. to respond, yeah. Well, maybe he needs to raise more money for them to write a letter in response. Who knows? From that um, legal fund that hasn't gone up on front of his in like a month. <laughs> no. But look at look at what's happened to the the RISAC legal fund. That's not moved since all this blew up about Claire, has it? It's, it's, you know what? It's very sad, but it's a very, very true statement. Yeah. I said the same thing. I said, I actually just said She's that earlier. done more damage than people are admitting and acknowledging. And so, so that, I, I that, that, that's thing. what I kept saying at the beginning as well. There's a lot of, there is going to be even more collateral damage in the future. Yeah. So y'all so, will know that's going to happen. But what I, um, said, what I said you can is Claire will come up in court that he will. Claire was himself. able. Yeah. Claire was able to do in a few months what AD's been trying to do for three years. That that's how damaging I see this as. Say that again, Cheryl. Yeah. Claire did in a few months what AD's been trying to do for three years, which is shut down our community. Yeah, our yeah. Community. yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. and and, and, and I'm, I'm not. I'm he not being, you know, dramatic about it. Martin's well. still making some videos and he's making really good videos. And, you know, there's some, there's people still out there talking, but are we, are we cohesive like we used to be? No, uh, no. no not at no. all. Not at all. No. It's kind of, um, well, it's a clusterfuck really, isn't it? But I can't only tell what truth that y'all are okay with, you know, I'm going to yeah, tell the truth. Collective truth. We're so, going to tell the collective truth. Yeah, that's not going to change just because you don't like what my truth is. Exactly. It's not going to happen. And no. to, uh, to think that anybody like me would actually be okay with that and not say anything at all, but if that's we did, one thing. If we did but do that, we, that would make us brainwash. But y'all yeah. knew what was happening and you're, you're having the reaction. or you, you, you did what you ended up doing. That is not okay. But again, I didn't come up here to cause drama. I don't ever do that. But damn it, don't tell me my business. And that's why we're talking about it. Mm. It's, it's that um, simple. And I'll say what I want. I will do what I want. I've always said that too. I've had people in here. Come in here. Take a fucking link and explain yourself. Whether they actually come in or not. Right now at this point, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Why wouldn't I continue that? Exactly. Why change? So now you're, don't, ever, don't anybody come at me about being a flip-flopper, a fence-sitter, mm. um, Feelings are hurt. I'm jealous, bitter, or whatever. If I like had done really anything, if I stood yourself. for anything in this community, it was about telling the fucking truth, which is exactly. what I've done. I'm bitter exactly. and jealous of a fake fucking solicitor. You know? Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I, a fake retired solicitor. A fake retired solicitor. My apologies. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, no, the, the, the damage is ongoing and i don't think um the rusex realized just how much has landed in ad's hands as a result of what she's done that's really Shit, and i'm muted and as much as i hate to admit that what you just said affected me it did because it's the truth i might not like what you're saying but it's the truth. Mm. We did a lot of shit has go, is going to this impacted a lot. Yeah, a lot, a, an awful lot. And look at all mm -hmm. of the the people that have been hurt. The the, the actual collateral damage of, of people who's who've been emotionally wrung out because they were on this countdown of he's going to be down in a week, he's going to be down in two days, and all. All he has to do is mention Frankie's name and I'll get on the phone and that's it, gone forever. You, mm -hmm. All yeah. those people were hanging on going, oh, God, yeah, now we're yeah. finally doing it. We're at the finishing line, only to find out it was all a lie. A well, and on top of that, from my perspective, everything that I fought for well before Claire, I knew even knew anything about Claire, and I'm going back to January 2019. As far as I'm concerned, everything that I've been fighting for is in – even worse shape and positioning now than it was three years ago. Yeah. We're in yeah. a worse position now getting, anyway, I mean, getting him down. He, he's gained ground yeah. because of her actions. I mean, he's um, sinking overall. He's lost traction because Overall, of he's sinking his channel. And, yes, and I hate having to admit that that's the truth. Yeah. And that not. is the truth. I mean, she has. Mm. 
And, and what we it's, don't it's hurtful. Is, it's hurtful to see that that people are, are are taking the truth that we're telling, and I'm showing you on tonight, and I showed you, and going in and and perpetuating the idea that there was a reason why we're doing it. We're jealous. We're stupid. We're lying. We like drama. Um, Y'all are missing the picture here. Let's just go ahead and say that. Instead again, of admitting admitting that we're telling the truth and you know we're right and, and you know we're people of integrity, you're going to make up excuses about why we, we would be again, doing it. I mean, we've got whiskey up here right now. So <laughs> let's look at this right into perspective. All of us collectively are the ones that are lying. And Claire's the only one telling the truth. All of us are making all this shit up and only Claire's telling the truth. Yeah. Because we're all about, jealous. Yeah. We're all oh, very jealous. Very we, can, we can evidence everything that I've said. You know, Ma Maureen is a, a great crypt keeper. <laughs> and, um, you know, we don't come up and say things unless we can back it up because obviously we expect people to say. Which is why I, I never fucking said that you run a tr sex trafficking uh, <laughs> ring, Maureen Cook. Oh my God, yeah. I never said that. We never insinuated that. Come on. None of us have ever said that. No, it was someone in your chat. I didn't see it. I would not no, have. It was, I, it was um, someone in your chat told us to, uh, I think it was to Foxtrot Oscar over to to the human trafficking side. I mean, yeah, just he's the one that's always, you know, they accuse me of being a child trafficker. What the? And bringing doctor fucking fake ass quack children trafficking from fucking Bosnia. Yeah. What the hell? Nobody yeah. has ever, not from here, has accused him of that. So, no, shut no. that shit up. Um, no, uh, it's googling incest porn. Yeah, yeah, you brought that. Yeah, you know, that, yeah. that was pretty much a fact. We all saw that, but yeah. again, just you know, uh, uh, his own Google search history. So, that's uh -huh. a fucking fact. That fact yeah. is going to be a fucking spade, it's going to be fucking called. Yeah. But never no. about any child trafficking. No. Goddamn Bosnia no. or wherever. And, and I have to say, most had a lot of stick because when we were doing public lives, um, she's always been one to say, yes, that's disgusting. He shouldn't have done that. But when he's been accused of something she knew absolutely wasn't true, she's, she's, she's still on point and she says, no, he might be many things, but he's not that. He's never not accused that. him of being a fucking pedophile. You know? Uh, and she got a lot of stick for it. Oh, she still hates supporting it. No, she was just speaking the truth. The truth is the truth. Yes, he's a bad fucker because he's done X, Y, and Z. No, he isn't A, B, and C that he's been accused of. Um, and she got a lot of stick for it. it it's been tough. It's been. <laughs> it's not easy speaking the truth. A lot of people don't want to hear it. Not when it becomes. Not when it's the hard truth, right? Yeah. And not when it's six truth different truths. Right? Come on. Yeah. I gotta say that. Don't through. come at me with six different stories about all the things that you did say about AD a long time ago, or you think that I attributed to you when it's not the case. So we're yeah. gonna cherry. We're supposed to cherry pick the truth now? Fuck that. No, no. The truth is the truth, and you know what? It's what a hard truth still to swallow, and it sucks, and I'm still trying to swallow it. But it's, it's like it's taking it's the it's red pill and waking up, isn't it? Fuck. You, and then you the the. The more you're away from it and you're looking into it, you're thinking, how the fuck did I fall for that? Let me ask you, is it true about the going to Dr. Oz in New York for Christmas makeover? Is that a true story? Only clear. Okay, so I, I can speak about that because <laughs> I was there. Um, so Makeovers no, it's not, it's not, it is not a true story. Um, what she told um, the, the small group of us, uh, the getting in the weeds of it, she um, provided a telephone number because we were um, telling her, you need to be really careful, Claire. Everybody knows what you're doing. You're out there. You don't want to get taken advantage of. What's the phone number that they called from? What's the email address? We went round and round and round. Well, she, about came this. In, she came in randomly with this screenshot. Well, right. Oh, sorry, sorry. She came in randomly saying, you're not going to guess who I was just talking to. Sorry, Cheryl, you just wanted Maureen, to... Maureen, tell me where I... Show me where I... Or tell me where I said that you ran a sex trafficking ring. Wait, Let's get let, that out of the way. Let me finish with this. <laughs> I am. Really I just quick. had to say that before I meet again. She, get, she gave us several different phone numbers. I said, because she was talking about... I said, call it back. I said, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the U.S. Give me the no, phone number. I can call it for free. It took her about 15 minutes after 
she gave an excuse that she had to jump off the off the call with us because Sandy was calling her. Yeah. So she finally came back. She gave the phone number. I looked it up. It happened. It happened to be actually yes. It that this is the third phone number by the way that she gave us, um, and it did belong to a producer for Doctor Oz, but not with the name that she was talking to. Now we have come to find out that yes, there was a Doctor Oz contact and it was a producer and even the name that she told us was true what this other person told us which is none of us on the panel or in the chat right now she verified for us that dr oz was talking to sandy there was never a mention about any of the the google grannies going to new york it was, they were not part it of it it was about sandy all. going on yeah it was about sandy going on not Got about you. them Go ahead. But she told all of us that was happening. One of them was stand up. Stand up was in is in our little friend group, and so stand up kept trying to say, "Well, um, so she's going to need my information if she's going to buy me an airplane ticket." Is she, when she, Claire says, "I'll have her call you." Claire gave uh, Susie many, many, many excuses. Susie kept pressuring. When when am I going to talk to her? What's going on? What's going? And then she ghosted everybody. And like I said, you know, technically, Susie's still sitting there waiting to find out about her going to Dr. Oh, Oz Jesus. three weeks ago because Claire's never specified anything different. No. So, you yes, see? there was a Dr. Oz uh, yeah. contact, but it had nothing to do with pathological um, liars and fantasists seem to be all over this community. That's a shame. That's a shame for stand up. That shouldn't have, that should not be that situation. Yeah, and, and since we're on this subject really quick, because I do feel a need to protect my friends and speak for them because they're not up on panel. Um, another thing, Claire, when Claire ran around and said and was telling everybody that uh when the police showed up that Claire stood her ground, she says she's not leaving until she gets some sort of action taken blah 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 um and stand-ups did talk about this on bam's life that was absolutely not true according to stand-up that stand-up was the one that said that claire was the one that was ready to bolt going well we tried yeah, you know was, that's all we can do but stand-up said i'm not i didn't come all this way to just friggin leave no i'm not leaving but claire ran around telling everybody she did all this and and of course we didn't we as a the her friends didn't even know about it and we're like you know <laughs> susie why didn't you say something and she's like you know she she was she wanted the glory i let her have the glory but that's just another example of you know some of the shit that she's done to yeah. her friends her friends yes not all not, not just the community. hold on really quick cassius what um okay dorothy's throwing up a shit it's all she does i'm prepared I, because that's what they're probably going to be saying about me so collectively beforehand suck my dick about that. Jesus so Christ. don't say it. They're just they're just causing drama. I could have done this a long time ago. I they're could have said anything, a lot of things a long time ago. We all know that's not true. They're doing it to tear the um, what's left of your community apart. Well mm -hmm. Uh, if, if that's the case, if, if anybody wants to just uh, go and, and, and be dramatic and whatever. Fine, yeah. but you're going to deal with consequences of it. Yeah, and it's also it's also a deflection too. If if yeah, they, exactly try, to, what, if they yeah. try to yeah. um, belittle everything that we're saying, they're going to make excuses about why they don't like yes. what we said. They, sorry, yes. we told you the truth. That's it. Yeah, and, and they don't ad actually address any of the things that we have said, like point by point. Okay, so let's talk about how she did. They just generally throw out nasty people talking shit stirring stuff up causing problems they don't a answer one of our questions you know mm -hmm. helen did tonight i i do applaud her for you know she said no i haven't seen the ipo number yeah start in but you know you know that she told us collectively as, as a group in this community and even those of us privately that was something that she was willing to furnish and that she had and yeah. that she gave to the judge now i'm asking you right now anybody claire Where's the IPO number? Can you give us, can we have it now? Can we see it now? Again, the point that I'm making doesn't well, exist. Mo and I have always said that if she, if she could furnish any of you with, with the evidence of any of what she claimed to have done, we would apologize to her wholeheartedly. Absolutely. I will eat the piece of paper that fucking IPO number is on. I will. I'll eat humble pie 
till next new year if I have to, if I'm wrong. Like Cheryl said earlier, fucking begging to prove us wrong. Please. Yeah. Absolutely. I would be the first one. Uh, I've been I, out saying yeah. this since October. But the fact is that everybody that I have heard her. Abused. Hmm? I would prefer to be wrong than to be in the situation we're in now, which is that woman is emotionally abusing that family. Oh, my God. Life. That's the one thing I, if I could fucking snap. I'd love to be wrong. Is to be wrong. Yeah, I, 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 I was absolutely, but I, and I've been asking for very simple things that it should have been furnished a long time ago that she offered. Point being that if you're going to continue with this farce here, ask her for the. I want the IPO number. Hmm. Show, show it to somebody now. Give it to us now. You said that you could, you could at any time. You said that you would offer that to people on live streams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should. Y'all should have seen it already. No, of course not. If you're going to do this, Dorothy, and you're going to start dragging all of these ladies, may I suggest that you get yourself a really good researcher because you're going to need it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say attorney. <laughs> She'll need a good researcher to find that evidence to support what she's saying because everybody's going legal these days. Everyone's had enough of people like Dorothy doing what she's doing. Well, Dorothy's said publicly twice now that I've caught that she's got a good attorney friend that's going to help her with her her strike. Good, good luck friend. with that. Good yeah. luck. Well, they need it because the accusations are, are getting pretty disgusting now, aren't they? Because once again, as I said, hopefully she learned her lesson. And she knows what to do in the future when it comes well, to those copyrights. Well, the thing is, what not to do. And the thing is, once again, Dorothy having no consideration for sensitive information flashed her email again, and there's Claire's email saying, well, "I can help you with that." That's her good attorney friend that's going to help her with the strike. Yeah. Good luck with that, Dorothy, considering I'm the one that got her counterclaim and the fucking video brought back in the first place. Good luck with that. Dorothy, did she tell you, was she telling you that, that I, my feelings were hurt? Did she tell you that I, w I was so, or, or yeah, I was jealous? I mean, is that what she was telling you? <laughs> did you actually believe that to be true? Claire, are you telling people that I'm jealous? I really want to know that. I want to know what she said to see people like Helen, of course. Could you or let Kim. Us know that? All of y'all, y'all know me. Y'all know me. All of a sudden, I'm going to be jealous, or or I'm going to start lying because just because. Yeah. Could you send along the answer to that? Uh, uh, are you telling people that you know Sam's jealous, I'm jealous, we're all jealous, along with that IPO number? That'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah because cool. if that's the you never knew me, you never knew me, and you don't stand for the truth, really and truly. Because yeah. there's, I, that's what I was here to do, and 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 I'm not going to not tell the truth anymore. Yeah. If, sorry, you don't like it, and again, not being jealous, telling you what happened. I showed you exactly how it went down with me, and it was never anything personal. It was about the strikes. Tell me again how I'm jealous. Yeah. Right now we've got we've got Amanda in chat. Five hundred dollars to the uh, Crowd Justice Fund if Claire provides a valid awesome yes IPO number right now. Awesome. Five hundred dollars for that Crowd I'll, Justice I'll Fund. I'll contribute to that if she can produce yeah. it. Me too. Fucking hell! My parents are gonna give me some money at Christmas. I'll fucking throw in. <laughs> the only money I'm gonna have, but I'll fucking throw in absolutely. You know. I mean, it's Please not. Please prove us wrong. Prove us all wrong, Claire, because you're the only one telling the truth, and we're yeah. the only, we're all the ones that have been lying the whole time. All of us. Uh, are and, all the, and, and the person I think that's been telling the truth for the longest time is 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 Mo. Um, it's it, it it's it's been a a journey um, teaming up with Mo and and um, <laughs> experiencing what it's like to to have a co-host so hated across the whole platform, both sides, because she speaks the truth and because she also defends um, people that it's unpopular to defend. Uh, and and we, Mo and I got into huge trouble with our own subs over the, the Claire live stream that we did because we upset a lot of people because it appeared that we had um, become BAM fans. That's was that the way they you felt. Did back in, is that back like in May time frame? When no, you that was the, the one we did. No, the second. Oh, okay. I didn't, know you guys, I didn't know you did one. Yeah. yeah. Um, when 
when it all we, came we were out, right in the thick of dealing with the Claire shit on November 2nd. Yeah, when it all came out, um, we came on and said, these ladies aren't lying. This is oh. all true. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's yeah, true. and yes. we took a lot of flack from our own people, but oh, we I tried didn't know to... anything about that at all. Yeah, yeah, no, they they did, and um, a lot of us did see that. By the way, um, just so you guys know, whiskey, um, I and I know that Jenny went into your chat, and she had a very pleasant conversation with you. We all didn't, but we all did watch it. Yeah. And um, like well, I said, I I appreciate. I'm appreciative of anybody, not necessarily if you support us, but you just don't talk shit about us. I don't care. Exactly. About you. I appreciate exactly. that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and for you guys being set up has been something you weren't, you were going through exactly what we went through in May when we did it. So we could completely relate. And we felt the only way this truth is really going to push through into the community is if we come out and support you guys who, um, obviously nobody expected us to be out there saying these guys are right they're telling the truth listen to them hear what they've got to say this is important um and i think that's what maybe um caused more of a fraction in the community unfortunately because um it kind of disjointed people were like we don't know who to hate now who are we talking to who are we not talking to you know who are we supporting who are we not supporting and and Mo and I said, we're supporting the truth. Well, that's, that's, it. It. that's why you I said everything support. just to me at that point became a farce because there's no reason. Don't try to keep up appearances when you you want people not to say anything or be, to be quiet, that it's going to hurt an image. Um, don't do it. That, how can I continue to talk about AD or any of you talk about AD and make these videos when you want us to not tell the truth or be open? Be you honest know, about what happened. And it's a joke. You, you support one aspect of, of let's say, we'll take, we'll, we'll use us, for example, you are supporting the truth. That doesn't mean I expect you to support me in every other fucking uh, fashion, Exactly. Right? Yeah. I mean, no, but if you were, are part of a community that you said that you were deeply invested in, then you know the people that are in it. Yeah. yeah. So when you're saying that people like me are jealous, and that's the reason why I, I came out and said what I did about the copyright strikes. Mm. Is uh, it's re so preposterous to me. It's the same. It's no fucking different. And I laugh thinking about it when AD, you're all jealous. You're all just jealous. Come mm -hmm. on. Well, I mean, I was constantly getting struck for scams and deceptive practices. And YouTube were like, what the fuck's going on here? I have never monetized my channel. Neither is Mo. But we were constantly being struck for scams and deceptive practices just and because someone didn't like us speaking the truth just trying to create a fucking yeah trying to yeah trying to take you down and silence the truth yeah so that's what's been going on behind the scenes for a very very long time well we know there's all false strikers out there claire yeah. ad bubbles fake ass quack they're all a bunch of fake fucking strikers. yeah there's a lot of it going on Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Let's make it clear. Claire's strikes weren't false. Sure. She just didn't provide she didn't the information. The didn't provide yeah, the information right. to support The strikes it. were valid. You're right. I they were they were valid because valid. of the but owners. No, yes, very valid. Evidence. So they could know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to hold the reservation. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm. I'm I just saw enough enough comment. Or mm -hmm. wait, let me see. Where'd it go? about catching flack for stuff. The, the fact is, is that you cannot, as of right now especially, pretend that in, there was any uh, true community that was um, really and truly stood for the truth. If you, if you are at this point right now and you're upset that we, we told you what happened, or I hurt your feelings, or y'all are upset that I've got anybody on my panel, or somebody went into the, anybody else's panel, we are so far past that. Yes. Do not come over here or anywhere else after this and try to make it into something that is it wasn't and it's not. Yeah. It's done. It's done. This is what people I need hope to understand. understand they need to understand the damage is done. Oh God! What yeah. Claire did can't be undone. And you, we will, can't. And it will we play can't. out in the yeah. future in a court of law badly. Like like an earthquake, the tremors that are going to come yeah. after this Claire earthquake, earthquake yeah. are going to continue for a long time. Yeah, so is already uh, 
Yeah, it was. It, it um, it's unfortunate, but it happened, and um, we told the truth. And regardless of whether you like it or not, do not think that this can. I couldn't continue some some crusade of uh, truth and honesty when I know that the people that we're fighting for supposedly know that she's lying, and they're okay with it. Hey, salty, yeah. can you highlight um, Sheila's comment because that that's it. That I mean, that's it, right? There. That's what we've been saying all Most night. Time? A truth mm -hmm. community cannot be built on lies. No, it can't. Where's that at? I'm not seeing. Hold on. Well, I don't you know, know. It's like there four is. or five up. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to shut up because most <laughs> muted Mo's here. So <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's her nickname on our channel, Muted Mo, because she often forgets to unmute herself when we're talking. <laughs> so I'll, I'll mute you. myself and I'll let Mo. <clears throat> Dig in. I'll be mean as well. All is not lost. I would like to talk to you all privately because what I want to say isn't for public consumption. So don't think you'd, you've been defeated because you haven't. But I'd like to talk to you and to Lizzie. Mm hmm. And I don't hate you, Shirley. I never did. You said you did. I know. I was angry. I said you're a bunny boy, not a sex ring, ring trafficker. <laughs> it was written in your chat, and it was it was awful. You should hear what she calls me. I don't. Bad? I I do want to say that I don't. I didn't see who said that, and regardless of who they, said I didn't it, either. I but y'all know. No, I would not allow. I would not have allowed that to stay. I, I mean, there, I, I, it, yeah, no. And and you know, there, there's just some things I don't have to like somebody. I don't have to agree with somebody. But there's just some lines you don't cross, and that's yeah. not something that I would have allowed, or you know, I would have, at the I'm very least, saying, told whoever did it to cut it out. You know, um, so I don't know. No, I'm gonna mean. I'm sorry. I said that, but it's true. Okay. Um, but I don't know how to respond to really, that. Though, so. I know uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing, but you really should have seen how wrong Claire acted at the very, very start because a real lawyer would have known you do not go to Google and do what they did. Uh, you do not approve my, my response to that is I believed her I'm proud of what they did yeah. they fought for something they stood for it was more yes. of a precursor of things to come it was like a formality at that point I know that y'all thought it was a, stupid at the time said, and y'all were also real... saying that y'all wanted YouTube to know what the hell was going on so you can't have it you, ha you can't it can't be both it can't be both now and you don't approach Google that way and that's what cemented cemented it for me. Yeah, we, we covered the fact that you know we're British and, and we we expect mm. the law to be done in the old traditional respectful way. And that you know it's But you also understand that that there are some things that was just to prove a point. It wasn't oh, I, like a I understand the, the optics yeah. of was good. I understand You know what I mean that it was the, it was it again and precursor the things to come and it, was good. The intention yeah. was good, but the reality is, is they could have had one of those dogs released on them, and they could have lost half their asses because Google and YouTube take their security very, very seriously after they had their active shooters. When did Claire tell you that uh, Google dropped the the in investigation against AD Kim and everybody else? What did uh, she that, tell you? When did that happen? Why didn't anybody say anything about that? For lack right. of evidence, of all things, according that's to that's just case. ridiculous. This, that's where well, we're at right now. That's I'm, a ridiculous. I'm going to ask um, uh, Nuff Nuff, and I don't know if Helen Happy Thoughts is still in the chat. Do you guys remember when she when she told us that the whole YouTube thing was a was a done deal, and we were like, "Man, what are you going to do? How are you going to tell everybody? Are you going to do a live? What has does Kim know that kind of thing?" Um, I I'm thinking. I that, want to say August. I can't verify because my see. I was thinking. I was thinking. 
I was thinking September, but if they went in the beginning of June, I don't, I don't think it was. It I don't think it was that long. So you may be right. It may be August when. Yeah, it was only a month, month and a half at most, because September thirteenth. Yeah, I already. I'm just thinking September thirteenth. Why am I thinking that date? What is it about that date that? Uh... Yeah, that I don't know sense. because that because everybody. Hard. Hang Everybody was thing. getting antsy. Everybody was getting very antsy. They were constantly asking what's going on with YouTube. And uh, trust me, we were doing the same thing. And she was showing us emails from somebody at YouTube. I don't remember who it was at the time. Amy, you know, the Brittany. woman's name was Amy. And it, it was originally in the beginning. Yeah, she offered up the first couple screenshots of their yeah, first yeah. communications together. So, and so then it what, was off. So what was happening was something that was happening... To, in my belief, that was valid. That was happening. We saw the emails. Um, and there was a couple times that the person asked Claire to send them a little bit more information, which she did. But then, you know, it didn't pan out. Well, then we never saw any more screenshots. And the next thing we knew is that they had closed the case for lack of evidence. It would have, I'm saying August because if we think back when we did that fundraiser weekend a thon, if I recall correctly, was that not the weekend of like, September 13th, 14th. I'm going back here. Um, you're you're making you're making us do math again? Really? No, I'm not, well, I'm just I'm talking time frame. So I'm yeah, sure I don't know. In August. That, sounds, that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't long after. It was only like a month, month and a half at most. No, but you'll find genetic code or she's cleaning her keyboard. I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> just no, just stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you file a copyright, like Mr. Ruzek did, of AD using the pictures, yeah. YouTube won't act on that. You have to have a copyright number registered, and that's why the copyrights failed. No, you don't actually, not with photos. With photos, that's where, and it's, this is where it all comes back to AD, all after three years, not even using his metadata term correctly. If you're a photographer and you had to physically register every photo that you've ever taken, Maureen, in your life, though that photographer would be spending their life registering their photos with copyright numbers. It's the yeah, metadata. it's all about the money behind them. It's the metadata in the, in the photo itself. When you snap that photo, embedded in that photo is the literal degree of where you're taking that photo, the date you're taking down to the time you're taking that photo that's embedded into the photo. So when it mm. came to having to show the proof but that was Frank like has the copyright of the photo, he would just need to show that embedded data. That would be the problem with that though, because uh, in U S law, uh, the, you're absolutely right. Um, the Rusex would inherit everything that Shanann has ever photographed and uploaded right but in uk law you can't inherit copyright it dies with the person and that's how, where come, how come claire never told us that that well she never researched she's not a lawyer. <laughs> not exactly. a lawyer. that was a rhetorical question lady yeah. so <laughs> the problem is and and has always been you're talking that about is. a global entity but in different countries and different continents the laws are different we need an international law on this we need a decision made about okay. how are we going to do this moving forward say that again uh, whiskey i just and I we wanted... know that's what well, that's going to be happening and but i don't yeah. i don't care at this point i'm i'm i'm, I'm being honest i'm yeah. over here well in my mind like happen. why are we talking about this right now yeah. go on y'all's live stream to talk about it yeah. i just yeah. um let's stay on focus here let's stay focused yeah. Interesting so, side note, though. Very interesting yeah. side note to find out all this time later for us, for me. Oh yeah, well, I understand. You know what I mean. But, yeah. Uh, I, I I feel like I feel stupid even entertaining these these discussions yeah. now because yeah. I feel like a hypocrite that I was. I y'all think that I'm being foolish or I'm lying or it it it, it just that's where I'm at. That's mm. exactly what whiskey and I said before we come yeah. on here, isn't it? Yeah. That's exactly but we feel like saying. hypocrites because every day this changes, so you have to go with the changes, and it makes you feel like a hypocrite. You know, um, 
we're we're trying to salvage what is left of the this community that we had and um you know we when we see something is wrong or untrue we want to address it but sometimes when we address it people think we've been hypocritical because you well know, how about you start with Corman? i'm not a fucking cyber terrorist how about that you start there <laughs> I, I, thought you, I thought you wanted to want to start there topic. you wouldn't come on that's come not on, on topic, topic. Not on topic. Talking about being hypocritical. <laughs> <laughs> on topic as I, go right off. <laughs> I had to say that I couldn't help it. Yeah, I, yeah I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I missed that. Who <clears throat> called you a cyber terrorist? Because I've been accused of being a cyber terrorist by Dorothy. Yes. No, no, watch any of the videos he's made about any of us over the last year and a half. All in cyber terrorism class together and never realized it. All I failed time. miserably at cyber terrorism so, school. So we must have all had our balance lovers on. We could have been sitting next to each other and not known. Yeah, I could have been copying off all your notes, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so you know these these words have been flung around for God knows how long, and it needs to stop. Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh well, it, yeah. Also acknowledge that it just seems it's it's um not something that I could perpetuate and keep going with. Oh, good God, no. When the people that 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 have I have been fighting with, and I stand for what they stand for, that y'all wanted to keep our mouth shut. You wanted to stay quiet because you didn't want anybody to look bad. But you were here because you wanted somebody who was who is now selling a liar and everything else to for him to look at. That's not right. No, it's not. No, and nobody. You don't have to honest. like me. I don't have to like you. But no. damn. To be honest, <laughs> to lie to your subscribers is wrong. Yeah. Or to see to see the people that support you in other people's chats or in comment sections saying that I'm I'm trashing a family now, or yeah. I turn my back on anybody. I'm yeah. a jealous bitch. That's why I came out talking shit about Claire when it was only about the copyright strikes. Yeah. My present here, my presence here wasn't felt really by any of y'all. If you feel that way, and you're saying that now, mm. it's that simple. And you cannot continue with this when you know the whole thing is is at this point. There's nothing else that can be done. Of you want to keep talking about AD? Go ahead. Whatever. I've said it all. We've yeah. said it all. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just looking at Emma and Kimmy's comment. I once was accused of being NK. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is that unfortunately, because of what's happened yeah. with Claire, the end game is already predestined now oh it, it, it's it's here it's here yeah. there's, there's um, nothing any of us can do now to change what that outcome is going nothing. to be or what's going to happen now. yeah nothing at all um afraid, it's out of our control and and if you do come out and still want to say this is the truth or that's the truth it's not my truth and i don't support y'all in that I y'all supported me once, and I supported you. It's it's that simple. Don't come out and continue continue this the the idea that we're we're still fighting for this cause when we don't fight that way. Yeah, if that makes sense, yeah. it's done. It's done. And one one of the other things that is really actually bothersome is some of the people who are being super quiet or not just disappeared these are people that some of us have defended we've defended them when they needed it you know um we 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 defended allegations being uh, being accused of things we defended them and now where are they they're not here mo, mo and i have been through that as well we've been accused of all sorts of shit um, oh, yeah. we well, being accused of something or not, the, my point is that you have people that that you did you were fighting with for the past how how long for this cause? Yeah, and then all of a sudden you have to be quiet. You know that's not true. Yeah, and I will and say, I have to give them the benefit of the doubt that they're in a very difficult position. I hear, but it's they, not because a legal reason that you can't explain why 
everything failed miserably because she lied. Yeah. It has nothing to do with it. And that's what y'all were trying to make it look like. And of course, I'm, y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, a person of my sensibilities would not have been able just to overlook that and ignore it. So it, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah, I think the main thing is is that um, you 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 had your moral compass and you said no, I'm done, I'm not I'm not playing this game anymore because that's. And then I got I somebody like Dorothy who, who's been here since the beginning, thinking that I'm jealous of somebody or I'm angry that she got more talk time apparently with the family somewhere. Or, um, <laughs> she's getting more threats than I am, you know. Whatever, come on. Yeah. She's got more strikes than you. You're jealous. <laughs> but yeah, you, what? just what Whiskey just said, you know, I said this earlier, but I know more different people are coming in. Once we knew or we felt strongly, we believed that the whole community was being lied to, there was no friggin' way that we couldn't say something. It was just a matter of how we were going to say it. Again, we tried for the people in the back that need to hear this again almost three months to keep this to deal with it privately with with claire we did we tried and tried and tried and tried Those but, that were yeah close friends like y'all the, 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 the more the moral compass you know again you can't be in a truth community and have something that's not clean in your own house while you're you're trying to go after a man for lying that's just stupid you could, we couldn't do that. And anybody that wants to condemn any of us because we didn't keep our friggin' mouth shut, those people should never make another video, should never make another comment, should never go into any more chats or say another bad thing about AD because what they're doing is the same thing that what AD's subs do. Just keep everything quiet. Just keep supporting. Don't don't point out the ugliness. Don't point out the lies. We weren't going to do that. Yeah. And, and those, you know, and again, you know what? Along those lines, it's like people, well, you're calling him out. Why don't you go after everybody else? We got to start start somewhere, right? We got to start somewhere. That's that's that was kind of my feeling at the very beginning, and then um, to have it played out like this, knowing that somebody that was we all supported. We all believed things that we stood up for to go silent and to say that, that you went quiet because you were in danger or that you were being threatened or you had to do it for legal reasons. That is so distasteful for me, to me personally. I do. I, I that's no words here. That's just wrong. Maybe she was the secret. She's the secret witness of the civil. Maybe case. she's a cyber terrorist, really. Um. <laughs> nah, don't start that. No, 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 no rumors. No rumors. I'm jealous of her cyber terrorist skills. Damn it! What? It's all done. It's over with. I can't. We're not going to pretend like this never happened. We're not going to pretend that we know that y'all know that she's lying and you admitted it and you had these conversations last week or two months ago. I put out some stuff earlier. You'll see it in the replay. If y'all want me to post them separately, I will. With my interaction with Claire about how everything went down, you're going to see it unfold. I called her to task. <coughs> she bailed. I would have done it to anybody, mm. especially when they're coming to me, asking me for help. And I'm supposed to be here for a certain reason. You want to keep lying? That's on you. Don't expect me to, to lie at all. To protect anybody's image and that's why i said if i say something if i say it if i have anybody on my panel or if anybody is in my chat that's me this is on me now i don't have to um i don't subscribe to the theory that anything i say or do is going to hurt someone's image it's not going to help them it's not going to fucking hurt them don't think that this can continue or that you're still doing something because it's done it's over and again i want to stress for me so in calling out AD for exploiting the horrible, tragic murder of this family for monetary gain for three years. And here we have Claire exploiting the same family for self-gratification, self-satisfaction, but I'm supposed to shut up about that exploitation? Exploitation is exploitation. And the worst part Absolutely. is it's the same family that it's happening to. Yeah. And we're supposed yeah. to shut up about that. 
And I am not responsible for who they trust and who they don't trust. I don't, I, I am not here no. to tell anybody to like somebody or be friends with somebody or anything else. I'm here that I was here to tell, call out a pretty fraud and that this is what happened. That's why you got his channel back by. That's what I it's, was here for. It's just a shame because I, I, I wish, I, I wish we had got the message over more clearly earlier because mm. the damage hadn't been done at that stage. It was just um, in its early stages of creation that she was doing. And um I, I, well, whiskey. In in all honesty, you could have sent over a, a lot of stuff, but we were friends. We we believed our friend. I don't I don't know if there's anything you guys could have done. We had to we had to figure this out for ourselves. Is what it is. Um, because like I said, you know, you don't run around. You don't probably, you know, have Maureen justify or show proof of. You you take her at her word because you trust her. You know, yeah. there was trustworthy. There's been plenty of times where you trust someone and they prove to be trustworthy. So yeah. throughout time, when it came to the, why wouldn't we trust her? So again, I don't think anything you guys could have said to us would have would have changed anything. I don't know. We believed I, her. Yeah. We, we, believed had, we had to be 100% certain. I'd known about Claire since the year before. And I had my suspicions and I watched her when I did what I did to Lizzie, which I bitterly regret and have apologized for. I started to watch Claire gone round comments in other people's chats. And the more she said certain stuff, I knew she was a fake. But we had to get the evidence before we could but say we, it. We, we did months of research to make sure. And when we did that live that night, we were, we felt as sick as dogs because we, we didn't want to do it, but we knew it had to be done. Well, you okay, I'm going to say, I can't not say this at this point, that there was a lot of stuff that I said uh, that, um, that y'all could have said or done. Um, any research that you did, Y'all are the same people. You said stuff about hard drives. You said stuff about this and that. And you said yeah, a lot of things. If we're going to go this route, let's go ahead and go this route. But just just remember that we all at one point believed each other, didn't we? We all believed each other at one point. And we're well, this is where we're at now. The hard drives, whiskey will tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it was my. It, I was. I'm, I'm, I made a point. I made my point. Yeah. Mm. So it, you know, we all believed each other at one time. Whether yeah, we still do sure. or we don't is besides the point to me. The sad thing to me, is yeah. what we found out about Claire not being a liar. And it's in my opinion that she's lied about a lot of other stuff as well. No, she definitely has. We yeah. know well, I know she's lied so, to me about a lot of stuff. So yeah, you're that's the that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, we, we know that. And, and and we're still fine. I, I mean there was some I can't even remember what it was. There was something that was said tonight. Um that I didn't know that she had lied about. So, I mean, we're still finding out stuff, but yeah. we know that. Um, yeah. and, and that will continue to happen. You I was just going to say that, yeah. What? Yeah. I'm sorry? What's going to happen? That we're going to continue to find out about Claire more and more. I don't, yeah, don't be saying that anything about me, though, in your pursuits of, of your uh, truth and finding shit out. That's what I'm saying. Dorothy and anybody else. If anybody actually thinks that I have very good reason for all of these lines or that I was fooled by anybody. Um, get your asses over here right now. Please. Like I and said. if you don't, that's fine. I don't want to see comments about how I'm bitter or I'm angry or, oh my God, did you hear what she said about Claire? That's you actually a slap right. in the truth. You have face. every right to be angry. Well, oh, she lied. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, we to you want me you to call a man right out for lying? Feel hurt and upset and angry. Yeah, no, we but know that, that. That's just it. This, it's not about. It's not a personal thing in that regard for me. It's about having been here for a reason and knowing what was going on, and that y'all wanted to even think that this could continue, that you could portray this still as any kind of community seeking justice or telling the truth, when that's simply not the case. But it wasn't ever a personal thing. With some people, well, it was. 
Well, you know, to a certain degree, it was personal. When somebody lies to you, it's a personal thing. Oh, and like, like I mean, the reaction Maureen afterwards. Said. That's what you know, specifically the reaction afterwards to to how these. So I got uh, what some people said or didn't say. That that's that's mm -hmm. the personal thing. Yeah, but we do, Sorry. like Maureen said, we do have a right to be angry. Yeah. We have a right to feel everything we have. And we have just as much friggin' right to voice that. Again, we did try it. Practice what you preach. We did try to deal with it privately. But when it couldn't stay private anymore, it came out. And yeah, if you don't like what the what the hell we're saying, then don't fucking listen. Go, go sit over there. How about you go Bye. talk to Claire? Talk Claire into... Unhiding giving you the IP no, uh, her, IPO and number. Do her own Ask life. Her Have Claire come out and do her own life from her point of view if you don't like what we're saying. You know, that would, that would be I great. That would be great. I would love, love Claire to fire up a live and really? give us her explanation of everything and convince us all and show us all. You said you would show us anything. You're an open I'm, book. Will, I'm still waiting. Yeah. Yeah. For I will sakes, donate. Guys. She cheated it's, on it's preposterous. Nobby. It's preposterous for anybody to think that they can continue at this point. It's supporting she cheated not supporting on a Novington anybody. News quiz, for God's sakes. Are you Ooh. kidding me? What? What did you say? Cheated. She cheated on a Novington News quiz. No. <laughs> well, uh, unless you believe that she knows the answer to every question in the entire universe. Well, she, she is the oracle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's been a tough pill for everybody to swallow, hasn't it? And some people still aren't ready to take that red pill and wake up and, and um, see the wood for the trees. So yeah, and, and, and again, at one time, we all uh, believed each other were telling each other the truth. And we were here for those reasons, whether uh, it becomes a personal issue for some, it, it has become personal for some. Some people have become friends off the platform. Some haven't. Some people um, were doing these, you know, we were here for the same reason, essentially. Um, don't pretend that that reason still exists. Yeah. I find it offensive that, that, that anybody could think that it would continue on because it's, it's not. Yeah. Um, and that doesn't make me a bad person for saying what I'm finally saying. None you of you don't should like what I'm saying. asked to lie to yourselves and cover for I'm not saying anything like that. that. Nobody should have been expected to. But do then that. you want me to keep lying or telling how every you know how AD lies. That's the, the main thing. That all of you are here for the truth. You're here for all of these things, and it was about the copyrights and about why he was getting his channel reinstated, and nobody wanted to know why. All right, that's ridiculous. Yo, you people have been making videos speaking out against this man for how long? And now all of a sudden you're going to be quiet because this channel is back. Of all the things that that made me sick. It did. Um, what sickened me was that um, obviously we've all watched the subs over in AD's channel lap up all of his lies, mm. and he goes back on himself and and you know debunks himself, and they never call him out on it. They just keep on lapping up the lies. It's true. And we people are giving her a pass. We said well, that earlier. Why are, people, why are they just lapping up the lies? Yeah. And now suddenly you've got a liar in the heart of the nest, and you're all being told you need to lap up the lies. Yeah. You need and to give her a pass on this one, kids. Give don't don't worry about that. Let's look at the bigger picture down the road. I don't roll with that. None of us should. And if you you wanted to roll that way, I never really knew you and truly respected yeah. you because I can't believe that you would even suggest a thing to me or to anybody. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You, you can't give people passes like that. No. Like they no. give him a pass for everything that he said and done. Mm-hmm. There, you can't give a pass on this one. You can't say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be a truther, but I won't tell everybody that she's a liar. Yeah. Yeah, but one, of, one of the things that I want to make clear is there are people that actually, they're not giving her a pass. They actually do believe her. And those people actually, you know, in my mind, that's okay. Because they need to come to the realization at their own time. It's the, pe <laughs> the people that voice to us personally that they had their own reservations and their own questions and things like that. And they still are 
looks like yeah. they're still backing her. They're still being silent. They're still. Well, they, to they them, have, I say I, I'm still kind of a truther. I debunked y'all tonight with facts. Okay, I debunked all of her lies. Go, go watch it. You're welcome. Enjoy. That yeah, that doesn't so, watch. So I think the, the problem there is show that you've got subs who are so happy with the the group of people that they meet in a particular channel's chat and they've made friends and they all you know often in the chat there's all sorts of other conversations going on and they're all connecting with each other and i think even though they probably know she's lied and are comfortable with the fact that it's all being ignored they're ignoring it because they still want to belong to that channel in that chat it's it's not that they're subscribing to covering for the lie they just want to belong to where they belong with their people What's that squawking in the background? That, <laughs> that's my absolute lunatic baby parrot. I was going to say, yeah, it sounded like a bird. I'm like, that's not a cat. It's not a dog. No, so, he's a swine. I didn't, you, I didn't know you had a baby parrot. Did you, yeah. you seriously couldn't tell that was a bird? <laughs> no, I did. Well, at first, I'm like, what is that noise? Well, he does bark like, like a dog occasionally he's he's got a really good um the parrot like, Cheryl of course I thought it might have not been it might have been a cat or a dog I tell <laughs> you, <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> you can just drop the F bomb occasionally Pothead yeah Pothead. you you want to say okay explain yourself that's what we were doing right explain yourself she couldn't she can't and she won't it's that simple so to any of those that still say that oh she explained it to me privately well let me know tell me Show yeah. me. Well, chances are pretty good. It's the same bullshit she'd been feeding us months and months and months ago and months all the way up. Yeah. Jealous, I, my God. I just wish someone, um, I'll be back in 15 talks. I just wish someone closer to the family could, could explain to them what the legal ramifications are for this in the future. Yeah. I don't feel, I don't feel responsible for any of that anymore. I don't feel like, I mean, people, they, again, you like who you like, you trust who you trust, you're friends with who you're friends with. I'm not asking anybody to change their mind about this, yeah. but I'm telling you that I cannot uh, continue pretending to be a person that's telling the truth. When I know that those are supposed to be telling the truth with me are lying. That's what it's, it's just, it's not going to happen. No, no. What she, what she's done has helped AD enormously. Sickening. Probably. It's sickening. Mm. Not intentionally. Well, I'm, you know, or those that said, oh, he's loving this. He's, he, he's lapping this up. Be quiet. It's giving him too much attention. He loves it. I, uh, no, no, no. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. Y'all like it when I'm sitting over here talking about him, but you don't want me to say anything that might help him or hurt him. Again, it's not my, uh, I, 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 I won't, I am responsible for what I say and do. Yeah. It's not going to reflect on anybody else. It never has now. It never will be. No. It's not well, about anybody's why, image anymore. It's not about yeah. spreading the truth anymore. That's why more right? than I, um, went, went our separate ways because we just we just thought we we can't change what's happening here. People will wake up in their own sweet time, and there's nothing more that we can say or do to to try uh, um, and show what's going on. So we just said, right, let's just go private and we'll hang out with our our sons and, and you know <laughs> it's going to sound a bit crazy but we've, we've we've had some ghostly encounters whilst we've been doing live streams and um mm. that kind of took our channel in a, in a weird direction because mm -hmm. they all seem to enjoy the fact that i'm absolutely horrified at what's going on in my home um <clears throat> they take great pleasure in scaring the shit out of me um, <laughs> you know we do we do uh cases that we we think are interesting or um that, that are so old that, that it's time to revisit them and and then we just end up shooting the breeze because mm -hmm. we're away from it all there's we're not being asked to cover for a lie we're not being asked to turn a blind eye to things that are wrong so we didn't want to compromise who we who we are and and, and who we are is the kind of people like i said at the beginning we will speak up for what's right. 
and we will always speak up for people who have been wronged. The people that were normalizing behavior of 80, that, that it was acceptable, much less normal, it's normal for this to happen, you know. It's, it's, I mean, you're, so you're giving him a pass or you're ignoring him or y'all don't find him offensive, all of that. Y'all have normalized the idea that people um, are tr telling the truth, but you're making excuses for the people that, that you are supporting for lying. The idea that you would give them a pass on this is so distasteful. That you're going to give her a pass on this and, and still continue the idea that you're going to talk about the truth and how he lies. Not about debunks. Um, I just think it sucks that, that y'all were normalizing their own behavior, the, the same behavior that you're condemning people of, of, of displaying and, and, and exhibiting. Mm. That's my thing. I, I, it just, yeah. wow. Yeah. And some um, acknowledging the fact that you didn't like what I was saying about Claire, and I was so she lied about the copyrights, all of that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But I tell the truth. Don't make excuses for why you're not doing it, and don't, don't, don't presume to know what I was thinking or saying. I've been very open and honest, and it wasn't and anything personal. There were a lot of channels that uh, and subscribers that were commenting on the subject who didn't know the whole story who weren't aware of how much you guys knew before this all came out into the open. Exactly. How much you tried to resolve this and work with her and, and make sense of it all. And they were jumping in and, you know, throwing in the tuppence worth, but quite frankly, they weren't equipped with the facts themselves. That doesn't yeah, that's help. why I told, Dor that's why I um, contacted Dorothy when she made that community post. I was like, well, you know, there's some truth to what she's saying. I'm going to let you know that you're not you're not fully um, up to speed here. Now, she, whether you believed us, I, I, it wasn't even about that. I was letting you know as a formality, and because you you were speaking, you were saying things that were wrong. I checked you then. I've done it before. I've done it since. I'll do it in the future if I'm around. Mm. How you can how you can say that someone like me. Uh, has been fooled, brainwashed, or whatever. You have normalized people's behavior like AD. Like he brainwashes everybody. Fuck yeah. off with that. Yeah. It's not normal behavior. And y'all are giving a pass to the people of the behavior that you're, con you're condemning. And I can't state that strongly enough. That's why I couldn't continue. Mm. And I, I told you why. Y'all know why. Um, it doesn't make me a bad person, and certainly doesn't make me jealous. <sighs> no, and, and just because you he's doing, yeah, just because you speak up against someone who's betrayed you does not mean that you no longer support the people that you've been working so hard to support for the last three years. I ask you, but I ask you this: Why would they make it that? Why would they make it seem that way? Why would right. y'all? Why is that, that so hard for people to understand? I mean, I, it, that seems common sense to me, but that to doesn't us. seem to be what's happening. What yeah. the hell? Why would y'all say those things? It's what happened to us. We were we were called flip floppers and backstabbers, mm. and, and uh, before before I joined your stream. I, I was saying to the people in our channel, I said, I think people have got a really, really um, strange idea of what actually goes on in here. Um, we're a small number. Uh, usually about 20 of us meet twice a week. And like I say, we talk about all sorts of things, conspiracy theories, paranormal, um, crime, missing persons, all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm just because we all hang out because we all align with each other and you would be surprised to see that no we we don't support any of what's going on on the other side at all and never have um the only time we spoke up about ad was when the poker tournament thing got got, got out of hand it, it got kind of sinister and that was the only time we mentioned it um but that mm. didn't mean that we thought he was okay doing what he's doing. Far from it. And he knows that. I told mm -hmm. to his face. He knows exactly how I feel. And so does Bubbles. I said we would only 
try and help him with the, the, the poker term, tournament situation um, if he stopped the lying, the bullshitting and the embellishing. And he couldn't. And he lied. I was going to say, I'm glad that worked out well, right? Yeah, like like you said, a leopard doesn't change their spots. Never. I've never, never. been back there. I've never nope. actually spoken to him. No. Nope. Everyone keeps saying, oh, she's back with AD and all that crap. <clears throat> nope. I've never even <laughs> spoken to him since December 19 when I left. <clears throat> so yeah, people got a very skewed idea because we spoke up when we did back in May. Um, yeah, oh, I just... worked with him and all that crap. Yeah. We flip flop, we backstab, we're this, that, that. No, no. And we we don't spend our days plotting and scheming about how to. Yeah, in my my position is there's no there's nowhere to flip flop. There so isn't. Please, nobody no. say any of that. There's no fence to sit on with me or anymore. It's gone. No. It's done. Yeah, yeah. The paddling. I really hope that people a long time people. ago. Yeah, it's not about changing sides or doing this or doing that. This is how how the party ended. Over here yeah. at the Salty Bitches Palace, okay? It's yeah. not going to continue. You can't, don't don't normalize the idea that your little delusion is, is uh, acceptable no. to others in the true community when there is no more true community, especially. Please don't. Um, um, and, you know, the, the, I, I came into this today, tonight, this morning, whatever time it is now, because of Nuff Nuff, because I could see she was getting upset again. And it's not fair. Mm. They have to validate you. They have to say, we understand why you feel so betrayed and hurt. And if they want to validate it, then it I means haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been around for a little while. And I, I, I wasn't, I can't always look at chat and I, you know, sometimes go outside or do whatever. I don't know what exactly was being said. Um, but the idea that anybody would, would condemn or, or, or put words in anybody's mouth, especially somebody that does tell the truth, is not 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 chill with me. With, um, with Jenny, that that's what we we um, talked about earlier. What happened? We what we? Jen, what, so what whiskey's talking about? You know, Jen, Jenny, she. <laughs> You know, she was accused of a lot of things by Dorothy, um, and she she's been named by Dorothy specifically, almost like she's been spearheading this whole thing, which makes no sense. Um, and again, just to say it again, Jenny isn't even in fucking asylum, so I don't know why her name keeps coming up every time the the subject of the screenshot comes up. So that that really it 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 is bothersome for her because we all know there was a group there was a group of us that spoke out. It wasn't just her, but no. you know, but by labeling her and calling her out by name consistently it's drawn a lot of attention towards her specifically and it's just wrong i mean it's wrong i mean my opinion is wrong to come out i thought of somebody i thought somebody said it was a statement or something that she had said in the chat regardless if you if you're not educated enough to to um say things and pre, or you want to be presumptuous enough to tell everybody some bullshit acting like you know their business be accountable and admit when you're wrong you're wrong on this one don't put don't don't put words in anybody's mouth at all, ever again. And stop assuming that you know what happened and who did what and when they did it and stop calling them out by name because you're just making yourself look stupid because you haven't been right about a fucking thing that you've said. Not and once. Don't try to debunk the salty bitch because she'll do it her regular style. You want truth, you got it. I showed you tonight yeah. exactly what happened with Claire. Now you want to look at that and see all the things that she said and, and match it up to what she's telling you now or what she has been telling you? And get back to me on that. Don't, Don't ever say it. that I'm I'm stupid, foolish, uh, uh, dumb for being brainwashed. Uh, the, these people are they're mean girls. Whatever. Don't mm -hmm. come back to me, and we'll come up here and talk about it publicly for everybody. Don't do that, Claire. Stop telling people that we're jealous. Stop telling people that you were a fucking lawyer. Stop saying that you verified anything because you didn't. Cassia, stop sending me pictures of your fucking bagpipes. All right. I don't want to see that shit anymore. You keep your spider over your house, damn it. Okay, Maureen. <laughs> I, I had more than one anymore. spider. I was infested see? with them. Oh God, it was I, horrific. It, horrific. I couldn't live there. No. I 
they would crawl over my desk any time of the day. Oh, Jesus. And this God, bloody no. great spider crawled on my desk. And I thought, right, <laughs> before I kill you, I'm taking a picture of you. <laughs> we have and these the huge spiders week, here. And, and, and uh, Amber's, like, she just hates spiders. And she sent me this picture so of I hate the bloody things. House. I, I, I was like, that's a baby spider compared to what I have where, where I live. It, it, and she just freaked out when I showed her. I took a little video and they sent her. Uh, or the my daughter. Week, when I moved my desk funny. to decorate, I had a big spider's, I don't know what you call them, cocoon or whatever, oh, on God. the back of the desk with oh, all God. baby spiders in it. Oh, God. Mm. Well, but at least we don't live in Australia where they want to kill you. The, I don't know. The spiders? Like, the bloody baby. Yeah, those spiders that live under the toilet seat and bite you on the bum. At least we don't have. Yeah, don't live in Texas where you have to watch for poisonous snakes everywhere when you when you go oh, out there. Yeah. Um, no. Okay, I have I, to. I, I have to mute the cameras and stuff. If there's anybody that wants to come up now and needs to be added, please do so. Uh, take the link. We're all comfy here. Anything goes. Y'all know that. That's, that's not going to change. But I have got to take care of something if uh, anybody wants to come up. I don't right. want to not be here to add you to the stream. Well, I'm going to skip off because I do know that our presence has inhibited some of your chat's activities. Some of them are still uncomfortable to see us here. So I'm going to no, jump No, I was still running, remember? <laughs> I know. Geez, so, yeah, I abandoned my life to come in and speak to you. And nothing mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, we, we'll jump off and, and leave you to it and you know i just want you all to know that you you've not done anything wrong you are not you haven't been brainwashed you haven't been duped you're not morons these people that do this kind of thing have done it all their lives <clears throat> they have honed their skills of course you're not going to see it it's happened to me in my personal life it's happened to more in her personal life we all completely understand it and um, we just wanted you to know that, yeah, we understand. Um, there is no hate. There is no your side, our side. We're just all kind of here now. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, We just um, went away quietly and sat back and watched. Yeah. And there's not, nothing for me to watch anymore, if that makes any sense. It's, it's not, not well, it hasn't been nice there's to nothing watch. nothing for me to even, no. even invest myself in anymore. And no. I'm um, um, disappointed yeah. in some people that I did think were better people than I thought, that, you know, they were. Well, at least you've still, you've all, there's, there's five, well, five of you together, really, isn't there, in that um, <clears throat> group that's getting attacked at the moment. Five or six of you. At least you've all got each other's backs still and mm -hmm. you've been true to yourselves and that's more important than anything Absolutely. always hold your head up look in the and mirror I still would still uh, and i do still respect the fact that people feel a certain way and i'm not asking people not to dislike anybody claire anymore uh, i've never done that before I, I've ne i would never do that for anybody um but be honest at least with those people claire people that you you're, that you are still are talking to be be honest with them Oh. Since you weren't honest with them. The one thing I don't get with all of this, if I'd done what Claire had done, I wouldn't have the brass neck to put my face on YouTube or Facebook. Well, no. she had an excuse. She had a reason to do so. I mean, she, she could have said anything. I mean, everybody was going to find out what happened, but she had uh, plans and she knew what she could say to, to rationalize it or explain it away. Yeah, but, but you, I, you can't I, explain I, that away to me. I'm going to agree with Maureen. If it were me and I had done what she done, I, I would, I wouldn't even have a YouTube account anymore. I would delete no, it. I, I, I would have disappeared. disappeared. Yeah. Yes. Disappeared. Yeah. Oh, but you still, those, uh, would y'all still be making videos about AD? No. You get my point. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You feel that way. Of course you wouldn't be able to show your face again. You'd be embarrassed, whatever, ashamed. Yeah. Lying to people, them finding out and calling you to task, especially when you call them a fucking truther. Um, come on. And I, I, so I, that, I don't mean this to diminish your feelings, but for me, it's like, how can that woman wake up every day and communicate with that family? I, I feel just, that way too. I, I've said that. People, yeah. if you, when y'all listen back to it, if you do, 
you will it i'm very i've always been sick. honest it's the same it thing makes me sick. It, that upsets me that i want they wanted me to continue the idea or they didn't want me to say anything about her lying because of how it might project or look on look on someone that's what i have been here for to, that's what i've been here to do right yeah. technically yeah this this was how am i going to stop that her? she's told them come on man so, I'm sorry uh, that y'all don't like hearing the truth. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry that she thought that she could lie to me, and I'm sorry that y'all thought that I would continue this farce. It's not going to happen. So. Yeah. No I, sides anymore. I, it is what it is. Th there's a time when you have to realize the game's over. You pick up your ball and go home. Yeah. And it's not being a defeatist. It's not giving up on anything, and it's certainly no. not turning our fucking backs on anybody, no. a family, victims, anybody else. It's not switching I, sides. I, it's just I can't do this anymore because you're asking me to do something that my character won't let me do. There's no more sides. I mean, it's gone. Don't. Oh, the idea that anybody could think that they're still ours is ridiculous to me. It's yeah. sad. It's delusional. Yeah. And you know, um, we don't have a great history with with Bam, Mo, Mo and I, but we did no. the same for Bam. <laughs> when, when Bam stood up and spoke a truth about Claire. We came out and said it. Yeah. Bam is telling the truth about Claire. Yes. We, took, we took flack for it. And we'll do it again and we'll keep on doing it until one of two things happen. Either Claire admits what she's done is horrific abuse of friendships, of trust, of the Rusex, and, and leaves quietly and promises never to do this to any other family ever again or she gives us the proof that she's been telling the truth all along and we've been calling her out incorrectly in which case i will apologize and mm -hmm. i will eat humble pie and i will make a donation to the crowd justice so mm -hmm. come on claire yeah Take, well again pr prove us wrong please please do because I would much prefer to be wrong and, and, and think, well, oh, God, I've called that wrong, but at least she wasn't duping the Rusex. Mm. Because being it's right... It's not about them trusting her or not. Again, I'm going to yeah. say that again for, you know, my little being disclaimer. Right it's not about them still being... believing her or not believing her. Yeah. I could have contacted them a very long time ago and told uh, whatever I wanted them to, or any anybody here, yeah. theoretically, could have done that with. So don't... Yeah. Um, it's just, just let's see if you can be honest. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. You know, show how I'm not. I'm not being honest right now or telling the truth. Who's the real truther here? I would never presume that she's still in that position with them. That's fine. But don't project the idea that I was so threatening to you by asking you. Uh, to show us an email that you said that you got that you, you were going to show that is not that is not pressuring you to show anything it's not being afraid it's not being ugly or jealous admit that you're lying i just can't i can't do this anymore yeah. so i'm sorry yeah. well she needs to come out with the big guns her and dorothy need to fire up alive with all of the proof of us being wrong mm -hmm. yeah i can't wait for that Let's get let's get going on that, ladies. We can't be very special for that night. And checked, huh? and checked, didn't we? We can't be wrong. We're not. She wrong. told y'all that she could it's give y'all the even, IPO number. She the, told y'all that. So ask her for the IPO number, like I said with Helen. Where is what, it? Do I think the IPO number? Um, intellectual property office number. It's a simple thing. That's not that's not a personal issue. It's not a personal slight. You know, there's nothing sinister in that. She said that she had it and that she would show it. Just yeah, show that one thing. Phone number or? No, she said she'd got it. She said that she, she, said she filed it. Yeah. We played those clips. We and did that because. Well, she can't have done because Mr. Ruzik hasn't registered the, the, the photograph. It doesn't matter. Our our point that's being that she she went to these lengths. And saying mm. these things to keep this her her bullshit going, that we knew it was all going. fake and it was ridiculous. Yeah. That even the people that are saying "yeah" right now, she's just jealous. Okay, well, you were asking her questions in that chat, y'all. Y'all said that she, you know she said that she could show you whatever you wanted. 
I'll, yeah. I'll answer your questions. I'm asking you ask her where the number is and, and show it to you. Show it to us. Show it she to really us. slipped up and cemented it even more cement on top of the cement she'd already done is when she said about the, was it NDR or ADR? That is I when know. I knew for certain that she was definitely, definitely not a lawyer. She, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. I mean, whiskey <laughs> is the one with the law background. Hey, hey stop, because that confuses people. I, I studied well, a law degree for two and a half years and then <laughs> I, I had an accident. I had head injury that left me with epilepsy, so I didn't sit my final. So <clears> I don't <throat> have my uh, Bachelor of Employment Law, but I did do two and a half years at university studying law. And, um, yeah. <laughs> the now, first Cass year... Cassia the says first, NDR. Is that what you were talking about? The yeah, NDR. NDR. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I what knew is it was that? DR. I can't think of it as an A or an N. Yeah. No, what is just, an NDR? Um, she, she's... When she... Um, Sorry, go ahead. Mom. It's a thing if I'm right, when I looked it up, AD would have had to have papers served to him before we <clears> got <throat> to that stage, and he hadn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, when, okay. you know, when she said that she'd got this uh, injunction order from the court and it had gone over mm -hmm. to YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, that she would have, there would have had to have been. Um, a, either a, a, a non-disclosure restraining order <clears throat> on him, which is an emergency one, which is given normally you're doing that because somebody's life is at risk. Uh, mm -hmm. You won't inform mm -hmm. the person that you're doing this restraining order because it's an emergency one. Or he will be served one and told this is the day that you will be brought your case will be brought to court and you will give your opportunity to reply to the, what the plaintiff is alleging about your, your um, injunction. And AD never got a date. He got no communication to say that there was any hearing in any court in England. Yeah, I, 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 okay, and that, that's true and everything, yeah. but let's go back to this. You said that you had the number? You, you said all of that? Show it. I don't want to hear about what should have happened because we know what should have happened, how now it should have played out. We, we believed our friend or believed somebody that yeah. we thought she sounded believable. I sound believable when I'm telling you my truth. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm knowledgeable about certain things. I would never presume to come up and pretend that I, I know everything about the law, UK or American or body language or, you know, bad form and politics. I don't do that. I don't. But it's it's gotten to the point where you can't um how should i say this again about normalizing the behavior and the lies mm. at the time it seemed believable but when you go back in time you know what you're looking for you see it yeah you, you have those it, uh, right? moments when like, you look yeah, back right. why didn't i see this why didn't i see that oh. how do we not see that and you I just mean, said, you just said body language Take your mind well, back to when she did the video sitting under the tree out in the garden. I don't watch y'all. Tell me that. What are you talking about? Claire did a video. Can't remember when. Is that Not when long. she was like getting out and she, everybody was like, oh my gosh, yeah, you, copyright strike and all that. And everybody that was he'd made his that... bed and you've got to lie in it. And she went, tut, tut, tut. No, ask yeah. yourself, would a respected lawyer? have done something like that a real lawyer <laughs> they wouldn't have done no no it's no just... why would a lawyer have done that oh of course well yeah well and, and that's one of the things that we talked about earlier too is you know she she's in an, quiet in the she, video she's quiet now she's and every and not everybody but certain people are saying no she has to be quiet because now you know it's it's proceeding legally no. she wasn't quiet for, for up until she got called out by us saying, by me no, yeah, yeah. Right. so mm -hmm. she wasn't quiet she was on panels she was mm -hmm. talking she was making videos there was nothing quiet about what she was saying or doing until 
we needed to see something um, mm -hmm. tangible. That's it. Then all of a sudden, she has to be quiet. Does anybody else find that really friggin' convenient? Come on. I know. I know. I just That's what know just... that I didn't come and tell you that I honestly think you would have thought I was trying to stir it and cause trouble. Mm. You know what? And to be honest, uh, that's but that's what, that that's one of the reasons why we're here, right? Let's cause a rocket and get some attention to to the to the liar over there. Whether yeah. his his people believed him or gave him a pass, they didn't want to leave their community, whatever it is. Um, as long as y'all can acknowledge that and and what we had been doing in the past, mm -hmm. yeah, you can acknowledge the fact that it it should not have ever ended this way for people oh, like hell us. No. Hell no. Why does that have to end? No, you know why? Why did this? It, it sucks. It really sucks. And yeah. in, in, in to know the thing that you were fighting for was just at this point. Okay, so what if she lies? Yeah. I can't. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. we've all spent three years screaming at our computer monitors. Stop lying, yeah. you bastard! Yeah, and now it's like, oh, it's okay to lie. Yeah. There was actually a creator who said that after this all came out. She made a video and she said some stuff about what, what her opinion on what she saw. And she said, so what? So what? She lied. If she lied, so what? She literally what to do with our personal morals, mm. right? Yeah. 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 She no. literally said that and then turns no. around yeah. and keeps, it keeps exposing AD and calling herself one of the truth channels. Like, how do no. you, that, oh, it's so asinine. So asinine. Yeah. That, yeah. that was that that was my you know that was a serious thing though when you think about it because one so what if she lied just keep telling everybody how he yeah. lies so what if he and lies? give her is a pass is that no, no. so what if he's lying so what, <laughs> what are you doing here what the hell are you doing here yeah what were you here for don't think that we're still here at anywhere you know in a community yeah it's yeah. a shame it is a shame well, look, maybe something good can be salvaged out of this. Maybe there's there's enough of us waking up where we can go back to doing what we used to do without all mm -hmm. the nonsense. Yeah. Because at least we can Perhaps. all get up every morning, look at the mirror and say, I'm an okay person. I've got my moral compass and it's not for sale. Mm-hmm. That's what we all, like you said, we all believed each other at one time and believe what we were saying. We all were really standing together for something at one yeah. point. Nothing wrong regardless with being a loyal of what happened friend. after that. Hmm? Nothing Sorry. wrong with being a loyal friend. And I would have probably done the same if, it, like you say, if Maureen was telling me something, I would have probably had her back and not asked for the receipts because she's my well, friend. I, I respect show you her. The receipts. I would yeah. have, I know you do, but God love you. I don't need to see them, but I, you know, I would have had her back because as good friends, that's what you do. So you're you're not to be blamed for defending her the, the way you did so vehemently because I would have done the same boot on the other foot. <clears throat> but we're not here to cast judgment or gloat or seeing what you're, you're going through is wrong. It is wrong what's happening to you guys. And it has to stop. People need to take a step back and recalibrate their moral compasses because it is not okay to see you guys betrayed, hurt, pushed out, ignored and ghosted, mocked and whatever. It's not okay because you're telling the truth. Your hearts were in the right place. And somebody has come in and done all of this damage <clears> and is sitting there now with Dorothy, telling more yeah. lies, creating more trouble, taking down more channels. And acting like it's business as usual. Exactly. That is sad and delusional. Exactly. That is just that it has nothing to do with why we were here originally, it has nothing to do with why we stayed and continued this. That exactly. is that is wrong. Yeah. Don't make excuses for somebody that you know is lying. Yeah. Don't um, ask other people to lie or not say anything on your behalf anymore, please. No. Because no. look at who she's doing that for and who she's doing it to. If you ever thought that that respected anybody really in this community, 
or one that we even had one at all. No. You would you would realize that you were you're giving her a pass as well. Um, it's not right. It's no. not. No, those people need to take a step back and and, mm -hmm. and and reconsider what they're they're demanding of you. And right now, if you want to tell people that I was jealous or so screenshots or whatever, okay, oh yeah, okay. I'm not brainwashed. I'm not anything. But that is your that is your argument. Oh, they're they're jealous. They're this. They're that. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's um, your argument about why why I'm doing this or why we did it or we're saying anything at all. And for the so, record, yeah, really? all of uh, this is with my lawyer. So if you want to come after me, Claire. Well, I hope her name's not Claire Morgan. <laughs> no, definitely not Claire Morgan. Very yeah. good lawyer. All yeah. of this is with my lawyer. I had to get a lawyer because I witnessed AD's lawyer's meeting. And I recorded it. I shouldn't have recorded it because it's against the law. I had no intention of recording it. But something happened in that meeting that I just hit the record button without thinking of the consequences. But I'm glad I did. My lawyer and then, knows it. And then her Everyone... conscience got the better of her and she had to go to a lawyer and take advice. <laughs> <laughs> and... She knows the situation that I'm in and everything is weighing very heavily on my shoulders at the moment because I don't like knowing what I know and seeing what's happened and I can't say nothing. Because you'll get into trouble. <laughs> so will you, you were there as well. <laughs> I didn't press my much as that I used to be part of a truth community and that we were trying to take this lazy bastard down. But I just think that to me, it's I am um, okay. I don't know what to say. Okay, uh, you don't have to tell I will, us anything. I will talk to you privately with Lizzie. Um, yeah, I think that would be good things. if you, if the three of you got together and had a, a chit chat. I'll message Lizzie later because I don't know what yeah. time it is in Canada now. Um, yeah. I'm I'm getting tired now, and I've got so oh, am I. How long have we been on? 17 hours this week. 17 hours, um, and I've got dogs to walk and a Sunday dinner to cook for my feral oh, pension. I hope I you think I've still got a husband somewhere. Uh, um, but I'm glad <laughs> that we were able to come in and, and talk the way we've talked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nuff, if I don't know if you're still around, Nuff, but you know I do think about you often. I really do. Um, I was in tears one night. I think it was the night I let Lizzie's Madeline McCann videos live again, and I saw how how you were all hurting because of what she'd done. Yes. Because I know exactly <laughs> how that feel. Yeah. Well. I think also one of the things that somebody said when you, you when you say so what a cleared lie, what does that have to do with your morals? Um, it has everything to do with it, right? It has everything to do with it. If it and, um, it's, it's the very fabric. My... It's the very fabric of who you are as a person and why we're here. Yeah. yeah, and if I hadn't had a fear of cutting my hands and have to go to hospital and have stitches, my fist would have been through my computer screen when she said that. But we can all agree that again, we were all here at the beginning for for pretty much the same thing. We stood mm, for the yeah. same thing, regardless yeah. of everything that's happened. There are no more sides for me. Please don't anybody suggest that anymore because it's just a, it, it, it's offensive to think that there, we're still picking sides or or anything like that. No, then there were never any sides to choose for people like no. Kim. No, I'm here. There was never any side for you to choose ever. You know that she didn't have to be quiet for whatever reason. Why? Why would you? Why would you tell people that? I had to get that off my chest because if I never say anything else about any of this, I'm going to at least say that. So it's done. It so, is done. Um, one thing it's I want to say is, is Claire. You know, for months in our chat, we were asking you to show us something so we could go out and defend you. The five of us really 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 wanted to help you help yourself 
That's mm-hmm. all you needed to do. And unfortunately, when it didn't happen and um, Jenny and stand up went up on BAMs, you know, again, I commend them. That was a lot of courage. That was a lot of courage for them to do that. And I'm yeah. I'm really thankful that they did because they were waiting. You know, we were stressing about how how to bring this out. Do we have like a live? Do we announce it? Do we drop it in a chat? What do we do? And I like I said, I don't know <laughs> what what made them decide what to do, do it. But that day, I guess Bam was talking about it and they decided this is the time and yes. they jumped And we knew it. that Bam knew this and that she had been wanting to say anything. We had been hit with the stupid ass fake season oh, yeah, 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 everything yeah. flew and that bought us some time. We're like, can you just no, no, keep her funny. quiet on this for a little while? No, no, funny. Let- yeah, let, well, let's. Mine say, is because it doesn't. The Defamation Act of 2013 doesn't apply to me, Maureen. So yeah, it's pretty it fake in my, my estimation. No, um, affect Texas, no. No, in the U.S., it doesn't affect us. No. Um, but yeah. one other thing, really quick, Claire, you need to know that Bam wanted to go for you many times. Jenny mm-hmm. is the only reason she didn't. She did it. She didn't go for her out of respect for, or go for you out of respect for Jenny. So you know, we did. We tried. We really, really tried, Claire. And and I'm I'm sorry if you don't see that. I really hope I you showed see that. that. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw the videos, the clips of because uh, I am accountable. And if I'm going to sit here and say something, you know, it's the truth. And I will bring you the proof. Uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Y'all know um, how I roll. I showed y'all. Everything I said, I said to Claire in conversations with others that are in this community. Yeah. She couldn't answer our questions. She dipped, y'all know it. Stop saying anything otherwise. Just stop. Mm -hmm. Please. And look at that and tell me that you can't hear the honest. You know, the honest. I was so sick after everything happened that weekend that everything that I had been fighting for was so, uh, y'all, y'all, uh, literally, didn't care about everything that I had been through or that we had been fighting for. As long as you got to keep talking, right? Come on. You showed no respect for anything of the things that I've said or that I swear that I've given. Uh, uh, it's just, I want, if, if y'all want, I'll, I'll put them up, but I've never lied. Never. Ever. No. So please, if y'all want, you'll, you'll see exactly how it played out at the time what she was saying to us at the time and she was saying to others at the time and now you want me to be quiet <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. I, just, I just honestly i just wish especially uh it, it, so we've got maureen and whiskey on this panel hell really has froze over right did anybody <laughs> <laughs> did anybody the expect days, to, did anybody think of the apocalypse are on their way right did anybody think they were going to come into a salty live and see these people here or some of the people in chat but i've so, always had the open policy no, I know, I know, I don't, but what you I'm know saying, that so but it's, yeah and it's not about sides don't okay sorry right what friend. i'm saying is is that you know people have seen what's been happening even people who didn't necessarily like us or agree with us they've seen what's been happening claire has to have seen what's happening claire all you have to do is be one tenth of a friend to us as we were to you that's mm-hmm. all you have to do that's i think if we were in a movie right now this would be where we say smoke them if you got them fuck it you know <laughs> that's <laughs> right. yeah. whatever yeah whatever. i mean this is a when you when you have to admit defeat only in as much as that you tell the truth and you're honest and you have integrity, uh, there's no point in being here anymore. If you if you well, uh, cannot, the people that, that that feel so strongly that they need to speak the truth are the people that get pushed out into the badlands. That's yeah. crazy. Well, hopefully there. I mean, there's nowhere for us to go anymore. Okay, no. so please anybody, no. so you support who you want. Don't ever say that we are being open and honest and telling y'all what happened is betrayal of friends or families or victims ever again. Yeah. yeah. Ever. So. Uh, and yeah. don't cross okay. our paths and keep our names out your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Just, you keep mine out of yours out. for fuck's sake. But I'm still going to call you a bunny boiler. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? So, what? No, I said, I'll still call you a bunny boiler, though, behind your back. Or I put on my left. <laughs> no, I was referencing Dorothy and Claire with the don't cross our paths and keep our names out your mouths. 
That's all they have um, to do for us to not. I think I should feel strong, more strongly about the, the stuff that, or how she's acting because you've known, I've known her for this long and support her, you know, she knows how I am. So I think the fact that um, you were so willing and susceptible to believe something over somebody that you supported publicly because you know they're a truth teller is kind of sad. Dot. It's kind of sad. I don't know how to feel about that other than I'm not jealous and you know and stop saying shit. Um, but yeah, just don't say anything at all. That's that. That's what we agreed to, right? Yeah. Don't say anything. Come on. Hey, Lucinda. Hey, hey, Lucinda. It's good to see you. I don't know why you deleted your comment under Nuff Nuff's video, but glad you came into the chat. Thanks. Oh. You see, even the people in the asylum get a day out. It's quite nice, really. <laughs> when is our day? She'll be home in time for finger painting and jam sandwiches. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think that I don't want to say that I have no more emotional investment left to what dislike people or like them or side with them or not side with them. It's a moot point. It, it, mm. Everybody's always been welcome here. I've welcomed everybody's opinion. I might have been shitty and salty, but that's what I was here to do. I never wasn't in 12 hour lives or, or 12 hour lives dragging people constantly and so gratuitously hateful uh, to get attention. I never did that. Um, there are, in, I saw the comment right here at Salty's channel. She can say what she wants. Well, of course, anybody can. I don't have to like it. You have to admit that. Any, about, any one of us can say anything. It doesn't mean anything at this point. No. No, it's Lucy. No. When you Thank act you. like you, when when you feel outraged still, <laughs> that if you're going to see anybody on my channel, which is why in, in, they've never come at this point, if you're upset because you're seeing these people up on my panel, you're not here for the right reasons. Oh, I've been asking Lucy. people, please come up, do something, tell the truth, tell us what happened, tell us why you think it's okay for people to lie. I've been saying that for seven months, 18 months, hell. Um, it's, 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 I'm really frustrated right now. So I apologize. You're still making it into something that it's not. It's not this anymore. No, they Don't make it to, into something. They want to perpetuate it because the plan is to take them. There you go. Well, then you keep perpetuating it, but you're not going to yeah. do it over here unless you want to come up yeah. here and say that it's okay for, for, for me to, or you want me to be quiet about somebody that was lying uh, uh, to, to a family that, are very public in their pursuit right now, civil litigation especially. It has nothing to do with her being a lawyer or not not being a lawyer. You you want to keep playing that? I'm not I'm not there. That's not my playground anymore. How about that? It's not okay. Don't do that anymore. Just stop. Yeah. There you go. It's easy. Yeah. No. If AD ever gets to court, which is only my opinion, I don't think he will get to court. Well, considering I saw what I saw, I think he will be very soon. But again, hey, that's just my. But what Claire has done will come out. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I hadn't thought about that. But yeah, I know. What you, I, I know what, you, what you're. And the other thing saying. is, is that we've, you know, we have Claire claiming to be a solicitor in her own words, in her own voice, and she's not bothered about an investigation by the SRA. Mm. It's crazy. It's we dangerous. Do we, need to play that clip? Do we need to play that clip to remind people of Claire talking? Yeah, about if you've got it, it I've got it right here. Hear it. Second. I played and it again, it's not about how she lied. Oh, she said she was a lawyer when she saw it. There are serious fucking consequences to this. Yes. The ramifications of this will be far reaching and long lasting as far as being a truth community, what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. So. And and just for the record, don't don't ever say if you've got that clip. Jen has clips of everything. All she just can't ever find. Them. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've learned from the best. I've learned from Lizzie. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, Jen, Jenny, enough, enough said she wants a T-shirt that says Lizzie's got it. Because <laughs> anytime anybody needs anything, Lizzie's got it. So yeah, why don't you show that clip really quick? Well, it's just an audio clip, but yeah, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna play it right now, everybody. Hi, I'm back. Sorry it took me so long. Can I tell you, I ran to the grocery store that's two blocks away because it just opened. That's the best time to always go. Hey, I don't want to hear your life story right now. What are we doing? 
I'm what? playing the clip. Anyways, I got stuck behind <laughs> one guy with four hundred dollars worth of groceries in the one cash that decided he wanted to pack his four hundred dollars worth of groceries before he paid. I was not happy. Anyways, I'm gonna play the clip. <laughs> oh, it's audio. I don't have to put it yeah. on, do I? Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Like, it's just straight audio. Okay. I'll be back on a minute. All right, here we go. Oh. And it, this is whiskey that Claire's talking about, by the way, in this clip. <laughs> then I was like, oh, Claire, I honestly, I don't know. She's just a fucking idiot. So, um, yeah, you know, I can't believe that she tried to play legal games with a solicitor. <laughs> what did she think she was doing? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I've been, I've been retired. Well, eight, eight, nine oh. years I've been retired now. But why, why did she think she could play legal games with somebody who worked within the law? You know, because she really, really thought that I wasn't, I wasn't what I was saying I was. But she had a and we really, really thought we did. You were a hell of a good shot. And now she's deleted the video she did that she'd done on me and mentioning my son. Hmm. Not deleted. I wonder why. <laughs> now I know why everybody knows why you wanted me to remove those live streams, Claire, because the shit that you said about yourself and being a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. Let's put that in there. Let me rub that salt in just a little bit because I am salty. Oh god damn. Yeah. Good Himalayan rock salt and hope. Well because it is what it is, I guess. Her, that's her in her own words. Her own mouth saying, because I am a solicitor. Now, Claire. And, yes. and, and that's just it, y'all. Yeah. When, when we, we were thinking, wait, she said on this live, or she sent it to you, right? Didn't she show you these pictures and everything else? And she's telling every six, seven different reasons why you're never going to find a number of this or that. Um, do, you, do you, you believe her? I believed her, just like y'all believed me. Because I told yeah. the truth yeah. until I found that she wasn't anymore. Yeah. She even posted on a live chat and told someone that she was a barrister. Yeah. She said these things. It's an undeniable fact. Mm. Yeah. It is a fact. When, okay. when I was uh, just a subscriber in, in the true community, I, I um, came across and we had a, a, a debate, shall we say, about a legal thing that was going on. And um, I begged to differ. And she said... Uh, you do realise you're talking to a member of the Queen's Council, don't you? And I said, oh, well, in that case, you can bite my bum and sue me. Okay, so I've learned the difference now. There's solicitor, barrister, and Queen's Council. So um, she's basically claimed to be all three of them. Can you yeah. actually be all three? Or do you move up in ranks? You move well, up. I don't want to hear those words yeah. anymore. I don't want to hear verification or copyright either. Damn it. No, no, I'm you just ruined saying. It for me. I didn't, I, it took me the longest time to figure out what the hell the difference between all this yeah, crap. Yeah, you work your way up. So you start off as a, a solicitor and work your way up within the practice um, to partnership level. And then you will sit the bar. And if you're lucky, you'll pass the bar and become a barrister. And then if you're extremely good at being a barrister, you will be invited to the Inns of Court in London and you will be a Queen's Counsel and part of the judiciary. So she's claimed to be all three. Okay, yeah. You she's know? a fucking superhero. What? A no, I am. Wait, what? Who's a superhero? <laughs> she's a I'm pathological just... liar fucking sarcastic as shit. And again, you know, when in, 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 in because of how things are or were in that community, when people were being called flip-floppers, you're calling me a fucking cyber terrorist um, or anything else, you're kind of going to be predisposed to not believe uh, well, yeah, of course you're going to be shitty and say these things about Claire. Of course you're going to be this. Of course she is who she is. She says she is. And I'm going to stand up for her. That's what happened. That's what we did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we I know the y'all were her a shit and she, you were her friends and you were defending it and all of that is understandable. All of it. I'm sure it is. But I also called her out and held her to account and you will see that. And there was no reason why I needed to stay private about something that I was here to do, which is tell the truth. 
Well, well, that's let's, what let's I was just, here to do. Let's just be fair. We all called her out and and tried to. Hold no, her I to meant it. I meant private in in the in the um in the chats that I showed that yeah, it wasn't a personal issue. It was only about the fucking copyrights and her excuses and how that played out. Yeah, I still that that's that's how I am. It wasn't about. Uh, uh, a friendship and I thing. It wasn't you were about that. asking her because all the subs were saying, "What's happening? What's happening? Why hasn't yeah. anything happened?" At yeah, right, so right. Yeah. And, and, and just just to be clear, um, Salty's only showing her conversations. There were many, many, many other conversations, right? Yeah. So yes, that that's what um, whiskey. That's what the five of us. What we were doing because we were getting questioned a lot. What's going on with Claire? Yes. We're going to Claire. Going Claire. Give us something so we can help Come defend on. you out there. Give mm -hmm. us something. It, again, I'll say it again. I even, an old business card. I have old business cards from the very first fucking job I ever had. An old business card. Give us something so we can say we saw it with our You can't owner. call and get your freaking transcripts just like that. Come on. Yeah. Yes. So that's, that's we, did. we tried really hard for almost three months. It was two months with us and about two weeks after Sam and um, genetic code and a few other people um, were made aware of it by us almost three months trying to get her to give us something that we could as a friend we can go out there and fight for her and she she just poo-pooed it all um she it was no big deal she she didn't care she didn't need it you know what? i want to recue let's if jen's here can we get those videos up again because i want everybody to see them um yeah. again and um uh, one thing is, is that when you say that it was a personal issue, you're telling people it was a personal issue. I should have kept it private. Anybody that ever supported me, all of you that I've seen, I'm there. I don't know why. This couldn't have been tank taken care of privately. I'm here telling the truth. You wanted me to keep that private that I found it and I knew she wasn't telling that? That wasn't a personal thing uh, that should have been kept private. What the fuck was I doing here? Why was I here? That's very mm. disappointing. Uh, so it's not a personal thing that should have been kept private. I was here for this reason. This is what happened. Don't, don't, don't anyone say it should have been done privately. Then we should all make videos about AD privately or not say anything publicly because exactly. we don't want him to look bad. Give me a fucking break. Please. Right. It's ready for you whenever you sorry open, baby. no don't be sorry i'm just letting you know what's even there you wouldn't know because you can't see shit i can't okay and no, this is uh me that weekend as everything unfolded me talking to claire and her saying things back and you will see exactly why yeah. um how it went down so here we go all right all right on the record here it's time to put up or shut up as far as i'm concerned he's got something show it or you show it okay i'm tired of dragged. i'm getting messages from people saying that you're not who you are claire that you've never shown anything show, saying that you're a lawyer never shown anything that i'm anything either but i'm fucking tired of this shit waking up right now with everything else going on people talking about cease and desist going to court doing that doing this i have no fucking clue what's happening I asked you a question the other day, and you never even answered me, Claire. I know I'm sounding salty right now. I haven't even gotten up off of my fucking liner that I've been sleeping on for the past fucking year and a half, and I, I'm dealing with this shit. So either I'm fully invested, or this is just, you know, at the point where I'm just going to go right now, restream my fucking live last night, and tell them to fucking suck my cock, and I'll be back when he goes to court. God, the language on this bitch. This isn't funny. This is right? Funny. <laughs> Whether it's valid or not, I don't think people are grasping the, the full totality of the uh, the bullshit here. I don't think it's funny. I'm not putting any fucking laughing emojis down. Come on. Okay, I mean, I'm around. I haven't checked any other chats. I haven't even looked at Facebook barely. I've been on YouTube yet. I have no idea what's being said or what's going around. When are we going to have this stream here again? We need to have it. And why is it taking this long? I don't get it. Our priority is we need to get this shit straightened out. Claire, has she, have you responded to anybody, Claire? I'll be standing by until we have the fucking stream yard. We get it going, come on. No 
going to tell you, I hate telling you this, Claire, but I'm really starting to feel a certain fucking way, all right? Yesterday, it's been 24 straight fucking hours with me having to deal with this shit, wondering if anything that you did um, has any uh, basis of validity. I'm not even thinking about that lawsuit. I'm talking about the fucking strikes. We need to know exactly what you've sent, what, you, what you've received. We need the attachments. There's no reason why you could not have given us that by now. You said you're going to sleep. You said you're freaking on a phone call. And now I'm mad. You can hear it. I'm trying to stay chill. I really fucking am. But there's no reason why none of us, even if you just send it with one fucking person. I mean, I'm not talking screenshots. I mean, the emails that you got. That's imperative. All right. That's what we need. I'm thinking right now, his strikes are about to drop off and everything will have been for nothing. And then people are going to find out some shit and it's going to make us look bad. Fucking send it. I don't know why I'm the only fucking one saying anything, but it's true. You could have sent that shit last night. I don't know why you said you were going to sleep or you just disappeared, Claire. That's really fucked up, I'll tell you. Because even though we were all hit with those cease and desist, we know they're all bullshit. You would think that the fucking lawyer would be there considering everything we've been doing for the last two years up to this fucking point. Give me a fucking break. Different fucking hemisphere. So they're, they're really going to come Monday morning. Did somebody say something? Was I supposed to stop it? No. No, sorry, that was me speaking out loud. Oh, okay. Um, I, I wasn't sure somebody was trying to comment. Sorry about that. We'll carry on as we were. <laughs> More than be fucked, I have a feeling. And that, that this is just fucked up, man. This is fucked up. Are you kidding me, Claire? Scrambling? Anything? Uh. You don't know what I'm thinking? I'm making it clear. This is not a difficult thing for you to share when all the shit started flying yesterday and you said that you were going to sleep. I mean, you could have sent anything to any one of us. I've been waiting here for two hours and 24 minutes for you to, to be available. God damn, you've had this amount of time to get something, send it to somebody. There's no fucking way that Mr. Rusek is saying that he's just going to retract them now anyway. Are you fucking kidding me with that shit, Claire? Let me tell you something. If they were valid, if there was anything to retract, why would he do it at this point? What has the last two and a half years been for? To get him off this fucking platform, to get his ass in court one way or another, right? Right now, he's really going to fucking retract them. Are you kidding? Just on principle alone, I have to tell you to fuck off with that shit, Claire. Like I'm a fucking idiot. That's a slap in my fucking face. All of this, and he's going to retract them if they're valid and there's something to retract. There's no fucking way that he would do that. None. He's not going to retract shit. And when that came out that she said, and she said, she told me that she had to talk Frank down off the ledge of not retracting those strikes. My fucking heart sunk into the pit of my stomach because I knew it was bullshit. I think she was probably trying to convince them to retract them is what we kind of came Yeah, in hindsight, yeah, I thought she was lying. Just another thing to say because she'd been saying a lot of shit. But um, I think if, if it came up in conversation really and truly, she was the one that was trying to get him to do that because she, she had to have it end somehow. And it wasn't any good. Try to justify to him why she yeah. should do it. Yeah. How many did Frank strike? Was it 50? <clears throat> in total overall yeah it was pretty close to that mm -hmm. i think overall three channels well that actually worked in the opposite way because that put attention on frank rather yeah. than on ad yeah exactly it shot a big fat, yeah. a big fat spotlight yeah yeah i, I think loved, you know something snowballs is something that you didn't anticipate of course of course yeah. but if you weren't being shady like, and shitty and shifty you wouldn't this wouldn't have happened exactly so, but in that communication I had to be mentioned again, didn't I? Oh, he's done that with Mo. Everything AD does has always been done with me. Oh, I think what oh, when we were, um, oh. I think maybe later on, actually it was the weekend when Bam had her live and then Dorothy had hers. When we knew everything was happening, I knew his channel was going to come <laughs> back. I said this stuff two weeks before. Um, uh, they were like, well, just remember that Whiskey and Maureen are saying stuff and they're twisting things and they're whatever it is. It's not about Whiskey and Maureen at that point. It's not now. I'm sorry. It's not. But 
it, it, it was a, a rational argument for somebody in our position yeah. to have. Yeah, back then. If that makes sense. That would have right? been your thought process back then, but now you know different. Yeah. Yeah. That's Absolutely. That's why I thought my, it's, it's not... My like, feelings towards him about what he does have not changed. If anything, they've probably got worse. Mm. He's a sneaky I saw a brother, side brother. to him that I'd never seen before. Yeah, there's a real oh yeah, he's definitely. This is the worst he's ever been throughout this whole time. Can we can we play the second one so you can it's see how I first? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hang in uh, there, I'm all over it. I just can't believe it. So here's the next. Do you want to put the contact Sam in time frame again when this is when this is that um, weekend when everything flew? The stuff that you just heard me saying, Claire. This was a. Uh, this is the the what happened at the hell end of it was. Oh well, just think later on. But let's look at the big picture here, Sam. That's that's that was it. That's what that was. It's pretty obvious. Right. Huh, okay. So this was what when at the end of that weekend? When was this one again? The weekend that it all came out. When yeah, that was the Monday following. We were trying to help her come up with you know, let us yeah. know if the copyrights are real. That kind of shit. Funny because the only problem that I oh no, this is what's happened. This is what happened. Didn't find out from her. You're hearing it from somebody else. Like you're hearing it from who? Who? Alex or whoever else. Like y'all are hearing it from this one over here. And y'all are hearing it from that one over there. Who heard it from Summer? Who heard it from Mrs. Rusek? I am literally at the fucking point right now. I don't want to ever hear about a fucking copyright. I don't want to hear about strikes. I don't ever want to hear about investigations, criminal or otherwise, especially if there's several years in the future, you know? I'm tired of the cloak and dagger bullshit. I'm really tired at this point, right this second of thinking that anything I say or do is going to affect anybody's shit whatsoever. The families, y'all's, Claire's, everybody else's, okay? I'll just do my own thing, seriously, because this is just freaking ridiculous. This is where we're at. This is fucking ridiculous. Criminal, you have no idea the stuff that he's been doing. I don't want to hear that anymore. I don't. I'm sorry. Is this me finally losing it? Probably. Probably. Because... All this shit that I've taken on. And I can barely get up every fucking morning. I don't have a bed to fucking sleep in. Nothing. This whole fucking weekend wasted emotionally on nothing that makes any fucking difference because none of it matters. I fucking hell, I'm done. I'm fucking done. No, I guess I was feeling emotional at that point. Because I saw all these emails and then I'm just seeing all this shit about Claire. And I'm seeing all this fucking shit from Kim. I mean, oh my gosh, so that's so many things on him. And it's going to be, I mean, just serious criminal charges. It might take several years for them to charge him. Yeah, she actually fucking said that. That and then in addition to everything that Jen and Amber were saying, I was like, this is it. I mean, this is literally it. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I can't do this anymore. I'm just, um, I can't believe that. Uh, and like it was nothing. And she's sitting here saying that about Claire every time I hear anything from anybody. It came from somebody else. I never saw it with my own eyes. No, I, I never saw it, but they told me they saw it. No, I don't know where it's at, but they saw it and I trust them. This is what they told me because they heard it from this person and, you know, who saw it or maybe didn't see it. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck that. I just can't. And seriously, nothing I say or do on any channel is going to make a fucking difference at this point. And that goes for all of us. How am I going to do anything? I can't even help anybody. This is for nothing. It's not going to hurt them if we can't help them. God. I was feeling personal then, that after all of that, that your reaction was, hey, look, he's going to be charged criminally in this big imaginary case in a couple of years, Sam. Look on the bright side. Come on. That's your, that, that's how that we ended, okay? Come on. It's awful. <laughs> and I'm not showing anything that I didn't say to anybody on my channel. Yeah. These were my mods. I have yeah. every right to show anything that has to do with my channel, what I was doing here, what I wasn't doing here, who I was talking to. And it wasn't a private private conversation that would hurt anybody in any way. No. At all. So don't say it was personal and I should have kept it private. 
The only person who hurt is Claire because she got called out on her bullshit. Yeah, she she gone. Bye. She brought that, she brought that all on herself. Mm -hmm. I've got that third one ready. I'm just going to share it right oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so no, no, sorry. I haven't shared it yet. I'm just mm -hmm. telling you. Who's here? Does anybody want to come up here and yell at me? I don't huh? like it when you're nice. What? I said, I don't Wiki. like it when you're nice. You're apologizing. Stop that shit. We keep dropping the link, but nobody wants to come up. Uh, apparently, and that's Morgan fine. And Whiskey, that's Morgan fine. And Whiskey are just gluttons for punishment, but nobody else wants to come up here with you. Stop running the people off. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not going to start doing that now. It, and again, it's not about teams anymore. Please, nobody to say anything about sides or tone. No. I just, I, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So this uh, last one, hearing that pain in your voice at the end is just hmm. awful. And I, and, and I do, I do want to say that what Sam was feeling was what we were all feeling. All feeling. Yeah, we, and, and all, there, there are so all. many clips similar to this by all of us. But Sam's the one that's decided to, to share hers, and this is just a representation of what we were all going through. Now, this was the weekend when Bam had her live stream, and the ladies were over there, and when Dorothy had hers, and I went over, and, and uh, later on, so did Jen and, and, and Cheryl. Okay. Uh, I knew the channel was going to be coming back. I knew it for two weeks. All of us involved here uh, were involved on the weekend when all that shit flew, where Claire took off, and um, they knew she was lying, oh. uh, and they knew it was going to come out. So this was basically they wanted us to be quiet. Bam's stream was on Halloween when Stand Up and Nuff Nuff went up there, mm -hmm. and then did we go on Halloween Day later, or was that on Sunday the next day? Anyway, so that was the time frame, whether it was a Saturday or the Sunday. So this that's when it happened. Yeah. So, so you'll was, see that I was, I was, it was transparent the same still. day. It was, it was the, the same, same day. day. So Jen, and, and, and I do, I want to say this because I think it's important. Jen and stand up went on BAM's panel. Nuff, nuff. Nuff, nuff. Did. Nuff, nuff, nuff. Yes. Helen, happy thoughts. And myself ended up going on the panel to support what they had been saying. Then later that afternoon, um, Salty went on Dorothy's, then you went up on Dorothy's, and then I went up on Dorothy's. That was Sunday. That was Sunday. That was Sunday. That was all on the it same day. Anyway, it was that weekend, and um, all of us that knew what was happening and what was what was probably going to happen, that we're having that conversation. So, um, again, my mods, my channel, my business. I don't have to keep it private. So that's where we're at. Okay. I know my delivery was harsh yesterday and everything, but I am responsible for what I say and do. Nothing I say and do at this point is going to help anybody. It's not going to fucking hurt them. That's how I feel. Obviously, what I've done and what I'm doing hasn't fucking worked. And I don't want to hear, you know, information from like a third person, fourth or fifth. It's an exercise in futility and puts us all at cross purposes. And um, I don't want to do this anymore oh. that's the only place it was going to come out on though you know that i don't know what finally just let her fucking let loose but we knew it was going to come out sooner or later we were just lucky enough and uh, able to keep bam quiet on it for as long as she did well the truth will come out the truth has fucking come out why would <coughs> anyone whether it's in Bam's chat or mine or anybody else's, be pissed off at the fact that we believed what she said, just like they and everybody else did. We believed her until we didn't anymore, and it was going to end, and it was going to end badly, and it was going to be ugly. And that's that's unfortunate, but it's true, and that's where we're at. She lied, and if she didn't, then she should be able to at least let me know that none of it was dishonest. And that she was completely truthful and that this and is she still has it but she hasn't because she can't she's perfectly capable of speaking for herself just the whole idea that she's not saying anything makes everything just a hundred times fucking worse it really is and she lied to everybody the community everybody we've been quiet because we knew it was going to fucking fly now that it's flying we don't have to be quiet and I said, before anybody say anything, let's all make sure we're all on the same page here. That didn't happen. You know, Cheryl and them, Bill's in here, we can say the same thing, that we've been prepared to take the heat. That was the plan. No one, shit was going to fly, and we were going to have to take the heat. She lied. She disappeared. The only person that should talk for herself or for her is her. 
nobody else. Be clear. The reason why I'm saying this in here, I mean, all of y'all are my mods, except for Preach. She might as well be. Right, Preach? You might as well fucking be one of them by now. Or at this point. Whoever wants to take part in whatever conversation is going to be going on later, trying to figure out what the hell is happening with Claire, be my guest. I will not be included. I don't care anymore. I don't. Because there isn't anything that anybody can say that can make me change my mind about anything. And I respect other people's feelings about her. I do. But please, for fuck's sake, y'all, stop saying the truth will come out soon. People will know then later. She should be saying that. If that's the case, she should be saying that. Not not anyone on her behalf. Now, if y'all want to kick me out of this fucking group or remove me, be my guest. I told y'all, I will do what's necessary right this fucking second to take the shit show up and divert it a little bit, which is what's needed. And I'll do it. I'll do what I have to. Because I have been here this fucking long fighting with y'all for the same goddamn thing. I will take that upon myself. I won't say it again, though. She's not going to come out and say anything. They'll expect us to. I'll do what I want. I'll say what I want. That goes for everybody. This isn't a question of having to be quiet for some reason. Other than the fact that we knew that the shit was going to fly. There's no reason for anybody not to say anything. She's not a fucking secret agent. She's not on some special international fucking cause that's got to be secret. And it's just shh, shh, hush, hush. Nobody say anything right now. If anybody wants to say anything. It should be her, not you, Kim, not me, not anyone else. Her. I don't give a fuck what she's doing. I don't give a fuck what she's done. There's a reason why we are at this point. Lies are truth. It's not up to to you or anybody else to try to clean this shit up. If she wants to say something and clean it up, she should. If not, it's not my business. It's not my concern anymore. What my concern is is the integrity of this fucking community. Now it's gone. I don't want this to be a reason for people to feel awkward around each other those people that were her very very good friends or those that were just kind of on the periphery those that loved her like her sister or those that respected her because they thought that she was being honest the only person that should come out and say anything about anything about who she is who she isn't what she's done what she's not doing what she said what she hasn't said the truth she's told and the lies she's told is clear my issue kim it's wrong to say that the solicitors will have checked out Claire. The police would have checked too. Well, I know this and this is going to happen and this is what was said and I know this. We have to wait. They'll wait and see. They'll know the truth pretty soon. Just stop. I said my piece on this two fucking weeks ago. Everything I do is for me. Nothing I say or do at this point is going to hurt. I hate the fact I, that I, I'm saying it that 18 I times that in the clip. But on myself. It's true. So again, this is the truth. She lied to a lot of people, us included. And there's a reason why she doesn't want to talk to her friends. But it's not because she has to be quiet. It's like each one of us is on her own at this point. It does. does. And that's a shame. Jesus Christ, she just left you all hanging. I have to say, uh, whoever's decision it was to just sit back, stay quiet, and watch, that was the smart move at that time. Because if you had jumped in at that point, I think you'd have been savaged. So, uh, well, had we not spoken at all about this, we would have been savaged, and we would have been the cause and taken all the blame for it, for AD coming yeah. back. It would have been all our fault. Yeah, we, it was a shitty position for anybody to be in, and the fact that we were put into that position um, by those that you know, they want us to be quiet, and not talk about the lies of this person. Now, um, I was I was done. I, mean, I had already processed everything a couple of weeks prior to this. Uh, but please remember that my reason for showing that is to let y'all know that these were conversations that were being had at the time, so yeah. nobody was being quiet uh, or for a particular reason. She didn't have to, nobody said we you know the lawyers don't want us talking about this. Nobody said that, did they? No, no. no. They never said, you know, for legal concerns, we can't say anything. 
Yeah. No. Yeah, so. and you can also you can also see in those that even 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 coming out with it and telling the community, even us as a group, even though we all were on the same page as far as not believing Claire, clearly not everybody was on the same page as far as how to tell it and when to tell it. There were some yeah. people in that chat that obviously didn't like what some of us were doing over in BAMS. Um, on yeah. Bam's panel, um, they disagreed with it because they they just weren't prepared. Well, you know, um, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Um, that person said in those screenshots that you know how how did it go from there to here within the two weeks? Again, I want to remind that person that you guys only knew about it for two weeks. Exactly. There were others of us who knew about it and were dealing a with it for time. a lot longer. So when yeah. We decided mostly Susie and Nuff Nuff going on, on Bam's panel. That that was our choice and that was our right because we had been dealing with this for fucking months. If you guys weren't prepared at that point, I don't know what to tell you. We didn't have to tell you guys anything. It could have just stayed with the five of us and we could have dealt with it. We reached out to you guys because we didn't want certain people blindsided. So instead yeah. of talking shit about what we were doing, and that's our choice. It was our choice. It was mm -hmm. it was us that figured it out, and it was our friend that fucking lied straight to our face, and then she continued to lie to you guys. But it was our choice. So no, nobody gets to decide when and how we were going to expose yeah, yeah. So And, and don't decide for others it. that when you're here to deplatform a pervy fraud bastard for his exploitation, yeah. that they shouldn't explain to you why that, that failed. Yeah, you know, it's as simple as that. Yeah, it was always about the strikes. And I, you didn't hear Claire come out and say anything that happened. No. You heard people making excuses, saying they had she had to keep her mouth shut. No, y'all we were. This was our. This was what we were here to do. What I was here to do. Why wouldn't I explain to y'all what the fuck happened? Yeah. And why would you be okay with the fact that that this is how it happened and it, it's business as usual? If that makes sense. Yeah. Come on. yeah, it's um. I just um, Sam, I just shared a screen. It's that twenty-two sorry. second clip. Well, again, Claire's very own words. It's just a short little clip. And again, if I want to sit here and play this for the next eight days straight, I will. Get over it. Yeah. Well, this is your truth, isn't it? It is the truth. The chat. I mean, this is what happened. It, it, Fuck. Oops. Sorry. It's right. it's um. We can't we can't we can't say that this is our truth now when it is just the actual truth. It's I just think. The truth. Um, well, yeah. yeah, but it's 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 our choice and it's our time to say what we need to say. And oh yeah. Say as many times as we need to say it because clearly, you know, as much as we haven't been talking for the past month about this, not going anywhere, not saying anything, mm -hmm. it's not being dropped. In fact, some people. Are, are going so far as to saying that other people are being misled, and there were there were screenshots shared that were clearly taken out of out of order, but portrayed like it was one thing, and you know it, it's just it's continuing, and so we want to put a stop to it. Just stop. Yeah, I I was here to tell the truth. I'm still telling it, and you know what? Show me how I, I let's see your original screenshots, Claire. Let's go ahead and see the rest of that conversation if you want to put it out. Yeah, you won't. Yeah, we know she's already recorded. Oh, this it. makes me sad. I have to go. I'll, I'm gonna mm -hmm. meet. I'll be. I'll be back in a second. All right. So oh, this makes me upset. But, yeah. So here we go. This is Claire's very own words again. As you can see, that she's gonna tell us how Cohen Davis has absolutely nothing to do with the strike. Here we go. The 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 actual the actual lawyers that are working on the case against AD have had nothing to do with. They, they, they obviously know they know what I'm doing. It's not interfering with with what they are doing. But they, I've done this. They haven't done this. Wasn't interfering with anything until and it was interfering with Claire. failed to act upon yes. proof of, of pending Wait, legal not. action with regards to the copyrights. That will be highlighted in court when the other case comes to court. Because they'll say, well, did you try this? Did you try that? Did you? And then the evidence will be brought forward with regards to going to Google, with trying the copyright strike claim and everything. And if 
that will be highlighted in court. Yeah. You did not, YouTube, you did not act upon the evidence that was given to you. Why or not given that? to you. That, that is the scenario. Not given to you. Not us storming Google and sue Google. No, this will be brought up in a separate case if they do not act upon it now. It's The ball is in their court. So it's a win-win. They either bring him down now, or they, if they fail to bring him down, they've got to answer to why they didn't bring him down. <sighs> yep, and I'm sure so they will. For fuck's sake. And again, and I've, I've said this, out of 99% of all this shit, YouTube has not adhered to their own policies and procedures. That pervy fraud should have been gone a long time ago. But in this one particular instance, the one closest chance that we had right in the grip of our hands.